Episode 1. I didn't want to take on an apprentice, but he gave me too much. Senior, this is my gift of worship. The teenager placed three rosewood boxes, respectfully, in front of Li Xian. You've misunderstood, I'm not some hidden master, and I don't accept disciples, take it back. Li Xian spoke with a slight headache. Teenager named Su Yen, is the county from the rich family, family background so the travel to this side of the world Li Xian quite envious, but the other side of the brain is not too bright, mistakenly believe that he is the hidden world of masters, must worship him as a teacher. Crossing into this world, it has been more than 10 years, no system, no hangups, can't even walk out of the small mountain village, what's worse is that nowadays, in this small village, he is the only one left. The small mountain village is surrounded by steep cliffs on all sides, the only narrow passageway with a width of about 10 feet in and out of the village is a good place to escape from the world and live in seclusion, and the village's ancestors were also moved here to avoid the war. Now there is no war in the outside world, the village of the younger generation, not willing to mediocrity in this small mountain village for life, so began to leave the village to go outside. The village was a hundred miles away from the nearest town, and the road was treacherous, especially when one needed to pass through a dense forest, where vicious tigers and beasts frequented from time to time. Ten or so years down the line, the village was becoming less populated, and by the time Li Xian crossed over, there were only a dozen or so families left in the village, and they were all mostly old people who stayed behind. Including Li Xian, there were only five young strong men in the village. And all of them were unwilling to stay in the small village and were bent on leaving the village to go to the city to earn a living. But the road is dangerous, especially must pass through the thirty miles of the evil forest, there are vicious tigers and beasts, a number of village youth, died in the evil forest. One day ten years ago, a villager who had once left his village to make his own way returned to the village to take his mother to the city to make a living, claiming that he had learned the art of killing tigers, and that he was not afraid of the evil forest tigers. So a few of Li Xian's young men left the village in company with the other party. Thirty miles of vicious forest, although infested with fierce tigers and ferocious beasts, but if you are lucky, you can pass through peacefully without encountering fierce tigers and ferocious beasts. Li Xian and his party were not very lucky. A spotted tiger appeared. The guy who claimed to have learned the art of killing tigers instantly rushed forward with a snarl and a sliding shovel, sharp knife in hand. A group of people only Li Xian woefully escaped with his life, back to the small mountain village, he has always believed that the reason why he was able to escape with his life, is to see that guy a slippery shovel of the time, a step ahead of the people decisively turned and fled the cause. This technique of killing a tiger is also too unreliable, directly sending himself into the tiger's mouth. Since then, the village was left with only one young and strong man, Li Xian, who had lost his family members painfully and passed away one after another in ten years, until half a month ago, when Li Xian sent away the last old man in the village. Looking at the empty small mountain village, only one person left, Li Xian's heart was sad and angry, other travelers either rose against the trend, or their identity background is extraordinary. And yourself? You can't even walk out of a small mountain village. No system, no plugins, you might have to end up alone in a small mountain village. Alas, I originally thought that I could also become an existence in the net article, a sword that travels across millions of miles, beheading demons and eliminating devils between heaven and earth, proving the Tao and becoming a saint, and proudly looking down on the 10,000 ancient times, but I really thought too much about it. Li Xian sighed in his heart and laughed at himself with his mouth, you can't even walk out of a small mountain village, and you still want to cross 10 million miles with a sword? Ha! Because of this sentence of self-deprecation, I do not know how to come to the small mountain village of Su Yen, heard the latter sentence a sword across ten million miles, mistakenly thought that he was a hidden master, directly plopped down on his knees, to worship him as a teacher. Elder, I finally found you, please accept me as your disciple and pass on my supreme divine skills. What? Li Xian was startled and stared with wide eyes, looking at the sixteen or seventeen-year-old, gorgeously dressed teenager with a long sword at his waist, he was a little confused. My senior Su Yen of Dongha County, since young, I have set my mind to find the true martial arts path, today I have the chance to meet senior, I have the honor of three lifetimes, I also hope that senior will accept me as a disciple, I will certainly work hard to cultivate, and I will never negatively affect the legacy of senior. Dang. 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 Looking at the teenager with wild eyes and respectfully kowtowing, Li Xian was dumbfounded, the first thought in his mind, this kid, his brain is not very good. No matter how much Li Xian refused and denied that he was a hidden master, Su Yen didn't believe it and insisted on worshipping the master. The fervor was so great that it gave Li Xian a headache. I'm not a reclusive master, much less know the method of martial arts cultivation, you're looking for the wrong person, I'm still looking for someone to pass on my method of martial arts cultivation. No way. Su Yan's gaze was firm as he said, Senior, don't lie to me, you must be a hidden master. You look at this place, for cliffs, the scenery is pleasant, at first glance is to avoid the world of the hermitage, seniors if not a hermit, why a person living here alone? Senior, please accept me as your disciple, I will never fail to fulfill your legacy. Su Yen continued to kowtow, his eyes wild and determined. I'm not a hermit, I don't know the cultivation method, I won't take on a disciple, you're really looking for the wrong person. Li Xian's face was helpless, why is this kid's brain so one-sided, and he didn't know how he got through the evil fiend forest and came to the small village. You've been searching for a hidden master and you've lost your mind, haven't you? I got it. Su Yen suddenly stood up with a dazed look on his face. Worshipping a teacher is a big deal, how can it be done hastily? I'll go back and prepare a ceremony to pay homage to the master. Amidst Li Xian's dumbfounded face, Su Yen flew off and quickly lost sight of him. Half a month passed in the blink of an eye. 
For half a month Li Xian had been chagrined that he hadn't seized the opportunity to learn about the outside world from Su Yen, or even take this opportunity to see if he could leave the small mountain village. Unexpectedly, Su Yen had come again. And, bring on the worship. Ironically, I want to worship him. No matter how much he denied it, it was firmly established that he was a hermit. Li Xian didn't want to cheat people, especially a guy with an extraordinary identity and background, he didn't have a hang-up, he didn't have a system. Once he was recognized the consequences were unimaginable. So repeatedly refused, repeatedly denied, Nei Su Yen a sinew, determined that he is a hidden master, nine head of cattle cannot pull back the kind. Senior, this is three hundred tails of gold, I know that yellow and white things, do not enter the eyes of seniors, but the gift of worship is indispensable, this is a bit of sincerity of the late generation. Su Yen opened one of the boxes, and inside were thirty gold ingots neatly arranged. Li Shen looked at the gold ingot and gulped, slightly moved, but finally gritted his teeth and firmly said, I don't accept disciples. I'm not a hidden master either, take it back, I'm not much older than you. Although senior's appearance is young, it must be due to his cultivation and youthfulness. Su Yen, still firm in his belief that he was a hidden master, opened the second box. This is a thousand-year-old mountain ginseng from my Su family's collection, it is the second gift of worship from my junior, I hope that senior will accept it. Li Xian swallowed a mouthful of saliva, looking at the box, that a root and beard complete, already human-shaped thousand-year-old mountain ginseng, like ginseng aroma drilled into the nostrils, the whole person seems to be spiritually invigorated. Millennium mountain ginseng is undoubtedly a rare thing, the village old man once said, a hundred years of mountain ginseng can make the dying person, life extension three days do not die, there is a big strong energy, prolonging the life of the miraculous effect. Hundred-year ginseng already has this miraculous effect, and thousand-year ginseng is even more miraculous. Li Xian was a bit moved, but gritting his teeth, he continued, take it back, I'm really not a hermit, and I don't have a cultivation method. Su Yan opened the third box, Elder, this is the nine-leaf UNG, the third gift of worship from my junior. Nine-leaf UNG. Li Xian some cannot move his eyes, the village old man had said, the ancestors rumored that the world UNG, nine leaves for the most, nine leaves UNG, served a hundred diseases do not born, the mind is not exhausted, hair black not white, prolong the life of twenty years. A precious medicine that is hard to find in this world. Li Xian looked at the box, jade white in color, shaped like a lingji, with nine purple leaves growing on its stalk, the nine leaf yuanji, he took a deep breath, barely averted his gaze, and sighed in a pretentious manner. That's all. It's fate for you to be here, so master will take you in. It was really that Su Yan had given too much to refuse. Episode 2 Making up Kung Fu on the Spot Disciple Su Yan, Greetings to Master Su Yan was so excited that he fell to his knees with a plop and kowtowed respectfully. Well, get up. Li Xian silently reached out and covered the box containing the gift of worship with a serious expression, making an appearance of a strict teacher. He didn't want to cheat, but Su Yan was giving too much. The disciple is accepted, as for the cultivation technique? No. But never mind, just make it up. Li Xian thought to himself that in his previous life, he was also an Edison puffing author, and it was not a big problem to make up a set of feats blindly. Seeing as Su Yan's brain wasn't very good, he shouldn't be able to recognize the authenticity of the gongfu. As for not being able to cultivate for initiation? That's bound to be not a problem of merit, but a problem of qualification, ah. Yes, master. Su Yen stood up excitedly, eyeing Li Xian. Master, when will you pass on my cultivation technique? Looking at Su Yan's expectant gaze, Li Xian put one hand behind his back, pretended to be profound, and slowly said, I'll accept you as a disciple for the time being, but if you don't cultivate within a year. Then it means that you and I don't have a teacher-disciple bond, and you mustn't pester your teacher in the future, do you understand? Su Yan's heart flinched as he took a deep breath and solemnly said, Understood. Master, don't worry, if I can't enter the door within a year, it's because my qualifications are not good enough, I can't blame Master, I will definitely stop thinking about it, and I won't disturb Master's cultivation again. Li Xian had a relieved look on his face, it was really great that his disciple had this realization. It's impossible to get started in ten years or a hundred years, let alone a year. Before blindly making up a gongfu and imparting it to Su Yan, Li Xian needed to learn about the outside world and the martial arts in this world. Since Su Yan had mistakenly thought that he was a reclusive master who had taken refuge in seclusion and was unaware of the situation in the outside world, it was reasonable, so Li Xian bluntly inquired. The more Li Xian knew nothing about the outside world, Su Yan, instead of being skeptical, became more and more convinced that the master was an old monster who avoided the world and lived in seclusion, with heavenly cultivation and youthfulness. It's natural to know everything. After a bit of understanding, Li Xian had a general knowledge of the outside world. The small mountain village is located in the East River County of Qi, which was founded more than a hundred years ago and is in its heyday. There are three kingdoms in the world today, namely the Qi Kingdom, the Wu Kingdom, and the Northern Barbarian Royal Court. From Su Yan's mouth to learn, this world of martial arts seems not high, there is no ability to move mountains and seas, there is no air power, but the strongest people are flying eaves and walls, leaping several feet, the power to lift a thousand pounds only. Su Yan, since childhood, obsessed with some words and legends, determined to find a high person. Cultivate a powerful and incomparable supreme divine power. Therefore, in the East River County is a little famous, but not a good reputation, they say that the Su family son of the brain is not good, even believe in the words of the legend of the matter, looking for what the hidden masters to learn the art. 
Understanding the information about the outside world, Li Xian slightly regretted that this world was not a high martial world? There is no incomparably powerful martial arts? Of course, or perhaps Su Yen couldn't reach it. Either way, it was not something that Li Xian could explore at this stage, and after he had learned about the force value of the outside world, he had a general idea of how to make up the cultivation method and fool Su Yen. Cultivation is impossible to cultivate success, temporarily fooled it, cannot get started that is also Su Yen qualifications cannot, not their own gongfa cannot. Thinking of this, Li Xian spoke, the cultivation method that master passed down to you emphasizes on the word enlightenment, whether or not you can get started depends on your qualifications and talent. Master will give you one year, if you can't get started in a year, it's a no-go. Su Yan's heart was invigorated and at the same time, he was also a little apprehensive, fearing that he would not be able to cultivate his way to the door, he took a deep breath and respectfully said, please also pass on my gongfu, if I am unable to get started, it is because of the lack of blessings that I, Su Yan, have. Li Xian carried his hands behind his back, slightly raising his head to look towards the sky as he said in a deep and slow tone, the path of martial arts is never ending, but the beginning of cultivation is nothing more than refining the skin, refining the bones, and refining the organs. Su Yan's eyes were agitated as he quietly listened. Afraid of missing a single word. Li Xian thought back to his previous life when he was writing online articles and blindly made up the situation of setting up the cultivation realm, and refined it a bit to organize a more complete general outline of cultivation. The beginning of the martial arts path begins with sensing the qi and blood, only after sensing the qi and blood can we enter the skin refining stage, if we can't even sense the qi and blood, then it's all empty talk. Refining skin, as the name suggests, quenching the skin membrane, once the refining skin is accomplished, tough and incomparable, unusual ordinary people can hardly be injured by swords and knives, cut on the body, but also left a light white mark. Since we have to make up, naturally, we have to exaggerate the power of martial arts, after the completion of the refining of the skin, it is difficult for ordinary people to be injured by swords, which is powerful, right? Seeing Su Yan's excited look, he knew that he had already fooled him. This is the true martial way. Just refining the skin already makes it difficult for ordinary people to be injured by swords, if it's refining the bones and organs, how powerful would it be? I, Su Yan, have finally found a hidden master to learn the true martial arts path, and when I'm initiated, let's see who else dares to mock me. Su Yan's eyes were wildly enthusiastic, and his heart was overwhelmed with excitement. Master, once the skin is refined is it an initiation? Su Yan asked excitedly. This. Subconsciously, Li Xian was about to nod his head, telling Su Yan that refining the skin was the initiation. On second thought, though, does that seem a bit simplistic? It's all a fool's errand anyway, so let's keep fooling around in a bigger way. So he said seriously, naturally it's not an introduction, refining the skin, bones, and organs, this is just the foundation of martial arts, it's not even an introduction. Su Yan was shocked in his heart, refining the skin is already hard to injure with a sword, refining the bones and refining the organs is naturally even more powerful and incomparable, this is not even an introduction to martial arts? This is not an introduction to martial arts? How powerful should it be after that introduction? At this instant, Su Yan was filled with longing and desire for the martial Tao initiation. Master, what is considered a martial arts initiation? The introduction of martial arts well, when you refine the viscera to perfection, qi and blood to run the circumference of the sky, the physical body to complete a small metamorphosis, sinews and bones thunder, qi and blood is the astral, it will be considered to be the introduction. Master, then after martial arts are initiated, how about minor success and major success, ah? Uh? How strong will the strength be? This Wudao ah, is divided into realms, after the introduction, to be your qi and blood rushes to the sky a hundred feet, blazing like fire, demons and evils are easy to resist, burning rivers and boiling the sea, this is the great achievement. Li Xian continued to make things up on the spot. The more Su Yan listened, the more excited he became, and was about to continue asking, Li Xian waved his hand and interrupted, well, you're not even initiated, don't ask too many questions, don't be overambitious, cultivation should be calm and collected, being impatient is not conducive to cultivation. Yes, master. Su Yan's heart flinched as he panicked and respectfully said. Aha! Li Xian nodded with satisfaction, it wasn't that he didn't want to continue, but the cultivation behind him hadn't been programmed yet. Now blindly made up this refining skin, refining bone, refining dirty three stages of cultivation, are enough to fool Su Yan, not to mention a year. Ten years eight years are absolutely impossible to really cultivate to refining skin. Not to mention getting started. Episode 3. Su Yan who practiced hard. Horse stances set, adjust your breathing, calm your mind, keep your intention in the dantian, sense your own qi and blood. Su Yan took a horse stance, adjusting his breathing and sensing where his qi and blood were under Li Xian's guidance. Li Xian spoke while pointing, the method of cultivation for the master lies in the word enlightenment, in the word intention, not in the form, you have to calm your mind and quiet your spirit, forgetting about things in yourself, go to the fine senses, go to find the meaning. Anyway, it was made up and there were no moves to pass on, so he couldn't teach Su Yan radio gymnastics, could he? It's too pushy. So he can only let Su Yan take a personal horse stance and sense his own qi and blood. As for not being able to sense it, that's a qualification issue. It's not a matter of the kung fu taught by the master. Whether or not you can sense qi and blood, it all depends on your enlightenment and whether or not you can glimpse the meaning of it. Once you have sensed the qi and blood, try mobilizing the qi and blood, quenching the skin membranes around your body, and enter the stage of skin refining. Li Xian taught Su Yan to cultivate in a serious manner. 
This martial arts foundation, that's how it is, the so-called master leads the door to cultivate in the individual, you practice well, feel good, rest when you're tired, combine work and rest, you can't rush it. The more impatient you are, the harder it is to sense qi and blood, understand? Su Yan respectfully said, yes, master, disciple understands. Well, practice hard. Li Xian left with his hands behind his back, beautifully collecting Su Yan's gift of worship. Nine leaf UNG is a precious medicine, stew some and eat it to try the effect. Thinking so, Li Xian took out a small knife and carefully cut off a piece of nine leaf UNG, went to the chicken coop and grabbed a chicken and slaughtered it, built a fire and put in the nine leaf UNG to stew together. This disciple is practicing here, it is necessary to take care of the meal, all sent such a thick gift to come, if the meal is not cared about, it is a bit too black hearted. Li Xian muttered in his heart. On the way to build a fire and cook, he also went to take a look at Su Yan, still staking out his horse stance, but staggering, about to lose his grip. After a while, Su Yan couldn't hold on and began to rest. This is his third break. I can fool for a while, it's not that I'm going to lie to you, it's that you're the one who sent it to me. Li Xian shook his head and didn't bother with him, for a moment, he wouldn't be recognized. Moreover, Su Yan's appearance had shown Li Xian the opportunity to leave the small village and perhaps cross the evil fiend forest safely. He had already thought of a way back, once he had left the small village after that, he would go and land in the kingdom of Wu. Far away from Qi, far away from Donghai County, even if Su Yan realized that he had been cheated, he would not be able to use his identity background to target him. Su Yan once again took a horse stance and composed himself to sense the Qi and blood. Qi and blood, stored in the body, flowing around the body, how to sense how to mobilize. Master said that the importance of enlightenment and intention does not lie in form. Su Yan continued to sense the qi and blood, yet apart from the soreness of his legs from zapping his horse, he did not sense the so-called qi and blood in the slightest. Don't be discouraged, it's only been a short time, persistence will surely pay off. Su Yan encouraged himself in his heart and with a firm gaze. He continued to take horse stances to sense his qi and blood. Chicken soup is simmering. Li Xian glanced over and Su Yan continued to zigzag, so he didn't bother and ate himself. Nine leaf UNG, ah, a rare and precious medicine in the world, eating it will prevent a hundred diseases from occurring, black hair will not turn white, and prolong life by twenty years. I don't know if there is any exaggeration. After Li Xian ate his fill, he didn't know if it was a psychological effect, but he only felt much more energized, and the whole person seemed to have become much more relaxed. There's still a little left, give it to Su Yan. Muttering, he got up and came to Su Yan. How's it going? Su Yan put away his horse stance and said with slight frustration, Master, I haven't sensed qi and blood yet. It doesn't matter, the path of martial arts is all about perseverance and a strong will. Li Xian comforted. Heart funny, certainly cannot sense the blood ah, I made it up, you if you sense the blood, that is not a demon? You have a year left, now get hungry and go eat. When Su Yan heard this, he felt hungry in his stomach and gratefully said, many thanks, master. This is the chicken soup stewed by the nine leaf UNG, eat it, it's considered a good nourishing medicinal meal. Yes, master. Su Yan's heart was touched, the nine leaf UNG was his gift of worship, as a result, the master took out the stew and gave it to him to drink, the master did not care about the gift of worship at all, just as the master said, it was fate that he could come here. While eating his meal and drinking chicken soup, Su Yan asked, Master, how long does it usually take to sense qi and blood and cultivate for initiation? Well, that varies from person to person. How long did it take, Master, the fastest initiates? How long did it take to get started? Li Xian rolled his eyes in his heart. According to his own blindly made-up cultivation method, he wouldn't be able to get started in his entire life. If I set the entry standard, too low, and he doesn't cultivate anything, will he become suspicious? One must set the standard for heavenly pride, a little higher. Li Xian thought so in his heart, so he spoke, the ancient celestial pride, five days to complete the skin refining, ten days to complete the bone refining, fifteen days to complete the viscera refining, and then the sinews and bones thunder, qi and blood are like the astral deities, and one succeeds in the initiation. About a month before and after. Su Yan stared with a pair of white eyes, his heart astonished. Five days to finish refining the skin? Getting started in a month? Is this the heavenly pride in master's eyes? Can I finish skin refining in five days? Today I may not even be able to sense qi and blood, completing skin refining in five days should be impossible to do, could it be that I'm not qualified? Su Yan's heart immediately tensed up. Li Xian had been keeping an eye on Su Yan's expression, it was good to have a sense of nervousness, so he added, of course, this is the pride of the ancient heavens, there is no one in a million, you don't need to be impatient, as long as you are able to be initiated in a year, in the eyes of the master, you will be considered qualified. It turns out that in the eyes of the master, one year of initiation can only be considered qualified. Su Yan's gaze was firm as he solemnly said, don't worry, master, I will definitely be initiated within a year, and I will never disappoint your hard work. Li Xian patted his shoulder with a look of relief and said, You have this realization, it's not in vain for Master to make an exception and accept you as his disciple. Su Yan was instantly moved. At the same time, the sense of urgency in his heart became stronger, and he ate his meal quickly, stood up and said, Master. I'm going to practice. I'm going to cultivate hard, so I mustn't let down my master's hard work. Su Yan was determined inwardly, and left quickly, continuing to sense his qi and blood in horse stances. That silly boy. Li Xian shook his head and sighed, he didn't want to lie. 
but now, there's no turning back. From the moment he received the gift of worship and blindly made up the gongfu to pass it on to Su Yen, Li Xian knew that there was no turning back, he could only go one way. It's already dark. Before Li Xian went to bed, he went out and took a look, Su Yen continued to cultivate in Zamabu, really hard working. The heart is a little intolerant, afraid of exhausting people, so he said, cultivation is about combining work and rest, exhausting oneself, but damaging the foundation, when it's time to rest, you have to rest. Master, I know it. Su Yen said respectfully. Li Xian shook his head, closed the door, and went back to his room to sleep. Episode 4 Su Yan's Ego Brainstorming Before dawn, Su Yan had already set up his horse stance and was practicing. Master said that the emphasis is on enlightenment and intention rather than form, sensing the qi and blood, mobilizing the qi and blood, and quenching the skin and membrane. The ancient celestial pride, finished refining the skin in five days, I haven't sensed the qi and blood until now, the gap is too big, Master said that you can't be impatient, the more impatient you are the harder it is to sense the qi and blood. Su Yan collected his mind and concentrated on himself, finally sensing himself, sensing his qi and blood. A flash of white in the sky. The sunrise was about to rise, and Su Yan, who was immersed in sensing his qi and blood, suddenly only felt a warm current emerge between his chest and abdomen, fine and warm, seemingly flowing with his breath. Pneumatic blood. I sense qi and blood. Su Yan was thrilled at this moment. Calm down, calm down, be calm, don't mess up your mind. Mobilizing qi and blood to quench the dermal membrane, how to mobilize qi and blood. Master didn't specifically say ah, should I go ask master? I can't. Master said that it lies in enlightenment and intention, I must grasp the feeling of this moment, if I slacken off, it will be difficult to sense qi and blood again. Moreover, if I have to go and ask master in detail even how to mobilize my qi and blood, won't I disappoint master? Thinking that I'm not well enlightened. Thinking so, Su Yen instantly dismissed the idea of going to ask Li Xian for advice. He continued to take horse stances, over and over again, trying to mobilize his qi and blood, all the while recalling some of the explanations that Li Xian had imparted, on mobilizing qi and blood. Mind all converged in itself, immersed in the mobilization of qi and blood, breathing with the mobilization of qi and blood, and unconsciously made changes, gradually a wisp of qi and blood, diffused in the body, the skin slightly red, as if there is a stream of warmth, in the refinement of the dermal membrane. I guess I'm kind of entering the refining of the skin here, right? Su Yan was invigorated, finally sensing qi and blood, and smoothly mobilizing it to quench the skin membrane. Li Xian yawned, got up and washed up, and went out to prepare breakfast. He was the only one left in the village, and self-sufficiency had long been a habit. As soon as he went out, he saw Su Yen who was practicing in horse stance, the corner of his mouth twitched, this disciple is hardworking, but unfortunately, it is useless to be even more hardworking. The cultivation method was made up by him, and it would be a hell of a thing to be able to cultivate successfully. When he, at some point, can't hold out any longer, come running to me and ask me. Make up some more fooling around. Li Xian shook his head and turned to leave. Su Yen was thrilled to see his master and was about to tell him that he had sensed qi and blood. It's already in the skin refining stage. As a result, when he saw his master shaking his head, his heart stuttered. Master is upset with me? Yes, with master's realm, how could he not see that I've already sensed qi and blood and entered the skin refining stage? It must be that master thinks I'm fussy, complacent, and indolent. After Su Yen did some brainstorming, he immediately dismissed the idea of telling Li Xian that he had already sensed qi and blood and entered the skin refining stage. Taking a deep breath, he composed himself and continued to mobilize his qi and blood to quench the skin membrane. Master is unfathomable, he can tell my strengths and weaknesses with a single glance, I can't afford to be arrogant and complacent. How is my cultivation progress, master can tell with a single glance, why do I need to open my mouth? Su Yan realized in his heart that how he was cultivating, master could tell at a glance, and there was no need to deliberately tell master. Li Shen grabbed a chicken in the chicken coop and prepared to continue stewing the nine-leaf UNG, this was a rare and precious medicine in the world, after eating the nine-leaf UNG stewed chicken soup yesterday, he felt that his body was a bit stronger. Took out his knife and was about to kill the chicken. Suddenly ah, I have disciples ah, there is no reason for me as a master to serve the disciple, should be the disciple to serve the master is right. Anyway, after cheating once, he's my disciple now, so it makes sense to let him serve me as his master, doesn't it? Thinking so, with the chicken in one hand and the knife in the other, he walked towards Su Yen. Apprentice, come, kill the chicken, put some nine-leaf UNG in the stew together. And go cook. Su Yen collected his energy and took the chicken and knife from Li Xian's hands, somewhat confused. What, can't cook? Li Xian frowned as he watched him daze. Yes, Su Yen, the second idiot, is a rich kid, how could he cook? Be that as it may, now that he's taken on as a disciple, how could he not put it to good use? Apprentice, a line and a sit, sleeping and eating, are all cultivation, although you have not yet been initiated, and are too far away from the realm of your master, but familiarizing yourself with it in advance will also be beneficial to you. Li Xian said with a serious expression. Master, I'm on my way. Su Yan's complexion straightened and he respectfully said. Master's realm is too high, seemingly mundane, in fact, this is a high person, this is the state of seclusion. The more he thought about it, the more he felt that his master was profound and unfathomable, seemingly plain and ordinary, not revealing any strong might, yet this was the true hidden master. Su Yan went to cook. 
Li Xian was uneasy and stared at him for a while, realizing that although Su Yan was a bit rusty in killing chickens and cooking, under his guidance, the rice he made should not be unappetizing. So relieved, he moved a chair and placed it under the big tree in front of the house door, Li Xian lay down on the chair, leisurely, waiting for the meal to start. It's nice to have an apprentice to serve, a little life like that. With Su Yan's brain, he won't be able to recognize it in a short period of time, but he should also be prepared to retreat. After the meal. Su Yan continued to cultivate away. This, the speed of quenching the skin membrane has become faster, and the qi and blood have been enhanced by at least 50%. At this rate, although it's impossible to finish refining the skin in five days, it should be no problem to finish refining the skin in a month. Su Yan sensed that the speed of quenching the skin membrane had increased greatly, and his heart was excited. Why did the speed of skin refining suddenly increase greatly? Could it be? He thought of Nine Leaf UNG stewed chicken soup. Nine Leaf UNG is a rare treasure medicine, his Su family is only this one collection, if not for the fact that he is the only child of the Su family, deeply favored by his parents, but also unable to take the Nine Leaf UNG to do the gift of worship. Master. Su Yen was moved at this moment. Master knows that the Nine Leaf UNG can help me cultivate, that's why he took it out for me to stew the chicken and eat it. I mustn't let down my master's hard work, I must cultivate hard and strive for an early initiation. The self brain Su Yen, whose reverence for his master at this moment was comparable to that of the sun and the moon, was moved to the point of being 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 moved. He mobilized his qi and blood and continuously quenched the skin membrane. As he continued to quench, Su Yen felt that his body had gotten stronger, his qi and blood were getting more and more vigorous, and his skin membrane had become tough, and it seemed that he had already made an introduction to skin refining. I feel that the power has been enhanced by more than double, this is only just the introduction of skin refining, how strong should the strength of skin refining consummation be? I must be a martial arts initiator within a year. Su Yan's gaze was firm. The effect of this nine leaf UNG is also too good, why do I feel that the power has become stronger? Do you want to have it all to yourself? Forget it, it was originally a gift from Su Yan, stew it and eat it together, you can't be too black hearted. Li Xian felt the changes in his body, and at a certain moment, had the thought of monopolizing the nine leaf UNG. Ultimately, it wasn't black enough to discourage the idea of exclusivity. Episode 5 Skin refining comes to fruition. It had already been half a month since he had taken Su Yan as his disciple and taught him his blindly concocted gongfu. For the past half a month, it was the most comfortable days that Li Xian had ever lived since he crossed over, every day he had an apprentice to wait on him, he didn't have to cook by himself, he didn't have to feed the chickens, grow vegetables, and so on by himself. Every day was spent either sleeping, wandering around the village, or lounging in a chair, relaxing. I'm down to the last slice of nine-leafed UNG, and I finished it today after stewing it. Li Xian sighed that the nine leaf UNG was worthy of being a rare and precious medicine, the effect was really fantastic, for the past half a month, he could clearly feel the changes in his body. Spirits got better, eyesight got better, body got a lot stronger and more powerful. Stewing thousand year old mountain ginseng tomorrow? Will it be too tonic? Li Xian muttered in his heart as he slumped in his chair. Thousand year old mountain ginseng is not the same, why don't you treasure it? With a sideways glance, Su Yan, who was practicing in a zigzag stance, had some doubts in his heart. It's been most of a month, how can he be calm? This unhurried and calm nature is not bad, but it's a pity that his brain is not very good. This is good, the more calm his nature is, the better it is for me. It's just that it's been half a month, and nothing has been cultivated, and surprisingly, there isn't even the slightest doubt. Li Xian was surprised. Let's wait for dinner and ask him if he has any questions. And do our duty as masters. Let me think of something to make up to fool him. Li Xian pondered on how to make up something reasonable, how to comfort Su Yan, and how to encourage him to continue to persevere. I've finally achieved great success in skin refining. Su Yen, who was in the middle of his cultivation, only felt his body's qi and blood swirl, his dermal membranes tensed up and then loosened up, and at this moment, he felt a big boost. The skin refining is great. Master is right, you can't be impatient in cultivation, you have to combine work and rest. I take time every day to cook, feed the chickens, plant vegetables, and even catch wild game to add to my meals, it may seem that the time for cultivation has been reduced, however, under one relaxation, the state of mind is completely different, and the speed of cultivation is instead faster and easier. Master, his old man's realm, is really too high. Su Yen marveled in his heart. Master was worthy of being a hidden master, every word and action, every little nudge benefited him greatly. Glancing at Li Xian, who was reclining on a chair, a look of envy and yearning appeared in Su Yan's eyes. When will I, when will I be able to reach master's realm? It may seem ordinary, it may seem mediocre, yet this is a truly high-level person. Is this perhaps what the master once said, returning to the basics, close to the Tao? I can't be overly ambitious, I have to keep my feet on the ground, and one day, I will become a strong person like master. Su Yan was brainstorming and encouraging himself. In less than 20 days, I've reached the grand completion of skin refining, and I'm just one step away from perfection, at most 3 to 5 days, I'll be able to finish refining the skin and thus start refining the bones. When I finish refining the skin, I'll ask my master what's involved in refining the bones. Master said that the ancient celestial pride. 
Completed skin refining in 5 days, although I can't match that, but completing skin refining in less than a month should still be okay, right? Su Yan looked at the time, it was time to cook. So he collected his energy, went to the chicken coop and caught a chicken, slaughtered it and stewed 9 leaf yuan ji. One 9 leaf yuan ji per day, and now only the last one is left. While killing the chicken, Su Yan suddenly had a change of heart. Master said that when the refined skin is fully accomplished, it is difficult for ordinary people to be injured by swords and knives, why don't you try? I'll lightly scratch it and see. Su Yan held the kitchen knife and slashed at his arm. He was a skin refining great achievement martial artist, naturally not an ordinary person, so he paddled this without using his chi and blood, nor did he exert much force. Just the power of an ordinary man. The blade cut across the arm, leaving only a small, shallow white mark, and it quickly returned as before. Is this the defensive power of the skin refining De Chang? Su Yin was excited, although he did not use much force this knife, however, it is easy, the chicken to open the belly, unusual people were scratched, flesh and blood cracked, the injury can be into the bone. However, it couldn't leave the slightest scratch on his skin. As Master said, after refining the skin, ordinary swords and knives are hard to hurt. Su Yen was even more filled with anticipation for the next bone refining, and even viscera refining. You have been able to calm your mind and not be arrogant these days, Master is very pleased. Li Xian spoke with deliberation between the seats. Master, I understand, I'll definitely abstain from arrogance and calm my mind. Su Yen said respectfully. In his heart, he was glad that he was not in a hurry and was calm, which left a good impression in his master's heart. Cultivating for such a long time. Su Yen looks calm and unhurried, but he must be anxious inside, soothe him a bit, let him hold on to it more, things have come to this, we can only continue to fool around. Li Xian muttered in his heart, so he spoke, the path of cultivation emphasizes perseverance, strong will, and calmness and solidity, haste is not desirable, you must remember that. Yes, master, my disciple will definitely remember your teachings. Su Yan nodded solemnly. In his heart, it was a sudden realization, I've achieved great success in refining the skin, master must be afraid that I'm in a hurry to start refining the bones in a hurry and don't have a solid foundation. Even if I refine my skin to perfection, before I refine my bones, I have to be more solid, I can't be hasty and give my master the impression that I'm fussy. Su Yan admonished himself in his heart that he must not forget himself and become complacent because of his increased strength. Li Xian didn't know that with his words, Su Yan had already engaged in self-brainstorming, not to mention that, not only had Su Yan sensed qi and blood, but he had also refined his skin to a great extent. Seeing Su Yan listen to the teaching so well, he was relieved in his heart. This disciple is a real person, just not smart enough, and just met me, if he met others, I'm afraid they were all cheated out of their homes. It's a pity that I'm not a reclusive master, otherwise it would be a relief to take in a disciple who is so respectful of his teacher and so knowledgeable. Li Xian lamented in his heart. So he spoke again, Master knows that you should have accumulated some questions in your cultivation by now, and Master can answer them for you now. Su Yan's spirit lifted, revealing a look of excitement. Master knows that I'm about to refine my bones, and I definitely have some questions about bone refining, so Master first admonished me not to be impatient, but to calm my mind. And then answered my questions for me, so that I could not only calm my impatient heart, but also allow me to understand the matter of bone refining. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that every word of the Master was full of deep meaning and teaching. Master, the method of refining the skin, the disciple has no more questions, I would like to ask about refining the bones, the chi and blood seeping into the bones, constantly grinding and tempering the bones, is there anything to be said about that? To what extent is bone refining considered complete? Su Yan asked the query about bone refining, but Li Xian's heart was stunned, the words he had thought of in advance were some flimsy words about the chi and blood sensing and skin refining stages. Unexpectedly Su Yan actually asked about the method of bone refining, he did not make up the flimsy words about bone refining beforehand ah. Episode 6 Making up bone refining equivalents. There are rules to this bone refining, it's divided into levels. Although Su Yan was a bit caught off guard by asking about bone refining, Li Xian was not at all flustered. At least in his previous life, he was a writer of online articles, and his ability to make things up was not bad, and after eating the chicken soup stewed by the Nine Leaf Yuanji in these days, his memory has become stronger, and his spirit is sharper, so he quickly thought of how to make things up. Today, Master, I will explain to you in detail about bone refining. Bone refining is an extremely important foundation that cannot be sloppily used, it is related to the strength of the martial arts path, the so-called if the bones are not strong, then the body will not be strong. Li Xian's mind raced and he began to make things up in an organized manner. Theory of a set, listening to Su Yan fascinated, frequently nodding, sometimes suddenly realized look. So it turns out that refining bones? There are so many precepts, fortunately, my master has taught me from time to time to be calm and quiet, not to be hasty, or else if I hurriedly refining the bones and didn't get to know the precepts, wouldn't I be cutting off my own future in martial arts? Su Yan sighed in his heart. Indeed, one must listen to the master's teachings, not to be impatient, to be calm, and to be more enlightened. The more he heard, the more he felt that the profoundness of this stage of bone refining, once bone refining was completed, his strength would definitely increase several times. I've reached a great success in refining the skin, and I'm about to finish refining the skin, after I finish refining the skin, I must settle down for a while and carefully refer to the way of refining the bones before I start refining the bones, I can't be too hasty. Su Yan made up his mind. 
Li Xian made something up, keeping an eye on Su Yan's expression, quite satisfied with the way he listened attentively, nodding his head in relief, saying, Apprentice, you must remember that just because you start cultivating slowly, it doesn't mean that you'll be slow in the future as well. Just like building a building, the foundation is very important, if the foundation is not firm and the roots are not stable, it can't withstand the wind and rain, it will easily collapse, the cultivation path is the same, pursuing speed in the early stages, instead, it strangles one's own upper limit, and strangles the future of the martial arts. Throughout history, how many pre-cultivation speedy, seemingly heavenly pride, however, to the back, the foundation is not firm, slow progress, and even reach the upper limit, and then no inch of progress. Li Xian said these words with the intention of relieving Su Yan that although he had not yet sensed qi and blood, he did not need to pursue speed at the foundation stage. And that a strong foundation was the basis. Su Yan heard it but his spirit was revitalized, thinking, Master is warning me that although my cultivation speed is not as fast as that of the ancient celestial pride, as long as my foundation is solid, I can certainly rise above it later. Master, his old man, has high hopes for me, I must not let him down. I must build a good foundation and surpass those ancient celestials. Su Yan was touched in his heart and respectfully said, Master, don't worry, I will definitely remember your teachings, not be hasty, not be impatient, build a firm foundation, and will never let you down. Li Xian nodded his head gratefully and said, It's comforting to me that you can understand my teacher's painstaking efforts. In his heart, he breathed a sigh of relief, finally, fooling him again, even if he doesn't sense qi and blood for a month, two months, he should be able to stay calm, right? Not to mention that after eating the chicken soup stewed by the nine leaf yuanji, my body has gotten stronger, his body, too, should have gotten stronger, he must have thought that it was due to cultivation. However, deceiving people can only deceive for a moment, not to mention things like cultivation, it's only Su Yan's brain that isn't very good, so it's better to think of a good way to get out of it, this guy has a background ah. After stabilizing Su Yan's mentality, the next step would be much better, letting him continue to cultivate is all. It's a year away, and it's still early. Master, you said that bone refining is divided into equal stages, is there anything to be said here? Su Yan asked respectfully. Well, yes, bone refining is divided into levels. Li Xian was stunned in his heart and almost forgot about it, braiding the bone refining equivalent steps. Program the difficulty of bone refining a bit higher, Su Yan can't even sense qi and blood, refining skin can't even be done. The even higher difficulty of bone refining is even more of a luxury. By the time he is slow to succeed in his cultivation, he will know that it is his own talent that is not working, and he will take the initiative to leave, ashamed of his master's cultivation of him. If I give him another chance, such as if he has children, he can come and try to see if he can be initiated, so that he can see a little bit of hope, and if he can't practice on his own, he can let his children do it. In this way, the likelihood of being dismantled will be even lower, and he will be able to obtain a sum of money, a gift of worship from his future sons and daughters. You've already cheated once, you don't care about cheating a second time. Li Xian thought that once this matter was over, and he managed to get out of the small mountain village, he would hide in the Wu Kingdom, and in this way, the possibility of seeing Su Yin again would be slim to none. With Su Yan's gift of worship, his own little life in the kingdom of Wu could be a little better. He corrected his expression and said seriously, the bone refining Tao is divided into four equal steps, bone refining like iron, bone refining like copper, bone refining like gold, and bone refining like jade. Su Yan looked excited and asked, iron bone, copper bone, gold bone, and jade bone, are they the four stages of bone refining? Li Xian shook his head, not really. These are the four bone refining levels, representing the upper limit of the path of martial arts, with the strength of one's own strength. Iron bone, ordinary martial artists refining bones, mostly at this level of rank, qi and blood quenching bones, hard as iron, ordinary knives can't be cut, of course iron bone is just ordinary, the upper limit of martial arts is not high. Copper bone, it is stronger than iron bone, its bone is like copper, even after death, a thousand years will not decay, once refined copper bone. The foundation is already deep, the upper limit of martial arts is higher, this is considered to be the middle and upper posture. The only way to be considered a heavenly pride is to refine the golden bones. As Li Xian spoke, he said with a solemn expression, none of the ancient heavenly prides were refined into golden bones. Su Yan was excited to hear this, his eyes were glowing as he asked, Master, how should I refine the golden bone? When Li Xian saw his eyes glowing with excitement, he was a bit speechless. This douchebag, could it be that he thought that he would be able to refine the golden bone? I'm making this up. So he said in a deep voice, calm down, don't be hasty. Yes, Master. Su Yan scrambled to collect his excitement and sat upright. Once the golden bone is complete, even after death, buried in the ground for 10,000 years, still golden, and its sturdiness is better than steel, but throughout the ages, those who are able to refine the golden bone, not one in 10,000. Li Xian said in a deep voice, by one in 10,000, master means one in 10,000 among the many heavenly prides. Master, is heaven's pride also divided into grades? Su Yan asked curiously. Naturally. Li Xian nodded and said, just as there is a gap between beauties, which are also beauties, so is the heaven's pride. Su Yan said indistinctly, I see, just like the spring fragrance house in Donghe County, the head girl is already a rare beauty, but the flower girl is even better. Li Xian's eyes were strange, his heart secretly gritted his teeth, worthy of being the son of a rich family, he didn't go to the hooker bar too often, right? I'd fucking love to go. Master, the apprentice is just a metaphor, the apprentice has never been there. Su Yan noticed Li Xian's strange gaze and instantly snapped awkwardly. Episode 7 Blowing it out of the water
Li Xian withdrew his gaze and resumed his appearance of a strict teacher. Your analogy, though unflattering, is just that. Su Yan breathed a sigh of relief and secretly admonished himself, you can't make any blind analogies in the future, in case you leave a bad impression on master, it'll be bad. There is not one in ten thousand who can become a golden bone, even though the early cultivation speed is not as fast as the ancient celestial pride, if they can become a golden bone, they will not be weaker than the ancient celestial pride. Li Xian continued to make things up, to quench the golden bones, it relies on perseverance, talent, and persistence, the qi and blood seep into the bones, quenching them to the bone marrow, which in turn triggers the qi and blood to metamorphose, and so on for nine times, and then the golden bones will come into being. The difficulty of the golden bone is self-evident, perseverance, talent, and persistence are indispensable, and if you can become a golden bone, the martial arts path is a straight path. Su Yan's heart surged as he listened, Master, I will definitely refine the golden bone. You have this ambition, the teacher is pleased, but everything can be done according to your ability, no need to demand too much. Li Xian nodded in relief. In his heart, he muttered, you'll be damned if you can refine a golden bone. Su Yan hated it at the moment, and immediately went to cultivate, striving to refine his bones as soon as possible, and refine them into golden bones as soon as possible. After listening to his master's words, he was hot and full of energy at the moment. Master, what about the jade bone? What is the jade bone? Su Yan hadn't forgotten that in the bone refining rank, above the golden bone, there was also a jade bone. Jade bone. Li Xian paused and said. Originally, master didn't intend to talk about the jade bone, but since you asked, let's talk to you about it. At the moment, his mind was racing, making up things about the jade bone. The jade bone, whose bones are flawless and crystallized like jade, there is no one in the ages who can refine a jade bone. Li Xian stood up, one hand behind his back, and slightly raised his head, displaying the demeanor of a tall man. Su Su spoke, disciple, jade bone is not something that can be achieved by talent, perseverance, or persistence, those who can become jade bone are all not of great fortune, and none of them are the favorites of heaven and earth, and only those who have transcended enlightenment, and who are able to sense the great Tao, can become jade bone. You must remember not to be overly ambitious. Su Yan's heart was greatly shocked, and the great fortune in heaven and earth favorites and can sense the great way, too mysterious. The more esoteric it was, it meant that once it was refined into a jade bone, the more powerful and incomparable it would be. Master, what will happen if the jade bone is refined? Li Xin glanced at him as if his gaze was full of deep meaning and said, regarding the jade bone, there is this saying, the jade bone is flawless and will remain immutable for all eternity. Once it becomes a jade bone, even after death, after 10,000 years, it still won't decay, and even subject to the precipitation of the years, it will become a treasure of heaven and earth, as if it has a spirit, and become a rare treasure in the world. Li Xian opened his mouth and blindly made up and blew up the jade bones. Su Yan was shocked, his fists clenched tightly, his blood boiling, itching to refine into jade bones immediately. Li Xian patted his shoulder and said, Master does not expect you to be able to become a jade bone. Just remember this belief in your heart and do your best. Su Yan clenched his fists and cheered up, Master, don't worry, I will definitely work hard and never fail you. Li Xian had a pleased look on his face and thought in his heart that since he had already talked about refining the bones, by the way, let's make up the refining of the viscera as well. Look at Su Yan, it's like he's been pumped with chicken blood, he'll be full of fighting spirit for a short while. Tell him what he said about refining his organs while you're inspired to do so. So Li Xian spoke, since the method of refining the bones has already been told to you in detail, then by the way, let's have the refining of the viscera by the way with you as well, and this basic realm will be answered for you in detail. Thank you, master, I'm all ears. Su Yan said respectfully. Refining viscera, is to refine the internal organs, enhance the vitality and toughness of the internal organs, refining viscera great success, even if the heart was stabbed, but also will not die, you can rely on the qi and blood to make the heart heal and recover, of course, this can only be an ordinary injury, if it is injured by the power of qi and blood, it can be different. Li Xian spoke without haste. Su Yan was shocked to hear that even a stab wound to the heart wouldn't kill him, and that he could recover with his qi and blood? The strength of the martial arts path was truly beyond the imagination of ordinary people. The five viscera correspond to the five elements, gold, wood, water, fire, and earth, qi and blood running the five viscera, round and one, the five elements are united, that is, refining the viscera is complete, and then the foundation of the realm, fusion, and unity, summarized all over the body, tendons and bones of the thunder, qi and blood such as the astral when it is the beginning. Li Xian compiled the theory of refining the viscera as well as some rough methods of refining the viscera. He wasn't really a cultivator, and he didn't have a gongfu, so he made up the cultivation method blindly, so naturally it couldn't be really detailed, but there was a rough outline. Because of this, after Li Xian finished speaking, he then added, Disciple, you must remember that true cultivation is enlightenment and intention, only then can you walk out on your own path. The method that my master has passed on to you is the true meaning of the martial arts, you have to realize and comprehend the meaning of it on your own, don't stick to specific forms, do you understand? Su Yan respectfully saluted, yes, master, disciple bears this in mind and feels it at all times, and will never be lax or formal. It's a great relief for the master that you understand. Li Xian was filled with relief. Clean up, feed the chickens or something, and then just practice. After waving his hand to dismiss Su Yan, Li Xian took out the thousand-year-old mountain ginseng. A tangled face, this is a rare thing, now stewed is not a waste? It's such a big plant, it wouldn't hurt to stew some and taste it, I haven't had a thousand-year-old mountain ginseng in two lifetimes. 
Li Xian pinched two long ginseng whiskers down and instructed Su Yen to use them to stew chicken tomorrow. Su Yen finished his chores and began his cultivation, taking a horse stance, quenching the skin membrane, while carefully sensing, the method taught by his master about refining the bones and organs. I want to sense the meaning of it and realize its subtleties. Gradually, Su Yen had some epiphanies, and the specific methods of refining bones and organs had a clear direction. Refining the skin is so, then refining the bones and organs naturally won't differ too much, it's just the way of mobilizing the qi and blood, and the direction of quenching is different. I get it. Su Yen was excited. The next day. After eating a meal of thousand-year-old mountain ginseng stewed chicken soup, Li Xian was surprised to find that there was a feeling of having more breath, more endurance, and his body had actually gotten a little stronger again. The thousand-year mountain ginseng of this world is so marvelous? He immediately took out the entire mountain ginseng and instructed Su Yen to stew a little bit every day. Although mountain ginseng is precious, your own body is more important. Su Yen, however, was touched to the core, his eyes moist, this is my gift of worship, but master did not hesitate to take it out to help me cultivate, I can't let master down. Once I enter bone refining, I'll make a trip back and make sure to pick out exquisite worship gifts for master. Su Yen, who was in the midst of cultivation, only felt that his qi and blood had become more vigorous, and the speed of quenching the dermal membrane had increased greatly, as the medicinal power of the mountain ginseng was constantly being refined, enhancing his qi and blood, and strengthening the speed of quenching the dermal membrane. The day after tomorrow at the latest, I'll be able to finish refining the skin. Su Yen's heart perked up as he sensed the progress of the skin refining. Episode 8 Su Yen Refining Bones As the sky whitened, a ray of sunrise shone in through the narrow passageway of the village, shining on Su Yen who was in the middle of his cultivation. As always, Su Yen, who got up to practice before dawn, was excited inside at the moment, and as his qi and blood were running, at a certain moment, the skin membrane tensed up, emitting the sound of boom boom, like a steel string instantly tensing up and bursting out with a sound. The dermis instantly has a sense of, well, roundness without leakage. The power became stronger, and there was an instant boost in qi and blood. The skin refining is complete. 20 days, it took me 20 days, I finally finished refining the skin, although it's far worse than the ancient celestial pride, but I also belong to the celestial pride level. As long as I refine my golden bones, I will never be weaker than the ancient heavenly pride. Su Yen was thrilled, raising his hands and clenching his fists as he felt his own power. Even with his bare hands, he is almost fearless of swords. One against a hundred, no matter what. And this was just completing the skin refining, just the most basic stage of the basic realm. Settle down today and start refining your bones tomorrow. Su Yen collected his gong and carried his hoe to plant vegetables and feed the chickens, relaxing his mind and preparing for tomorrow's bone refining. He remembered his master's teachings to combine labor and rest, and to be calm. Li Xian got up and washed up, and when he came out of the house, he was surprised to find that Su Yen wasn't even cultivating. This was the first time since worshipping the master that Su Yen had not practiced in the morning. What the hell, did it give up? It can't be, yesterday he was practicing hard, and all of a sudden he just gave up? With his understanding of Su Yen these days, he was just a one-track-minded person, and with a not-so-good brain, it was unlikely that he would give up all of a sudden. Li Xian went to the chicken coop to see that the chickens had just been fed, and saw Su Yen from afar, hoeing in the vegetable garden. So walk over. Master. Su Yen respectfully saluted. Well, not bad, being able to calm down and keep the vegetable garden neatly organized. Li Xian took a look at the vegetable garden and was a bit surprised, the weeds were all removed and the vegetables were growing happily, even better than if he had planted them himself. It's all because master taught me well. Su Yen said with a naive smile. Why did you come to weed the vegetable garden early today? Li Xian had come to inquire about him this morning, why he hadn't practiced. So far, Su Yen didn't look like he was giving up. My disciple will follow my master's teachings and combine work and rest to cultivate hard and settle down for the next. Su Yen respectfully returned. Li Xian let out a sigh of relief, it really wasn't a case of giving up, but rather relaxing his mind for a bit before continuing his cultivation to sense the qi and blood. How can a one-track mind give up so easily? Then, revealing a pleased smile, he said, it's a relief for the master that you can have this realization. Su Yen was instantly excited, secretly saying, sure enough, it was the right choice for me not to rush into refining the bones right after I finished refining the skin, settling down and relaxing my tense mind is the right way to cultivate. Keep a good heart, don't be arrogant, and you will be successful. Li Xian encouraged him and turned to leave. Wandering around the village, the houses have been deserted since the last village elder died. A few of the houses he converted into chicken coops and the rest have been overgrown. How did Su Yen get through the evil fiend forest? Because of luck, he just happened to avoid the fierce tiger beasts? I can't stay stuck in the village, I always have to think of a way, how to get out of here, and the breakthrough is in Su Yen. Li Xian pondered in his heart. I'm such a miserable traveler, I can't even get out of the novice village. Li Xian sighed. The next day. Before dawn, Su Yen woke up to cultivate. Qi and blood seeping into the bones, honing the bones, and refining the skin, slightly different, but not much different, my goal is the golden bones. The only way to refine the golden bones is to be able to compare to the ancient heavenly pride. Su Yan's gaze was firm. 
Although master doesn't say it on his lips, he surely hopes that I will be able to refine the golden bone, the only way to be worthy of being master's heir is to be comparable to the ancient heavenly pride. As for the jade bone, master said that it's not something that can be achieved with persistence or talent. I'll do my best, and if I can become a jade bone, I'm bound to surpass the ancient heavenly pride. The jade bone was too difficult, and it wasn't something that could be achieved by talent and persistence, so Su Yan's primary goal was to refine the golden bone. Su Yan ran his chi and blood and began to seep into his bones, initially very slowly, at a certain moment, it was as if there was an ant bite sensation in the bones of his body, numb and itchy, a little difficult to bear. The chi and blood have seeped into the bones and are in the process of being honed, it's amazing that it feels like this. Su Yan gritted his teeth and held on. No wonder master said that refining the golden bone relies on talent, persistence, and perseverance. It's like this when you just start refining the bone, and once you get to the golden bone and it seeps into the bone marrow, it'll definitely be even more unbearable. The bones all over his body were numb and itchy, as if there were ants climbing on them, Su Yan's forehead revealed sweat, but he gritted his teeth and held on, his gaze firm, even though it was hard to bear, he had to persevere. Fortunately, as the chi and blood continued to seep in, after surviving the initial stage, the numb, itchy, and climbing sensation began to diminish. What came next was a feeling of quenching in the bones of the body, similar to quenching the skin membrane, but much more difficult. The progress of chi and blood seeping into the bones and quenching them was very slow. And it had always stayed only on the surface of the bones, unable to seep further into the depths of the bones. At this moment, Su Yan realized that the difficulty of refining bones was beyond imagination. No wonder those who can refine into golden bones are so rare. Li Xin came out of the house, and at a glance, he saw Su Yan in the middle of his cultivation, and couldn't help but nod his head, it was true that a person with a stubborn streak would not give up lightly. Attitude is holding up well. Out of the corner of his eye, Su Yan's heart perked up when he saw his master nodding his head. Master must be recognizing me, for enduring the pain of bone refining, and sticking around. Hold on. Persevere. No matter how great the pain, you must persist and never give up. Su Yan encouraged himself in his heart. Continuing to quench the bones, as the chi and blood continued to seep in, more and more chi and blood, covering the bones, continued to quench them, the feeling of ants climbing was gone. However, the sensation that was like sand rubbing together appeared. Su Yan's forehead was sweating, but he gritted his teeth and continued to insist on quenching without saying a word. Time did not know how long had passed, the feeling of the sand rubbing against his bones was getting stronger and stronger, and Su Yan felt that he was about to be unable to endure it. Beads of sweat were dripping from his forehead. Li Xian, who was lying on the chair under the tree, looked up at the time and then at Su Yan. It's almost lunchtime, what's wrong with this disciple today, forgetting the time? It's time to go cook. So Li Xian spoke, all right, go cook, it's getting late. Su Yan's heart immediately shook when he heard this, and he began to collect his strength as the sensation of the sand rubbing against his bones gradually disappeared. At this moment, he was moved in his heart, master must have seen that I've reached my limit. So he let me relax. Yes, master. Su Yan collected his energy and respectfully said. Episode 9. Can't mention being a teacher to anyone. Aha. Uh -huh. Li Xian nodded his head, feeling the need to hammer his apprentice, how could he forget to cook? It's not good to be full of cultivation. Combine work and rest, cultivation must not be overdone, do you understand? Li Xian said with a serious face. Su Yan sniffed with a look of shame, yes, master, disciple will definitely keep that in mind. He was touched in his heart, master is afraid that I'd be blindly holding on for dear life, will result in injuring my body ah. That's right, although the emphasis is on perseverance, it should be gradual, I've only just started refining my bones, if I'm dead set on doing it, I'm afraid that I'll be prone to problems. You have to understand that there is something to be said for perseverance, one for one, one for all, combining work and rest, and you have to relax your mind appropriately in order to cultivate more efficiently and gain more insights. Li Xian Dun Dun taught. Disciple understands and will definitely not make this mistake again. Su Yan said respectfully. Indeed, blindly holding on for dear life, it is easy to go wrong, we must properly relax our mind, otherwise it is like a string, tense too tightly and for too long, it is easy to break. Su Yan had an instant realization in his heart. Go on. Li Xian waved his hand and let Su Yan cook. This disciple is listening to the teachings, but unfortunately I'm not really a high-level person, and the method of cultivation is made up, so it's useless to insist on it. Mentally, I sighed again, but since I had already lied, I could only continue to fool around. After Su Yan entered bone refining, every time the chi and blood further penetrated into the bones and began to grind them at the beginning, the sensation of sand rubbing against the bones would appear. However, Su Yan didn't continue to hold on for dear life, as long as he could hardly hold on any longer, he would withdraw his gong and go do something else to relax his mind. Five days later, Su Yan, who was in the midst of cultivation, only felt a tremor in his chi and blood, the bones around his body vibrated, and when his chi and blood seeped into his bones, there was a sense of smoothness. The entire person had a sense of becoming stronger, and their chi and blood had improved. Finally, bone refining has been initiated. Su Yan was excited, and after five days of painstaking cultivation, he finally completed the first stage of bone refining. The next bone refining would be much smoother, and there wouldn't be any of those painful sensations of ants biting and sand rubbing. 
Only until the initial stage of refining the bones like copper would the pain reappear. I'm currently at the introductory stage of refining my bones like iron, but since I've started, the next quenching, up until refining my bones like bronze, will be easier. Su Yan was invigorated, as long as there was no more painful and difficult sensations when quenching, he would be able to last longer spending more time on cultivation. It's been almost a month since I came out, and now that I've been introduced to bone refining, I'm so strong that I'm not afraid of a hundred people surrounding me with my bare hands. It's time to go back for a trip, the gift of worship to my master turned out to be all for my cultivation, I should also buy some rare medicinal herbs and prepare another gift of worship for my master. Su Yan felt that although his master didn't care about his right of worship, but as a disciple, could he not ignore the right of honoring his master? With master's realm, rare and precious medicines definitely won't be in his eyes, after all, the precious medicines in the eyes of ordinary people are nothing more than mundane things. So what should I prepare as a gift to pay respects to the master? Su Yan fell into deep thought. Suddenly slapped his head, why am I so stupid, master doesn't care about any rare treasures at all, I just need to bring my mind to it, like gold, jade and other playthings, decorate master's house, master should like it. After thinking about it, Su Yan's entire body relaxed. Go outside and catch a hare, go to the creek and catch a fish, and make a hearty meal for master before you leave. Su Yan collected his strength and left the village to prepare the ingredients. Looking at the sumptuous table, Li Xian had a satisfied look on his face, this disciple is good. The food is getting more delicious and the dishes are becoming more varied. Master, it's been almost a month since I came out, and I want to go home. After the meal, Su Yan opened his mouth. Li Xian's heart thumped, when this kid goes back, once he talks about worshipping the master, won't I be exposed? He's not very good in the head, his parents and family, it's not like they're all bad in the head, right? However, if Su Yan was not allowed to go home, it was not justifiable, and it would instead cause Su Yan to be suspicious. After a little contemplation, Li Xian spoke, it's good to go back, but I have to advise you that the matter of cultivation must not be disclosed to anyone, including your parents, before you are introduced to it, do you understand? Yes, master, disciple will never mention cultivation-related matters to anyone else. Su Yan was stunned and immediately gave a solemn assurance. Master likes quietness, likes to keep a low profile and dislikes publicity, although I have accepted you as my disciple, I cannot mention my master before I have been initiated, I hope you can understand. Li Xian said with a serious expression. Yes, master, disciples will never mention you in the slightest before entering the gate. Su Yan respectfully assured. If I have not been initiated, it means that I am not destined to be with the master, the master made an exception and accepted me as a disciple, as a result, if I am unable to be initiated, it would be too degrading to the master's reputation, as a disciple, it is important to maintain the master's reputation. Su Yan was a bit ashamed in his heart, his talent was still a bit poor. If you are unable to make the entrance and degrade your master's reputation, will you not cause him to be ridiculed? As a disciple, one should take the honor, disgrace, and reputation of the master into account. Li Xian had intended to avoid exposing himself early and being recognized, so he instructed Su Yan not to mention himself, let alone mention anything about cultivation. Not realizing it, Su Yan engaged in self-brainstorming. The teacher naturally believes in you, you go back early, pay attention to safety on the road. Li Xian's face softened and he reminded again, this trip requires passing through 30 miles of evil themed forest, there are fierce tigers and ferocious beasts within it, so you need to pay more attention to it, so don't get hurt. The evil themed forest was too dangerous, and Su Yan alone, if he encountered a fierce tiger or beast, he was afraid that it would be difficult to survive. Li Xian could only give a reminder, and it was all up to Su Yan's luck as to whether he could safely cross over. Yes, master. Su Yan plopped to his knees and respectfully cowed out three times, saying, Master, if my disciple's time is as short as six or seven days, or as long as eleven or twelve, I will certainly come back to serve your old man. Have a heart. Seeing Su Yan so respectful, so honoring of his teacher in filial piety, Li Xian's heart was also a bit touched by this. This cheating and cheating, how to cheat out some feelings. Alas, indeed, I'm not a qualified liar, this is all forced. Li Xian was helpless in his heart. He really didn't want to cheat people, it was all because Su Yan's brain wasn't working well, he had to rush up to be cheated, and the gift given to pay respects to the master, it was also just a little too much. Su Yan is gone. Li Xian stood on the hillside at the entrance of the village, looking at Su Yan's distant back with a somewhat complicated expression. Let's hope he can cross the evil fiend forest safely, this stupid kid, ugh. Sighing until Su Yan's figure disappeared from sight, Li Xian returned to his residence. Lying in a chair under a big tree, I suddenly felt a little, lonely. Fuck. This is used to having disciples to serve, and suddenly being alone again, how can I feel bad? Li Xian slapped his face and couldn't help but burst out. Episode 10 The Apprentice Gets Bounced The first day after Su Yan left, Li Xian woke up early and went out, did not see the figure of the one who diligently cultivated, and there was no one to cook for, feed the chickens, planting vegetables have to do it by their own hands. Always feel uncomfortable. The day after Su Yan left, Li Xian began to be on edge again. This foolish disciple of mine, he won't die in the evil fiend forest, will he? He's been here twice now, safe and sound, so he should be fine this time too, right? On the fifth day of Su Yan's departure, Li Xian came to the hillside outside the village and looked out in the direction Su Yan had left, and didn't see anyone coming. The heart breathed a sigh of relief. Even if they were exposed and were coming to arrest me as a liar, they wouldn't have arrived so quickly. 
Will I be recognized or not? Alas, Su Yen, this silly boy has a bad brain, he comes from a not so bad background, there will always be someone with a good brain, right? If this is recognized, won't I be cold? Li Xian's heart was in turmoil and he was a bit worried. On the tenth day of Su Yen's departure, Li Xian looked out from the hillside, hiding and running once he realized that the situation was not right. This disciple, he wouldn't have died in the evil fury forest and not returned home, would he? Or, grounded. The more he thought about it, the more disorganized his heart became, Li Xian cursed, F asterisk CK. It's not like I had to lie to him, that's his own bad brain, how can I not be blamed? I'm a fucking mess, shame on me. Li Xian sighed, he, the traveler, was mixing too much shame. On the eleventh day, Su Yen finally returned. Master, disciple is back. Looking at the respectful and respectful Su Yen, who had come alone and there was no group of people who had appeared to tie him up as a liar, Li Xian let out a sigh of relief. Well, it's good to be back. His expression was indifferent, as usual, as if he had already known about Su Yan's return. Master, this is a small token of my disciples' appreciation. Su Yan placed the two long boxes on the table. Have a heart. Li Xian's expression was calm and unperturbed as he raised his hand to open a box. Inside was a sword with a golden scabbard, carved with auspicious clouds and beasts' patterns, and inlaid with red, white and blue treasure beads, nine in total. Baby. At a glance, it was worth a lot of money, Li Xian was excited in his heart, the silly disciple's background was even richer than what he expected. His face remained flat and seemingly unperturbed. Reaching for the sword in the box, it was a bit heavy. The two sides of the scabbard were even inlaid with nine treasure beads, a total of eighteen treasure beads were inlaid, just these eighteen treasure beads were worth a lot of money. On the hilt of the sword, two red jewels of a larger circle were set. Li Xian slightly drew his sword out of its sheath. A golden light surfaced in front of his eyes, it was a sword cast in gold all over. Return the sword to its sheath and put it back in the box. Li Xian's seemingly calm and unperturbed face was actually trembling with excitement in his heart. Getting rich, this sword can be passed down as a family heirloom, so I don't have to worry about escaping to Wu in the future. A slight hint of approval appeared on his face as he said, I am very happy that you have this heart, my master is very happy, although this sword is mundane, it is not bad to play with it for a moment or two. Su Yen was instantly excited when he heard this, and busily said, it's good that you like it, master. Master is worthy of being a reclusive master, such a valuable sword is not even the slightest bit moved, nearly feeling that he can play with it for a moment or two. The heart's admiration for the master was once again elevated. Li Xian opened the second box, inside it was a flawless jade ruler, his eyes lit up slightly, this jade ruler was a treasure at first glance. Nice. Nodding, Li Xian expressed his satisfaction. Master, I also brought some precious medicinal herbs with me. Su Yan said as he removed the package. Li Xian raised an eyebrow and said in his heart, he also realized that his body has become better after taking these rare tonics? Feeling favorable to cultivation? This tonic, as usual, you weigh and put. Li Xian took a look, there was no 9-leaf UNG or 1,000-year mountain ginseng, among them, there were two 5-leaf UNG and 300-year mountain ginseng, which were also rare medicinal herbs. Yes, master. Su Yan put the herbs away and began to clean up the house in preparation for cooking. Li Xian was satisfied in his heart, this disciple knew how to do things, as soon as he came back, he knew to get the job done. Hmm. What's going on? He's looking frustrated, what's wrong? Suddenly. Li Xian found that although Su Yan was working, he looked quite frustrated, and his heart couldn't help but thump, could it be that this time when he went home, someone had reminded him of it, making him somewhat suspicious? Or, perhaps, frustrated by not sensing qi and blood for a long time, not getting into the refining of the skin, and suffering a bit of a setback back home? We can't let him be disheveled, ah, uh, it's all come to this, if we don't continue to cheat, it's easy to fall. Must boost his confidence. Thinking so, Li Xian spoke, Disciple, what is the reason for your frustration? Is it something about cultivation? Su Yan's hand wiping the table lurched, and he said somewhat bereft, Master, it's not a matter of cultivation, it's that the apprentice, the apprentice went home this time, and was withdrawn from the marriage. Withdrawal? Li Xian froze and muttered in his heart, Retreat? Your name is Su Yan, not Xiao Yan, that's fine, it's impossible to back out, what a sad story. What's going on? Why did you withdraw from the marriage? Revealing the look of a master who cared for his apprentice, he asked. Su Yan looked dejected and hung his head, she said that I'm not good in the head and that it's too embarrassing to be with me. She's right, you're really not very bright. Li Xian muttered in his heart. Standing up, he patted Su Yan's shoulder, no matter what, he still had to comfort his disciple. You are my disciple, and withdrawing from the marriage is for her to have eyes. Master is right, that's what I thought. Then have you ever yelled, 30 years east of the river, 30 years west of the river, do not deceive the youth poor ah? Li Xian asked with a dry cough. Su Yan gave his master a puzzled look and said, Master, I'm not poor. Li Xian's eyebrows jumped as he felt his heart being stabbed. Immediately, he said with a serious face, Disciple, where are you not poor? Did the master say you are poor in terms of money? Nah. It's poor cultivation, it's poor strength, it's poor knowledge of martial arts. Su Yan immediately looked ashamed and said, Master is right to teach me a lesson, I'm poor, I'm very poor. 
Then he said, but don't worry, master, I didn't fall off my ambition, although I didn't yell a line about not fooling the youth, but I also said to her, today you satirize me, humiliate me, and abandon me, and in the future, I will make you regret it, and not be able to climb up to the top of the ladder. At the end of his words, Su Yen slightly raised his head, his eyes firm. The corners of Li Xian's mouth twitched as he muttered in his heart, this brat, why does he have the feeling of a son of Qi? It must be an illusion. Well, it's very good that you have this ambition, disciple. Li Xian saw Su Yan's eyes, there is still some disillusionment, so he added, withdrawal from the marriage is not a good thing for you, you have to know that after the setbacks, in order to be courageous. None of the ancient celestial prides have risen from setbacks. The path of cultivation is all about enlightenment, with a clear state of mind, the sense of enlightenment is self-evident. Patting Su Yan's shoulder, Li Xian said with a straight face, disciple, there is a saying, without a woman in your heart, you cultivate as if you have a god, you have been withdrawn from the marriage, without a woman in your heart and without thoughts, you are bound to have great refinement. Episode 11 Bronze bone comes full circle. Su Yan's spirit lifted as he muttered, No woman in your heart, cultivate like a god? Master, I'm somewhat enlightened, thank you for teaching me. A respectful salute. Master, the disciple has gone to cultivate. Well, go ahead. Li Xian nodded, some suspicion in his eyes, the silly disciple of mine, he won't really become heartless without a woman, all he thinks about is cultivation. Right? Sinful ah, I shouldn't have gotten high. Su Yan came to the place where he was practicing and set up his horse stance with a firm gaze. Master is right, it is only through setbacks that one can rise to the occasion. Without a woman in your heart, you can cultivate like a god, I understand master's deeper meaning, it is to substitute women for distractions, and for a man of my age, women are the biggest distraction. As long as I overcome this greatest distraction, then my mind will be free of external objects, my heart will be clear, my senses will naturally improve, and my cultivation will definitely be faster. The chi and blood ran, and the bone refining began. Su Yan suddenly had a flash of light in his mind, Master said that there is no woman in the heart, and that cultivation is like a god, is he reminding me that nowadays, my bone refining method has not actually comprehended the essence of it, which is why bone refining is so slow? Emphasizing comprehension and intention, I want to cast away distractions and keep my thoughts clear, to finally perceive the changes in qi and blood, to find the essence of bone refining, this is the deeper meaning of the master. Su Yan at this moment, conducted some brainstorming, and the more he thought about it deeply, the more he felt that master's words and actions all contained deep meaning. The master leads the door to cultivation, the master is a hidden master, the methods he teaches are all different from the common sense, the master focuses on enlightenment, always reminding me that I need to be more enlightened. Thinking of this, Su Yan began to finally perceive his own qi and blood, and finally perceived the changes in his bones, gradually entering a state of forgetfulness. There's something wrong here, the qi and blood are running slower, not seeping in deeply enough, not grinding strong enough, I should adjust it. The speed of bone refining has gotten faster, sure enough. Master is reminding me that I haven't mastered the essence of bone refining. I've come to my realization. This is the true method of bone refining. At a certain moment, Su Yan only felt that his qi and blood were running smoothly, the speed of bone refining increased greatly, and his qi and blood were strengthened with the bone refining. Without a woman in your heart, you can cultivate like a god, the master honestly doesn't deceive me. Su Yan was thrilled. At this rate, in five or six days, I'll be able to refine my iron bones. The golden bone shouldn't be a problem, I'll be able to match the ancient heavenly pride. Su Yan was immersed in his cultivation, forgetting both things and himself, and was no longer aware of the passage of time. Late afternoon. The village had begun to darken. Li Shen looked toward Su Yen who was in the middle of his cultivation, a trace of doubt flashed in his eyes, how did this kid forget the time? Also, he seems to have been staked out until now? No break in the middle? It can't be, right? Even if you're used to zigzagging every day, it's impossible to zigzag for so long without getting tired. It could have been when he was resting and I didn't notice. Li Xian was planning to tell Su Yen to wrap up his work and go make dinner. But on second thought, this silly disciple of mine, he was withdrawn from the marriage, his heart is hard to bear, he is using cultivation to dispel his sorrows, it's better not to disturb him, tonight he will cook and eat by himself. Sighing, Li Xian went to make his own dinner. Half a month later. Since Su Yan came back, Li Xian in this half month, resumed his leisurely life, what chores have Su Yan do, do not need to worry about him at all. The chickens are getting fatter and fatter, and the chicks are getting a whole lot bigger. Even kept a few hairs. Li Xian sighed in his heart, although cultivation was fake. Su Yan had also learned a lot of life skills. For half a month, Su Yan cultivated even harder. This persistent energy, Li Xian see all admire, also not good to hit him, can only from time to time to encourage a few sentences. Oblivious to the fact that Su Yan had already entered the bronze bone cultivation stage. As for Su Yan, this half-month cultivation, it is really like a god, the method of bone refining, again and again to understand, quenching speed further enhancement. With each of Li Xian's words of encouragement, he engaged in deep thought, and after a bit of brainstorming and self-supplementation, he was suddenly enlightened again. The method of quenching qi and blood was once again fine-tuned, and the speed of quenching the bones was once again increased. Every time this happened, he was thrilled, and the image of his master in his heart was no longer something that could be described as a simple reclusive master. Master is truly inscrutable. 
By the time I reach master's realm, I've already departed from traditional, ordinary teaching methods, and instead, all the time, I'm raising my enlightenment. Let me constantly realize the true meaning of cultivation and the meaning of it. Growing vegetables, cooking, raising chickens and rabbits, seemingly nothing more than ordinary chores, but they are able to relax my mind and soul after cultivation, allowing me to return to the state of an ordinary person instead of tightening up on the fact that I am a martial arts practitioner. No wonder master looks, like an ordinary person, this is what master said, returning to the basics, the way of nature. Master's realm is too high. Su Yin sighed in his heart, when would he be able to reach his master's realm? I've already tempered my copper bones, and I'm one step closer to my golden bones, in another half a month, I should be able to wade into the golden bones? According to master. Bronze bone to golden bone is a huge leap in metamorphosis, and it's not so easy to quench it. When I finish quenching the copper bones, I should also go back and see if I can buy, a precious medicine like the nine leaf UNG. Su Yen had made up his mind, after completing the bronze bone quenching, he would make a trip back home to see if he could find a precious medicine such as the nine leaf UNG to increase the probability of quenching out the golden bone. Ten days later. Su Yen's bronze bone was perfected. At this moment, when he was cultivating, he had already felt a bottleneck, as if his bone refining had reached its limit. He knew that he had encountered the golden bone bottleneck, and at this stage, he could only rely on talent, perseverance, and persistence. Most importantly, it is still enlightenment. With the aid of a precious medicine, the probability of a breakthrough will be higher. Su Yen was prepared to make another trip home to look for precious medicines to aid in his cultivation. Li Xian stood in the doorway, looking at Su Yen who was cultivating in the distance as he fell into deep thought. I don't know why, but I always felt that Su Yen had become a little less different. There seems to be an extra majestic martial energy? This silly disciple of mine, he wouldn't really have practiced anything, would he? No. Absolutely impossible, I made this up ah, uh, even if there really is a qi and blood martial way in this world, but I'm making up this cultivation method, how can I possibly practice it? It must have been a long time since I took the horse stance, so I look more steady and powerful. It had been so long since he had taken the horse stance, it was time for Su Yen to change his position. It's too monotonous to have a ponytail all the time. Mulling over what kind of new horse stance he should teach Su Yen, his mind drifted back to those martial arts practicing videos and drawings he had seen in his previous life. It doesn't need to be exactly the same, I'll just adjust my stance and teach it to my silly apprentice. Anyway, it's all made up and can't be practiced, it's just to continue to give the disciple a little bit of perseverance to keep practicing, the one year period is still early. It's the best outcome to be able to use the excuse that masters and disciples are not meant to be together. Thinking so, Li Xian beckoned for Su Yen to come over. Episode 12 Su Yen realizes the secret of making up Kung Fu. When Su Yen saw his master beckoning, he was instantly energized and came over excitedly. Master must have seen that I'm one step away from the golden bone and have encountered a bottleneck, this is to instruct me to break through the golden bone. Excitedly, he came before Li Xian and respectfully saluted, Master. Well, it's good that you can maintain your zeal and practice diligently. Seeing the excited Su Yen, Li Xian nodded his head in recognition of his diligent cultivation. In his heart, he exclaimed, people with bad brains are persistent, they can't cultivate anything, but they are also always single-minded and maintain their diligence, it's really rare. I have to say, this disciple is actually, really good, it's just that I'm not a high-ranking person. Although Su Yen was one-dimensional, his brain was not bright enough, and he was easily fooled, it had to be said that his pursuit of cultivation and persistence, this perseverance, was truly rare and valuable. You've been practicing for a while now, and you've been staking out your horse stance for a long time, so today master passes on stronger ones. Li Xian said with the appearance of a strict teacher. Thank you, master. Su Yen was excited, sure enough. Master is seeing that I've hit the golden bone bottleneck and is passing on a stronger method of tempering me. You watch. Li Xian said, bending his knees sideways, feet one in front of the other, slightly squatting, hands one up and one down, one in front of the other, the left hand stood in front of his belly, palm downward, the right hand curved his elbow to raise his palm shoulder high, palm upward. After posing, he looked at Su Yen and said, you next, take this horse stance, see? Su Yen followed his posture, set up his horse stance, and nodded, Master, I understand. Li Xian put away his posture and put one hand behind his back, saying, this is the basic posture, there are two lines of gong knacks, you feel it well, how much you can realize depends on your chance. It's too monotonous to simply teach a new horse stance, so make up another kung fu phrase. With this in mind, Li Xian slowly spoke, you should remember well, the merit formula is bright mind observe me nurture true intent, qi, and blood like dragons casting a golden body, you have to feel it well, if you can understand the merit formula, you will be able to appreciate the wonderfulness of it. After saying that, Li Xian carried his hands behind his back and leisurely left, showing the style of a senior teacher. As for Su Yen at this moment, his heart was agitated, and he muttered, bright heart observing me to cultivate my true intent, qi, and blood like dragons casting a golden body. When it's really subtle and extraordinary, I must feel it in detail. This must be a wonderful technique for tempering golden bones and even jade bones, if one comprehends the mysteries of it, one will certainly be able to temper golden bones. At this moment, Su Yen was completely immersed in the gong skill, forgetting himself. His mind was full of gong tips, reciting them over and over and over again, meditating on them, wanting to comprehend something from them. Only. Until it was late at night, he still hadn't been able to make any sense out of it. 
Too esoteric, I ask myself for bone refining, already have a very high sense, have a very deep understanding, surprisingly for a moment, failed to comprehend the depths of it. Indeed, as Master said, if I can understand the Kung Fu technique, I will be able to realize its subtleties. Su Yen, you'll definitely be able to do it, you'll definitely be able to understand the Kung Fu technique, and you'll definitely be able to temper the golden bone. Su Yen kept giving himself encouragement. The eyes are firm and not discouraged in the least. This is only less than a day, such a subtle technique, sense of three or five days, is also an unusual thing. Li Xian came out before going to bed to take a look, Su Yen, that stupid kid, was still standing there, reciting his blindly made up gong tips. This silly boy, he's not bewitched, is he? But don't get in over your head. So he spoke, it's late at night, time to go back to bed. Su Yen came back to his senses in a trance and bowed in a panic, yes, master. Li Shen nodded, the silly disciple was still listening to his master even though he was a bit bewitched, so there was not much of a problem. If he's really in a dead end, it's a big deal to just take a little bit of lip service and enlighten him. With this in mind, Li Xian went back to the house to sleep. Su Yen took a deep breath and said, sense lies in the timing, lies in the inspiration, forcing the opposite of the distance the farther away, almost fell into it cannot pull themselves out, since the chaos of the mind. Thanks to master for waking me up. Rest, refresh and restore your mind, and continue tomorrow. The gong skill is so arcane, it can't be comprehended overnight, three to five days should be almost enough to understand, my Su Yen's talent is not too bad. After Su Yen figured it out, he went to rest. Three days passed in the blink of an eye. Su Yen was practicing as usual, cultivating, planting vegetables and weeding, feeding chickens, raising rabbits, cooking, and so on, without the slightest change in his schedule. The only thing that has changed is the stance of the zigzag. As well, stuck at bronze bone perfection, never able to go any further. When he was practicing every day, he was feeling the two gong secrets, but he was never able to understand the mystery of them. It's been three days, and I can't believe I've found nothing. If I can't even comprehend the two lines of the Kung Fu technique, how can I temper the golden bones? How can I get started? This is only the merit skill of the basic realm, ah, uh, the merit skill after the introduction is bound to be even more mysterious, then how can I continue to cultivate? Calm your heart and mind, you can't be impatient. Master always said, don't be impatient, don't be overly ambitious, keep your feet on the ground, I must be missing something. Su Yen composed himself and quieted his mind. Master said, there is no woman in the heart, cultivation is like a god, this is a state of mind, this is breaking the biggest distraction in the heart, men who are bloodthirsty and vigorous are always easily attracted to women, disturbing their minds. Master's analogy of a woman to the biggest distraction in cultivation must have a deeper meaning, which means that master is waking me up to not indulge in distractions. What are my distractions? Su Yen brainstormed the phrase without a woman in your heart, you can cultivate like a god, extended his brain to come up with a series of esoteric meanings, and then fell into deep thought. If Li Xian had known that Su Yen was so good at brainstorming, he would have absolutely exclaimed that this was not a bad brain, it was a brain hole that was too damn big. My distraction is cultivation, the mind is cultivation. But is that a distraction? I am enlightened. Su Yen suddenly had a flash of light in his mind and realized once again. Cultivation is a quest, a belief, a will, and I'm just stuck on obsession, which in turn becomes a distraction. I should abandon the obsession of cultivation itself, and instead focus on the present moment, forgetting about external objects, forgetting about superfluous observations, nothing, no self, and devoting my whole body and mind to the gong skill to realize it in detail. At this moment, Su Yen, as if in his mind, a heavenly window had opened up, auroras appeared, and endless epiphanies surfaced. The true meaning of the two goni was at this moment as if it was shrouded in a thin veil, and it only required a gentle poke to break through the veil and see the true meaning that the veil was covering. Mingxin Guanma nurturing true intent, Mingxin is self-seeing, it is clearing the mind, Guanma is comprehending the qi and blood, observing the qi and blood, and scrutinizing the changes in oneself, and nurturing true intent, is the qi and blood being embedded in the bones, and embedded in the bone marrow, which makes the qi and blood metamorphose, and makes the bone marrow sublimate. I am enlightened. Su Yan's eyes shone brightly with an uplifted expression. Episode 13 The Knowledge of the Sensible Kung Fu Technique Su Yan's entire body was invigorated after he realized a phrase of the merit skill. You can't be in a hurry, the next sentence of the Kung Fu tips, can also be quickly realized, now it's time to cook, relax your mind, calm your heart, and devote yourself to cooking. Throw away the distractions of cultivation and be present. Su Yen withdrew his gong, his pace was brisk, and his entire essence looked different. At this moment, his thoughts were clear, and he actually had a sense of relaxation and openness. Master's every word and action has a deep meaning, ah. So it was only at this time that I realized the true meaning of Master's words, there is no woman in your heart, and you cultivate as if you were a god. I'm a bit foolish after all. Su Yen sighed and sighed in his heart. Li Xian's gaze was slightly puzzled, his own stupid disciple, why did he seem to be having some kind of happy event today? The pace is brisk, the look is cozy, the whole person has become energetic, without the previous kind of low, respectful attitude, back to a teenager, should have the spontaneous vitality. Could it be, that he feels that his cultivation has progressed? Sensing qi and blood? It's impossible, I made it up, how could I really sense qi and blood? Forget it, it's not bad for him to relax and take it easy, instead he doesn't have to worry that he'll hold it in for a long time and someday hold it in until his mind breaks down. 
With this thought, Li Xin felt that he should encourage his silly disciple to relax more and be in a better frame of mind, lest he cultivate for a long time and still achieve nothing, suffocating his spirit. So while eating, Li Xian spoke, you're in good shape today, keep it up and you'll achieve something. Yes, master, disciple understands. Su Yan's heart was excited as he received his master's approval, sure enough, his perception was right. Unfortunately, one is too stupid. It was not until now that I realized the master's deeper meaning. Aha! Li Shen nodded his head, the silly disciple was obedient to the teachings, which was good. Two days later. In Su Yan's mind, an aura once again appeared, instantly realizing the true meaning of the other phrase of the Gongfu. I understand. Qi and blood like a dragon casting a golden body is to condense the qi and blood like a dragon, coiling it around the body, coiling it around the bones, constantly wandering and circulating, it will surely be able to break through and quench the golden bones. In this instant, the method of tempering the golden bones became clear to Su Yan. Brightheartedly observing me to cultivate my true intent, my qi and blood are like dragons casting a golden body, so that's how it is. The qi and blood are contained in the bones, and quenched right into the bone marrow, while outside the bones, the dragons of qi and blood are then coiled around them, inside and outside, intertwined with each other, so that the bones can be further quenched. And in turn, harden the golden bones. Su Yan's eyes were excited, his fists clenched, indeed, it needs to be heavy on enlightenment and meaning, if master had directly pointed it out, even if I knew it but failed to realize the meaning, I wouldn't have been able to quench it and make a breakthrough. The only way to understand the true meaning of it is to be in the Kung Fu technique and to realize it for oneself. Taking a deep breath as his qi and blood surged, Su Yan began refining his bones. The mind converged, entering a state of forgetfulness, scrutinizing the flow of qi and blood, the operation of qi and blood, and identifying the deficiencies and flaws therein. The second rib, not quenched enough to be rounded, the left hand joint is quenched with defects, and there are weaknesses in both knees. As he physically inspected the qi and blood, and brightened his mind to observe me, Su Yan quickly discovered the shortcomings of Ji's bone refining. Although the copper bone has been perfect, however, around the body bones, is not as hard as one, there are always some parts, compared to some weak. Thus, Su Yen began to temper it once again, tempering the bones around his body as if they were one, with none of them being weak. Another three days later. Su Yen finally brought the copper bones to a truly perfected state, and his body was as one around him, without the slightest weakness. Without the slightest inconsistency in strength or weakness. The current me is the true bronze bone perfection. Next, it's time to quench the golden bone, I've already realized the golden bone quenching method, I'll definitely be able to quench it. One month, no more, one month at the latest, temper the golden bones. After refining the bones, it's time to refine the organs, you must be initiated within a year, otherwise your qualifications are too poor, how can you be worthy of being a master's disciple? Su Yan's gaze was firm. A year's worth of appointments, very soon in fact. The speed of refining the viscera would definitely be a bit slower than refining the bones. Master said, refining the dirty initial should be careful, do not self-injure the lungs. And the internal organs are fragile, the initial quenching, certainly not fast. One must seize the time to temper the golden bones in order to catch up with the cultivation initiation within a year. Moreover, Su Yen had a strength in his heart, the master had given a period of one year, but he couldn't really wait until one year to get started. The sooner you get started, naturally the better, and the happier your master can be. Su Yen continued to refine his bones, his qi and blood transformed into a wisp of mist-like vapor that continuously seeped into the bones, very slowly and with a very small amount of qi and blood, but this was just the beginning. As the qi and blood slowly seeped into the bones, the long-lost tingling sensation, once again, appeared. Su Yen gritted his teeth and didn't say a word, his gaze always firm. Finally, the bones around his body, all seeped into a wisp of qi and blood within, and slowly kept seeping inward, wanting to seep into the bone marrow. It's ready to go. Su Yen took a deep breath, and his body's qi and blood surged in an instant, transforming into a giant dragon that coiled around his body above the bones. His qi and blood vibrating, constantly squeezing the bones and constantly traveling and rubbing. And the qi and blood that had seeped into the bones, at the moment, also continued to seep in and nourish the bones, and under the combination of inside and outside, Su Yen finally realized that the originally stagnant bone refining had begun to show changes. With the quenching, the bones glowed with a faint golden color. Golden bone. After holding on for no more than half an hour, Su Yen felt himself reaching his limit and so the power was withdrawn. At the moment, he only felt hungry. The consumption of golden bone tempering is surprisingly so great. Su Yan was surprised. Those tonic medicines aren't quite potent enough anymore, unless it's a thousand-year mountain ginseng or nine-leaf yuanji. It's just that the thousand-year-old mountain involved in the nine-leaf yuanji was all eaten up. I've only slightly broken through the copper bone limit, and I'm far from completing even the first tempering of the golden bone, and it's surprising that I've enhanced it so much. If I were to perfect my golden bone, how powerful would I be? Su Yan's heart was shaken as he sensed his own improvement. The gong method passed down by the master was truly powerful and subtle. Master said that the golden bone has to go through nine qi and blood metamorphoses, I haven't even completed one, the strength of my bones, at least, has been enhanced by 30% if I complete a qi and blood metamorphosis. Su Yan didn't dare to imagine just how strong that was. The golden bones were buried in the ground for 10,000 years without decaying, still golden and harder than steel. You can see how powerful the golden bone is. 
This chi and blood metamorphosis ah, it must be more difficult than once, if I don't have the assistance of precious medicines, how can I complete it quickly? It's time to take a trip home. Searching for the precious medicine, there's no time to lose. Su Yin felt that his talent was not as good as the ancient pride, and if he did not have the assistance of precious pills, I was afraid that it would be difficult to complete bone refining quickly, and if he wanted to be initiated within a year, he had to have precious pills to assist in his cultivation to be able to do so. Li Shen looked at the sumptuous meal on the table, and knew that this silly disciple, was going home again. Still, I need to instruct him to keep a low profile, ah, don't give himself away. Silly apprentice brother is obedient, after instructing him, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. As soon as the one-year period is up, you'll be relieved. The fierce tigers and ferocious beasts in the evil fiend forest should be taken care of as well, this foolish disciple is so lucky that he didn't encounter any danger in his round trip. Li Xian sighed in his heart, he was just unlucky, the first time he left the village with the group, he was the only one who escaped back. After that, he never dared to take a risk or bet on luck that he could safely cross the wicked fury forest. Episode 14 The King of Tigers, the Ruddy Tiger Master, disciple wants to go home. Su Yan spoke respectfully. Aha! Li Xian nodded his head, his expression unchanged. The disciple will return in half a month at the latest. Su Yan breathed a sigh of relief and spoke again. Li Xian nodded his head and then spoke, I won't say any unnecessary words, master likes to keep a low profile, understand? Yes, master, disciple understands. Su Yan nodded solemnly. Seeing that the time was almost up, Li Xian slowly spoke, fierce tigers and beasts, with their vigorous qi and blood, are good body strengthening food, and for cultivation, they are beneficial. Su Yan's eyes lit up, and his heart immediately became excited, sure enough, quenching the golden bones. The consumption is not small, master reminded me that in addition to the precious pills, the tiger ferocious beast's blood and flesh is also a great tonic, which helps in cultivation. Nodding vigorously in excitement, he said, master, I know. For Su Yan's excitement, it was expected by Li Xian, and he sighed in his heart, the silly disciple ah, seeing hope once again, his heart is happy. Unfortunately, tonic is very tonic, but don't count on it if you want to cultivate and get started. Li Xian seemingly unintentionally reminded him, in the 30 miles of evil fiend forest, there are fierce tigers and ferocious beasts, you should pay more attention in your travels. At the end, he added, master likes tranquility and does not like disturbances, so don't make too much noise. There were fierce tiger beasts in the evil dead forest, and fierce tiger beasts' blood and flesh were beneficial to cultivation, so as long as Su Yan succeeded in passing through the evil dead forest this time, with his identity background, he would certainly lead hunters to hunt the fierce tiger beasts in the evil dead forest. Li Xian instructed him in advance not to let anyone come here to the small village and disturb his tranquility. As long as no outsiders came, there was less risk of being exposed and not being recognized as a fraud. Once the danger of the evil fiend forest was lifted, Li Xian could escape from the village at any time, and once there was a risk of being exposed, he could hurry up and bolt without being trapped in the village and not being able to go anywhere. Su Yan was excited in his heart at the moment, master is letting me, to hunt that fierce tiger beast, with my strength nowadays, it's already enough to hunt that kind of beast? Don't let the ferocious beasts run away and make a commotion to disturb master, so I must be dry and never make too much noise. Then it occurred to him, master, at this time, Letting me hunt ferocious beasts is actually honing me, allowing me to stimulate my qi and blood, skill my strength, and improve my control of my own power in fighting with ferocious beasts. Su Yan stood up, clenched his fists, and said excitedly, Don't worry, master, there will definitely not be any big commotion, and there will definitely not be any disturbance to your peace and quiet. Well, very well, master believes in you. Li Xian nodded in satisfaction. This silly disciple, still obedient and able to understand what he was expressing. Su Yan, however, was thrilled that this time, he had realized the deep meaning behind his master's words, and the trip to the evil fiend forest would definitely be rewarding. Perhaps it wouldn't take more than a month for him or her to be able to harden into a golden bone. Seeing Su Yan leave, Li Xian's heart was in turmoil, I hope that foolish apprentice brother, this time around, will also be able to safely pass through the evil fiend forest, and then lead the people to hunt down the tigers and ferocious beasts inside. In this way, I have avenged the tragic death of the villagers. As long as the fierce tigers and ferocious beasts in the Wicked Fury Forest were dead, the path away from the village would be safe, and as soon as they sensed the danger of being uncovered, they could immediately flee. Flee directly to Wu. Stay away from it. With Su Yan's gift of worship, they were all able to live a good life. Su Yan carried his long sword on his back and looked excited as he walked faster and faster, finally arriving at the Evil Fiend Forest. It wasn't the first time Su Yan had crossed the 30-mile Evil Fiend Forest, and more than once he had seen the corpses of beasts that had been gnawed away for the most part. A few trips back and forth with no danger. This time, he stepped into the evil fiend forest and didn't rush, but searched the dense forest. Since master said that, it means that with my current strength, wrestling a fierce tiger is no problem. Su Yan's qi and blood revolved, his muscles tensed, and his keen senses, alert to the surroundings, searched in the evil fiend forest. Up front. Suddenly, Su Yan heard light snoring. Easing his footsteps and approaching cautiously, finally a model tiger, was lying in the grass, resting. Even if he was separated by a distance of several feet, he was still able to feel the brawny aura of the tiger, as well as its strong flesh and plentiful qi and blood. Hiss. The moment he saw the tiger, Su Yan was surprised. This tiger, why is it so huge? 
He came from a family of great wealth, since childhood preferred to practice martial arts, more than once with a group of family guards, and some hunters hunting tigers. However, the fierce tigers hunted in the past were not as good as the one in front of him. This fierce tiger in the evil dead forest was more than twice as big. Spotted fur, looking even more menacing. No wonder my master asked me to come to the evil fury forest, so this one tiger, is not comparable to an ordinary tiger, its blood chi, is even more powerful. The blood, flesh, and bones are all great tonics, and will be of great benefit to me in quenching my golden bones. Su Yan's eyes revealed excitement, and he sighed in his heart, no wonder master had asked himself to come and hunt the tiger of the evil fiend forest, so this one tiger, it was unusual. Using this one tiger's blood, flesh, and bones, and pairing it with precious medicines, the effect will definitely be even stronger, enough to allow me to refine my bones and metamorphose more than three times. Many thoughts flashed through Su Yan's mind, bringing back this one tiger hunt and killing it, letting the pharmacist at home, paired with precious medicines to boil it down, would surely enhance its effect of assisting in refining the bones. Do not be careless. Now is the chance, take advantage of the opportunity to strike and instantly kill the tiger, it will not make a big commotion and will not allow the tiger to escape from the evil fiend forest. Su Yan's blood chi boiled, a heart beating as his powerful blood chi ran around his body. A muscle tensed and poised. Slowly drawing his long sword, he eased his footsteps and approached slowly. He was ready to sneak in. A sword kills a tiger. No swords. Su Yan suddenly thought of something, if you use a sword, won't you damage the tiger's skin if you decapitate it? This tiger skin, it's beautiful to look at, and stripped in its entirety, it's just the thing to give to master. Thinking so, Su Yan slowly put his sword down and clenched a pair of fists, his chi and blood surging and his muscles tensing, ready to fight this fierce tiger with his bare hands. The distance was getting closer, and the reclining and resting tiger suddenly shrugged its nostrils a few times. Snapping his head up, he looked backward. A human came into view. The tiger let out a low roar and was about to scamper up, while Su Yan, at this moment, saw that the tiger looked up, and that pair of eyes, which were crimson in color, were filled with the colors of tyranny and blood. Red-eyed tiger. Su Yan's heart was flabbergasted, this one fierce tiger, no wonder it was so huge in size, more than double the size of an ordinary fierce tiger. Surprisingly, it was the rumored king of tigers, the red-eye tiger. He had read in the book of words, rumor has it that there is a kind of fierce tiger, eyes like red fire, ferocious and brutal, like to eat people, even if the hunting team of a hundred people once encountered, it will certainly be killed and injured. This fierce tiger in the evil fiend forest turned out to be the rumored king of tigers, the red-eyed tiger. At the moment, it has been discovered by it. Su Yan's chi and blood surged and without waiting for the red-eye tiger to scurry up, he fiercely pounced on it. Episode 15 Killing a Tiger with His Bare Hands The Richest Man in Donghua County A tiger's whistle rang out from the wicked fury forest. Su Yan had already pounced on the red-eyed tiger, his chi and blood running, his strength exploding as he fiercely blasted his fist on the red-eyed tiger's head. The red-eye tiger, who had just stood up and was ready to go on a rampage, was dazed by this punch, and his limbs went limp and he slumped down again. The red-eyed tiger was stirred out of its ferocity, roaring, shaking its head, wanting to roll over and roll to throw Su Yan away, a pair of tiger claws poised to strike. Su Yan's strike was successful, naturally, he would not stop there, grabbing the rear erect neck of the red-eyed tiger with one hand, another punch blasted on the red-eyed tiger's head. Once again, the red-eyed tiger was smashed to the ground. The red-eyed tiger deserves to be the king of tigers, after taking two punches from me, it's still able to struggle. Su Yan was shocked in his heart. One must know that although he had not tempered the golden bones, he had also broken through the limit of the copper bones, and the strength of his flesh was so strong that it was difficult for a sword to injure him. Under the eruption of chi and blood, opening monuments and breaking rocks was easy. Such a terrifying punch had failed to smash the red-eye tiger to death, so it was evident that the red-eye tiger was tough. Die for me! Su Yen threw another punch at the red-eye tiger's head. This punch directly smashed the red-eye tiger's head, into the earth. Red-eye tiger limbs planing the ground, want to struggle up, tail in all directions sweeping and flinging, issued a snapping sound, the force of the strong, ordinary people get hit, I'm afraid that half a day cannot climb up. So resistant to a beating? Su Yen shouted. His chi and blood seemed to explode at the limit at this moment, only to feel a wave of chi and blood wrapped around his fist, vaguely visible fist became a circle larger. Die for me. This punch ruthlessly slammed into the back of the red-eye tiger's neck. Click. Only a click was heard, the sound of bones breaking. The red-eyed tiger let out a hiss of pain, its head dropping into the dirt, it couldn't even lift itself up, its limbs twitching as if it had lost its strength. Su Yan's punch directly smashed the red-eyed tiger's neck bone. This is dead, isn't it? Although only a few punches were thrown, each punch catalyzed an explosion of chi and blood, especially the last punch, which exploded to the extreme. Su Yan wiped the beads of sweat from his forehead and gasped as he got off the tiger. At this moment, the red-eyed tiger let out a low roar, its body twitching, and it looked like it was not going to live. I, with my bare hands, killed the king of tigers. Su Yan raised both fists, his eyes wild with fervor. He felt like he hadn't had his fun yet. So much for the king of tigers. This is the true martial way, whereas I am already this strong even before I've been initiated, how powerful will I be once I'm initiated? A beast like the red-eye tiger can be broken with a single punch, right? 
At this moment, Su Yan's heart for martial arts became more and more determined, his eyes wild and full of yearning. Picking the sword back up and hanging it on his waist, the red-eye tiger was already broken, he directly carried the red-eye tiger and left with a big stride. Go to the town to take care of it, and then hurry back to Donghe County, so that the pharmacist can match it with precious medicines and boil it down to enhance the nourishing medicinal power. Su Yan had an uplifted look on his face, he would definitely be able to temper the golden bones, and compare himself to the ancient celestial pride. And would never let his master down. Donghe County, one of the 26 counties of Qi. To say that the East River County city streets and alleys, the people's most talked about things, no more than the East River County, the richest Su family son, the large county up to the dignitaries, down to the common people, and even the street beggars, who do not know, who does not know, the richest family son is a martial arts fanatic. Not only is he a martial arts nerd, he's also a douchebag. After reading the biographies of the words, he was surprisingly convinced that there were hidden masters in the world, and he was going to seek them out to worship them and learn the true way of martial arts. There are bold people, posing as a senior to cheat, and finally be uncovered brutally beaten, sent to jail, and over time, no one will dare to pretend to be a senior to cheat. However, the son of the richest family was not willing to do so, and began to wander around, saying that he wanted to seek a high person to learn the supreme martial arts. Last month, the son of the richest man in the world was disowned. It was a sensation all over the city, and the sneers were many, and they all thought it was a good idea to withdraw from the marriage. The woman is not an ordinary people's family, but the Qianjin of Jiang Pingshan, the great general of the East River of Qi, which actually belongs to the high climbers for the Su family. This marriage contract was still set by Su Yan's grandfather and the great general of Donghe. To say that the East River County legend, the richest Su Juanha absolutely on the list, from a mediocre background, but quite a means of business, the most incredible thing is that he married the former East River County Sheriff, the current ministry of Minister Guo Rongshan's daughter. It was also with this layer of relationship, coupled with Su Juanha's business tactics, that he soon became the richest man in Donghe County. As it turned out, his only son was not up to the task. Not only did he not have the ability to do business and was full of martial arts, but he was also unable to maintain his marriage contract with the East River General's house. Rumor has it that when the daughter of the East River General's residence came to the door to withdraw from the marriage, the Su family's son even more wildly said that he would make the daughter of the East River General's residence regret that he could not afford to climb up the ladder. This statement was reduced to a joke in East River County. A mere merchant's family is lucky to be able to climb into the general's house, but how dare you say that you want to make the general's daughter unapproachable? If it is not behind the Su family, is the Ministry of Ministry of Justice, Guo Rongshan, the words, the East River General I am afraid that will go to the door to copy the family. And it is precisely because of this layer of Guo Rongshan relationship and Su Juanha with heavy gifts to apologize, only to resolve the anger of the East River General Jiang Pingshan. A horse pulling a crate and walking down the east side street drew a lot of stairs. The goods on the crate, wrapped in a sheet of burlap, could not be seen what was loaded, and the attention of the people on the street was not on the goods, but on the teenager who was driving. Su Juanhai is also a character, how did he give birth to such a son? There's no one left to follow in the footsteps of the Su family's vast fortune. That's not necessarily true, Su Juanhai is still young, if his son can't do it, his grandson might be able to? If you married the general's daughter, it would naturally be feasible, but nowadays. It's hard to say. A lot of people on the street were talking. There were those who lamented and those who gloated. There are also those who despise it. Su Yen turned a deaf ear, these comments had not been a day or two, if it was before, he would still be angry, but now he was disdainful. Just a bunch of frogs at the bottom of a well. Do you know the vastness of heaven and earth and the power of the martial arts? When I have achieved great success in my martial arts, not to mention the merchants and the people, even the high and mighty emperor will not be able to meet my eyes. The daughter of a general is a big deal? When I've achieved great success in my martial arts, even a royal princess won't be in my sight. If you say you'll let her get high, you'll definitely let her get high. At this moment, Su Yan's eyes were arrogant, his gaze determined, and he believed that it wouldn't take long for this day to arrive. The red-eye tiger, the king of tigers, was enough for him to quickly refine his golden bones. It is comparable to the ancient heavenly pride. The Su family, the richest family in Donghe County, was a luxurious mansion located on the East City Street, near the county government office. There were no less than a hundred household servants and guards. There is no lack of Jianghu masters in the guards, flying over the eaves and walls, opening the monument and breaking the stone in no time. At this moment, the inner courtyard of the Su family, the mistress of the Su family, the daughter of the imperial minister, Su Yan's mother is a sad face, his own stupid son, a month without news. Episode 16 They're so weak, they can kill one with one punch. Husband, Yenner hasn't been heard from for a month, I'm really worried. Mother Su said with a worried look on her face. Su Juanha, the richest man in Donghe County, is nearly 40 years old, still visible as a handsome young man. And he also has a headache look on his face at this moment. Ma'am, Yenner must be strictly disciplined, he can't be indulged any further, you, you can't spoil him like that. Husband what are you talking about, I only have this one son, if I don't spoil him, who will I spoil? Mother Su said with a disgruntled look on her face. I? Su Juan Ha sighed. Just then, the maidservant hurriedly ran in, Master, ma'am, young master he's back. Yenner is back? With a look of surprise on her face, Su's mother hurriedly walked outside, mumbling, has he lost weight or gotten darker? 
No injuries, right? Su Juan has sighed and followed behind with a stern face. Where's apothecary pan? You guys be careful and move it in, I'm going to do it myself. Su Yen was directing his family members to move the red-eye tiger into the slaughterhouse, ready to do it himself and skin the tiger. On the one hand, he asked the family man to find the pan Yakushi, who was enshrined in the house. What kind of tiger is this? How come it's so big? Even though it's dead, I still feel weak in my legs standing in front of it. Several of the Su family's guards and retainers were all shocked as they looked at the corpse of the red-eye tiger. Even if he had already died, yet standing in front of the red-eyed tiger, there was still a feeling of fear and weakness in his legs. Even the few guards who practiced martial arts were considered good and had hunted tigers, yet standing in front of this giant tiger, there was still a feeling of uneasiness from the bottom of their hearts. A few guards, lifting the stretcher, walked the red-eyed tiger towards the slaughterhouse. Yenner, come let mother see, have you lost weight? Mother Su's doting voice came. Mother. Seeing his mother, Su Yen instantly became well-behaved. Dad. Su Juan has slashed his face, still know how to go home? As soon as he opened his mouth and prepared to reprimand a few times. Mother Su was instantly disgruntled, saying, Husband, Yenner has just returned, so put away your temper. I? Su Juan ha held his breath in his heart and couldn't let it out. One could only glare at Su Yen with a hard look, admonishing him with a harsh look. Su mother pulled Su Yen, look at the right and left, there are thin and not black, but rather a lot of strong, see sun outside did not suffer, a heart suddenly loosened. Yenner ah, you. Suddenly seeing the red-eyed tiger on the stretcher, he let out a cry of surprise and said, Yenner, this giant tiger, did you go hunting for it? Mother Su had a nervous look on her face at the moment. Mother, I bought this. To avoid his mother's worry, Su Yen could only lie. Even more so, he didn't dare to say that he had killed this red-eyed tiger with his own hands. Bought it, that's good, that's good. Mother Su breathed a sigh of relief. As long as the problem is solved with money, then there is no danger, and as long as the baby boy doesn't take any chances, it's worth any amount of money spent. Su Juana looked at the red-eyed tiger and trembled with fear, this giant tiger was too appalling, even though it was dead, it still gave people a sense of oppression. It's not like he hasn't seen a tiger before. Also hunted. However, this one giant tiger was extraordinary, and even though it was dead, it still had a deterrent presence. What kind of tiger is this? Never seen it before. Su Juanha opened his mouth doubtfully. Master, we haven't seen it either. A few of the guards also shook their heads. Father, this is the king of tigers, the red-eyed tiger. Su Yen opened his mouth. A red-eyed tiger? Su Juanha was puzzled, having never heard of it. Looking to a few of the guards, those guards shook their heads as well. One of the family members spoke up, Master, the red-eyed tiger is from the talking books, saying that it is a legendary king of tigers. Su Juan his face instantly darkened, and he glared fiercely at Su Yen, saying, How can one believe in the stuff of words? Although the giant tiger was appalling, yet he didn't believe that it was something written in the words, and only thought that it was just a relatively rare fierce tiger. Su Yen didn't argue, he knew his father, wouldn't believe it. The rest of us won't either, believing it's something from a talking book. The guards carried the red-eyed tiger into the slaughterhouse, and Su Yen accompanied his mother for a while before going to the slaughterhouse to skin the tiger himself. Red-eyed tiger, worthy of being the king of tigers, I'm afraid an ordinary person with a sharp knife in his hand won't be able to pierce through the tiger's skin. Su Yen sighed. Apothecary Pan came and marveled at the sight of such a huge tiger. At Su Yen's request, he had picked dozens of precious tonic herbs from the Su family's medicinal storehouse, most of which were precious medicines that tonify qi and blood, and used them to match with the red-eyed tiger's blood, flesh, and bones to brew the tonic medicine. Su Juan had paced seemingly unintentionally, glanced at, and disposed of, the tiger's corpse, and spoke indifferently, Apothecary Pan, the tiger whip remembered to dispose of it properly. Pan Yakshir panicked and piled up a smile, nodding his head, Master, don't worry, with this one tiger king's whip, half of it will be boiled down to make a tiger king's wine, and the other half will then be paired with the precious medicine to make the great young medicine pill, so that even if you are old and gray, your virility will still be intact. Su Juan had nodded his head in satisfaction and said, Well, if Apothecary Pan needs any precious medicines, just ask. Su Yen, on the side, couldn't help but open his mouth, Father, this Tiger King whip. I still have it. He's going to offer it to his master. Su Juan had glared at him and said angrily, Do you think, this is what father needs? Your grandfather is not young and is busy with his official duties, so he is in need of this nourishing medicine. Your grandfather loves you so much, don't you know how to be filial? Su Yen opened his mouth, and in the end, he could only recognize his old man's handling of the Tiger King's whip. With Master's cultivation realm, he can't look at the Tiger King's whip, and this item is only not elegant, in case Master doesn't like it, wouldn't that be a bad thing? Thinking so, Su Yen felt that it was better to give the tiger skin to his master. Oomph. Seeing that he had disciplined his son, Su Juan ha paced away. Apothecary Pan caught up, Master, do you really not need it? I was going to use the Tiger King's whip and boil up a bottle of medicine with a weaker potency, more suitable for your lordship's age. Su Juan had patted Apothecary Pan's shoulder and said, Old Pan ah, although Master I don't need it, but it can be given away, like some of my fellow businessmen of Master's age, may perhaps have some need for it, so just do what you think. 
Apothecary Pan glanced at him suspiciously, and without pointing it out, nodded his head and said, I see, I know what to do. That night, Suhasa Joyful, Mrs. Happy Today, issued a reward money, but also organized a banquet, the people are happy, eat as much as possible. That foolish young master of our own family, after being out for a month, had finally returned. Also bought back a giant tiger, said to be the king of tigers. In the inner courtyard of the Su family, a pot of tiger king meat was cooked, and after the Suju and couple ate a small bowl, they couldn't eat anymore. Su Yen, by himself, ate most of the pot of tiger king meat. Some of the remaining ones were rewarded to a few of the family's guardian masters. These few guardian experts, who were also first-rate experts in the Jianghu, were hired by Su Juanha from several Jianghu sects. Nowadays, these few Jianghu experts were no longer in Su Yan's eyes. Think they're too weak. You can kill one with one punch. Of course, when he was young, he had studied martial arts with these guys and was still on good terms. After eating the tiger meat, Su Yan returned to his residence, where no outsiders were allowed to enter without his permission. This is where he practiced. After the last time I returned, remodeling was done and a secret room was added. 17th Episode 5 Transformations, Golden Bone in Sight In the secret room, Su Yan set up his horse stance and began to refine his bones. As the gong skill ran, the qi and blood boiled and warmed around the body, and the qi and blood unexpectedly began to grow. The dragons of qi and blood that coiled around the bones of the body appeared to be even larger, and when they swam around the bones of the body, the power of grinding was even stronger. Sure enough, the red-eyed tiger is the king of tigers, containing a huge amount of qi and blood. Su Yan ran his qi and blood and began to quench it. The quenching speed has increased dramatically. With the qi and blood running, inside and outside merging, and under the constant refining, the copper bones began to glow with a faint golden color. It was a sign of metamorphosis towards the golden bone. When the tonic medicine paired with the red-eyed tiger boiling comes out, the speed of bone refining will continue to increase. At the current rate, in five days at the latest, I'll be able to complete my first metamorphosis. The golden bone tempering requires nine metamorphoses before it can be perfected. It can still be faster. The gong skills I understand today may not be all, I should continue to understand. Only then can we complete the tempering of the golden bones faster. Su Yan's gaze was firm as he entered the stage of forgetting things, continuing to comprehend the gong skills while tempering his bones. On the following day, Su Yan obtained the tonic medicine brewed by apothecary pan, as well as the processed tiger skin, and returned to the secret room to cultivate. Sure enough, the quenching speed is faster. More precious medicines must be purchased, more tonics that greatly strengthen the qi and blood. Su Yan was excited, according to the current rate of quenching, in another day and a half, he might be able to complete the first golden bone metamorphosis. After he finished cultivating, he found the manager of the Su family's merchant house and asked him to go and acquire precious pills. Money doesn't come from the wind, what are you doing buying so many precious medicines? During lunchtime, Su Juanha caught Su Yan and reprimanded him. The family's arsenal of medicines, all of them have been pretty much used up by you, where did that nine-leaf UNG go? Where did the thousand-year-old mountain ginseng go? You loser, are you going to piss off my father? Where in the world can you find so many precious medicines? If you let someone go and acquire them, and this gets out, won't others raise the price? If others know that it's you silly boy who wants to acquire it, won't they still sit on the ground and raise the price? Being lectured not once or twice, Su Yan also knew that his move would bring some losses to his family, but now that the martial arts path was in sight, even a greater price had to be paid. The district is just losing some money. As long as he could be initiated into martial arts and truly become a disciple of his master, what was the loss of a little money? Su Yan looked at his own mother with a pleading gaze. Mother! Su Juanha was so angry that his face turned green, and said angrily, Don't look for your mother for everything, I'll have the final say in this matter. Why are you so loud, you're scaring Yenner? When Mother Su saw her baby son's pleading gaze, she instantly softened, glaring at her husband with a disgruntled look on her face. I? Su Juanha nearly spat out a mouthful of old blood. Oh ma'am, you can't. Su's mother frowned and said, Husband, a little money, Yenner likes it on the line, could it be that our family can't even take out this amount of money? That's naturally not. What's the small amount of money in the district? Wouldn't that be nice, do you only have money in your eyes? That's our son. I? Su Juanha was deflated. Better mother. Su Yan hemmed and hawed. Su Juanha blew his beard and eyes out, and could only acquiesce to Su Yan's high-priced acquisition of precious pills. The first golden bone metamorphosis is about to be completed. Su Yan only felt the giant dragon of qi and blood, coiling around the bones around his body, while the qi and blood that had seeped into the bones had been contained into the bone marrow. A tingling sensation came, and at a certain moment, there was a loud bang as the dragon of qi and blood surged into the bones and entered the bone marrow. In an instant, Su Yan only felt a huge surge of qi and blood, the blood around his body seemed to be newborn, and his entire body seemed to be in a state of sublimation. Qi and blood are renewed and old blood is expelled. First Golden Bone Metamorphosis As the qi and blood became stronger and stronger, a layer of sticky, dark purple old blood emerged from his entire body, as if he was sweating. At a certain moment, the whole body relaxed all of a sudden, and the bones around his body turned a light golden color. Su Yan felt that he had become stronger. 
If he were to kill the red-eye tiger with his current strength, he would be able to blow its head off with a single punch. Is this the golden bone? Su Yen clenched his fists, his body filled with power, his chi and blood growing more than twice as large. Moreover, he felt that his chi and blood were much purer and stronger today. Nine metamorphoses and a perfect golden bone, and how powerful it should be. Su Yen was filled with anticipation. My body is so dirty, go wash it, is this considered blood exchange? Exhausting impurities from the chi and blood, making the chi and blood more pure? So that the foundation of martial arts is stronger and purer. The ancient heaven's pride in master's mouth may be due to purity. Su Yen had some clarity in his heart at the moment. It's not just the purity of qi and blood, but also the purity of the heart of martial arts, the clarity of mind, pure and flawless. I'm not far from the ancient heavenly pride. Su Yen came out of the secret room and changed his clothes, washing away the dirty blood on his body. The twelfth day back in the Su family. In the secret room, Su Yen's body was like sweat as a faint layer of red tainted blood surged out. This is the fifth metamorphosis. Su Yen's eyes revealed an excited glow, these days, he had relied on the tonic medicine boiled by the red-eyed tiger, as well as another lucid understanding of the gong technique, causing the speed of quenching to increase once again. Now it's the fifth metamorphosis. The bones around his body had turned a golden color. It wasn't far from nine metamorphoses and truly hardening into a golden bone. Moreover, with the fifth metamorphosis, there was no more tainted blood discharged from the body. The qi and blood were nearly completely pure. With my current strength, even if it's the top expert in the Jianghu today, I'll still be able to kill them with one punch. Su Yan was invigorated. As far as he currently knew, the martial arts masters in the Jianghu today were all too fragile for him. One punch and you're dead. This was true even for those who were notoriously powerful. Can't be proud, quit being arrogant, there must be other martial arts powerhouses in this world, they're just very deeply hidden, perhaps not showing their tracks in the mundane world. Su Yan admonished himself in his heart. It's time to go back tomorrow. This time, I acquired some precious medicines, and the medicine boiled by the red-eye tiger, which I haven't finished yet, if I can understand the deeper level of the arcana of the gong knack again, the speed of quenching should be able to be increased again. Su Yan walked out of the secret room to prepare for his return to the small mountain village tomorrow. Tomorrow will be half a month, my stupid apprentice, should be coming back, right? Li Xian stood on the hillside, sighing and lamenting. Once the silly apprentice was gone, he had to work on everything himself, and his little life was not very leisurely. The fierce tigers and ferocious beasts in the evil fury forest should have been killed, right? Assuming, of course, that my foolish apprentice brother is able to leave successfully without folding in the evil fiend forest. Li Xian was still more or less worried in his heart. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like my body, like it's gotten a little stronger. The effect of the precious medicine, is it really that strong? In this half a month, Li Xian felt that his body, again, had become a bit stronger and more powerful. At one point, I wondered if I had a hidden plug-in. As it turned out, it was pure overthinking. It was finally concluded that it was the effect of those precious medicines that Su Yan had brought with him. He sighed in his heart. The nourishing power of this world's precious medicine is really not bad. Episode 18 A first-rate kung fu master, killed by one punch. Su Yan rode his high horse away from the city, with two large parcels hanging on his horse's back, each containing the precious medicines needed for cultivation, as well as the precious red-eyed tiger skin. Silly son of the Su family, this is another trip to seek out a higher power. Look at that, it's a heavy gift to seek a high person nah. Seeing Su Yan ride past, murmurs ensued. The stupid son of the richest man's family, this is another quest to find a higher power. For a while, it became the topic of conversation for the people of the county, again. Su Yen disdained these remarks, he was proud in his heart. How can a bunch of frogs at the bottom of a well know the vastness of heaven and earth? After leaving the city, the first time Su Yen found out about his family's guards secretly following him, it must be that his parents were afraid that he would be in danger when he went out, so they let the guards secretly protect him. The strength of these guards was too poor, with his strength, if they were all in danger, these guards, not to mention rescuing people, I'm afraid they would be killed cleanly in a single glance. After leaving the city for a dozen miles, Su Yen spurred his horse and quickly entered a forest, slightly using a little method to get rid of his family's guards. Only after making sure that no one was following him did Su Yen return to the small mountain village. The master does not like to be disturbed, so no one should know about the master's hermitage and disturb the master's peace and quiet. The small town outside the mountain village was already in sight, and Su Yen was prepared to take a break in the small town before heading into the mountains to the small mountain village. Suddenly, a figure arrived from the rear, leaping up and landing firmly in front of the horse, blocking the way. Su Yen frowned, judging from the other party's agile stance, he was already a first-rate expert in the Jianghu, and it looked like the visitor was not good. He he, Su family's kid, finally found you, a certain person also no nonsense, put down the precious medicine, spare your life. The person who blocked the way, 40-ish years old, his legs and arms were different from the norm, longer and thicker than an ordinary person, yet his torso appeared to be thin and small, and he did not look well-coordinated, the whole person looked thin and tall. Su Yen rode on his horse, looking down at the other party with contempt in his eyes, with you? Seek death. A cold light flashed in the tall and thin man's eyes as he rose up in the air and attacked Su Yen's face with a palm. 
Su Yen, who was riding on his horse, didn't even frown, feeling the power of the other party's palm, but didn't give it a second thought. Qi martial artists, although they were able to open monuments and crack rocks, which was not bad for ordinary people, however, for Su Yen, who had been exposed to the real martial arts, these were just mundane martial arts. The upper limit is extremely low and the destructive power is extremely weak. Although he had yet to be initiated into the martial arts, yet he had already had his bones metamorphosed five times, and was not far from tempering a true golden bone. The power of qi and blood was not comparable to that of a mere first-class martial artist. Even if he stood still and let the other party chop and slash, Su Yen was confident that he would remain unharmed. Facing the tall and thin man's palm, Su Yen coldly shouted, Get lost! Raise your hand and throw a punch! Clashed with the other's palm. The tall and thin man revealed a sinister gaze, with his own sinister palm power, it was enough to break the Su clan brat's arm. And then with a smooth slap, he would be able to take his little life. The precious medicine is yours. This was a valuable treasure medicine that could be exchanged for a large sum of money. However, when the fist and palm collided, the tall and thin man's face instantly changed wildly, his palm was even like papier-mâché and instantly collapsed, the powerful and incomparable force directly shattered his arm. The punch did not stop and directly blasted onto the tall and thin man's chest. The tall and thin man flew out backwards, his chest collapsed, his bones shattered, his internal organs thinned out, and he was killed instantly. Having killed a first-rate Jianghu expert with a single punch, Su Yan revealed a revitalized look. Too weak. Like a grasshopper, one punch and you're dead. He hasn't even pushed hard enough. This is the true martial way. Su Yan eyes wildly incomparable, his own golden bone is not yet, martial arts has not been introduced, first-class masters in his hands, as if paper mache general, the difference between heaven and earth but as such. If I were to enter the martial arts, I would be invincible to Qi, and it would not matter if one person were to defeat an army of 10,000. Even if you are a high and mighty emperor, what is it? At this moment, Su Yan's fervent blood was stirring, his eyes were fervent, and his heart to cultivate became more and more determined. I must be initiated within a year, truly worshipping under master and practicing the supreme martial way. After killing the first-rate expert blocking the way with a single punch, Su Yan continued to rush. We can't give away the trail, the horse is not to be ridden, it can be easily tracked. Su Yan sulked and dismounted. Looking at the mountains not far away, a slight pause gave him an idea. He bent down at once and shouldered the horse. Ma! Carrying his horse, Su Yan entered the mountain forest with a big stride and began to make a detour to erase the traces along the way before heading to the small mountain village to avoid being tracked down. It wasn't until after they had passed through the wicked fury forest, his chest collapsed, his bones shattered, his internal organs thinned out, and he was killed instantly. Having killed a first-rate Jianghu expert with a single punch, Su Yan revealed a revitalized look. Too weak. Like a grasshopper, one punch and you're dead. He hasn't even pushed hard enough. This is the true martial way. Su Yan eyes wildly incomparable, his own golden bone is not yet, martial arts has not been introduced, first-class masters in his hands, as if paper mache general, the difference between heaven and earth but as such. If I were to enter the martial arts, I would be invincible to Qi, and it would not matter if one person were to defeat an army of 10,000. Even if you are a high and mighty emperor, what is it? At this moment, Su Yan's fervent blood was stirring, his eyes were fervent, and his heart to cultivate became more and more determined. I must be initiated within a year, truly worshipping under master and practicing the supreme martial way. After killing the first-rate expert blocking the way with a single punch, Su Yan continued to rush. We can't give away the trail, the horse is not to be ridden, it can be easily tracked. Su Yan sulked and dismounted. Looking at the mountains not far away, a slight pause gave him an idea. He bent down at once and shouldered the horse. Ma! Carrying his horse, Su Yan entered the mountain forest with a big stride and began to make a detour to erase the traces along the way before heading to the small mountain village to avoid being tracked down. It wasn't until after they had passed through the wicked fury forest that they put their horses down, remounted, and hurried to the small mountain village. Su Yan had finally returned, and had brought a large package of medicinal herbs with him. What made Li Xian even happier was the huge tiger skin. Looking at the variegated colors, Li Xian was almost certain that this was the same vicious tiger from the evil fiend forest. The threat of the evil fiend forest had finally been eliminated, and he himself was considered to have avenged the tragic deaths of the people in the village. Master, I killed this red-eyed tiger in the evil fury forest without making a big noise. Su Yan said respectfully. Good. Good. Well done. Li Xian was happy in his heart and praised with his mouth, quite satisfied with Su Yan's trip. Master is finally satisfied with my performance, now that my bones have metamorphosed five times, I'm not far from quenching out the golden bones, Master also thinks that this bone refining speed of mine is good, right? Su Yan was happy to receive a compliment. It's all because Master taught me well. Li Xian carried the tiger skin in his hand, the more he looked at it, the more he liked it, this tiger skin was worth a lot of money, it was good to use as a family heirloom. This silly apprentice is still very reliable in his work. Thinking so, Li Xian opened his mouth and encouraged, cultivate well and feel good, you will definitely achieve something. Yes master, disciple will never let you down. Su Yan was thrilled. Seeing his excited look, Li Xian sighed in his heart, the silly disciple is really good at cheating ah, a little encouragement and it's just like having chicken blood. 
Very well, the master believes in you. Li Xian nodded, then added. The grass in the vegetable garden, it's growing again, so you should get rid of it. The silly apprentice is back, and it's time to go clean up the weeds that have accumulated in the vegetable garden. Another person to serve, and a small life to live again. Ha! Huh? Su Yin froze, he had just returned, why did he have to go weeding? Li Xian said with a serious face, for the teacher to view you are restless, remove the weed, quiet mind, conducive to enlightenment, conducive to cultivation. Yes, master, disciple understands. When Su Yin heard this, his heart suddenly dawned on him, and at the same time, he was a bit ashamed, master always taught that one should be calm and quiet, and that one should refrain from arrogance and impatience, and after killing a first-rate expert with a single punch, he became quite impetuous. It really shouldn't. Master's eyes are as discerning as a torch, he saw at a glance that my mind was restless, and told me to go weed and meditate and settle down in order to refine my bones more efficiently. Su Yen, who just came back, was sent to weed, Li Xian sighed and sighed, the silly disciple is too good to be fooled. Episode 19 Su Yen has refined his golden bones. So this is the bright mind viewing my nurturing true intent, every subtle change is in my mind, and I can perceive the subtle changes in the refining bones without any leakage. It was half a month after Su Yen had returned to the small mountain village. As usual, before dawn, Su Yen was cultivating. At this moment, he had another realization, for the subtle changes in his bones, for every change in his body, for every bit of his chi and blood to operate, it was all in his mind. The efficiency of bone refining was, once again, greatly increased. The two lines of the Kung Fu recipe are by no means the only ones, it's because I haven't truly comprehended the essence of it. Su Yen sighed in his heart at the moment. The gong skills passed down by his master were truly too arcane. Each time the ego feels that it has realized the mystery. As a result, the aurora suddenly realized that it had not been enlightened enough. Now that I've metamorphosed day times, the bones around my body have all turned into golden bones. Just one last metamorphosis away from being able to circumvent the body is one and truly metamorphose into a golden bone. Half a month of diligent bone refining, especially with yet another realization of the gong skill, caused the control of qi and blood to deepen, and the speed of bone refining to increase quite a bit, and now it was the eighth metamorphosis. The bones around his body had all turned golden. It was not far from the ninth metamorphosis, when the golden bones were flawless and the circumference was as one. Su Yen continued to cultivate, he had a premonition that the golden bone would be refined within these one or two days. Once I refine the golden bones, I'll be comparable to the ancient heavenly pride, and I can start refining the viscera. Getting started in a year is not a big problem. As for the jade bone, master said that it's not something that can be achieved with talent and persistence, so I can't be overly ambitious and expect too much. Golden bone was already extraordinary, as for jade bone, it was too difficult. If one is overly ambitious and spends time in vain in order to harden the jade bones, I'm afraid that it will result in not being able to be initiated within a year. Since it was already comparable to the ancient heaven's pride, what was there to be unaware of? Thus, Su Yen prepared to start refining the viscera once the bones were completed. The method of refining the viscera can begin to be sensed. Thus, while refining the bones, Su Yen began to recall what Li Xian had taught him about the method of refining the viscera. Carefully comprehending the deeper meaning and subtleties of it. With the foundation of refining the skin and bones, refining the organs was not difficult. There was already a direction for refining the viscera, but just how to efficiently refine the viscera, this would require a detailed comprehension of the mysteries of the method of refining the viscera. Li Xian yawned and came out, glancing at Su Yen, who was cultivating, and sighed in his heart, the silly disciple, he's really persistent, and surprisingly, he's also able to keep his composure? He couldn't help but be a bit puzzled, after such a long time without sensing qi and blood, Su Yen was able to keep going as well? Not the slightest hint of impatience. There was even less bitterness, frustration, and even less shame in front of him for not being able to sense qi and blood. Nor did he continue to pursue him on how to sense qi and blood. This mentality of his, is really rare ah, surprisingly not anxious and not frustrated, has been insisting, day after day hard cultivation, if there is really a cultivation method, with his diligence, as long as the talent is not bad, can become a strong person, right? What would he do if he knew that I was lying to him and that the cultivation method was made up? Li Xian felt that it was better not to expose it. Su Yan looks like an honest person, bullying honest people hard, once the outbreak, it is not a joke. What's more, it's an honest man with an unusual identity background. Forget it, leave him alone, let him toss and turn, now that the road out of the village is also safe, once the one-year period arrives, it's just a matter of getting rid of him. And, perhaps, collect another sum of worship? Donghai County and even Chi can't stay any longer, so let's go to Wu when the time comes. Li Xian had already thought of a way back. Laying down in a chair, leisurely, used to leisurely days. I'm afraid I won't be able to get used to it when no one serves me later. When you go to Wu in the future, you'll have to buy a few maidservants to serve you. Two more days. Su Yan was already at the stage of his ninth metamorphosis. The golden bone is coming into being. The qi and blood were quenching, the bones were undergoing a metamorphosis, and the golden bones began to blossom with a brilliant light. At some point. Boom. The bone marrow was like a river rushing, and the qi and blood instantly skyrocketed, like a dragon, growing more than twice as large in an instant. The coil swam around the bones of the body, while the bone marrow, which was like a river rushing through the body, changed, qi and blood were continuously born, and the bones blossomed with a faint glow. 
The golden bones are brilliant, like immortality. Su Yen was thrilled in his heart. Finally hardened the golden bones. As soon as the golden bones became complete, the physical body also underwent a metamorphosis, the qi and blood were purer, the physical body was stronger, and on the golden bones, it was as if metaphysical fine lines were emerging. It is as if the wonderful truth of heaven and earth. Every time the qi and blood operated, it was like a giant dragon roaring. The moment the golden bone became a reality, Su Yan's body blossomed with a faint golden light, and his entire body seemed to be bathed in light. And at this moment, the sun rose, and the golden sunlight, through the passageway of the small village, shone on Su Yan's body. Li Xian came out of the house and just glanced at it, not caring. It was only thought that it was just the sunlight shining on Su Yan. It's more than the first time. However, he did not notice that the golden light that bloomed on Su Yan's body at this moment appeared a bit more radiant than when the sunlight normally shone on his body. And it's blooming from within. As the golden light converged, Su Yan scrutinized the changes in himself, comprehending the power of the golden bones. Once the golden bone was complete, its powerful increase far exceeded the previous eight metamorphoses. At this moment, Su Yen experienced what it meant to be powerful and felt the subtlety of the martial way. Is this the might of the ancient heaven's pride? I finally refined the golden bone, meeting my master's requirements, I, Su Yen, am no weaker than the ancient heavenly pride. I'll say that I, Su Yen, am stupid, all mock me, all ridicule me, you guys are nothing but frogs in the bottom of a well in my eyes. At this moment, Su Yen thought of all the years he had spent searching for a high-ranking person and being reduced to a laughingstock in Donghe County. Nowadays, Golden Bone Chang, the strength of the strength, even if it is the Jang Hu top master, in front of him, it is also like paper mache. Saying that I'm out of my mind and disgracing you, I said I'd leave you high and dry, and I'll definitely leave you high and dry. Su Yan's eyes revealed a brilliant light. I feel like my life force is infinite, and once my golden bones are complete, it seems that my lifespan has increased dramatically as well. Master said that once the golden bone is complete, even if it is buried in the ground for 10,000 years after death it will still be radiant, and its own lifespan, too, will inevitably increase dramatically. At this moment, Su Yen felt that he and those martial artists outside were simply people from two worlds. With my current strength, even if it's the Emperor of Qi, I'm not afraid in the slightest. I possessed contempt for royal authority? No, I can't have such arrogant thoughts, I have to refrain from arrogance, I can't get carried away by a little increase in strength, I have to remember my master's teachings. Su Yen mentally admonished himself again and again. I've refined the golden bone, I'm going to tell my master that I'm comparable to the ancient heavenly pride. After refining the golden bone, the excited Su Yen, after collecting his strength, excitedly walked towards his master, he wanted to tell his master in person that he had refined the golden bone, and was comparable to the ancient heavenly pride. Didn't let the master down. After all, he was a teenager, and he still couldn't help it, wanting to get praise from his master. Episode 20 The golden bone is not worthy of the master's eyes. I'll refine it into a jade bone. Li Xian didn't know that Su Yen had already tempered the golden bone that he had made up, and was excitedly coming over to tell him about it, wanting to receive praise and recognition. At this moment, Li Xian was playing with the gifts Su Yen had given him last time, a golden sword and a jade wish. The golden sword is inlaid with precious beads and is made of gold all over, which is of great value. The jade rui is carved with auspicious cloud patterns, the body is flawless, at first glance, it is the very best jade carving, if the value, I am afraid that it is still on top of the golden sword. Although this golden sword is worth a lot, but how I look at it, I feel that the jade rui is worth more and rarer. Look at the texture of this jade, the body is flawless and crystal clear, and it has a warm feeling when you touch it in your hand. Compared to the golden sword, I prefer this jade rui. It would be great to get a pair together and use them as heirlooms. If you've cheated anyway, you don't care, do you, about cheating another jade ruin? Li Xin played with the jade rui, and the more he looked at it, the more he liked it. In his heart, he muttered, asking his stupid apprentice to find another jade rui for him, making enough for a pair, as an heirloom. Just in time. Su Yan walked over. You're just in time, apprentice. Li Xian peeled the golden sword to the side, seeming to be somewhat disgusted with it, and played with the jade rui in his hand, his eyes all over the jade rui. You see this jade rui body flawless, warm and nourishing, the so-called gentleman likes jade, for the teacher is also a person who likes jade, this jade rui if it is to make a pair, it would be perfect. Looking up at Su Yan, he said, do you understand, disciple? In his heart, he thought, let's go and find another jade rui for master. Su Yan had been excited to come and tell his master that he had refined the golden bone and was comparable to the ancient heavenly pride. As a result, he saw Li Xian, somewhat disgusted, peeling the golden sword to the side and playing with the jade ruins in his hand. Under his breath, the gentleman was fond of jade and hoped that the jade rui would make a pair. Su Yan thought to himself that next time he went home, he would find another piece of jade rui for his master. But suddenly his heart thumped, no. How could master say to me at this time that he likes jade? There must be another deep meaning in master's words. I see, master has high expectations of me, and hopes that I can refine the jade bone, that's why he used the metaphor of the jade ruin, and compared to the gold bone, master prefers the jade bone. But master was afraid that I wouldn't be able to accept the difficulty of quenching the jade bone, which is why he borrowed the jade ruin to metaphorically remind me that if I couldn't understand the deeper meaning of master's words, master would no longer be demanding. 
In that case, even though master will not say anything on his lips, in his heart he will definitely be disappointed in me, and if I fail to realize the deeper meaning of master's words, master's expectations of me will be lowered. Believing that I am not perceptive enough to understand even such a simple metaphor. Su Yin instantly conducted a brainstorming session, only to feel that his master was explicitly trying to put together a pair of jade ruins, but in reality, he was trying to get him to continue refining the bones, not to give up and not to back down, and to try his best to refine the jade bones. If Li Xian knew about these brainstorms of his, he would inevitably be dumbfounded, I damn well just simply want the jade ruin. After some brainstorming, Su Yen thought that he had understood the deeper meaning of his master's words, and with a firm gaze, he said, Master, disciple understands, and I will definitely not let you down. Li Xian revealed a satisfied smile, it's good that you can understand, master believes in you. Su Yen was touched in his heart, master has extremely high expectations for me, it's in the hope that I can surpass the ancient heavenly pride. What's a golden bone, I'll refine it into a jade bone. Su Yen did not mention the matter of his golden bones again, Master had long since gained insight into everything, and a mere golden bone could not enter Master's eyes. Cultivating again and wanting to continue refining his bones, Su Yen realized that no matter how much he ran his qi and blood and quenched them, it was all to no avail. It seems that the golden bone is the limit. It was as if there was an insurmountable moat that blocked continued advancement. Master said that the jade bone is not something that can be refined by talent, perseverance, or persistence, and that those who can become a jade bone either have great fortune, are the favorites of heaven and earth, or are supernaturally enlightened and can sense the great Tao. Su Yen pondered, whether I have great fortune or not, I don't know, probably not, heaven and earth's favorite, even more unlikely, so there's only one path left. And that's enlightenment. Master always says that the emphasis on intention and enlightenment is to make me, I think, feel that I am still enlightened and to remind me of where my own strengths lie. The only way I can quench the jade bone is through enlightenment. After thinking about it, Su Yan's mind once again surfaced those two phrases, brighten your mind and observe me to cultivate your true intentions, your qi and blood are like dragons casting a golden body. I must not have completely understood the core of these two gong skills, if I could understand them, would I be able to break the golden bone shackles and temper the jade bones? Su Yan's entire body and mind were devoted to the gong skill, his mind was free of distractions, leaving everything behind, forgetting both things in himself, wanting to perceive the deep meaning of it. That's right, nurturing true intent, I thought to myself that qi and blood contained within the bones, contained within the bone marrow, is nurturing true intent, yet where is intent? Containing bone marrow is just an introduction, it doesn't nourish the intention. Suddenly, Su Yan's mind flashed as he realized that he had made an error regarding the nurturing true meaning in the gongshi. One never raises the true intention. It is not even clear what is meant by meaning. Qi and blood are like dragons casting a golden body, when I refined the golden bones, the qi and blood that operated, was it really like a dragon? That's just vague and vain, how can a dragon of qi and blood that doesn't harbor intent be considered a dragon? In a trance, Su Yen felt himself, as if he had touched a barrier. One only needed to break through this barrier to completely understand the gong skill and break through the golden bone shackles to enter the jade bone stage. However, this barrier was never able to be broken. He agonized a little for a moment. Should we ask the master for advice? No. Master has already imparted a clear understanding that intent can only be realized by oneself, and what cannot be explicitly stated, I must be missing something. The next three days, Su Yin cultivation, has been in the understanding of the technique, has been trying to understand the true meaning to, often just a little bit short. It was never possible to break through the barrier and realize the essence of it. Li Shen looked at his foolish apprentice brother with some suspicion, in the last three days, his foolish apprentice brother seemed to be a bit disoriented, and would occasionally look blankly lost in thought. No luck after all this time, so bewildered? Think you can't make it? How can I be depressed when I haven't even gotten my jade ruin yet? Let me think about how to make up some arcane words to fool him. Li Xian fell into deep thought. On this day, after finishing his meal, when Su Yan was about to pack up the dishes, Li Xian spoke, on the path of cultivation, perseverance is essential, if you find that you've encountered a bottleneck and have never made any progress, you can relax your mind and empty your thoughts to perceive a blade of grass or a piece of wood. Go and sense the nature of heaven and earth, capture the hidden spiritual opportunities around you, and if you can have an epiphany, the door to martial arts will open. Throughout history, there has been no lack of people who have not made an inch of progress in their cultivation, who are stuck in bottlenecks and are not allowed to break through, and who have broken through the shackles because of an epiphany. Li Xian opened his eyes and fooled Su Yan into feeling the so-called spiritual opportunity, and if he could have an epiphany, he would be able to step into the gate of the martial arts. Since austerity doesn't work, let's go for an epiphany. The Episode 21 Jade Bone Bottleneck, Diary, and Fierce Beasts Li Xian's Words to Su Yan's ears, were master's instructions on how to perceive and how to break through the shackles. Capture the hidden spiritual opportunities around you, sense every blade of grass and tree, and the nature of heaven and earth. In a trance, Su Yan seemed to have some clarity. Many thanks for the guidance, master, I understand. Su Yan said respectfully. Seeing that he had fooled his foolish disciple again, Li Xian nodded with satisfaction. For the next two days, Su Yan didn't cultivate anymore, but strolled around the small village, feeding the chickens, planting vegetables, and sitting on a rock at night, looking at the stars in the sky. The mind was surprisingly serene. 
Without the obsession of breaking through the shackles of the golden bone, without the obsession of cultivation, it was as if the mind had let go of its packages, and the entire person was relaxed. At a certain moment, there was even a sense that heaven and earth were so marvelous. After three days of this, Su Yen finished weeding and was about to leave when he suddenly realized that the earthworms that had emerged from the soil were shrinking back into the soil. Another little bug was seen, digging in the dirt. In his mind, there was a flash of light, as if it were a spiritual moment. Nurturing true intent, chi, and blood like a dragon, I get it. At this moment, Su Yen felt that he had had an epiphany, and a spiritual light appeared in his mind, instantly realizing the deeper meaning of the gong skills. Jade bone, I shall be able to quench it. Thanks to Master's guidance, I was able to have an epiphany, to capture the hidden spiritual opportunities around me, because of the clear understanding of the Kung Fu technique and how to break through the bottleneck. Su Yen was thrilled. The next day, before dawn, Su Yen began to cultivate. When Li Xian saw it, he was surprised for a moment, this silly disciple. So quickly pulled himself together again and continued to persevere? As long as Xu Yan didn't realize he was being cheated. At the end of the one-year period, the relationship between master and disciple was immediately severed, the deception ended, and he went to live a small life in Wu himself. In the future, I'm afraid I'll never see Su Yan again. And at this moment, Su Yan was in the process of imbuing his qi and blood into his bones, imbuing them in the bone marrow, slowly, strand by strand, continuously seeping his qi and blood into his bones, imbuing them in the bone marrow. After spending three days, Su Yan felt an aching sensation in his bones before he began to carry out the quenching. Su Yan, who had entered into cultivation, seemed to have forgotten everything but the subtle spiritual opportunities in the heavens and earth, which surfaced in his mind. Boom! The qi and blood in the bone marrow was like a dragon roaring in an instant, and the bone marrow was surging and rushing, as if it had come to life. And at this moment, Su Yan only felt an unspeakable pain in his bones. Itching, tingling, soreness. The bones around his body, for a while, swelled as if they were going to explode, and for a while, they tightened as if they were becoming tiny, and even the bone marrow was squeezed and solidified. Between the expansion and contraction, a more pure qi and blood was born. Su Yen seemed to feel that an inexplicable intentionality was being born within the bones. The feeling at this moment was even more painful and unbearable than the first time he refined his bones. Beads of sweat kept dripping. Su Yen clenched his teeth and held on until he could hardly hold on any longer, then he withdrew his efforts. The golden bones, they're a little loose. Su Yen realized that the golden bones, which had originally reached their limit and could not continue to be tempered, had loosened up at the moment. Becoming one point stronger. I sensed right, the jade bone is not far away. The invigorated Su Yen cultivated harder and harder in the next few days. The pain endured, too, was more intense. Seven days later. The bones, which were originally golden, had faded. Although the golden bones had become lighter, yet the strength of the bones, on the contrary, had increased by more than 30%. Half a month later, the bones around his body turned back to white, but they were more than twice as hard as the golden bones. The chi and blood were purer and stronger. I haven't even become a jade bone yet, and I'm already this powerful, if I become a jade bone, how powerful would I be? My martial arts foundation surpasses that of the ancient heavenly pride. Su Yan was thrilled in his heart, the jade bone was not far away. Ten days later, Su Yan's bones around his body had already appeared in the form of crystals, and was already only one final step away from having flawless jade bones. However, just this last step, Su Yen was once again feeling resistance. It was as if it had hit a bottleneck and couldn't continue to metamorphose any further. Just short of the final step of metamorphosis, he would be able to truly temper the jade bone, how could Su Yen be willing to do so? Therefore, for the next two days, he kept on quenching, but there was no progress, it seemed that the only way to complete this last step of metamorphosis was to break some kind of shackle. Li Xian didn't know that his own foolish disciple was on the verge of tempering his jade bones. With nothing else to do that day, he turned over some of the relics of the village elders, all of which were books and such. The people of the village, who had come here in refuge, were also literate, and there were books left behind, which, though not many, were the most valued things in the village. A rolled-up scroll of cloth fell to the ground. Li Xian bent down to pick it up and found that there was writing on it. Whose relic is this? I don't think I've seen this before. With curiosity, Li Xian opened the cloth scroll. The roll of cloth was quite long, and when it was spread out, I saw that it was filled with writing that appeared to be a diary? This is Bull's diary? Li Xian had a surprised look on his face. A big old bull who keeps a diary? It was in the wicked fury forest that Dinyo died, but the tiger, having been killed, was avenged. Li Xian sighed in his heart. When the group left the village, Dinyo was among them, and he was the only one who ended up escaping back. Flipping through the rolls of cloth and looking at Dinyo's diary, Li Xian rightly thought that he was idly bored and reading some gossip. Dinyo even wants to marry eight wives, not a small ambition, it's a pity. When the cloth scroll turned to the end, Li Xian was suddenly stunned and his expression became grave. At the end of the cloth roll, the record is about how Dinyo once left the village, alone, and wanted to go to the city. He saw a ferocious beast outside the evil fiend forest. What the bull saw, it wasn't the tiger. It had been rumored in the village that there were fierce tigers and ferocious beasts in the evil fiend forest, and Li Xian subconsciously assumed that there was only that one tiger in the evil fiend forest. In fact, there was a ferocious beast besides that tiger? 
that ferocious beast, bigger than a tiger, with temples like fire and fangs a foot long. Seeing Dino's diary's description of the ferocious beast, Li Xian was shocked, this ferocious beast, was even more terrifying than a tiger. Why would there be a ferocious beast in the evil fury forest, besides a tiger? The tiger is the king of the forest. How could it allow other ferocious beasts to exist in its territory? How could such a powerful beast allow a tiger to be entrenched in its territory? The first time I heard that there were ferocious beasts in the evil fiend forest was when I heard Daniel mention it, and he's talked about them more than once, and when a few of us were preparing to leave the village together, it was Daniel who said that there were ferocious beasts and that it was too dangerous. It wasn't until that guy came back and claimed to have learned the art of killing tigers that he had the confidence to leave the village. Li Xian thought of a possibility, that tiger, could it be in the evil fiend forest, the little brother of that ferocious beast? My foolish disciple, who led the tiger hunt, did he encounter that ferocious beast? It looks like it didn't, could it be that the beast hid and didn't show up because it saw that there were too many people? No, we have to ask silly apprentice brother and ask him to lead a search of the evil fiend forest and make sure to kill that ferocious beast. Li Xian packed up his things and put them away, then went out to find Su Yen. Episode 22 Fighting the Fire Hair Wolf Su Yen was certain that he had encountered a bottleneck, and if he didn't break through this bottleneck, he would not be able to temper it into a jade bone. Only this last step was missing, but it was stagnant. It was as if there was a barrier standing in the way, and if this barrier was not broken, the jade bone was hopeless. However, Su Yen had no clue as to how to break through this barrier. No matter how he operated his qi and blood, and how he continuously tempered his bones, it was always useless. Is it because I can't sense it? Do I have to relax my mind to sense the spiritual opportunity in order to break through the barrier? It's just that, I have a feeling that I need pressure, inside and outside, to break through, but I don't know. What kind of pressure is needed? Su Yen fell into deep thought. He decided to consult his master. Just then, Li Xian walked out from the house. Apprentice, come here. Su Yen's spirit was revitalized, master can see that I've encountered a bottleneck, this is to instruct me? Master. Respectfully, he saluted. Li Xian looked a bit serious and said, Apprentice, after you hunted and killed the tiger in the evil fiend forest, did you search the entire evil fiend forest? Su Yen was stunned and shook his head. In the wicked fury forest, besides the tiger, there is also a ferocious beast, so be careful and take care of it. Li Xian solemnly urged. From the description of Dingyo's diary, the ferocious beast was not very unusual, and it would not be good if it came to the small village. It's a huge threat. Su Yen sniffed, but his eyes lit up, and he said in his heart, in the evil fiend forest, there's another ferocious beast? Stronger than the red-eye tiger? I get it, master is telling me that the opportunity for a breakthrough is in the evil fiend forest. Fight and kill the ferocious beasts, stimulate your potential, break the barrier, and the jade bone will be formed. In this instant, a light flashed in Su Yan's mind, and he suddenly realized what kind of pressure he needed to break the barrier and break through the jade bone. The ferocious beasts in the evil dead forest were his opportunity. Immediately, he nodded his head excitedly and said, Master, I understand, I'll take care of it right away. Su Yan excitedly mounted his horse and directly left the village and headed straight for the evil fiend forest. What's the rush? I haven't finished yet. Li Xian was somewhat speechless. Why is this stupid disciple so excited after hearing that there are ferocious beasts in the evil fiend forest? Addicted to hunting? With so many people? The ferocious beasts shouldn't be able to escape. Li Xian breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. Although, from Su Yan's mouth, he had learned that the martial artists in the outside world were not too strong and belonged to the low martial level, but with a large number of people, it was still not a problem to deal with a ferocious beast. Since it was a low martial arts, the ferocious beasts couldn't be any stronger, could they? Su Yan rode his horse to the evil fiend forest and began to search for it. As he searched and went deeper, the trees in the depths of the evil fiend forest became thicker and thicker, and as he walked, the horse actually shivered a little, his speed became slower and slower, and he even wanted to back up. Su Yan's spirit lifted, his chi and blood running around his body, alerting his surroundings. Steep. A low hissing roar came from behind a large tree, and a figure like fire swooped in, fangs exposed and glowing with a cold light. Straight away, he pounced on Su Yan, who was on the horse's ass. Su Yan's eyes lit up, and relying on his strong physical body, he directly blasted out with a punch. A paw slapped it too. Su Yan only felt a huge force coming from him, directly slapping him off the horse's back. The horse was so scared that it went straight to all fours and flopped down on the ground, shivering. How? Su Yan was shocked in his heart. He was a martial artist who had nearly quenched the jade bone, ah, his strength was beyond imagination. If the red-eye tiger had encountered him at this point in time, he would have been killed with a casual punch. Su Yan rolled over on the ground and climbed up, and a fiery red figure, once again, pounced on him. Ah! Su Yan roared, his body's chi and blood boiling around him as he directly met them. A claw slapped hard on his chest, while Su Yan also threw a punch, blasting at the ferocious beast. Su Yan staggered back a few steps, only to feel pain in his chest. The ferocious beast, on the other hand, was smashed back two steps by the punch. At this moment, Su Yan fixed his eyes and saw that the ferocious beast was surrounded by a fiery red color, especially the ring of mane on its neck, which was as red as fire, just like a burning flame. 
The wolf's head, blue eyes, and two fangs were about a foot long and glistened with a cold light, and his hind body was surprisingly smaller than his front body, but his hind limbs were incredibly thick. The forelimbs were like tiger paws, with sharp claws showing, like small daggers. The body was more than half as big as the red-eyed tiger, standing there with a ferocious aura, and the turquoise eyes gave a sense of eerie violence. Being stared at by those eyes was forbiddingly chilling. At this moment, this pair of turquoise eyes was staring at Su Yen with a deadpan expression. From this human, it sensed a strong qi in blood, causing it to develop a bloodlust. Fire main wolf? Su Yen was aghast in his heart, the appearance of this ferocious beast, wasn't it precisely a ferocious beast named Fire main wolf that he had seen from an ancient book of words? Rumor has it that the fire main wolves were so powerful that they once entered the city to wreak havoc, causing numerous deaths and injuries, and retreated peacefully under the siege of the elite army. Unexpectedly, in the evil fiend forest, there was a fire main wolf. Whoever spoke Ben was lying? Even the fire main wolves have appeared. Su Yen was thrilled, his chi and blood were running, and his entire body was exhilarated. Ah, the fire main wolf. A rumored ferocious beast. There are many people who have read the book about the fire main wolf, but none of them would take it seriously, a ferocious beast entered the city to wreak havoc, and even retreated peacefully under the siege of a large army? It's outrageous. Su Yen believed it. Judging from the exchange of hands just now, the strength of the fire main wolf was enough to retreat in the midst of a large army siege. That strong physical body, agile speed, tremendous strength. Even he felt some pressure, so it was evident that the fire main wolf was powerful. This is my chance to break through. Su Yen believed that the fire main wolf was his opportunity to break through the jade bone, wrestling the fire main wolf to break through the shackles under strong pressure. Come on, today, I, Su Yen, will use the life of your fire main wolf to temper the jade bone. Su Yen roared, his chi and blood boiling, his body even glowing with a faint jade luster as he fiercely rushed forward. The fire main wolf hissed and pounced, its claws slapping in, its huge mouth opening, its fangs dripping with saliva as it viciously bit at Su Yen. Su Yan's hands violently grabbed the fire main wolf's claws, and before the other party bit in, he kicked the fire main wolf hard, directly sending it flying and smashing it on the ground. Immediately after that, he rushed up and raised his fist. The fire main wolf let out a roar, its eyes became blood red, a tyrannical aura filled the air, and its fiery red mane, which was fluttering at the moment, was like flames burning. Once again, he pounced on Su Yen. Su Yen flew out backwards, his heart greatly alarmed, the body of the fire main wolf, how did it become scorching hot? The fire main wolf pounced. One man and one beast, they fought each other. Su Yen roared angrily and blasted the fire main wolf back, pouncing on it once again, twisting both of its paws and holding it down on the ground. However, the fire main wolf's hind legs kept kicking and stomping, directly kicking and stomping on Su Yen's body, the force of each stroke was immense, kicking Su Yen's chi and blood to vibrate, pain stimulating the nerves. Die! Su Yen struggled to fling the fire main wolf away. His body's chi and blood boiling, at this moment, Su Yen's body was surrounded by a water mist steaming up, and his skin was gradually turning red. Episode 23 breaking the barrier, finally becoming a jade bone. The fire main wolf was strong, completely beyond the realm of ordinary beasts. Su Yen felt the pressure, all he felt at the moment was that his qi and blood were boiling, and his entire being was in a state of sublimation. The qi and blood around his body operated, and his power continued to grow. Once again, he rushed up and fought with the fire main wolf. As the fight went on, the qi and blood boiled more and more, and at one point, it twisted and turned with the fire main wolf, rolling around on the ground. I don't know how many times I've been stomped on by the fire main wolf's legs, my hands breaking the huge mouth that the fire main wolf was biting down, and kicking the fire main wolf's body with my legs in the same way. The man and the beast rolled on the ground, kicking and stomping each other. Suddenly, Su Yen crashed into a large tree, and with a furious roar, he grabbed two of the fire main wolf's fangs and fought to throw the fire main wolf up and slam it into the tree. The fight had reached a white hot stage, and it was at this moment that Su Yen sensed that as his chi and blood continued to inspire, consume, and oppress himself, the barrier of the jade bones began to loosen. At one point, as if with a click, the barrier shattered. The chi and blood instantly skyrocketed, and the bones continued to be tempered. Are you the only one who can bite? Su Yen grabbed the fire main wolf's fangs and flung it to the ground, allowing its limbs to slap on its body, and with bloodshot eyes. He opened his mouth and bit down on the fire main wolf's exposed neck. A mouthful of hair. Su Yen spat out the hair in his mouth and continued to lower his mouth. The fire main wolf was a bit panicked at the moment, struggling violently, its limbs slapped Su Yen dead on, the sound of thumping was endless, Su Yen even felt the bones around his body under the slapping, as if they were vibrating. He held down the fire main wolf with a deadly grip, changed his position, his legs pinned the fire main wolf's forelimbs, with a deadly grip, and continued to open his mouth to bite at the fire main wolf's throat. Mouth after mouth, at one point, a poof ripped the skin from the fire main wolf's throat and blood gushed out. A wisp of blood from his mouth entered his abdomen, and in an instant Su Yen only felt that his chi and blood were boiling, as if it was a great tonic, and his entire body became soothed. The speed of quenching the bones became faster at this moment. Su Yen's eyes lit up, and the whole person slumped over the fire main wolf, holding it down to the ground, his open mouth constantly tearing at the fire main wolf's throat. At this moment, the fire main wolf was on all fours, twisting and struggling, letting out hissing sounds of terror, but to no avail. As bone refining began, Su Yen's chi and blood further strengthened and his power became even greater. 
I don't know how many bites were torn, but at a certain moment, the fire main wolf's throat suddenly poofed out with a spray of blood, biting through the aorta. Su Yan greedily kept swallowing the blood of the fire main wolf like nectar, and his eyes revealed a look of excitement. When the blood was imported, it was quickly transformed into qi and blood, and the speed of quenching the bones was accelerating. The bones around his body were becoming more and more crystallized. One step closer to jade bones without flaws. The fire main wolf erupted on the verge of death, instantly breaking free of Su Yan's control to escape. Where would Su Yan let the prey in his hands escape, pouncing on it, punching, kicking, tearing and biting, the fire main wolf eventually collapsed on the ground, dying and covered in bruises. It can't go to waste, it's a bone refining treasure. Su Yan pounced on it and greedily continued to suck the blood of the fire main wolf, his body's chi and blood boiling around him, and the speed of bone refining increased greatly. The blood had been almost sucked dry, and Su Yan was, at the moment, in a stage of metamorphosis. He scrambled to his feet and began to cultivate. Chi and blood coiled around the bones like dragons, and the bone marrow actually became crystallized, the bones undergoing some sort of metamorphosis. It was as if they were all one, with no more gaps. As his chi and blood skyrocketed, Su Yan could only feel layers of sticky old blood gushing out all around him, and his entire body was covered in blood stains. Crystal and light penetrated through his body, and he presented a vision around him. Jade bone becomes. Su Yan's bones around his body were as crystalline as jade, without a single blemish, moist and smooth, and on the flawless jade bones, it was as if he was born with fine lines that were arcane and extraordinary. The qi in blood skyrocketed and was much more pure, and could be called flawless qi in blood. And every moment, a new qi in blood was being born, constantly growing, and the loss from the great battle had long since been recovered. At this time, Su Yen, if he encountered the fire main wolf again, he wouldn't have fought so fiercely and difficultly, and he might have been able to kill the fire main wolf with three punches and two kicks. I feel sublimated, as if I have left the realm of mortals. Su Yen clenched his fists with a look of excitement. It was only once the jade bone was complete that he deeply realized the power and mystery of it. My martial Tao roots, surpassing the ancient heavenly pride, I'd become a jade bone. Jade bones are flawless and immutable for ages. Even if he dies now, his bones will not decay after countless years, but will become more and more crystallized, and will be able to become treasures in heaven and earth. This was the power of the jade bone, truly transcending the realm of mortals. And having tempered the jade bone, he had a straight path in his martial arts path and was invincible in the same realm. After the excitement, Su Yen looked at the corpse of the fire main wolf that had already been torn out of shape by him. The fur of the fire main wolf, I tore it apart and shattered it off, I can't peel it off and give it to master. Master must have known long ago, where the opportunity for me to break through the jade bone lies, it's in the fire main wolf, master has long since paved the way for my martial arts path. The more he thought about it, the more touched Su Yen was. Taking a look at the blood stains all over his body, Su Yen decided not to go back to the small mountain village, take a trip home, and in the meantime, find another top grade jade Rui for his master. Su Yen picked up the tattered corpse of the fire main wolf with one hand, found the horse, and placed the corpse on the horse's back. As a result, that horse, by the aura of the fire main wolf, was so frightened that its hooves went soft, and it was only after he had stimulated his chi and blood and obscured the aura of the fire main wolf that the horse was able to walk under his intimidation. The blood and flesh of the fire main wolf is a great tonic, just in time to be used in refining the organs, now that I have refined the jade bone. The refining of the organs is almost complete. Strive to finish refining the viscera within three months. Su Yen was filled with fighting spirit, and martial arts initiation was not far away. He himself would eventually become a true martial arts practitioner, and the many taunts and contempts would be swept away. He wanted to let those people know that a frog in the bottom of a well could not know the vastness of heaven and earth. And they, themselves, have stepped into that wide world, while they are still smug at the bottom of the well. Li Xian stood on the hillside, looking out over Su Yan's coming path, and sighed, the silly disciple hadn't returned for five days once he left. I don't know if he didn't make it safely through the evil fury forest and was eaten by the ferocious beasts. Although he had fooled Su Yen by making up his feats, yet after spending such a long time together, it was impossible to say that there wasn't a bit of affection. Li Xian was still very satisfied with Su Yen as his disciple. Nah, he's not a hermit. This was a deception that was destined to have no good results, and even if Su Yen had been kept in the dark, Li Xian did not dare to keep on deceiving. There is no such thing as a scam in this world that won't be exposed. His only expectation was that after the one-year period, there would be no twists and turns, and a good separation. Perhaps it could leave Su Yen with the regret that he had had a chance but failed to grasp it because his talent was not up to it. And he, Li Xian, was still the master he admired in his heart. This is the best ending for this master-disciple relationship. Episode 24 Refining the Viscera to Perfection Ten days later, Su Yen returned and brought him a jade rui, as well as several jade ornaments. Good, good, the apprentice is deeply in the heart of his master. Li Xian was instantly happy. This apprentice is really good. Look at this jade. It's worth a lot. It's so pretty. As for the ferocious beasts in the evil fiend forest, since Su Yen had returned, it was naturally resolved, so Li Xian didn't ask. It was just that there seemed to be something not quite the same about Su Yen's return this time. Exactly how it was different, Li Xian couldn't say, he was just puzzled for a moment but didn't think much about it. After Su Yen returned, he resumed his previous cultivation rhythm, the difference being that he started refining his dirty organs. 
The internal organs are fragile, and at the beginning of the refining of the organs, one must be careful and not be overly hasty, or else it will easily backfire on one's body. Su Yen, who was in the process of refining his organs, mobilized his qi and blood, first containing his heart, and as the quenching began, the heartbeat became more powerful, and with each beat, the qi and blood around his body would increase. Aim to finish refining the dirty organs within three months. Su Yan's confidence increased greatly after he quenched the jade bones, and three months to complete the refining of the viscera was already relatively conservative. Three days later. With the quenching, the heart became stronger, and the qi and blood strengthened by more than half, the next quenching could be more intense without worrying about hurting the heart. Only, as his heart strengthened, Su Yan also discovered some problems. There is a bit of an imbalance, you can't just quench the heart, you have to quench the other internal organs to make it work. Su Yan began to quench his lungs. He kept in mind that the master's statement about refining the organs, the five organs correspond to the five elements, the qi and blood running the five organs, round in one, when the five elements are united, it is the completion of the refining of the organs the internal organs have been strengthened through the initial quenching. Su Yen next, is the five viscera at the same time quenching, the qi and blood running in the five viscera, each quenching, can feel their own enhancement. The qi and blood are also in the process of being strengthened. After Su Yen's return, the days return to business as usual, and Li Xian's entire being cleared out. He sighed in his heart at Su Yen's persistence. This silly apprentice, what an obsession. We're halfway through the one-year period, so if we stay up for another six months, we'll be relieved. Li Xian sighed and lamented. As long as he survived another six months, he could dissolve his master-disciple relationship and hide out in the Wu kingdom on his own. With Su Yan's generous gift of worship, there is not the slightest problem in living a life of wealth and prosperity, and then marry three or two beautiful wives, this life will be so beautifully passed. Anyway, given the current situation, there is no such thing as an immensely powerful martial arts path. Besides, even if it existed, with Su Yan's background, he hadn't been able to reach it, so how could he reach it himself? There were no ripples in the refining of the viscera, it was smooth sailing. Perhaps it was because of the quenching out of the jade bone, the martial arts foundation was thick, and the refining of the dirty organs was very smooth, methodical, and in the midst of continuous improvement. After more than two months of bitter cultivation, Su Yan was about to finish refining his viscera. The organs are so strong that they are almost out of the flesh and blood state. Su Yan's strength at this moment had increased two or three times compared to the beginning of the viscera refining. In particular, the body's qi and blood was incomparably powerful, both in quality and quantity. Vaguely, a thick body of qi and blood, ready to penetrate the body and form a shield. Within three to five days, I'll be able to finish refining my organs. Su Yan was thrilled as he sensed the changes in himself. The refining of the viscera was complete, and the introduction to martial arts was at hand. According to Master, when the refining of the viscera is complete, and the refining of the skin, bones, and viscera of the realm of foundation are merged and summarized in one body, one can be introduced to the martial arts. At the time of martial arts initiation, the sinews and bones thunder, and the qi and blood are like the astral deities. Su Yan's mind was immersed in his senses, carefully experiencing himself, how he could merge and unite, how he could summarize all of his body and step into the martial way. It seems simple and easy, yet it's not simple to integrate and summarize all in one. Skin, bones, and organs are originally part of my body, so how do I fuse them together? How can they be summarized in one body? This itself is my body, ah, itself belongs to one body. Su Yan fell into deep thought. No, I'm comprehending it in the wrong direction. Master said that it is in the enlightenment, in the intention, not in the form, the fusion and unity, the summarization of the whole body, is it the intention in it? Or qi and blood? I'm vaguely enlightened, but not enough. There's no rush, when I've refined my organs to perfection, then I'll feel it in detail, how to merge and unite, how to summarize it all in one body. Su Yan sank his heart and continued refining his dirty organs. Three days later, Su Yan's refining viscera was complete. But there is no clue as to how to integrate and summarize all of them. The muscles and bones thundered, and the qi and blood were as strong as the astral deities, and they couldn't do it either. I feel like I'm just a little bit away from being able to enter the martial arts, just a little bit away from being able to have my qi and blood be as strong as the astral. But I've never been able to get through the door. It seems that it was the failure to completely control itself that prevented it from being initiated. Su Yen carefully realized his own, and he vaguely felt that he was about to be initiated. It's just short of the proverbial kick in the pants. However, it was this foot that seemed to be unable to step out. Both fists were clenched, between the qi and blood drumming, a light layer of qi and blood emerged on the fists, red like fire, with a blazing sense, but it did not seem solid enough, far from qi and blood as astral. Not to mention that the qi and blood were like astral deities that enveloped the body. It's just a matter of getting to the door, so don't be in a hurry, you'll get your foot in the door eventually. What I need to do now is to relax myself, to relax after my bitter cultivation, only when my mind is relaxed will it be easy to realize the essence of it. Su Yen began to relax himself, reducing the time spent on cultivation, feeding the chickens, weeding the grass, planting vegetables, and occasionally riding around on his horse. This silly disciple, why isn't he practicing hard anymore? How come it feels like playing around? Li Xian had a puzzled look on his face, these few days Su Yen unexpectedly did not cultivate diligently, instead, it was a bit like a state of leisure in play. He won't suspect me of lying to him, will he? Li Xian fell into deep thought. 
secretly observed Su Yen for two days, found that this kid, in addition to the cultivation is not as hard as in the past, what to do still do, and did not change. The attitude towards him was still respectful. Since there was no suspicion, Li Xian breathed a sigh of relief and didn't rush to give Su Yen a chicken blood shot and encourage him to add to his cultivation. I'm kind of enlightened. On this day, after having dinner, Su Yen began his cultivation. With all the relaxation he had been experiencing over the past few days, as well as realizing himself, he suddenly had the clarity of how to merge and summarize all in one. The qi and blood were running, from the skin and membrane to the bones and then to the internal organs, all around the body, fused together, and in this moment, the qi and blood were no longer in a free state, but were summarized in one body. In the moment when the qi and blood were summarized in one body and fused together, Su Yan's control over his own qi and blood had improved tremendously, as the qi and blood continued to be summarized and fused together. Refining the skin, bones, and organs formed a complete cycle, and the qi and blood around his body was in the midst of skyrocketing, and was beginning to penetrate outside his body. One strength also continued to soar. Su Yan entered a subtle state, having long forgotten everything around him. I don't know how long it took, but the qi and blood that penetrated outside the body became more and more blazing, and from a state of mist, it continued to solidify and expand outwards. It didn't stop until it expanded to a zhang away from his body, and his qi and blood began to churn, undergoing a metamorphosis in general, and continuously solidifying. Episode 25 I'm making this up, and you succeeded? Su Yan's qi and blood flowed within his body, fused and united, summarized in one body, the door to the martial arts path had been opened, and at the moment, he was lifting his foot and stepping into the door. After a night of cultivation and realization, he finally came to a clear understanding of how to merge and unite, how to summarize all in one body. The three basic stages of refining the skin, bones, and organs, although they have been hardened and completed, do not mean that they have stepped into the door of the martial arts. Only when the three are united and summarized in one body, when the physical body completes its metamorphosis, and the qi and blood are as round as one, and inspire the outside of the body, blazing like the astral plane, is it the initiation of the martial arts. It was only then that he had truly stepped into the threshold of martial arts. It's all about fusion, all in one, I feel like I'm ascending, I feel like I'm becoming powerful. Su Yen silently comprehended his own metamorphosis, his qi and blood became more and more blazing, and more and more powerful and solidified, penetrating outside his body by about ten feet, condensing into a dang. At a certain point, a dull sound resounded within, and with the first sound, the sounds followed one after another. The tendons and bones trembled, emitting sounds like thunder, and with each tremor, the qi and blood would surge violently, surging, which in turn triggered the tendons and bones to emit even louder sounds. This is the sinew and bone thunder. I'm finally going to step into the gate of martial arts. Tendons and bones thundering, qi and blood like the astral, have been realized. Su Yan was thrilled, after such a long period of hard cultivation, this day, he was finally going to step into the gate of the martial arts. With every sinewy thunderclap, qi and blood would skyrocket, the physical body became stronger, strength soared, and the control over oneself continued to improve. The astral deity of qi and blood also became more fiery. Boom! The sky was white, and the night had passed. The sky had light dark clouds that blocked out the sun. In the small mountain village, there was a sudden thunderous sound, and it seemed urgent, one after another, one louder than the other. Li Xian got up and washed himself when he suddenly heard the sound of thunder. Looking up in confusion, thunder? It's going to rain? Walking out of the house, suddenly his eyes went wide, his mouth fell open, and his whole body froze. Raising his hand to rub his eyes, he stared again. Su Yan stood at the place where he was practicing, at this moment, his tendons and bones were thundering, his qi and blood were like the astral deities, blazing astral deities that shrouded his body, and even from a distance, he could feel the powerful force contained therein. And the sound of thunder came from within Su Yan's body. Li Xian was dumbfounded, his entire body was dumbfounded, I made it up ah, how did you succeed in your cultivation? What kind of fucking demon are you? At first Su Yan must worship the teacher, he in order to worship the teacher gift, can only make up the cultivation method, but also set a one-year period. Originally, he thought that Su Yan's arduous cultivation was a too foolish man with a not-so-good brain who clung to the so-called martial way. Results. The clown is me? Li Xian's shocked eyes are going to stare out, blindly made up Gung Fu Ah, Su Yan even cultivated successfully, this is what kind of demon ah? Could it be that those who were withdrawn from marriage were all bound to be sons of fortune? Isn't the thundering of the sinews and bones, the qi and blood like astral deities, something he made up? At this moment, Su Yan's muscles and bones thundered, and the sound of thunder resounded throughout the small mountain village, and that blazing astral aura, enveloping his body, contained a terrifying power. I'm just a liar. I made it up. You've practiced it? What about me? Keep making things up? In case you are exposed, won't you be punched to death? Li Xian's entire body went numb. This disciple was too demonic, so demonic that he was scared ah. Just then, a golden light surged in his mind. A voice resounded in his mind, your disciple cultivated the gongfu you made up to successfully enter. You directly gongfu great success, strength a hundred times more than the same realm. In this instant, a stream of qi and blood rushed up from Li Xian's body, like a qi and blood flame, and shot up a hundred feet high. 
In Li Xian's mind, the cultivation process and method of refining the skin, bones, and organs emerged, his jade bones were pure and flawless, with spiritual rhythms flowing through them, and his qi and blood were like waves of astonishment, like the limitlessness of the sea. This is exactly what Li Xian said when he blindly made up the cultivation method, saying that at the time of the great accomplishment, the qi and blood rushed skyward by a hundred feet, blazing like the image of a flame. Goldfinger has appeared. At this moment, Li Xian was pleasantly surprised. What surprised him even more was the fact that he was covered in flawless jade bones and spiritual rhythms. This is exactly what he made up, the jade bone is flawless, the realm of the eternal immutable awe. This kid Su Yen, he's too damn demonic, not only has he succeeded in his cultivation, he's even tempered the jade bone. Hair, hair, this demonic disciple, must be utilized properly ah, whether or not my master can be invincible, it all depends on you. It's over. If I had known he was so demonic, I should have made up the immortal cultivation technique blindly. Li Xian was suddenly a bit chagrined. Had he known that his disciple was so demonic, he wouldn't have blindly made up martial arts techniques, but instead blindly made up immortal cultivation techniques. Fortunately, fortunately, I left room for maneuver, this is only the martial Tao initiation realm, I can still continue to make it up, make it up bigger, the stronger the better, the next realm of cultivation, I must ponder over it, I can't really make it up. What kind of golden finger am I? Does the success of my disciples' cultivation have anything to do with this golden finger of mine? The golden light in his mind had long since disappeared, as if it didn't exist. No matter how much Li Xian called out and probed, there was no trace. Su Yun this disciple, demonic for sure, if not demonic, how could he have succeeded in his cultivation, and also quenched the jade bone? As for whether his success in cultivation had anything to do with his own golden finger, Li Xian wasn't quite sure, but regardless, whether he could continue to be powerful or not, the next step would be to rely on Su Yan as his disciple. Su Yan's martial Dao was initiated, while Li Xian's direct feats were accomplished, and his strength was a hundred times greater than that of his peers. This hundred times the same realm was a hundred times the hundred times the great accomplishment of the technique. Li Xian was glad in his heart that he didn't set the blind editing technique too low, and that it was only the realm of initiation, and he could only be considered as a great accomplishment of the realm of initiation right now. After all, the gongfu he had made up was only the skin refining, bone refining, and dirty refining basic realms, and the martial Tao initiation. Calm down, calm down, don't get excited, be steady. I'm a hermit. I can't panic. Silly apprentice brother is coming over, keep fooling him and let him know how powerful the master is. Let him know that there is no end to the martial arts path, and that he has to gruelingly continue his training. Don't fucking think of women for me, all give me the sense of martial arts to go, must make hard to fool him. Su Yan's muscles and bones thundered, and his qi and blood were like astral waves as he finally stepped into the door of the martial Dao. He was filled with excitement, feeling his own power, feeling the blazing qi and blood astral energy, which was like a flame that could burn grass and trees. Now that's martial arts. I, Su Yan, have finally stepped into the gate of martial arts, and I can finally become a disciple of my master. All mocking me for being stupid, right? Humph, let's show you all what it means to be a strong martial artist. Su Yen, who was excited, thrilled, and filled with infinite yearning for the martial arts path, suddenly only felt a terrifying aura rise up, and an incomparably powerful force that seemed to be able to destroy the heavens and the earth rushed up to the sky. He looked up and his whole body was stunned. Master! That horrible qi and blood, rushing overnight a hundred feet, blazing like a flame, burning rivers and boiling the sea in general, this body of his qi and blood, under the master's qi and blood, is like a small stream and the sea difference. Episode 26 What a demon this disciple is! Gulp! Feeling his master's body, that terrifying qi and blood, Su Yan's heart trembled, and the excitement and thrill of stepping into the gate of martial arts instantly calmed down. I'm too weak. In front of master, it's like a mole cricket, I still have a long way to go. At this moment, Su Yan felt that he was too small, but he had just started, so what qualifications did he have to be excited? Who's to be proud? It must be because master sees that I'm proud of myself, which is why I'm showing off my qi and blood, so that I can know what it means to be truly powerful. Be sure to refrain from arrogance, be humble and low-key, and cultivate hard. Su Yen collected the qi and blood on his body and respectfully came before his master. Master, disciple has entered the martial arts. Li Xian had one hand behind his back, slightly trembling, that was from excitement, but his expression was calm, still looking like a strict teacher. Aha! Nodding, he looked at his foolish apprentice with a slight look of relief. See, this is the realm of initiation, the qi and blood at the time of great accomplishment. For the master to show you. Li Xian spoke indifferently. Master, I will definitely refrain from arrogance and cultivate in a practical manner. Su Yan said with a face of shame. Li Xian collected the qi and blood on his body, gazed at his disciple, and said gratefully, Master has given you a one-year period, and it's a great relief for Master that you were able to enter early. Taking a step to sit down on the chair under the big tree, Su Yan scrambled to make tea for his master and respectfully waited at the side. There is no end to martial arts, you are only just getting started now, there is still a long way to go, let me ask you, is the heart of martial arts resolute? Li Xian asked with a serious expression. Master, my disciple's heart for martial arts is resolute. Su Yan plopped down on his knees and threw himself on the ground. In his heart, he was excited, Master, is going to truly accept me as a disciple and pass on the supreme martial arts method to me. 
Good, very good, from today onwards, you are the true disciple of the master. Li Xian had a relieved look on his face. Then, seemingly speaking in a flat tone, he opened his mouth, Apprentice Ah, you have been practicing hard all the way, when carefully recalled, when to refine the skin, when to refine the bones, when to refine the organs Ah. Li Xian was genuinely curious as to how this demonic disciple had managed to cultivate his blindly concocted gongfu. Su Yan's martial arts initiation, the golden finger appeared, and he directly achieved great success in his gongfu, and naturally, there was, in his mind, the process and method about refining the skin, bones, and organs. These skin refining, bone refining, and organ refining processes and methods were clearly Su Yan's own enlightenment. It could not be said that it had nothing to do with what he had made up, after all, it had been realized from the gongfu he had made up, but in the end, making up was making up, and a practical method of cultivation was a practical method of cultivation. Between the two, it's different. One could look at the blindly made-up gongfu as a set of illusory theories, while Su Yen had taken this illusory theory and implemented it into an actual gongfu. Only after understanding Su Yen, how he had taken the blindly made-up gongfu and realized the true cultivation method, could he continue to make up the subsequent cultivation method, with the subsequent martial realm. Li Xian had a feeling that gongfu blindly made-up also had to have a certain theory, even if it was an illusory theory, between realms, there had to be articulation, and there had to be a clear hierarchy. You can't have one realm be martial arts and the next realm become immortal cultivation. In this way, it is absolutely impossible to cultivate it. Li Shen felt that these sensations he had were largely passed on by Goldfinger. Yes, master. Su Yen sniffed, his heart thrilled, this was the master who was going to instruct himself, wanting him to completely understand the process of cultivation and feel the subtleties of the martial way. So he began to tell how he had practiced. How to realize the deeper meaning of the master's words. Li Shen quietly listened, nodding his head from time to time, but in his heart, it was one sleeper after another. This disciple, too damn demonic. The perception is simply unbelievable, and extremely good at self-brainstorming, brainstorming their own words into another layer of deep meaning. The gong skill that master passed on to me is truly subtle and extraordinary, disciple is stupid, it took me a long time to understand, if not for master passing on my gong skill, I'm afraid I wouldn't have been able to quench the golden bones. Su Yen sighed and sighed. Li Xian was dumbfounded in his heart, I made up the gong naka, this can all be realized? It's too demonic, in the future. I'll just make up more gong skills and let my stupid disciple realize it. I was already satisfied when I quenched the golden bone, but thanks to master's guidance, which allowed me to persevere, I was able to quench the jade bone. Su Yen recalled that when he had tempered his golden bones, he gloated and was ready to report to his master that he was more than a match for the ancient heavenly pride. If it wasn't for the master's metaphor, allowing himself to temper his jade bones, how could he ever have become as powerful as he is today? Thinking about this, Su Yen had a look of shame on his face. Li Xian continued to be in a daze, when did I instruct my foolish disciple to temper his jade bones? With a calm expression on his face, he spoke, Disciple, how do you know that Master is instructing you? Su Yin said in shame, I quenched the golden bone and was about to report my good news to Master, but it turned out that when Master saw me coming over, he threw down the golden sword and played with the jade Rui. I knew that Master was being metaphorical, encouraging me to persevere in climbing the peaks, and to be resolute in my confidence to quench the jade bone. It's a bit of a shame that my disciple almost, didn't understand the Master's metaphor. Li Shen looked at his disciples' gaze or a little changed, his own at first, just simply, more like Ah Jade Rui, think this thing, more valuable than the golden sword just. It had not occurred to me that such a coincidence would cause the apprentice to misunderstand. And, having done some self-brainstorming, hardened the jade bones. As soon as he thought of this, Li Shen was a little bit numb, this disciple's brain, not bad, but too damn good. H.M. You can understand my master's metaphor, which is considered to be a fair amount of enlightenment, and to be able to persevere and quench the jade bone. I'm sure you've suffered some hardships. Li Xian said with a face full of relief. I was able to temper the jade bone thanks to master's guidance, if master hadn't instructed me to go and hunt the fire main wolves in the evil fiend forest, I'm afraid I wouldn't have been able to temper the jade bone. Su Yan looked at his master with a face full of respect and admiration. Li Xian's scalp was a bit numb, he now sort of understood that whether it was the tiger or the fire main wolf in his mouth, it was the Su Yan fellow who went to kill it. Instead of gathering guards and hunters to strike. That tiger was awesome at first glance. Su Yan had actually hunted it down. The fire main wolf, what's that about? Tell me about your hunt for the fire main wolf. Li Xian's expression did not have any ripples and his tone was calm, as if he was trying to instruct his disciple on the inadequacies of hunting fire main wolves. Yes, master. Su Yan responded respectfully and began to recount how he had fought with the fire main wolf, how he had hunted the fire main wolf, devoured the fire main wolf's blood, and then boiled the fire main wolf's meat, into a great tonic medicine. It was only with this aid in cultivation that the refining of the viscera was quickly completed and the door to the martial arts was set. Li Xian's face was calm, but in his heart, he was horrified, the fire main wolf was so ferocious? It's no longer an ordinary beast. What was even more terrifying was that Su Yan had actually wrestled the fire main wolf with his bare hands and used it to temper the jade bone. From Su Yan's narration, he was able to feel how vicious that battle was, and if he wasn't careful, Su Yan was going to become the prey in the mouth of the fire main wolf. This foolish disciple is also heaven-defying, to have so realized the method of quenching the jade bones and wrestled the fire main wolf. Li Xian sighed in his heart. 
This foolish disciple was too demonic. Episode 27. The martial arts initiation is called the realm of chi and blood. The fire main wolf has some strength for you after all, in fact, if you give up, the teacher will not blame you, you can be firm and single-minded, with this to break through the barrier and harden the jade bone, the teacher is very pleased. Li Xian expressed his recognition of his disciple. But, disciple you have to remember, rise to the challenge, is certainly courageous, however, martial arts practitioners, not reckless martial arts, not brainless generation, reckless martial arts only know reckless, in the end, cannot long. Li Xian spoke with deliberation. The apprentice must be given a reminder not to do anything too dangerous. Lest in the future, after this foolish disciple brainstormed his words, he would be fearless and foolish enough to do dangerous things and lose his little life as a result, then he would have to cry to death. It's up to the stupid apprentice to be invincible, ah. It can't die in the middle. With Su Yan's characteristic of self-brainstorming, with his heaven-defying self-enlightenment of enlightenment, the words don't need to be said bluntly, to leave space for him to go to enlightenment. Su Yan respectfully said, Master's teachings, I bear them in mind. Li Xian's mind raced, deliberating as he continued, my generation of cultivators is concerned with enlightenment, with discerning misfortune, retreating when retreating, advancing when advancing, having a flexible mind, and having the acumen to see through crises. Be good at using wisdom, be good at seizing the moment, he who has in his head only the winners and losers of the moment is a reckless man, and he who has no courage and perseverance is a mediocrity. In a word, don't be rigid, understand? Su Yan respectfully said, Master, disciple understands. He sighed in his heart. The deep meaning of the master's words is too subtle, this is the path of martial arts, I only understand which, to be flexible against the enemy, but also to be brave and resolute, these surface meanings. My martial realm, after all, is a bit too low ah. Experience is also too little, but keeping in mind master's words to be flexible and not rigid, I get it. Li Xin glanced at his disciple, and muttered in his heart, he didn't know if the silly disciple, whether he had carried out any self-brainstorming or not, whether he really understood what he meant? It's roughly understood, right? After all, the kid has a flexible brain and doesn't look like a stiff. What's next? Continue teaching Su Yen the cultivation method? It's not made up yet. Since Su Yen was able to cultivate successfully, and he was able to obtain feedback himself, he couldn't really make up a few blind tricks next, he had to be organized and sound arcane and powerful. He hadn't thought about the martial realm yet either. As for the martial Tao initiation realm that he was in today, let's call it the Qi and Blood realm. Anyway, it's just something you make up, and the realm name is whatever you want it to be. What to practice next? What realm is it? Li Xian needed to spend some time mulling it over, it had to be well-layered and sound well-reasoned and solidly theoretical. Fortunately, after all, he was a netbook writer in his previous life, and it was still difficult for him to make up a blind cultivation setting. It's nothing more than taking a little time. Thus, Li Xian spoke, you just made a breakthrough, take some time to stabilize. Yes, master. There is no end to the martial arts path, you must remember that initiation is only the beginning of stepping into the path of martial arts. Li Xian looked like a strict teacher as he continued, the martial Tao initiation is called the Qi and Blood Realm. You are only an initiation to the Qi and Blood Realm today, when you cultivate to the Qi and Blood state that Master just displayed, you will be a Qi and Blood Realm grand completion. Su Yan's heart perked up as he heard the words. Originally, the Martial Tao initiation is called the Qi and Blood Realm. As for me, I've only just entered the Qi and Blood Realm. Just now, the strength of Master's Qi and Blood was too terrifying, and such a terrifying strength is only a Qi and Blood Realm grand completion. Li Xian thought about his own strength, which was a hundred times that of the same realm, and that Su Yan was far inferior to his own even if he had cultivated to the point of Qi and Blood greatness. However, the chi and blood rushing a hundred feet into the sky was already a chi and blood great accomplishment. Then said, of course, for the teacher's strength, after all, too high, even if you were chi and blood into the great, but also cannot do for the teacher this step, chi and blood a hundred feet, blazing like a flame, eem, and evil to avoid easy, that is the great. Su Yan respectfully said, disciple understands. A hundred zhang of chi and blood is the great accomplishment of the chi and blood realm. Killing the enemy is a hundred feet away. What a powerful strength this is. In terms of the strength of the martial artists in the Qi Jianghu, Su Yan was certain that he could sweep the entire Jianghu, and even those legendary supreme masters would not be a match for his own punch. He felt that with his current strength, he was afraid that it would be enough to ignore the Qi Emperor. Still, it was important to keep a low profile, who knew if there were any martial arts powerhouses like Master hiding? Thus, Su Yan opened his mouth and asked, Master, what is the strength of the martial arts world? In Qi, where I am from, the strength of the Jianghu is too low, even if it's a supreme expert. I feel like a breath of air can kill the other party. Li Xian was surprised in his heart, Qi's force value was so low? A single breath of air can kill a top expert in the jungle? However, judging from the strength of the fire main wolves in the evil fury forest, the force value of this world shouldn't be so low. As for whether there was a martial arts world in this world, Li Xian naturally did not know, looking at Su Yan's expectant gaze, he spoke, once your strength has risen, you'll naturally be able to reach out, don't be overly ambitious, your strength is too poor, and when you go to a place where there are a lot of strong people, you will be nothing more than cannon fodder. Su Yan nodded his head thoughtfully and said, Master is right. Then, curiously, he asked, Master, what realm are you in? Li Xian smiled mysteriously, slightly raising his head to the sky as he said quietly, Realms, huh? 
That's something too far away. Su Yen was stunned, the realm was something too far away? Master said that there is no end to the martial arts path, could it be that Master means that he has already transcended all the existing realms? Thinking so, Su Yen's heart was shocked. Worthy of being a master, ah, a reclusive master who has long since transcended the martial arts world. Master, I understand. Su Yen solemnly said. Li Xian was a bit confused in his heart, this stupid disciple, what did he understand again? Standing up, with his hands behind his back, he walked towards the house with a leisurely pace and said, Apprentice, consolidate your strength. Yes, master. Li Xian returned to the house, calmed his agitated heart, and began to figure out how to make up feats blindly. The introduction to martial arts is the qi and blood realm, and the qi and blood realm cultivates qi and blood, the stronger the qi and blood, the stronger the physical body, the stronger the strength. So what should be cultivated after the qi and blood realm to make some sense? Even if you are making it up, there has to be a framework, a theory that exists, so that the disciple can come to a realization on his own. There. Above the qi and blood realm is the innate realm, where qi and blood condense into innate true qi. Those who are innate are able to use their qi to soar into the air and travel a hundred miles in an instant. How should I cultivate into an innate? After some contemplation, Li Xian determined the realm after the qi and blood realm, the innate realm. But how should one break through the innate realm? What Li Xian thought about was condensing qi and blood into true qi, and the first thing that was needed was to open up the Dantian Qi Si. Open up the Dantian Qi Si, condense the true qi, and transform the acquired into the innate, how do you open up the Dantian? Forget it, just get a theory, leave it to your disciple to realize, it shouldn't be too much of a problem, right? Ren Chakra, Dude Chakra, to open the Ren and Dude Chakras, a bit not metaphysical enough, let's call it, the Heaven and Earth Bridge? That's right, let's call it the Bridge of Heaven and Earth, open the Bridge of Heaven and Earth, and lay the foundation for controlling the greatness of Heaven and Earth. Episode 28 What to make up for the rest of the practice? Before Su Yen had succeeded in his cultivation, Li Xian was in line with the idea that he was fooling people, so he blindly made it up without any psychological pressure, how to make it up in a mysterious way. There is no need to consider either, whether or not it is possible to practice. It's all made up. How can it be successfully practiced? As a result, Su Yen, this demon, after successfully cultivating the blindly made up gongfu, and having triggered the golden finger, Li Xian directly achieved great success in his gongfu. And his strength was a hundred times greater than that of the same realm. It's impossible to let go of the next cultivation technique and make it up. After all, it was related to whether or not he could succeed in his cultivation, and it was also related to him continuing to receive golden finger feedback to enhance himself. Mental stress is there, and ideas abound. When editing, consider whether the theory is reliable. There are no loopholes. Not made up enough to be mysterious and worried about not being strong enough. Making it up was too esoteric, and he was afraid that Su Yen wouldn't be able to realize it and continue his cultivation. In short, when he started to compile the next realm on how to cultivate, Li Xian realized that he had thought too simply. With pressure in this mind, you will look ahead and suffer. Fuck. Why don't I just make it up and let my apprentice get a headache and sense? No, in case he can't sense it, won't it be my own loss? What the hell is going on with this damn gold finger? Li Xian had a bitter look on his face. The golden finger was triggered, yet after instilling him with cultivation, it disappeared as if it didn't exist. It's because Su Yen successfully cultivated the gongfu I made up that triggered the golden finger, so if you want to get feedback, you still have to rely on Su Yen, this kid is too demonic, his enlightenment is ridiculously strong. Therefore, I will compile the gong method to articulate the realm levels, and leave the specific cultivation method to Su Yen to realize on his own. I just need to make up a set of theories, as well as arcane sounding kung fu techniques. Li Xian took a deep breath and straightened out the direction of making up the gongfu. The next step was how to construct this illusory theory. Make up gong tricks that sound esoteric. Everything after that was left to Su Yan's own realization. Since he was able to perceive it on his own from refining his skin, bones, and organs, how could he not do so in his next cultivation? Bone refining technique, I made up, bright heart viewing me nurturing true intent, qi and blood as dragons casting a golden body, then qi and blood realm also make up two phrases of the technique, let Su Yan go to the enlightenment, it can accelerate his speed of cultivation. Li Xian recalled the two phrases of the gong knack that he had made up blindly, and it was from these two phrases of the gong knack that Su Yan had found the method of quenching the golden bone, and even quenched the jade bone with it. So it's important to make up gong tips that are a bit esoteric, but not too spacey. Leave it to Su Yan's own senses. The next realm of the qi and blood realm will be designated as the innate realm, there's no rush to compile the qi and blood realm's gong knacks for now. Although there was no gong knack, the direction of cultivation, however, was already determined, and it was still possible to cultivate until the qi and blood had reached great success. It was just that if the gong knack was compiled, and Su Yen realized something from it, the speed of cultivation would increase greatly, and the strength would also be stronger. If Su Yen's strength increased, his strength as a master would also increase. He was now a qi and blood realm great accomplishment, and his strength was a hundred times greater than that of his peers, and the standard for the strength of sin was with reference to his disciple Su Yen. Currently, his strength was a hundred times that of Su Yen's when he had reached the grand completion of the qi and blood realm. If Su Yen had cultivated his strength because of his comprehension of the gong skill, it would be much more powerful than the current method of cultivation. 
The stronger Su Yan's strength was at the great perfection realm, the stronger Li Xian's strength, naturally, would be as well. So the Kung Fu recipe had to be made up. Refining the skin, bones, and organs, as well as the Marshal Dao's introductory cultivation method, which Li Xian had already grasped by the time the Golden Finger's feedback was instilled. This was already a complete introductory martial arts cultivation system. It came from Su Yan's cultivation and enlightenment, and with this real cultivatable Gongfu foundation, Li Xian had a general direction for making up a Qi and Blood Realm Gongfu and handing it over to Su Yan for his own enlightenment. The fundamental reason for compiling the Qi and Blood Realm technique was to allow Su Yan to perceive from it, a more powerful and efficient Qi and Blood Realm cultivation method. Enhance the strength of the Qi and Blood Realm. The Qi and Blood Realm is about growing Qi and Blood, and growing the physical body and physique, so the root of cultivation is to increase the quality and quantity of Qi and Blood, and to increase the upper limit of the physique. Since it's for cultivating qi and blood, then it should be fine to use this as a technique, right? After some pondering, Li Xian made up four lines of kung fu codes. For sentences is four sentences, that's it, leave it to the silly disciple to ponder over his headache, even if he fails to realize anything, it won't delay him from continuing his cultivation. It's only a matter of time before the qi and blood realm comes to fruition, what matters is that silly apprentice brother is able to continue to be demonic and cultivate the blindly made up innate realm. Li Xian exhaled a breath, carrying his hands behind his back, with the appearance of a strict teacher. He walked out of the house with a leisurely pace. Su Yan was cultivating to consolidate his realm. Apprentice son come here, master will pass on your qi and blood realm skills. Li Xian beckoned. Yes, master. Upon hearing this, Su Yan ran over excitedly. A qi and blood realm technique. Listen carefully, the qi and blood realm technique, a total of four sentences, if you are able to understand the true meaning of it, the cultivation will naturally grow by leaps and bounds, and it won't take much time before the qi and blood realm will become a great success. Li Xian's tone had a bit more of a serious flavor to it. Yes, master, disciple will definitely understand the kung fu technique and will never let you down. Su Yan patted his chest in assurance. You can have this confidence, the teacher is very pleased, just do your best, you can't understand the true meaning of the gong knack, and it won't delay the cultivation. Li Xian's tone lightened. You can't push your disciple too hard, once the psychological pressure is too great, I'm afraid that it will be a mistake and you won't be able to understand the kung fu technique instead. Disciple understands. Su Yan nodded his head. Aha! Li Xian nodded his head and slowly said, You will listen well, the four lines of the Qi and Blood Realm Kung Fu recipe thousands of streams and ten thousand waters turn into a great river, ten thousand miles run into the ocean, the shocking waves roll up a thousand layers of waves, the Qi and Blood can shake ten thousand heavy mountains. Su Yan couldn't help but mutter a sentence when he heard the last sentence of the Gong skill, Qi and Blood can shake ten thousand mountains? I only felt how imposing and powerful the meaning of this sentence was. Li Xian coughed dryly and said, Apprentice, you must remember that the method passed down by my master emphasizes comprehension and meaning, not form, much less surface. The cliché of bringing this out and continuing to remind Su Yan. Yes, master, disciple understands. Su Yan responded respectfully. At the moment, in his mind, it was all about those four gongi phrases. Well, go consolidate your cultivation. Li Xian nodded. His heart breathed a sigh of relief, finally passing on the gong skill to Su Yan, whether he could make it or not depended on him. If you can't realize it, then you can't blame yourself as a master. Next, he was going to spend some effort on the innate realm. How to make up a little bit of arcane, but also to be able to and qi blood realm, theoretically can be articulated, will not appear to be unsuccessful, there is no way to start the situation. Yes, master. Su Yan respectfully saluted before returning to his place of cultivation. He began to comprehend the four phrases of the kung fu recipe, sighing in his heart, worthy of being a kung fu recipe passed down by his master, it sounds like a poem in words, subtle and extraordinary, containing infinite martial arts subtleties. I must comprehend it, I can't let master down. The Episode 29 Su Yan realizes the qi and blood realm techniques. Although Su Yan has been introduced to the martial arts, but the life is as usual, when it is time to cook, feed the chickens, Li Xian seems to be as leisurely as usual. Behind his back, he was scratching his head, pondering on how to compile the framework of the innate realm cultivation, how to compile the theory of the innate realm, and even the gong skills. In addition to the innate boundaries, the direction of cultivation down the road should also have a concept. A good theoretical foundation for when blindly making up realms and feats down the road. The Gong Fu was not compiled enough to be esoteric, Li Xian did not cultivate it out enough to be strong, and the meaning was not deep enough to allow Su Yan, a demon, to go deeper into enlightenment. The fabrication is too arcane, detached from the framework, and afraid of not being able to connect, and even more afraid that Su Yan will not be able to understand, and will be stuck in the Qi and blood realm and not be able to cultivate. Damn, this is too hard. Li Xian secretly sighed. With this pressure on my mind, I can't let go, and I seem to be in a bind when I make it up. Let go to make up, but also afraid that Su Yan cannot realize, stuck in the Qi and blood realm cultivation does not go on, and ultimately the damage is still his own. On Li Xian's side, he was secretly worried about blindly making up an innate realm technique. Su Yan in the past few days, also for the enlightenment of the four phrases of the Kung Fu, and scratching their ears, but no progress, the heart is sad. Such a simple gong skill, if I can't even comprehend and understand its wonderful principles, master will definitely be disappointed. 
So what if you quench the jade bone? How can you continue to cultivate the martial arts when you can't comprehend the technique? There is no end to martial arts, ah, if you can't even comprehend such a simple technique, how can you cultivate to a more powerful and profound martial arts realm? Su Yen stared and thought hard. Suddenly, he thought of his master's words again. Master said to do your best, and that not being able to comprehend would not delay cultivation. I was fully focused on the kung fu technique, my mind was consumed, and I neglected to cultivate instead. Master is actually telling me not to indulge in it too much, and to feel it in cultivation in order to understand its wonderful principles. After some brainstorming like this, Su Yan's eyes lit up. Immediately, he collected his mind and began to cultivate, carefully comprehending the flow of qi and blood, as well as the slow enhancement, his mind was free of distractions. And he was single-mindedly in the middle of cultivation. It was just that while practicing, the four phrases of the kung fu recipe, occasionally floated to his mind. As he cultivated, gradually Su Yan's mind actually gained some clarity, a thousand streams and ten thousand waters turn into a great river. Every time I cultivate, my qi and blood are strengthening, becoming more and more, little by little, isn't it just like a thousand streams and ten thousand waters? Ten thousand miles running into the ocean, the wonderful principle of which is to gather qi and blood and transform it into an ocean like, no, it's the physical body that is like an ocean, holding the qi and blood. Thrilling waves roll up a thousand waves, qi and blood can shake ten thousand mountains, qi and blood can't be calm, it has to be like a torrent, it has to be like a thrilling wave, so as to stimulate the qi and blood even more, so that it can be more effective in strengthening the physique. Qi and blood can shake ten thousand mountains, could it mean bones like mountains, qi and blood shake mountains? A flash of light appeared in Su Yan's mind, and he only felt that the meaning of the four lines of the kung fu technique had surfaced in his mind. At this moment, he vaguely realized it, comprehending the marvelous principles of the martial Tao therein. Qi and blood converge, like a torrent, like a shocking wave, shaking the jade bones, the circumference is an ocean. Su Yan was caught up in his senses, and the qi and blood in his body gradually flowed like a torrent, and layer upon layer of qi and blood, constantly slapping the bones around his body. I see. At a certain moment, Su Yan's heart was thrilled, instantly understanding, the wonderful principles of the martial Tao hidden in the four lines of the gongi. Only to see him take a deep breath, his bones trembled, a rumble appeared around him. And it was as if there was a thunderous sound resounding within his body. The sound was not loud, as if it only rattled inside. At a certain moment, a thread of qi and blood, continuously surfaced, flowing around the body in a new way of operation, the bone marrow flowed like a river, and the qi and blood was then continuously produced, and it was getting faster and faster, more and more. At the same time, the qi and blood around his body was like a torrent, constantly running, sometimes slapping against the bones, the qi and blood slapping against the bones, reeling back and agitating his body. The fleshly body was strengthened in this one qi and blood rewind, and with it, the qi and blood were purified and became more powerful. The gang of qi and blood surrounded his body, and between Su Yan's breaths, his chest and abdomen roared, his qi and blood boiled, and his fiery breath was like a raging flame. However, after cultivating for a while with the newly realized cultivation method, Su Yan felt an improvement in himself. And it was an all-round enhancement, the fleshly body was strengthening, the qi and blood were strengthening. The gong skill passed down by master is really too profound, it's true that cultivation is different when one has realized the gong skill and when one hasn't realized the gong skill. After realizing the gong skill, the enhancement was faster and the qi and blood became more powerful. Su Yan was thrilled in his heart. I finally realized the kung fu technique, I won't let master down. His heart lifted. Li Xian was in the process of compiling the cultivation method of the innate realm, mainly the theoretical framework therein and how it would interface with the qi and blood realm. The first thing that had been established was that the innate realm cultivated true qi. A body's qi and blood transformed into innate true qi, and in order to transform into innate true qi, this required a process. First of all the first step, was to open the bridge between heaven and earth. After the bridge between heaven and earth is opened, qi and blood run around the circumference of the sky, transforming into innate true qi, and only after the bridge between heaven and earth is opened can one exhale heaven and earth's spiritual qi, transforming it into true qi. The innate person is the one who gulps the aura of heaven and earth, and the one who rises up in the air with his breath, instantly traveling a hundred miles, is already a non-human being. The more Li Xian pondered over it, the more he felt that this set of blindly made-up theories was very true, with a perfect theory and a solid framework. All that's left is for the stupid disciple Su Yan to realize it. The only problem is. Li Xian raised his head to look at the sky, muttering in his heart, this world, is there aura present? If not, wouldn't it be a waste of time? The air is so good here, it really smells sweet, there should be an aura present, right? Regardless of the existence of aura, anyway, the innate realm is to gulp the aura of heaven and earth and refine it into the innate true qi, the latter returning to the innate, and detaching from the fetus of mortal dust. The second realm, it's made up this high, once it's cultivated, it's already very strong, the realm behind it, you have to continue to make it up in the arcane direction to make it work, otherwise it won't be strong enough. Li Xian sighed in his heart, this blindly making up feats was not an easy thing to do. But after a few days of pondering, he finally made up the cultivation method of the innate realm. Theoretically, it could be articulated with the qi and blood realms. As for whether or not it would work, it all depended on Su Yan. There's no rush to pass it on to Su Yan for the time being, he's only just entered the qi and blood realm for the first time, so how can we let him? First familiarize himself with the qi and blood realm? 
Otherwise, if he hasn't even sensed the chi and blood realm techniques and has to start comprehending the innate realm techniques, in case he can't turn his brain around, won't it be a mistake? Li Xian thought in his heart and decided to hold off for a while, not to say that he would wait for Su Yan to cultivate to the chi and blood realm's great accomplishment, but at least he should enlighten the four lines of the gong secret, right? I also don't know if silly apprentice brother, has he gained anything at this moment? The four lines of gong tips, made up is still not metaphysical enough, a bit too spacey, next time make up something better. Li Xian secretly summarized his experience, the next time he made up a gong skill, he should make it a little more mysterious, a little more meaningful, and it should be able to ride a little bit with the realm of cultivation. Can't be too spacey. Otherwise, it's not easy to sense it. Episode 30 It's time to go all in on the greatness of martial arts. Li Xian was pondering whether or not to make up two more qi and blood realm kung fu phrases to replace those four, so that Su Yan could brainstorm and sense out of them. Being able to hitch a ride with the qi and blood realm in this way, it can be convenient for the apprentice brother to brainstorm and for him to carry out his enlightenment. It was just that the four phrases had already been passed on, so was it necessary to find another reason to tell Su Yan that these four phrases were not suitable for him, so a different set of techniques was needed? If that were true, wouldn't it appear that he, the master of a hidden master, had insufficient grasp of his disciples' talent? Or should we wait a little longer and give Su Yan a new gong knack when he can't brainstorm the true meaning of the martial arts in it and comes to me for advice? Only, in this way, will it deal a blow to the faith of the disciple, ah? Li Xian sighed in his heart, this disciple is really hard to teach. Suddenly, a faint golden light flooded his mind. Your disciple understood the gong skill you compiled and realized the true meaning of the martial Tao from it, and you gained the qi and blood realm cultivation technique and increased your strength. This moment. In Li Xian's mind, the qi and blood realm cultivation technique appeared, and his own qi and blood, at this moment, doubled. Hiss. Li Xian's eyes were wide open, his heart excited, silly apprentice brother is really bullish, this can even brainstorm the true meaning of martial arts? This qi and blood realm cultivation technique can't be said to be unrelated to the kung fu technique, but it's also a hundred thousand miles away. Good fellow, what kind of brain is that of his, how did he realize and brainstorm this set of true meaning of martial arts, and cultivation techniques? It's not a good idea to disobey. This disciple is truly too demonic. Goldfinger's second feedback for further strength. Only, after the Goldfinger feedback, once again no trace could be found, as if it had never existed. It looks like the Golden Finger will only appear if the apprentice disciple succeeds in cultivating the Gongfu I made up. Li Xian was thoughtful. Of course, it remains to be explored whether there are other directions that Goldfinger can explore. Right now, teaching Su Yan, his disciple, well, so that he could continue to enhance his strength and continue to cultivate painstakingly was the priority. Apprentice, it's quite alright for you to be able to understand the Kung Fu technique in this amount of time, quit being arrogant and cultivate well. Li Xian took a leisurely pace and arrived in front of Su Yan. As if he had seen through his disciple at a glance, he spoke with a slight hint of relief. Yes, master. Su Yan sighed in his heart, master's eyes are as discerning as a torch, I just realized the gongfu, and he saw it in a single glance. Disciple, is your heart for martial arts firm? Li Xian asked seriously. Master, my disciple's heart for martial arts is as firm as a rock. Su Yan said with a firm gaze. Can a woman be on your mind? There is no woman in the disciple's heart. Good. Very good. My disciple has such a heart for martial arts, he will definitely be able to reach the peak of martial arts in the future. Li Xian said with great joy. Good disciple, should be fully committed to the great cause of martial arts, do not think about women delayed cultivation, only the great cause of martial arts, is the right way. I'm counting on you. For his disciple to have such a heart for martial arts, Li Xian was pleased in his heart. Ever since he had realized the qi and blood realm technique, Su Yan's strength had been increasing daily, although there was still a long way to go before he reached the grand completion of the qi and blood hundredfold realm. However, in just half a month Su Yan's qi and blood had already reached Ten Zhang. Master, my disciple has been away from home for a long time and would like to make a trip home to visit my parents. On this day, Su Yan thought that he had, for once, been away from home for too long, and that his parents should be worried, so he spoke respectfully. Well, go on. Li Xian nodded. The heart is sighing and sighing, he has been traveling for a long time, has not yet left the small village, and it is almost time to leave this deserted place. Go and meet the people of this world. Go to see the scenery of Qi, go to enjoy some, Qi Janghu style, at the same time to see whether it is really as Su Yan said, force value is so low. Su Yan, who was an introductory Qi and Blood Realm member, could spray a Janghu top expert to death with a single breath. So would his own Qi and Blood Realm member, who was a great achiever, not be able to stare himself to death with a single look? Is the value of force in this world really so ridiculously low? Li Xian recalled the fire main wolf that Su Yan had wrestled, and from this point of view, the value of force in this world shouldn't be so low. Perhaps there existed some hidden secrets that Su Yan's identity and background could not access? After witnessing Su Yan's departure, Li Xian returned leisurely with his hands behind his back. The next time Su Yan came back, it would be time to leave this place, and such hard work as moving would of course be left to the apprentice. East River County, recently the streets and alleys, tea houses and inns in the hot topic, are the richest Su family, a batch of goods were robbed by bandits. Where did the bandits come from? How dare you even rob the Su family's goods? 
The Su family's foolish son, who was just withdrawn from the marriage by the great general, the Su family's prestige has plummeted, so he's being targeted, isn't he? The stupid son of the richest family, although he was withdrawn from the general's residence, the backer of the Su family is the minister of the Ministry of Mandarins of the current dynasty. The dignified figures of Donghua County were privately discussing this matter. In the Su family's parlor hall, Su Juan has sat at the top with a grave expression, looked at the group of people below and spoke, where did the bandits come from? This batch of goods, must be delivered as promised, or else you will be liable for triple compensation. Bodyguard Chen, Pavilion Master Wang, the two of you, this time, personally escort the goods to Jinan, and make sure to deliver the goods as promised. Su Juanha looked down at the two burly, strong men and said. Please don't worry, shopkeeper, we will deliver the goods as promised, and as for the bandits. We have our own way of dealing with them. Bodyguard Chen arched his hand and said. Su Juanha nodded, and after making the arrangements, he let the people leave. Chin Dart Head and Wang Pavilion Master, one is the biggest dartboard chief in Donghua County, the dartboard is controlled by Su Juanha behind the scenes, one is Donghua County, the biggest martial arts pavilion master, the controller behind the scenes is also Su Juanha. Whether it was Dart Leader Chen or Pavilion Master Wang, they were both Jianghu supreme experts who had cultivated internal energy. With the help of these two men, the shipment should be able to be delivered as promised. Just, thinking about the buyer of this batch of goods, Su Juanha had some hidden worries in his heart. He was able to become the richest man in Donghua County, and he even married the former Donghua County governor, the daughter of the current minister of the Ministry of Ministry of Justice, as his wife, so he would not be an idle man. This batch of goods was robbed by mountain bandits, while he went to the East River Great General's residence, seeking help without success, and immediately realized that he was being targeted. And this force against him came from the imperial city of Qi, Jinan. Realizing the seriousness of the situation, it was only then that he decided to use the two major forces under his command to ensure that the shipment was delivered without leaving the enemy an excuse to attack. Hopefully, it's not what I think it is. Su Juan has sighed in his heart. Returning to the backyard, Mrs. Su said with a worried expression, Husband, Yenner has been away from home for a long time, could something have happened? Don't worry, ma'am, Yenner will be fine. Su Juan was a bit headstrong, that stupid son of his own, not at all provincial ah, this go, three months have no news. What he was most worried about now was that his family's stupid son, who had been taken as a hostage, would be the most fatal. While Su Juanha was worrying about his own foolish son, Su Yan was riding his horse, walking on the official road, and was returning to Donghua County City. The stupid son of Su Juanha's family? Hey, found you. A sorrowful voice suddenly sounded as two figures blocked in front of Su Yan's horse. The Episode 31 It's not that they're too weak, it's that I'm too strong. Su Yan rode on his horse, looking at the two Jianghu people in front of him who had long knives on their waists, a look of surprise on their faces, and gazes with a slightly grim color. A pensive look was revealed. I'm being targeted? Trying to kidnap me? That's not right, why hasn't anyone been on me before? Could it be, because I haven't been withdrawn from the marriage and have a marriage contract with the great general's house, so these Jianghu people don't dare to touch me? Looking around for high people, has not been a day or two, walking alone in the East River County, there has never been any Jianghu people, dare to kidnap him as the richest son of the East River. Now, there was someone who was openly on the official highway, plotting against himself. The first thing that came to Su Yan's mind was that he had been withdrawn from the general's residence, and these Jianghu people had no more scruples and had begun to target him. Although I'm not the future son-in-law of the general's residence, my grandfather is the minister of the Ministry of Revenue. Su Yan thought for a moment, although he has no relationship with the general's residence, but he is the grandson of the minister of the Ministry of Justice, that is the actual minister of the dynasty. Silly boy, be a good boy and come with us. One of the Jianghu men, prancing up, was about to grab Su Yan off his horse. At this moment on the official road, although there are no pedestrians traveling to and fro, still have to be quick and hurry to catch the people. Lest there be any complications. As long as Su Yan was in hand, the next action would be much easier. Probing Su Yan's shoulders, he fiercely exerted himself to grab the person down, only to horrifiedly realize that it was as if he was grasping a huge mountain. The other side doesn't move a muscle. Not good. In his heart, he was about to let go and back away, but he only felt a tightening of his neck, a hand had already strangled his neck and picked him up. Who gave you the nerve to come and get me? Su Yan gazed at the other party. The other man was shocked at this, clanging his sword out and rising into the air, slashing at Su Yan. Let go. The killing intent in his eyes was awe-inspiring, and a hint of ruthlessness flashed through his eyes. Hoomph. Su Yan snorted coldly, his other hand grabbed and directly met the opponent's long blade, astral energy emerging from his arm as he grabbed violently. The long knife entered his hand and instantly snapped into several pieces under a shock of chi and blood. A chi and blood astral chi blasted out from Su Yan's hands, instantly blasting at the man's body. Boom! The man was in mid-air and instantly exploded. Blood and flesh flew about, startling Su Yan, and his chi and blood astral energy instantly enveloped his body. As a result, the moment his chi and blood astral energy surfaced, the man whose neck he had pinched, in an inadvertent moment, in a chi and blood astral energy bombardment, his tendons and bones shattered on the spot, and he died with a pair of wide, horrified eyes. Boom! 
The Qian blood swept out and swept the flesh and blood corpses, all of which flew into the grass on both sides of the road. This is too fragile. Su Yan couldn't help but say in a daze after throwing the body into the grass. He had only used his qi and blood for a little while. But he had actually directly knocked someone out. It's that I'm too strong. I am not on the same level of existence as them, anymore. Su Yan exhaled a breath, his heart revitalized, this was the true martial way, and he was only in the qi blood realm, but he possessed such a terrifying strength. My control of my own power is still a bit poor, I'll have to pay attention next time. After Su Yan had learned this lesson this time, he continued to rush on. There was no one on the official road at this moment, and the passage of killing two Jiangmu people was not seen, so Su Yan went home in peace. Yenner you're back. Mrs. Su pulled her son's hand with a happy face, looking up and down, not thin, not tanned, seemed to be a bit more robust, and was instantly relieved. As long as baby boy isn't suffering it's a good thing. Yenner ah, this time when you come back, don't wander off ah, it's not safe outside now. Mrs. Su admonished. Mother, where's father? Su Yan asked suspiciously. Every time as soon as he returned, his own dad, would inevitably show up with a stern face, ready to reprimand his own. Today, surprisingly, I didn't see anyone. Your father's gone to take care of business. Mrs. Su flashed a hint of sorrow and said. Mother, what happened to our family? Su Yan sniffed and immediately realized that something had happened to his family. Otherwise, his own father wouldn't have taken care of matters himself. In order to make her son collect himself and realize the dangers outside, Mrs. Su sighed, on the Jinan Road in Dongha County, I don't know when, a group of mountain bandits appeared and robbed our family's goods. Now your father, who is arranging for the goods to be re-delivered, is going to pay trip if the goods don't arrive as promised. Yenner, your father will take care of these things, you just came back, hungry? Mrs. Su ordered her subordinates to prepare a banquet to receive her precious son. Su Yen frowned, then his heart grew stupid. Although I'm only an initiator in martial arts, the top experts in the Jianghu are all weak to me, these mountain bandits dare to target my family's goods, so they really deserve to die. Just in time, I can try out my strength, whether I can push this nest of bandits across the mountains by myself. It was the perfect opportunity to try out his strength and get rid of his own family's troubles in the process. These years, spent the family a lot of money, can let their own father valued business, visible this batch of goods is worth a lot. Mother, where is that nest of bandits? Why don't we see the government going to round it up? Su Yan asked with a curious look. Mrs. Su didn't know her own baby son, ready to go alone to push the mountain bandits across, and didn't hide it, said, in the East River County 200 miles on the Black Wind Mountain, just beside the Jinan Road. Zhang Pingshan refused to deploy troops to fight the bandits on the grounds that he had to guard against the Heavenly Mother Sex Rebellion, humph, it's nothing more than just standing idly by because he's withdrawn from the marriage and has nothing to do with my family anymore. Mrs. Su's face showed anger when she spoke of Zhang Pingshan. Su Yan sniffed in his heart, this batch of goods to dig the Jinan Road, obviously sent to the capital of Qi goods, that nest of bandits even in the Jinan Road to rob goods, but also the Su family. I'm afraid there's some inside information here. However, Su Yen didn't care about any of this, he only wanted to go and try his strength and push across that nest of bandits. Mother, it occurs to me that there's something else going on, and I'm going out. Yenner, where are you going? Come back. Mrs. Su said sharply. Su Yen took a horse from the stables and left the city directly. It's almost dark when we arrive at Black Wind Mountain, perfect timing. Su Yan's heart perked up as he thought. On Black Wind Mountain, a group of Jianghu people converged and were discussing how to rob the Su family's goods next. The leader of the bandits was a stout man with a bare upper body and a chest full of black hair, at the moment he had a machete stuck at his feet, and spoke in a deep voice, this mission, it must be a success, Su Juanha is a man of character, and after he lost the goods once, he is bound to be prepared for it, and the group must not take it lightly. Boss Xiong don't worry, as long as Jiang Pingshan doesn't send troops, no matter how capable Su Juanha is, he won't be able to keep the goods. Right. Right at this moment, a figure surrounded by blazing astral energy, ferociously and incomparably abrupt rushed up the mountain, and said in a fierce voice, if you want my Su clan's goods, we'll see what you can do. Episode 32. Violent killing of the enemy is a great success. What a guy. Boss Xiong let out a furious cry, pulled up the machete at his feet, and fiercely looked at the figure that had suddenly appeared. At that look, his scalp went numb. That blazing fire-like astral energy was daunting to look at. It's Su Ju and his stupid son. A mountain bandit exclaimed in shock. The rest of them were all horrified, rumor had it that Su Ju and his foolish son was searching around for hidden masters, wanting to learn the true martial way. Did he learn? Go! Boss Bear roared, and between his body leaps, he came towards Su Yan to kill him. Kill! He's only one! A group of mountain bandits hundreds of people, the strength of the weakest, but also the second rate of the Jianghu, Boss Xiong is even more near the top of the masters. There were more than two dozen first-rate experts. Knives, guns, concealed weapons, and so on, all greeted Su Yan. Good timing. Su Yan was excited, and with a boom, ten Zhang of Qi blood was exerted, directly charging up. Ten feet of Qi and blood astral energy swept across, Su Yan's punches and kicks were of great power, and a group of mountain bandits were instantly crushed, with heavy deaths and injuries. That boss bear was even directly punched out. Blood and flesh flew everywhere, frightening the rest of the bandits. 
Run. What kind of supreme expert is this, too terrifying ah, can't even get close, instantly blown away. The remaining bandits fled with their livers cracked. It's not that easy to leave. Su Yan let out a cold snort and killed directly. Master said to keep a low profile, I killed all the people, no one knows it was me, so I won't be exposed, I'm also keeping a low profile. The battle was without suspense, it was really a horizontal push, a nest of mountain bandits were killed without missing a single one. After searching the Black Wind Mountains, he did not find his family's lost goods. There were no bandits in hiding either. At this moment, standing on the mountain, looking at the limbs and arms scattered everywhere, Su Yan's brows tightly furrowed. It's true that I'm very strong, but I will only use it brutally, just like only brute force, if I meet an opponent of equal strength to me, I'm absolutely no match. I don't know any martial arts, I only know brute force. This time when we go back, we must ask our master for advice. With this thought in his mind, Su Yen took advantage of the darkness of the night and the high winds to hurriedly head down the mountain and return to Dongha County City. After Su Yen had left, Li Xin carefully pondered over the cultivation theory and framework of the innate realm that he had compiled. Making sure that there were no omissions and that it could be bridged with the Qi and blood realm. That's what completely put it down. He was only waiting to find an opportunity to pass on the cultivation method of the innate realm to Su Yen. Cultivation was such a grueling thing, of course it was left to the disciple, just sit back and enjoy it yourself. All he needed was, to blindly make up the realm, the cultivation framework, the basic theory, and the rough cultivation method. Whether it would work or not, it all depended on Su Yen, the disciple. It's almost time to get out of here, traveling so far and staying in a small village is a little too miserable. Li Xian sighed and lamented. Get your stuff together. Just wait for Su Yen to return and start moving. Having nothing to do, Li Xian wandered around the small village, and it had to be said that the small village had a nice view and was extremely suitable for secluded living. Wandered back to the accommodation. It's a bit uncomfortable to have to cook for yourself without an apprentice to serve you. Li Xian sighed. People are used to being served, and once they are not served, they will always feel uncomfortable. Your disciple violently pushed a nest of mountain bandits across the border, and your method of violently killing the enemy has become a great success. The voice in his head rang out about the violent and brutal method of killing the enemy, instantly grasping it. Li Xian was stunned. He only felt as if he had, after countless violent and brutal killings, directly brought the art of violent killing to great completion. My stupid apprentice, what did he do? Push across a nest of bandits? Li Xian was surprised. This stupid apprentice, is he that brave? And, the force value of the outside world is so low? But Su Yen, who had just entered the Qi and blood realm, had pushed a nest of mountain bandits by himself. This mountain bandit's strength, it's too bad. Too violent, too brutal, this simply belongs, all rely on a brute force to kill the enemy ah. Li Xian gained feedback and violently killed his enemies in a big way. When it was really all about brute force, charging across the room, there was no martial arts skill to speak of. In this instant, Li Xian realized that he had only been blindly making up cultivation techniques, and he hadn't made up any of these martial arts himself. How can one be considered a qualified martial artist with only brute strength? No, we must make up some feats and martial arts that are used for fighting and can be utilized all over the place. My foolish disciple, who pushed the mountain bandits across the border by brute force this time, should have realized this as well, and he will definitely ask me for martial arts lessons when he comes back this time. One has to prepare ahead of time to do that. Li Xian was instantly distressed. How are martial arts going to be coded? He doesn't know how. And, not a single realistic martial arts reference. Cultivation feats are made up, but also relatively easy, after all, it is only cultivated, and it is not against the enemy. Headache. Li Xian had a headache on his face. Let me think, pass on the disciples dragon falling 18 palms? Six veins divine sword? Rulai palm? Low hand fist? How the hell do I make this up? I don't even know how to box. At this moment, Li Xian had a bit of a headache. Nope. I thought poorly, it's all up to the disciple to perceive, why should I be obsessed with moves? This compilation of my martial arts, qi, blood, astral qi, innate true qi, and so on, fighting against the enemy is nothing more than for the use of qi, blood, and true qi. Just pass on the martial arts mnemonics and rough theories to the disciple is all. Let him realize. Li Xian's mind flashed, instantly thinking. How he should pass on Su Yan's martial arts techniques. You can't start too high, and since it's martial arts, you can pass him some palm techniques or something like that, but you can make it up a little higher, and keep raising it as you get stronger. Stance is needed too, right? Sword techniques B should also be there, right? No, what kind of swordsmanship am I passing on to him, to pass on the way of the sword? Whether it works or not depends on whether or not the apprentice gives a damn. Li Xian had a general idea in his heart. What to make up, how to teach Su Yan martial arts and such feats. With my qi and blood coming to fruition, my strength is a hundred times that of my peers, so when the time comes to blindly compare and reveal my power, I'll be able to shock my disciple as well. Find another reason to fool him, it's not a big problem. With this in mind, Li Xian arrived outside the village. A hundred feet of qi and blood rushed up in the sky with a shocking might. Hands waved, palm after palm shot out, a hundred feet of qi and blood like a torrent, as his palms flipped and coiled, although there was no set. 
law, it looked like it all relied on brute force. Moreover, the double palms even looked a bit disorganized between swings. However, the torrent transformed by a hundred feet of chi and blood was horrifyingly loud and equally amazing in power. With this terrifying chi and blood alone, there was no one who could defeat the ten thousand armies. The palms are a bit disorganized, it looks like there is no set. The method, no skill to speak of, like it was a messy fight. That's not good, even if you fool your apprentice, you need a bit of set. Law. Li Xian frowned in contemplation, then slapped out palm after palm, trying his best to make the movements look set. Law, at least it won't look too disorganized in set. Da. 33 episodes. My disciple. I'll teach you the dragon palm. Li Xin slapped out his palm, his chi, and blood transformed into a torrent and blasted at a thigh thick tree dozens of feet away, and the tree was instantly shattered by the palm, turning into debris that splattered all over the sky. The power is not bad, it's just that the consumption of chi and blood is not small. It's true, relying solely on the brute force of urging one's chi and blood won't work, and if one encounters an opponent of similar strength, one will definitely suffer. This palm technique, I already have an idea, just make up a set of palm recipes and give them to Su Yen. Li Xian let out a breath. What about the stance? How do I pass it on? I don't know it, how can I show it to my disciple? How can I show it by relying on my brute strength, but it won't show the skill of the stance? Thinking about the issue of stance, Li Xian had another headache. Am I thinking poorly, why should I show my disciple? Just pass him the mantra, the framework theory, and let him realize it on his own? Thinking this way, Li Xian instantly had an idea. Outside the village, find a flat spot. How do you draw the eight trigrams? Li Xian recalled the Bagua pattern he had seen in his previous life, while waving his hand, a channel of chi blood gushed out and drew on the ground. Seems like it. Taking a look at the eight trigrams drawn on the ground, Li Xian nodded in satisfaction. When Su Yen returns, let him practice his stance here. By the way, let him realize the eight trigrams, in case it pays off. Everything was in place, just waiting for Su Yen, his disciple, to return. Li Xian's entire body and mind relaxed. Su Yen came back home in less than ten days. After violently pushing across the mountain bandit nest and realizing his lack of martial arts skills, Su Yen didn't stay at home for much longer and hurriedly rushed back. Master. Su Yen bowed respectfully, mentally deliberating on how to open his mouth and ask his master about martial arts. Aha. Uh -huh. Li Xian nodded his head and stood up to walk towards the outside of the village. It's good that you're back, come over here with master. Before the disciple opens his mouth, he passes on his martial arts skills and techniques, displaying the inscrutability of a teacher who has long since seen through everything. Yes, master. Su Yen was puzzled in his heart, not knowing what master had ordered. Come outside the small village, on a small hill. Li Xin carried his hands behind his back as he spoke, Disciple, although you've been initiated into martial arts, you have an empty body of qi and blood, but you don't know how to utilize it or how to fight against the enemy. Martial Dao, it's not just an empty realm, the more powerful a martial artist is, the more subtle and powerful the martial techniques and aptitudes they master. Su Yen was excited when he heard this, Master is going to pass on my martial arts aptitude? I'm finally not just a reckless man who only uses brute force. Li Xian turned back, looked at his own foolish disciple, and said in a deep voice, Today, my master passes on your dragonfall palm, which is both a martial art and a martial arts aptitude, the higher the realm, the deeper the realization, the more powerful it will be. Since it is martial arts, Li Xian originally wanted to put this palm, called the dragonfall 18 palms, but on second thought, the 18 palms are too restrictive, I'm afraid that there is a restriction on the apprentice's space for enlightenment. Why don't we just call it dragon palm? The name doesn't matter, it's the power that counts. Moreover, he had positioned the Dragonfall Palm in such a way that it could be continuously raised as the realm was raised, right up to the level of the Martial Dao Avatar. As for whether or not it works, it's all up to the apprentice to sense it. Dragon Subduing Palm Su Yen was instantly excited, many thanks, master. A dragon, a divine beast, has great power and is born with magical powers. Apprentice, do you know that? Li Xian opened his mouth and asked. Master, my disciple once read the legend of the true dragon in an ancient storybook, it was a symbol of supremacy, when it moved, the wind and thunder would rise, and heaven and earth would change color. Su Yen said respectfully. This world even has dragon legends? I don't know if the books Su Yen read were really made-up books or if they actually existed in the world. Li Xian was surprised for a moment. Since this world, there is also the legend of the dragon, Su Yen even read the relevant legend of the book, that would be much better. Master, in this world, true dragons really exist? Su Yan spoke with excitement and curiosity. This is too far away from you, yes or no, when you are strong, you will naturally know. Naturally, Li Xian would not give a definitive answer on these questions. Yes, master. Su Yan nodded respectfully. Well, for the master to pass you the dragon bucking palm, this palm since the name dragon bucking, you should know that it is powerful. Disciple understands. And you watch. Li Xian said, raising his hand and slapping out a palm. The powerful chi and blood, with horrifying might, instantly blasted a thigh-thick tree dozens of feet away, into smithereens. Su Yan was stunned. Is the power of the dragon bucking palm so terrifying? 
Li Xian was very satisfied with his reaction, closing his hands behind his back, he began to open his eyes and said, this is the Qi in Blood Realm's entry, the Dragonfall Palm's might that was displayed. However, in order to not interfere with your ability to perceive your own Dragonfall true meaning. Master failed to strike in the form of the Dragonfall Palm. Su Yan listened respectfully, his face flushed red, showing the excitement within him. This is just a palm that Master casually struck out with his entry into the Qi and Blood Realm, it's surprisingly so terrifyingly powerful, and since Master didn't strike out in the form of the Dragonfall Palm, this Dragonfall Palm is truly powerful. Li Shen looked serious as he began to explain the Dragonfall Palm, saying, the form of the Dragonfall Palm, a palm blasts out a dragon-shaped palm force, as mighty and robust as a dragon, the deeper one comprehends it, the more true dragon palm force one is able to strike out. Then he casually slapped out a few palms while explaining to his disciple, Master did not demonstrate to you with the true dragon palm power because he was afraid that you would get caught up in the true dragon's intention in Master's dragonfall palm, and once you get caught up in it, you will not be able to practice your own dragonfall palm. Master doesn't want you to be bound under the shadow of Master, there is no end to the martial arts path, Master wants you to be able to cultivate your own true intent. Do you understand? The teacher has good intentions. It's definitely not the case that you can't hit the dragon palm power and that's why you don't demonstrate it. Li Xian had a serious look on his face. Su Yan was touched in his heart, Master is truly a supreme master, he accepted me as a disciple, not only passed on my martial arts, but also has high hopes for me, hoping that I will be able to come out, belonging to my own true meaning of martial arts. Instead, under the shadow of the master, unable to surpass it for the rest of his life. His eyes reddened with excitement as he nodded, Master, disciple understands. Very good. This dragonfall palm is also like the method of martial arts that I have passed on to you which emphasizes enlightenment and meaning without focusing on form, and you have to feel and comprehend the true meaning of it. When will you be able to strike 18 true dragon palm powers at the same time, you'll be considered a minor success at this stage. Li Xian cliché, once again Dun Dun taught his disciple to emphasize on enlightenment and meaning, not to care about the few palms demonstrated just now, and to enlighten himself from the theoretical framework of the dragonfall palm. Yes, disciple understands. Su Yan nodded his head. Li Xian nodded his head in satisfaction, and before passing on his blindly made-up dragonfall palm mantra, he asked, Apprentice, do you have any questions about this? This is part of the routine inquiry, after imparting, one must always ask if there is anything that the disciple does not understand. Master, disciple has a doubt. Su Yan opened his mouth. Say. Master, since the dragon subduing palm is for subduing dragons, why does it strike out with a dragon-shaped palm force? Su Yan opened his mouth with a puzzled expression and asked. Li Xian. Episode 34. Su Yan's dragon palm is really powerful. Li Xian never expected that Su Yan would ask such a question. One could only say that it was worthy of being someone who was able to successfully cultivate a blindly made up gongfu, their brain circuits and focus were different from normal people. That's a tough one, though. Immediately, with a pleased gaze, he looked at Su Yan, his face filled with satisfaction for his disciple. Apprentice, the fact that you can ask this question at this point in time shows that you are still enlightened and have already gotten a glimpse of the dragonfall palm path. There is a saying, fighting poison with poison, have you heard of it, disciple? This dragon subduing palm is the same, subduing dragons with dragons. Dragons and even high divine beasts, born with divine powers, are not easy to surrender. And this dragon subduing palm, subduing the dragon with the dragon, not only subduing the dragon's body, but also the dragon's heart, attacking both its body and its will. Li Xian opened his mouth and made something up. The body of a descending dragon, and even more so the heart of a descending dragon, attacking both its body and its will? Su Yan was greatly shocked in his heart, and only felt that the dragonfall palm was truly mysterious and unfathomable. Although he failed to understand how to subdue the body and then the mind, how to attack the body and then the will, it did not diminish his shock at the dragon subduing palm in the least. The heart was invigorated, I must practice the dragonfall palm, if one day, I get to meet a real dragon, I will use this palm to lower a dragon. Master, disciple understands, disciple will definitely practice the dragonfall palm, and will definitely realize the true meaning of the dragonfall palm. Su Yan said with a firm gaze. Well, master believes in you. Li Xian was greatly relieved. Dragonfall Palm Mantra, Disciple you can remember well, this is the true meaning of the Dragonfall Palm, if you can comprehend one or two points, the Dragonfall Palm can be introduced, if you comprehend its true meaning, then it is a martial arts aptitude. For the sake of this Dragonfall Palm, Li Xian had taken great pains to make up the mantra. As for whether or not it would work, it was up to Su Yan himself. The Disciple will definitely keep this in mind. Su Yan said respectfully. You listen. Li Xian said with a straight face, the dragon has the divine ability to change in response to the situation, its line of power in the world, its anger in the world, anger and wind and thunder, dive without a trace, swinging 10 million miles, the most masculine and rigid, nothing cannot be destroyed, corrective and soft as water, unpredictable changes. Obedience and reversal with the heart. Su Yan's mouth muttered once, his eyes pondered, his mind seemed to have an aura of light flashing, vaguely, he felt that he had realized something. And yet it fails to catch on. Follow me. Li Xian carried his hands behind his back and walked towards the flat area where the eight trigrams were drawn. Yes, master. Su Yan followed respectfully. See, it's gossip. Li Xian pointed at the Bagua diagram on the ground and said. 
Xian, Cohen, Jin, Sun, Can, Li, Burgundy, Tui. Li Xian will be able to remember, about the knowledge of gossip, one by one to explain to Su Yen to listen to, by the way will make up some of their own, sounds a little mysterious, some powerful theories, also one by one to tell. The subtle changes of the eight trigrams are endless, how much you can realize and comprehend is up to you, body techniques, footwork, etc., can all be comprehended in the eight trigrams. Master lead into the door cultivation depends on the individual, to be good at grasping the moment of spiritual enlightenment, today for the teacher will pass on your dragon palm, with this eight trigrams of the wonderful, you are good to understand. After the explanation, Li Xian spoke in a deep voice. Yes, master, disciple will definitely not let you down. Su Yan nodded respectfully. In his mind, at the moment, all is, about the Bagua discourse, the more he thinks about it, the more he feels that the wonders are infinite, and he only feels that he can keep on sensing. This is, the supreme martial way. Su Yan thought with exhilaration in his heart. Allocate time for your own cultivation, and do things like cooking and feeding the chickens once a day. Li Xian said after a moment of contemplation. More time must be given to the apprentice to practice rather than wasting it on feeding chickens, gardening, and cooking. With his current realm, he wouldn't have a problem if he didn't eat or drink for a few days. One meal a day is enough. Yes, disciple understands. Su Yan said respectfully. Well, you practice well. Li Xian carried his hands behind his back and left with a leisurely pace. Returning to the village and sitting down on a chair under a big tree, Li Xian sighed and wondered, would his disciple be able to succeed in his cultivation? Consciousness is focused and wants to explore its own golden handshake. But it was nothing. The golden finger, which only appeared when Su Yen received feedback when he gained something from his cultivation. Could it be that the strength is too low, so it can't actively see gold finger? Li Xian guessed in his heart. The function of the golden finger should be to take the gongfu that I made up and theoretically allow people to cultivate successfully, but of course practice well. Li Xian carried his hands behind his back and left with a leisurely pace. Returning to the village and sitting down on a chair under a big tree, Li Xian sighed and wondered, would his disciple be able to succeed in his cultivation? Consciousness is focused and wants to explore its own golden handshake. But it was nothing. The golden finger, which only appeared when Su Yan received feedback when he gained something from his cultivation. Could it be that the strength is too low, so it can't actively see gold finger? Li Xian guessed in his heart. The function of the golden finger should be to take the gongfu that I made up and theoretically allow people to cultivate successfully, but of course there must be limitations in this, such as the person who cultivates it must not be too poor in enlightenment. Su Yan, the silly disciple, has superb brainstorming abilities and an overwhelming level of enlightenment, which is why he was able to succeed in his cultivation. This golden finger of mine should be activated by Su Yan's successful cultivation of my blindly made up gongfu, thanks to Su Yan, this demon worshipped me as a teacher, or else I'd have to be all alone in a small village, and I wouldn't be able to go anywhere. Li Xian sighed in his heart. It was truly wise to accept Su Yan as a disciple in the first place. Su Yan followed the Bagua and fell into deep thought, in his mind, there seemed to be some vague epiphanies, yet he was unable to come out with any specificity. I'll allocate the cultivation time first, cultivate the dragon subduing palm in the morning, and sense the Bagua in the afternoon. Today, let's cultivate the dragon subduing palm first. Thinking so, Su Yan returned to the mountainside where his master had taught him the dragonfall palm. Taking a deep breath, he fiercely slapped out his palm, his chi and blood erupting like a fiery torrent, blasting out. Nope. This is merely the power of my chi and blood, it's not true dragon palm power at all. Su Yan's brows furrowed as he fell into deep thought. Repeatedly pondering in his mind, the dragon fall palm's mantra. Dragons have magical powers, and a dragon's magical power is naturally rigid and fierce, and to be rigid and fierce, one must be berserk and humongous, and condense their power in a single instant of time. I am still too low in the realm to be too demanding, so I should lower my demands. Dragons have divine powers, how can one, exert, as it were, a dragon's divine power like a palm? Su Yan entered a state of enlightenment in which he had forgotten both things and himself. At a certain moment, in his mind's eye, the legendary talk books that he had once read, some legends about the true dragon, as well as the portrait of the true dragon came to mind. In a flash, he had some general realization in his mind. Chi and blood gathered in the palm of his hand, and in an instant, the chi and blood squeezed each other, condensed and united, and then fiercely slapped his palm out. A torrent of chi and blood that doubled in power violently blasted against a tree not far away. Click. The tree instantly breaks and collapses. I understand how to make the palm force stiff and fierce, and how to make it leap beyond the norm. At this moment, Su Yen opened his eyes, and in his mind, like a flash of light, he realized how the rigid palm force should be exerted. However, when he saw the chest and abdomen bulging violently, both palms were launched out, and the torrent of chi and blood became furious in an instant, blasting out, and the power was once again multiplied. Blasting a small crater in the ground. I've finally realized some fur, this is just the beginning, this palm of mine is more than twice as strong as the full force strike before I practiced the dragon subduing palm, this isn't the limit, it's just the beginning. Su Yan was invigorated at the moment. I've only comprehended a little bit of the skin, and I'm able to emit such a powerful palm, the dragonfall palm is truly powerful beyond compare. After having the epiphany, the next step was to consolidate this layer of epiphany, to keep practicing it, and then to continue to epiphany and perfect it. Smiley face. 
Episode 35. Roasting a Chicken with Your Bare Hands. It's a Sin. Su Yen on the hillside, in accordance with the insights of the senses, constantly practicing, the ground was blasted out one pit after another, until the night was deep, a body of chi and blood consumption is not small, feel tired, only then return to the village unfulfilled. The following morning, Su Yen was in high spirits and once again came to the mountainside to cultivate. With a palm strike, dirt flipped over three feet away and a pit appeared. The power has been enhanced again, my epiphany was right, it's just still at the first stage, I can continue to enhance the palm power. Su Yan's heart perked up as he looked at the pit on the ground. This palm had already enhanced its power by two times than before he had practiced the dragonfall palm. Finally, it was time to break away from, the way of fighting by all brute force. Go and see how silly apprentice brother is practicing. Li Xian came with a leisurely pace. Master. Su Yan panicked and bowed respectfully. Aha. Li Xian glanced at the large and small pits on the ground, all of which were blasted out by Su Yan's cultivation. His heart was immediately delighted, this is an epiphany? Look at the power of this pit. It is no longer something that can be blasted out by brute force, although the dragonfall palm has not yet been initiated, in time, it will certainly succeed in being initiated. Master, my disciple has come to a realization. As Su Yan spoke, he raised his hand and slapped his palm out with a rumble, blasting a hole in the ground. Li Xian's face was calm, but in his heart, he was marveling, this disciple, enlightenment is really bola, this is the realization, how to send out the chi and blood in a certain way, making the power skyrocket. It's the first mantra he's sensing, isn't it? So he opened his mouth and said, the fact that you are able to gain something shows that you have the talent to cultivate the dragon subduing palm, however, you must always keep in mind that the enemy won't give you time to build up your strength, you have to do it, the palm follows the heart. When you cultivate the dragon-shaped palm power, you will be considered barely at this stage of initiation. Sink your mind, realize and practice more. Su Yen was stunned in his heart, yes, before each of my palm strikes, there is a process of storing up power, even though it is very short, however, when strong people fight, it is a matter of life and death in a matter of moments. I'm sensing in the right direction, but it's not deep enough, and I still need to keep working on it. Respectfully saluting, he said, disciple, thank you for your guidance, master. Aha. Li Xian nodded and turned around to leave with a leisurely pace. You can't stay too long, and you can't point blindly, in case you're stumped by a disciple's query. Therefore, Li Xian glanced at Su Yan's cultivation progress and turned to leave. Su Yan spent the rest of the day practicing the dragonfall palm in the morning, and in the afternoon, he was in the Bagua diagram, sensing the stance and practicing the stance. At night, he cultivated qi and blood gong skills to enhance his strength. In the blink of an eye, half a month had passed. On the hillside, large and small pits had been densely packed, and Su Yan's dragonfall palm cultivation had made tremendous progress. It was already possible to do so, and when the mind moved, the palm force came out swiftly, as it pleased. Now that he had slapped out his palm, the palm force transformed by his qi and blood was like a Catholic torrent that blasted onto the ground, fast and furious. Moreover, the palm force was supremely masculine and powerful. The power was more than three times higher than before the cultivation. It was just that he hadn't cultivated the dragon-shaped palm power yet, and what he slapped out was just an ordinary torrent of qi and blood, even though it was more than three times more powerful. It still doesn't count as practicing the dragon palm. At this moment, Su Yan was comprehending the dragonfall palm's recipe and summarizing his half-month cultivation experience. How should I condense the dragon-shaped palm power? Why, should it be condensed into a dragon-shaped palm power? How do I get started in cultivation? Su Yan fell into deep thought. In his mind's eye, a picture of a true dragon appeared. Qi and blood operated, a torrent of qi and blood gushed out from his palm, and under his control, it gradually changed towards the dragon shape. Only, in the end, it turned into a qi and blood palm force that resembled a python, too far from the dragon form. I see, condensing the dragon form is the control of one's own qi and blood, the only way to condense the dragon form is to improve the control of one's qi and blood. If it can be done, and the condensed dragon palm power is no different from a real dragon, this might be the dragonfall palm's great accomplishment. At this stage, what I need to do is to condense the dragon form, with horns, whiskers, and claws. After having a direction, Su Yan's next dragonfall palm cultivation began to mobilize his qi and blood, condensing it into the shape of a dragon. Only, every time, after condensing a horn, but unable to condense a claw, the qi and blood would collapse uncontrollably. Su Yan realized that if he wanted to condense the dragon palm power, he would first need to enhance the use of his qi and blood, which was also a requirement for the introduction of the dragonfall palm. With the introduction of the dragonfall palm, my palm power will once again skyrocket and be as strong or weak as my heart desires, instead of this near uncontrollable palm power strength. After Su Yan realized the key to cultivating the dragon subduing palm, he began to try and figure out how to improve his control over his qi and blood. Three days later, the control of one's own qi and blood had made some progress, but it was still far from condensing the dragon palm power. Master, how should I improve my control over qi and blood? Su Yan didn't hold back and opened his mouth to ask in between meals. Li Xian's hand lurched slightly, how should he improve his control over his qi and blood? How do I know? Of course, as a master, you can't answer that way. He glanced at the chicken leg in the bowl and instantly had an idea now, speaking, the fact that the apprentice you can understand the importance of qi and blood control means that you have already hit the bottleneck. 
Qi and blood lies within oneself, how to improve control? To put every bit of qi and blood to practical use, to make qi and blood follow your heart? You can try roasting the meat with your qi blood. Li Xin tore off a piece of meat on his leg and said as he ate it, roasting meat with bare hands is a mastery, using qi and blood to roast the meat. Which requires a high level of control over qi and blood. It's not easy to grill them just right on the outside and on the inside. See this chicken leg? Li Xian took the remaining chicken leg, tore it off and put it in his bowl, and continued, Whenever you roast a chicken leg with your hands and cook the leg while the meat outside of the leg remains raw, your control of qi and blood will be considered to have passed. Su Yin sniffed thoughtfully and sighed in his heart, so, cultivation is actually in the little moments of life, I'm still far from it, master's realm is too high. Why didn't I think of that? He didn't even eat his meal and said, master, disciple understands. Just understand. Li Xian nodded in satisfaction. Su Yan ran to the chicken coop with gusto, grabbed a chicken, skillfully plucked the feathers and slaughtered it, and then propped it up in the palm of his hand. Qi and blood surged, blazing hot, instantly wrapping around the chicken. The sound of bared teeth rang out, just smelling the fragrance of the meat, and as a result, when the qi and blood were withdrawn, a chicken in his hand became charred and blackened. Can't eat it. Su Yan scratched his head, summarizing the experience he had just gained, and once again grabbed a chicken, plucked its feathers and slaughtered it, placing it on his palm and roasting it with his qi blood. Scorched another chicken. When Li Xian finished his meal and was walking through the village at a leisurely pace, he saw a dozen charred black chickens thrown at Su Yan's feet. And in his hand, he was roasting a freshly slaughtered chicken. Sinning. Li Xian mouth corner twitching, this is only how long ah, scourge a dozen chickens already, if not stopped, tomorrow a nest of chickens are going to be scourge finished ah. Episode 36. Introducing the Dragon Bucking Palm. Apprentice, you've just started practicing controlling your qi and blood. The chicken is too small, the qi and blood wraps up instantly, how can you improve your control? Go get bigger ones to practice on. Li Xian spoke in a serious tone. Yes, master, disciple understands. Su Yan's eyes lit up. Throwing the charred chicken in his hand on the ground, he came to the horse he had ridden from with a flourish, eager to try. Li Xian. This disciple, his brain really isn't working very well. Apprentice, the horse doesn't fit either. Su Yan nodded his head, the horse was too big for his qi and blood to wrap around, he should look for smaller prey. Master, disciple will go hunting now. Li Xian was pleased that his disciple had finally gotten the hang of it, and thought that it wouldn't be long before he would be able to eat wild game himself. Three days later, qi and blood surged in Su Yan's hands, a blazing aura filled the air, and the aroma of meat came from his hands. A wild boar that he roasted. It was charred and blackened for the most part, but there was always half of the meat, which was cooked and edible. My control over qi and blood has improved tremendously. Su Yan was excited. Lifting his hand and slapping out, a qi and blood palm force blasted out, and this qi and blood condensed into a giant python with long horns. The outlines of the eyes and mouth are now clearly visible. Soon, it's not far from condensing the dragon palm power. Su Yan was excited. Throwing down the roasted pig in his hands, he went on to catch a wild boar to practice on. I don't know, how is silly apprentice's cultivation going? Li Xian sighed in his heart, he didn't get to eat any wild food after all. How can we eat it when it's all charred to a crisp by Su Yan? Your disciple's introduction to roasting meat with his bare hands, his qi and blood control is improved, your art of roasting meat with your bare hands is perfected. And your qi and blood control is 100%. Suddenly, golden light emerged, and Li Shen, for a split second, only felt that he, as if he had practiced roasting meat with his bare hands countless times, had reached the realm of pure fire. And, 100% control of qi and blood. With 100% control over his qi and blood, Li Shen felt that the use of his own qi and blood had reached an astonishing point. Every bit of qi and blood can be used at will. The qi and blood control was improved, and the strength was even improved tremendously. At this moment, his qi and blood around his body could be completely collected without leaking the slightest bit. Raising his right hand, the qi and blood on his index finger sprang out like flames, sometimes growing larger, sometimes shrinking, and the qi and blood blazed as hot as he wished. This is 100% qi and blood control. Li Xian marveled. Silly apprentice can ah, rapid progress. That night, Su Yan returned. He felt that he was not far away from condensing the dragon palm power. The qi and blood control, there was a huge improvement. Li Xian sat on the chair, it was time to show his foolish disciple, his hand. Apprentice, come here. Su Yan was carrying a freshly slaughtered chicken in his hand, preparing to make dinner. Master. Li Xian raised his hand and took the chicken from him, apprentice, watch this. Said the man, pointing his finger at the chicken leg. Between the surge of qi and blood, not long after, the smell of meat came. Handing the chicken back to Su Yan, he said, tear it open and take a look. Su Yan sniffed and tore the chicken leg open, and was shocked as his eyes widened. Chicken thighs, partially cooked. But only chicken within a finger's reach is cooked, meat beyond a finger's reach remains raw. This is 100% control of qi and blood. If you can do that, grilling a chicken leg and not cooking it beyond that, qi and blood control will be enough. Finally showing his hand in front of his disciple, Li Xian was physically and mentally relieved. 
Su Yan was greatly shocked, this was 100% qi and blood control? Master, disciple can definitely do it. Well, just do your best, there's no need to deliberately pursue it, don't slack off on your cultivation because of it. Li Xian nodded his head and admonished. Fearing that a foolish disciple, for the sake of 100% qi and blood control, would slacken off on his cultivation, resulting in a slow increase in cultivation, this would be putting the cart before the horse. Disciple understands. Li Xian sighed in his heart, his disciple's talent, it was truly strong. Since he had shown his hand, it had taken Su Yan five days to be able to roast a chicken leg without the meat outside the leg being affected in the slightest. Although it didn't have 100% control over qi and blood, it was still 80%. This has been pretty awesome. Su Yan was also decisive, not deliberately pursuing 100% control of his qi and blood, he put his mind, again, on practicing the dragonfall palm. Hill side. Su Yan slapped out his palm, and a 10 feet long, calf thick crimson dragon blasted out, striking the ground and blowing out a large pit. After cultivating the dragon-shaped palm power, the power has more than doubled, but I always feel that it's a little bit short. Su Yan frowned. Although he had condensed the dragon palm power, however, it did not appear, as he had expected, a mighty and unrivaled momentum. There was always a feeling that something was missing. Dragons have magical powers and change in response to the situation, magical powers are powerful, change due to the situation, and change is flexibility. I see. What's missing is flexibility, my palm power today is too stiff. Lack of activity. Su Yan once again entered into a sense of how to truly get started. In the next few days, Su Yan devoted himself to the cultivation of the dragon subduing palm, not even bothering to sense the bagua or cultivate his stance. Instead, he practiced the dragon slap over and over again. Constantly adjusting, constantly following the perception of the mantra to cultivate the dragonfall palm. In this way, seven more days passed. Su Yan, who was practicing the dragon subduing palm, slapped out his palm, and the ten odd foot long red dragon, shaking its head and tail like a bombardment, was about to blast at a tree in front of him. Su Yan's palm flipped slightly, and the red dragon violently made a coiling move, circling past the tree trunk, its tail curling up and snapping as it lashed at the tree trunk. Click. The tree was blown off by a blow from the dragon's tail. The red dragon, on the other hand, was rooted into the ground in another place, blasting out a large crater. I finally almost started, the power of this palm is about ten times stronger than before I practiced the dragonfall palm. This is the power of the dragonfall palm. Su Yan was invigorated. With both hands raised, his right hand slapped out a palm, a ten feet long crimson red dragon shaped palm power, gushing out, he then followed with his left hand, another dragon shaped palm power gushing out. Just see his hands running, two dragon shaped palm power circling, one coiled around the body protection, a fierce strike, looks like the head of the dragon bombarded, but in the imminent bombardment to the target, suddenly head up into the air, the dragon's tail backward pumped down, followed by the dragon's head to return to the over, bombardment and struck out. Boom! On the hillside, there was a constant roar. Two crimson dragon-shaped palms, flying and circling, sometimes swooping, sometimes rooting into the ground, sometimes wagging their heads and tails. Dragons have magical powers and change due to the situation, so it is like that. I've finally come to my senses. Although, it does not yet possess the power of the avatar, and I have only sensed the skin, but I am still in a low realm, so it is already an introduction. I, finally, have cultivated the dragonfall palm. Su Yan was thrilled. The dragonfall palm's mnemonic, he finally understood two lines, though only the skin of it. But it's also introductory. If he had practiced the dragon subduing palm when he killed the mountain bandits, would he have relied on brute force? A single palm blast would kill all those mountain bandits. I still have to practice more to do what I want and run freely, and right now I can only catalyze two dragons, I'm still too far away from being a minor success. And this power of mine, it's still not powerful enough, and the dragons that come out of it are still not flexible enough. Su Yan summarized his shortcomings and practiced continuously on the hillside, and for a while on the hillside, debris splashed, grass and trees were destroyed, and the ground was densely packed with large pits one after another. Episode 37. Today I'll show you what I can do. Li Xian sat on the chair, seemingly at ease, but in his heart, he was a little sad. After such a long time, Su Yan had yet to cultivate the dragonfall palm, could it be that he had made up the space generalization, so it was not good to sense? There's no rush, being able to see progress means there's still hope. Li Xian comforted himself in his heart. Even if the dragonfall palm can't be cultivated, as long as his cultivation is continuing to rise, as long as he can cultivate the innate realm, the big deal is to say that he doesn't have the talent to cultivate the dragonfall palm. Pass him the way of the sword? This should be easier to cultivate, right? Su Yan should be more talented in the Tao of the sword? Li Xian pondered in his heart, if he were to pass on Su Yan's sword Tao, how should he make it up? On Su Yan's body, he had been wearing a sword, so it was evident that he should be more interested in swordsmanship, which meant that he should be stronger in terms of his talent for swordsmanship. How to teach him the way of the sword, that's the question. After all, it wasn't like Li Xian knew any sword moves or sword techniques or anything, so he could only blindly compare. How to compile a set of sword Tao theories that could be realized by Su Yan was the problem. Let's wait a little longer, maybe at some point, in a flash of light, he'll cultivate the dragonfall palm. Li Xian concentrated his mind, trying to probe the mass of golden light, and once again found nothing. This gold finger, what's going on? 
it can only appear passively? Turned on his side to lie more comfortably. Originally, this time when Su Yen came back, he was going to move. As a result, teaching Su Yen martial arts skills could only continue to live in the small village. Your disciple practiced the dragonfall palm you made up to get started, and your dragonfall palm is a great success, ten times more powerful than the same realm. Suddenly, golden light surfaced. Boom! In Li Xian's mind, the true meaning of the dragon subduing palm surfaced, instantly elevated to the realm of great accomplishment, and ten times more powerful than the same realm. In an instant, it was as if the sight of 1800-foot giant dragons roaring and circling appeared in his eyes. Crap! Apprentice brother is powerful, he actually cultivated it. Li Xian was thrilled. Bouncing up from his chair, he left the small village straight away. Arriving at the hillside where Su Yen was practicing, he saw from afar, two seven or eight feet of crimson dragons, circling and flying with great flexibility, blasting on the ground, a large pit. He got an itch. Apprentice, not bad. Your dragonfall palm is barely an introduction. Li Xian's pace was leisurely and his tone carried a slight sense of relief. Master. Su Yen withdrew his gong and bowed respectfully, it was Master who taught him well. Li Shen looked at the ground, large and small pits, densely packed, the surrounding grass and trees, all of which had been destroyed and disappeared. Your dragon subduing palm, although tangible, lacks activity. Since you have cultivated it, the teacher does not need to worry that it will affect you to cultivate the dragonfall palm, today will show your hand, you and see, Qi and blood realm dragonfall palm when the great completion, how is it? Li Shen emphasized that this was the Qi and blood realm's dragonfall palm, not his true strength. Yes, master. Su Yan was thrilled. Master, to display the dragonfall palm when in the Qi and blood realm, I hope to gain insights from it, as well. Watch this. Li Xian raised his hand and slapped out a palm. A dragon roar roared, and the golden hundred-foot dragon roared out, actually tilting its head to emit the sound of a dragon's roar, as if it was alive. Boom! The golden dragon flew out, its claws probing and tearing apart a large tree. The dragon's tail swept, splitting a gully in the ground. The golden dragon finally blasted violently onto the ground, and a large crater appeared. Li Xian had a calm expression on his face, as if it was just a casual and insignificant shot. The truth is that the heart is excited. This palm, he had come out with all his strength. The dragon-slapping palm of the Dishang realm had already taken on a somewhat living form, and coupled with his power that was ten times that of the same realm, this strike revealed the power of the most virile and powerful. Even if Su Yan had cultivated it to great completion, it was far from being this powerful. That is, what makes the master so powerful? After all, Li Xian's dragon-subduing palm was ten times that of the same realm. Su Yan's eyes widened in shock. This is just the dragonfall palm executed by the Qi and blood realm? It's too terrifying, with such power, it's easy for one person to defeat an army of 10,000. Master is only casually slapping his hand and it is so powerful. Moreover, Master's dragon subduing palm is surprisingly capable of roaring like a living dragon. I'm not even close. Su Yan's heart was shaken. Realize your shortcomings. One's own dragon slap, which lacks activity. It still looks stiff compared to the Master's. Dragons have magical powers and change due to the situation, so this is what it should look like, in the recipe, ah, uh, this is only a dragon of the Qi and blood realm, if the realm is higher, the dragon that fights out, does it really possess magical powers? The deeper he thought about it, the more he brainstormed, the more Su Yan felt that the dragonfall palm was powerful and subtle. As for himself, his perception of the dragonfall palm's oral technique was still at a superficial level. Seeing the shocked look on his disciple's face, Li Xian's heart was soothed as he carried his hands behind his back and left with a leisurely pace. Apprentice, don't be influenced by your master's palm power, you must comprehend your own dragonfall palm intent. Yes, master, disciple understands. Su Yen bowed. Well, since you've started with the dragon subduing palm, the eight trigrams will also be more perceptive. Li Xian nodded. Since the dragon subduing palm had been successfully cultivated, then let Su Yen, more to realize the eight trigrams, if he could also have some understanding, he himself would again be able to obtain powerful feedback. His definition of gossip is a very high, esoteric one. It wasn't just the Qi and blood realm that could be cultivated. But one that could be comprehended and cultivated all the time. At each stage, there can be different insights. Of course, all of this depended on whether Su Yan could do it. Yes, master. The days are getting colder, and the chill is already building up in late fall. However, for Li Xian, this winter, it would be a comfortable one, and even though he was thinly clothed, he still wouldn't feel the cold. These days, Su Yan spent more time on gossip. On the Bagua diagram, rolling around, the body has long been a lot more sensitive, the speed has also had a considerable increase, just still failed to realize a set of body techniques. Li Shen looked at Su Yen, who was stepping on the eight trigrams, his body agile and his speed already greatly increased, and fell into deep thought. There's no catchphrase, so you can't sense it? The eight trigrams I explained contain too much, not just body techniques included. There was no oral formula passed on about body techniques, so you didn't realize the body techniques? Thinking so, Li Shen couldn't help but ponder. Make up a couple of catchphrases and try it. Li Xian thought that the reason why his disciple broke through the shackles of the bronze bones and tempered the golden bones had something to do with the bone-refining realm kung fu technique that he had made up blindly at the beginning. 
and the cultivation of the successful dragonfall palm is that he made up a set of mnemonics for the dragonfall palm. Su Yan had also realized the dragon subduing palm from the mantra, and then cultivated it successfully. Therefore, the theoretical framework alone may not be able to be cultivated sometimes, and if it is coupled with the kung fu tips and mnemonics, the probability of success in cultivation is greatly increased. How should I make up a body mnemonic? Li Xian was caught up in thought. A gust of wind blew past, and on the branches of a distant tree. A few yellowish leaves drifted down with the wind. Li Xian had a flash of light in his mind, there. 38 Episodes Su Yan has realized the light hung stance again. After thinking of the body technique recipe, Li Xian came to the front of Bagua and spoke, Apprentice, you have improved your speed and lightened your stride a lot in these days of bitter cultivation. But it's still far from sensing the body technique. Now that you should have some gains for the body technique, it's time to pass on your body technique recipe. And you mark it. Su Yan paused and said excitedly, Yes, master. The powerful thing about the body technique is that it's all about lightness and speed, lightness is silent, and speed is like lightning. Li Xian said with all the tone of a high-ranking person Su Yan listened thoughtfully, and vaguely, he seemed to understand how he should go about sensing the stance. As light as a feather flying over a falling leaf, as fast as running thunder without a shadow. Li Xian spoke out the catchphrase he had just made up, word by word. Apprentice, this mantra, go ahead and feel it. With that, he turned away with his hands behind his back. Yes, master. Su Yan bowed. After making up two phrases for Su Yan, it was up to Su Yan himself whether he could realize the body techniques next. However, Li Xian believed that his disciple would not let himself down. In Su Yan's mind, it was all about those two phrases, and the more he sensed, the more subtle he felt. Looking up, he saw that his master had left and was about to continue practicing when he was suddenly struck by a sudden shock. Master said that the power of the stance lies in lightness, in speed. This is? Master's pace, so leisurely, so relaxed. Su Yan saw his master leaving with his hands behind his back, his pace leisurely and cozy, with an indescribably relaxed demeanor. Master's pace is leisurely. This is inadvertently, revealing his stance? No. Master's realm is so high that he has long since returned to the basics, and while he seems to be walking slowly, he is actually implying the supreme subtleties of the body technique. There is a saying that words teach by example, Master just passed on my mantra, this leisurely pace, is he teaching by example? Right. That must be it, I must realize the deep meaning contained in Master's pace. Su Yan was instantly energized after some brainstorming. At that moment, he stared at his master's pace with unblinking eyes, only to see that his master's pace had an indescribable ease, and in the midst of the lightness, he was even more unrestrained. The more he watched, the more he realized that there was a wonderful theory of stance implied in master's steps. As light as a feather flying over a falling leaf, as swift as a thundering body without a shadow, I have some enlightenment. Su Yan stared at his master's pace, and gradually it seemed as if, an aura surfaced in his mind, that leisurely, brisk, spontaneous pace, blending with the mantra. Surprisingly, he vaguely realized something. And at this moment, Li Xian's figure had already disappeared from Su Yan's line of sight. Li Xian was in a good mood at the moment and made up two more phrases to pass on to his disciple, and before long, he himself would be able to obtain feedback on his stance. As a result, the pace between walks was leisurely and spontaneous, and the whole person was floating, and even wanted to hum a couple of songs. He was completely unaware of the fact that this sprightly and self-effacing stride was watched by Su Yan, who actually engaged in a self-brainstorming session to perceive the marvelous reasoning between the strides. Ever since Su Yan had brainstormed about his master's pace, which implied a wonderful principle, when he was comprehending the stance recipe and practicing the stance. His mind constantly floated back to that relaxed and leisurely pace. Coupled with the mantra, the senses are constantly gaining new insights. It was as if by poking through a layer of paper, one would be able to realize powerful body techniques. In the Bagua diagram, between Su Yan's steps, he became lighter and faster, landing soundlessly, and between turns, he was more rounded and smooth, and between leaps and bounds, he had a kind of floating attitude. The figure floated like a fluttering figure as it moved around on the Bagua, its footsteps becoming lighter and lighter, and its speed increasing. Soon. I feel that I am just a little bit short of being able to sense the body law. Su Yan's gaze was firm. At a certain moment, all that remained in his mind was his master's leisurely, unrestrained pace, gradually becoming more and more subtle and clear. A realization came to him. Light as a goose feather flying falling leaves, fast as running thunder body without shadow. I have some understanding, light as a goose feather flying flakes, floating without sound, running thunder but a moment. This is called light as a goose feather body method. Although I failed to comprehend the true meaning of it, I've finally gotten started in the body technique. Light hung fluttering without a sound, instantaneous without a trace light hung body technique. At a certain moment, Su Yan's infinite sensation surged to his heart, and in this instant, his figure fluttered. In a single shake, as if moving, he came to another direction. The ground is silent, the dust is not. The figure was in the Bagua diagram, constantly drifting, getting faster and lighter, and in a flash, it changed its orientation. Moreover, with such swiftness, there was not even the slightest sound of wind. It is as light as a feather in silent. I finally succeeded in cultivating the light-hung body technique. Su Yan was excited. 
With a long whistle, he rose up in the air, and in a flash he was already a hundred feet away, raising his hand, he blasted out a dragon palm, and the crimson dragon blasted out, blasting a pit in the ground. Suyan's stance fluttered, the dragonfall palm struck, suddenly left and right, suddenly up and down, tossing and turning, instantly changing its orientation, while the dragonfall palm naturally blasted out from a different orientation in an instant as well. As the body technique was realized, Suyan's battle power instantly soared. Next, I'm going to work hard on my cultivation and race to the Qi and Blood Realm minor achievement as soon as possible. Su Yan's heart was invigorated. Your disciple has successfully cultivated your codified stance and named it Light Hung Stance, your direct stance has become a great success, ten times more than the same realm. The third day of passing on Su Yan's mantra. Li Xian was sitting on a chair, playing with the jade ruins. Suddenly, golden light surfaced. In his mind, the wonderful principle of the Light Hung body technique emerged in an instant, and he directly became a great success. Li Xian directly stood up with a look of excitement on his face. Sure enough, it's just not the same with a catchphrase as without one. This disciple of mine, ah, his talent is just demonic, as long as there is an emonic, he will be able to sense it. It's not in vain for master to rack his brain and make up catchphrases. By the looks of it, the innate realm cultivation method can be passed on to his disciple in advance, so that he can familiarize himself with the senses in advance, and strive to break through the innate realm at an early date. With a movement of his feet, as light as a feather, noiseless and silent, he had already left the small village in an instant. Between the body shape fluttering, the speed is extremely fast. But does not bring a little wind sound, silent. Li Xian was playing with the jade ruin in his hand, and his person had already arrived at where Su Yan was practicing. I only saw that my disciple, who was exercising his stance and continuously blasting out the dragonfall palm, was practicing a strategy to deal with the enemy with his stance, in conjunction with the dragonfall palm. It's time for master to show his hand again. A smile appeared on Li Xian's face. In a single movement of his body, without a sound, he arrived behind Su Yan. With his qi and blood realm achieving great success and being a hundred times stronger than the same realm, and the light hung stance achieving great success and being ten times stronger than the same realm, Su Yen were able to detect his arrival. At this moment, Su Yen was practicing excitedly, oblivious to the fact that there was someone behind him, following him around. Li Xian had his hands behind his back, no matter how Su Yen rolled around, he always followed behind Su Yen, noiselessly, Su Yen didn't notice in the slightest. Oh disciple, in a moment, you'll be allowed to feel how powerful your master is. There was a cheerful smile on his face. Da. Episode 39. Transmission of the Law of the Innate Realm. Su Yen stopped practicing, an excited smile spreading across his face. The light hung body technique with the dragon subduing palm, my battle power has increased greatly, with my strength nowadays, even in an army of 100,000, I can come and go as I please, and decapitating a general in the middle of a 10,000 army formation is as easy as a slap. Su Yen muttered, pride rising in his heart at the moment. I grumbled in my mind, backing out of the marriage, huh? You think I'm not smart enough to lose face, don't you? I said, you Jiang family can't afford to climb up, now you Jiang family can't afford to climb up. So what if it's the great general of East River? Even if it's the Qi Emperor's old man, I cannot put it in my eyes anymore. Su Yen was a young man with a strong blood, he was withdrawn from the marriage and ridiculed, how could he not have a little bit of resentment in his heart? At this moment, with the introduction of martial arts and a great increase in strength, with the force of Qi, in his eyes, it was nothing more than dirt. Teenage arrogance, naturally, springs forth. His current state of mind was to look at those who scoffed and think that they were pathetic, frogs in the bottom of a well, unaware of the vastness of heaven and earth, and those words of ridicule no longer fit into his ears. It's not a world away from each other anymore. Apprentice, you were able to realize the body technique in such a short period of time, and were able to think of, and execute it in conjunction with the dragonfall palm, not bad. Suddenly, a voice sounded behind him. Su Yen was instantly jolted and turned around in a panic, only to see his master standing leisurely behind him. Master, when did you get here? Master came while you were practicing your stance with the dragon subduing palm. Su Yen was greatly shocked in his heart, I actually didn't notice it at all much, master usually looks like, just like an ordinary person, the slightly revealing, I only felt my own insignificance. When will I be able to be, like master, just like an ordinary person? This is what master said, returning to the basics, the way is natural. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that master was inscrutable. Apprentice, with your strength nowadays, in an army of 100,000 mundane people, not to mention coming and going as you please, killing a clean one would only take a bit of time. Li Xian then looked serious and said, but disciple, you must remember that the martial arts path does not lie in killing, killing into sex, is to fall into the demonic barrier. And will eventually all go up in smoke. He was worried that his disciple, a young man with a proud heart and powerful strength, an invincible presence in Qi, had swelled up and had no fear in his heart. This is not good. However, Li Xian wasn't too worried that Su Yan would go astray, this disciple's heart, was still very good, and knew the difference. Moreover, he had a firm heart for martial arts. And with him as his master teaching him, no matter what, he would not lose himself because of the weak force value in the outside world. Besides, the force value of this world might not be as low as cheese when it came to truth. The firehair wolf is an example of this. Yes, master, I bear that in mind. Su Yan said respectfully. 
Well, although you cannot kill into sex, but also cannot be weak, when the kill is killed, the heart has a good and evil points, do not bully the weak, the heart can be measured. Li Xian spoke in a conciliatory tone. You can't let a disciple have an inflated mind and create killings. Of course, the disciple should not be allowed to be merciful and hesitant when it comes to killing or not killing. Those who should be killed should naturally be killed without hesitation. Disciple understands. Su Yan bowed. Well, cultivate well, and strive to achieve a small success in the qi and blood realm as soon as possible, at which time I will pass on your next realm cultivation method. Li Xian nodded with satisfaction. Su Yan was instantly excited. Master, don't worry, disciple strives to break through the qi blood realm's minor accomplishment within half a month. Good, after half a month, master will pass on the method of the innate realm to you. After giving his disciple a tube of chicken blood, Li Xian was satisfied in his heart. After half a month, the law of the innate realm could be passed on, allowing Su Yan to start comprehending the law of the innate realm. Su Yan. In the next half a month, devoted himself to the bitter cultivation, and even the lightning hong body technique and the dragon subduing palm, were suspended to continue the enlightenment and cultivation. Kung Fu was not a bad idea. Half a month later, Su Yan's qi and blood rushed 30 feet into the sky, cultivating to the small completion stage of the qi and blood realm. And on this day, Li Xian sat on a chair and looked at the gloomy sky, it seemed like it was going to snow. It's time to leave, too. Li Xian sighed inside, it was time to leave this desolate little village. Having traveled to this world, he hadn't yet taken a step away from the small village, and he didn't know anything about the outside world's people and customs. It is only known that it is in the state of Qi, within the boundaries of Donghe County. Just then, golden light surfaced. Your disciple's Qi and blood realm is a small success, you are directly Qi and blood complete, and your strength is a hundred times that of the same realm. The Qi and blood realm is complete. Li Xian only felt that his Qi and blood skyrocketed in an instant. Between moving and thinking, Qi and blood rushed 300 feet into the sky. Silly apprentice brother can do it, within half a month, he is cultivated to a minor level of the qi and blood realm, and it's time to pass on his innate method. If he had comprehended the laws of the innate realm before breaking through to the innate realm, would I have been able to directly ascend to the innate realm? Li Xian was thoughtful. Goldfinger feedback, which is based on the results of the disciple's cultivation. If the realm is not cultivated to, but the method of cultivation is enunciated, can it also receive feedback? Now that Su Yan's innate realm cultivation method was being passed on, it was time to verify it. Master, disciple has broken through. Su Yan returned excitedly and bowed. Aha. Uh -huh. Li Shen nodded his head, still sitting on the chair, his gaze slightly raised, and said, Master passed on the method of the innate realm to you, you, and enlighten yourself, but you can't be overly ambitious, you can't rush it, cultivation should be done one step at a time. You have to keep your feet on the ground and tamp down your foundation, otherwise if you don't have a firm foundation but go for a blind pursuit of breakthroughs, you will end up destroying your own martial arts future. In order to avoid the disciple obtaining the method of the innate realm and delaying the cultivation of the qi and blood realms, becoming overly ambitious and having problems when the qi and blood realms were not cultivated to perfection but trying to break through to the innate realm. So Li Xian taught in a serious tone of voice. Yes, master, I will definitely keep my feet on the ground and finally polish the foundation of the qi and blood realm. Su Yan collected his mind and respectfully said. Well, master believes you have a measure in mind. Li Xian nodded and stood up, one hand behind his back, his head slightly angled as he gazed into the distant sky. For some reason, Li Xian had a special feeling for this gesture, rather like a strict teacher and a high-ranking person. Above the qi and blood realm is the innate realm, what is innate? What is innate? To transform from mortal to true, to cleanse the mortal body, that is innate. To enter the innate, in a sense, one has already left the mortal world. Li Xian recounted the pre-programmed, introductions to the innate realm one by one. Su Yan listened attentively, his heart excited. Once one enters the innate, one is already, in a sense, detached from mortal dust and is no longer a mortal. And this? is only the second realm of martial arts. It was hard to imagine how powerful the realm would be down the road. In order to break through the innate realm, one needs to perfect the qi and blood, penetrate the two bridges of heaven and earth, connect to heaven and earth, channel the spiritual qi of heaven and earth into the body, open up the sea of qi in the dantian, and condense the qi and blood into the innate true qi. If the qi and blood around your body turns into innate true qi, you have entered the innate realm. The cultivation of the innate realm, on the other hand, is to exhale the spiritual qi of the heavens and earth and condense it into innate true qi. Li Xian explained the codified cultivation method of the innate realm to Su Yan one by one. What are the two bridges of heaven and earth, where is the Dantian Qi Si, etc. Episode 40 Finally out of the novice village. In one breath, Li Xian finished explaining the codified cultivation methods of the innate realm one by one. Apprentice, do you remember? The innate realm cultivation method was the first time he had ever spent a great deal of effort to compile it, and the theory, framework, and so on, were much more complete than the basic realm's refining of skin, bones, and organs. It even points out where the bridge between heaven and earth, the Dantian and the Sea of Qi are located. With such a more detailed cultivation method, it was logical that it would be easier for Su Yan to comprehend it and cultivate it successfully. Master, disciple remembers. Su Yan said respectfully. 
The law of the innate, while you are cultivating, you should carefully refer to it, and you must not delay the cultivation of the qi and blood realms, nor be overly ambitious. Keep your feet on the ground. Li Xian once again seriously admonished. Master, disciple understands that before the qi and blood are perfected. I will absolutely not cultivate the innate method and attempt to break through. Su Yan solemnly said. Aha! Li Xian nodded his head and added, there are these four sentences expounding on the innate realm, you two and memorize them. Yes, master. Su Yan's spirit lifted, revealing a look of excitement. The bridge between heaven and earth is transformed into mortal dust, the spirit is returned to the innate, the true qi is endless, and the imperial qi rises up to the sky. Li Xian said word for word. The heaven and earth bridge passes through the mortal world, and the royal air rises to the sky? Su Yan muttered a repetition, and he felt as if he, in his heart, seemed to have some enlightenment. It only felt as if the innate was not far away. In your spare time, you will be able to refer to it again, and when your qi and blood are complete, you will be able to break through to the innate. Li Xian glanced at his disciple. The law of the innate realm had been passed on to his disciple, and it was impossible to know when he would be able to realize it. However, he believed that with Su Yan's enlightenment, as well as that superb brainstorming ability, and with a strong belief in the martial way that he had passed on. Definitely able to enunciate. It's almost time to try another apprentice. A disciple must have good understanding and a big brain, so that he can comprehend the blindly made-up Kung Fu. Li Xian pondered in his heart. The martial cultivation method of the Qi and Blood Realm was complete, so if it was passed on to new disciples, would they also receive feedback? Is it possible for a new disciple to practice successfully? However, Li Xian had an intuition in his heart that a newly accepted disciple had to cultivate a newly compiled technique in order to receive greater feedback. He was sure this instinct wouldn't be wrong. So, taking on another apprentice would require another set of feats to be made up out of it. The realm could remain the same, but the feats had to be different. With experience, it's relatively easy to make up more, it's just hard to find apprentices. The average person, for sure, can't, with poor perception and poor brainstorming skills. It's definitely impossible to cultivate. Li Shen looked at Su Yan who was immersed in the innate realm technique, he knew very well in his heart that if not for this silly disciple, who had excellent comprehension, superb brainstorming ability, and who firmly believed in the martial arts method that he had passed on to him, he wouldn't have been able to succeed in his cultivation otherwise. In turn, it activates its own gold finger. Therefore, the talent requirement for a disciple should never be low. She is so big, we can always find a second suitable disciple. Li Xian was filled with anticipation. If you can't find it in Qi, you can find it in Wu. It's also possible to identify one or two suitable people, and instead of accepting them as disciples, it's always possible to accept them as servants, right? Pass on his Qi and Blood Realm cultivation method and see how it works out. If a servant is not suitable, what about a named disciple? I'm a hermit, how can I just take in disciples? So, it's better to be a servant. Li Xian had some ideas in his heart. It was unclear for the time being whether or not the martial arts method that had already been cultivated could be successfully cultivated when it was passed on to someone else. Even if one could cultivate successfully, there should be certain requirements for qualifications. Those who practiced later did not get much feedback. This was the intuition that appeared in Li Xian's heart, which he believed was related to his golden finger. Therefore, the way to get greater feedback still lies in taking on disciples and making up new feats. So it's time to leave. Li Xian glanced at his disciple, still mulling over the method of the innate realm with his head down, and spoke, Disciple, pack your bags, it's time to leave. Master, what's wrong? Su Yan froze. For the master, it's time to go out for a walk. Li Xian blandly said. Master, you're not a hermit anymore? Su Yan had a surprised look on his face. Since I've taken on a disciple, it's time to enter the world, and what's more, where not to live in seclusion. The Great Concealment. Li Xian said with an inscrutable expression. The Great Unwashed? Su Yan muttered a sentence and was instantly energized, Master was worthy of being a hidden master. Where not to live in seclusion? For the true masters, where is there no place to live in seclusion? The hustle and bustle of the city can also be a hermitage. Yes, master. Su Yan nodded excitedly and started to go pack his bags. Not much luggage. Aside from a few pieces of clothing, it's really all about those worship gifts. Li Xian was playing with a piece of jade rui in his hands, he was now liking it more and more. A horse pulling a battered plank wagon traveled out of the mountains. Li Xian sat in the car, playing with the jade rui, looking at the dense forests and deep mountains that were gradually fading away in the back, sighing and sighing in his heart, having traveled so far, he was finally out of the mountains. It's coming out of the hamlet. At this point, it was getting late. Su Yan led the horse, his gait light and quick, landing without a sound. Light Hong's stance had improved quite a bit again. Master, up ahead is Yunshan County Town, should we land in Yunshan County Town or go directly to East River County Town? Su Yan opened his mouth and asked. Stay in Yunshan County for some time for now. Li Xian opened his mouth after a moment of contemplation. See if there are any suitable candidates for apprenticeship in Cloud Hill County. 
Yunshan County is just a small county with a population of just tens of thousands, and in the evening of this day, the people of the county suddenly saw a carriage driving into the county. Two young men, one leading a horse and the other sitting in a carriage. The young man on the carriage was dressed in ordinary clothes, but in his hands, he was playing with a jade rui, which was flawless all over, and at a glance, he knew that it was worth a lot of money. A beggar squatting on the street side, staring at the person on the carriage for a long time, his face showed excitement, and made a wink to a middle-aged man who set up a stall next to him. The man who set up the stall nodded silently and closed it up, entering an alleyway without knowing where he was. This scene all fell into Li Xian's eyes. But he was unmoved. Wealth is not for the weak, that's for the weak. Qi's force value was so low that there was no character that could threaten him. Even if powerful cultivators existed, they would not look at things like the jade ruins in his hands. Master, my family is in the county town, and has a store and purchased a courtyard, let's go there now. Su Yan opened his mouth. Apprentice, just arrange it. Li Xian didn't care. These chores, of course, are all left to the apprentice to arrange. In the core area of the county town, in front of a small courtyard, Su Yan went up and tapped on the door, and not long after, an underling opened the door and walked out. It's the young master? Young master please come in. When the subordinate saw that it was Su Yan, a smile piled up on his face. All cleaned up. You find another place to live. Su Yan directly opened his mouth and commanded. Yes, yes, young master, please come in. The subordinate had a fawning look on his face, saying that he was about to come forward to take the reins, Su Yan didn't bother to pay attention to him, leading the horse and entering the courtyard. Master, the county is a small place with simple dwellings. No harm done. That subordinate looked at Li Xian who was sitting on the carriage and couldn't help but stare. Master? The stupid son of the richest man's family, being cheated again? 41 Episodes Heavenly Mother's Compassion, Universal Sustenance Li Xian stood in the courtyard, for the first time came to the place where the people flourished, the heart lamented, crossing so far, today is only considered, really walked into this world. Nightfall. The streets of the county dwindled to silence with fewer pedestrians. And at this time, inside the Yunshan County office, the county magistrate, the county lieutenant, and the chief magistrate were all gathered together, and the beggar and the vendor were surprisingly also there. The one sitting in the main seat was not the magistrate, but an old man in rough linen clothes. I've inquired clearly, and the rich man who came into the city is Su Ju and his foolish son, and his master. The beggar said with a strange look on his face. Su Yen? That young man, is his master? That can't be right. The magistrate had a surprised look on his face. In the past, Su Ju and his stupid son, the hidden masters he looked for were all old men with a quivering spirit, and this young man is not older than a few years. He was a bit confused as to what method that young man had used to trick Su Yen into worshipping his master. The hemp-clothed old man sitting in the main seat, opened his mouth, Su Ju and Hai is obstinate, sitting on great wealth, not knowing how to sympathize with the living. Not only refusing to enter my heavenly mother sect, but even capturing my congregation to give to the government. His son is here, just in time to be used by my religion. Later on, go and use the great teachings of our sect to sensitize his master, so that he will sincerely join our sect. The magistrate nodded his head and said, the protector has a point. The hemp-clothed old man got up and said, I'll keep an eye on Donghai County, this time the grand plan cannot be lost, Su Ju in his trouble, is about to come to his door, if he convinces, he can be saved. Protector don't worry, military counselor Ko is presiding over the situation in Donghai County and will definitely be able to successfully take Donghai County. The beggar said with a look of admiration. Aha! The hemp-clothed old man nodded his head, the co-military counselor is the heavenly mother sex wise counselor, and with him in charge, it will be foolproof. Accompany me to sensitize the master of the little child Su Yen and let him join our sect. Yes. The magistrate several people followed the old man in hemp clothes out of the county office. In the courtyard Su Yen was cultivating while Li Xian was sitting on a chair with a book in his hands. This is what he had someone buy, a popular talking book in Qi. He was curious as to why Su Yen, this foolish disciple, was convinced that there was an incomparably powerful martial way in the world after reading the words. Looking around for someone high up who wants to worship. Heavenly Mother is compassionate and universal, worship Heavenly Mother, escape the sea of suffering, and be rich and famous in the next life. Voices rang through the silent street, and with the slogans came the sound of bells and footsteps coming from the end of the street. Blessed be the Mother of God. Blessed be the Mother of God. Suddenly, neighbors to the right and left, the whole street. A multitude of people opened their doors and prayed devoutly. There was the constant sound of metal hitting the ground. As Li Xian listened to his ears, he could ascertain that it was the sound of copper coins spilling onto the ground. The Heavenly Mother goes out on a tour of duty, to cure sins, to relieve the good, and to make the world free from evil. The sound of the bells approached and the ringing became crisp, Li Xian had an odd look on his face, the target was coming towards him? Nope. It was directed at Su Yen. And at this moment, Su Yen had already stopped cultivating with a look of displeasure on his face. What's going on, Padawan? Li Xian opened his mouth and asked. Master, it's the divine master of the Heavenly Mother cult. Su Yen said with some exasperation. The Heavenly Mother cult? Li Xian froze, a cult within Qi? 
Yes, Master, the Heavenly Mother sect has been designated by the Imperial Court as a demonic, evil, and rebellious sect, and has always been besieged, but suppressed but not destroyed. It's not just Qi, it's also been under siege in Wu. The Heavenly Mother sect has started several rebellions, all of which were unsuccessful, the last one was 20 years ago, and after it was crushed, it has been weakened, with little public propaganda of its teachings appearing. The Heavenly Mother sect is a long-established sect, dating back to the previous dynasty, and since the founding of Qi, it has rebelled no less than 10 times. It was regarded as a thorn in the flesh by the court of Qi, but repeated sieges failed to eliminate it completely, and it would make a comeback after a while. In Wu, it's the same. The Tianmu religion believes in the so-called Heavenly Mother, and it is widely rumored that belief in the Heavenly Mother will free one from suffering and lead to great wealth and prosperity in the next life. And every time the Heavenly Mother sect rebels, a group of congregation members who are not afraid of death will appear, screaming that their souls will return to the arms of the Heavenly Mother, and that they will be freed from the sea of earthly suffering, and that they will be rich and powerful in the next life. The brazenness of the army has caused considerable casualties to the Qi army on several occasions. The followers of the Heavenly Mother religion have never been few, and even though the imperial court severely prohibited it, it still could not be banned, especially where there were famines and calamities, the people were even more devoted to the religion of the Heavenly Mother religion. The guys from the Heavenly Mother cult like to rob people of their money and then give it to some poor people to gain their faith. He has even ransacked government offices and opened warehouses for food. However, the Celestial Mother Church has been silent for almost 20 years now, and at least since I was born, I haven't heard of any Celestial Mother Church anywhere that has been publicly parading around and spreading its teachings widely. Su Yen said with some doubt. Li Xian was surprised, this Heavenly Mother sect was a bit of the White Lotus sect, and since it was strictly banned by Qi, it belonged to the object of extermination. Why are you in Cloud Hill County, openly parading around preaching the doctrine? I'm afraid that Yunshan County has been secretly controlled by the Heavenly Mother sect. The people of the county are either believers or part of the religion. This Yunshan County, I'm afraid it's already under the control of the Heavenly Mother sect. Li Xian smiled. Su Yan's expression was stunned as he suddenly thought of something and said, Wouldn't my family's stores in Yunshan already be under the control of the Heavenly Mother sect? It has become a congregation of the Heavenly Mother cult? Master. They seem to be coming this way. Listening to the voices approaching, it was clear that they were coming here. Outrageous, stealing my family's stores and disturbing my cultivation in the middle of the night, disciple will go and dispatch them. Su Yan huffed. There's no hurry, and let them come, as a matter of amusement. Li Xian said smilingly. Having just come out of his mountain nest, he was quite interested in all these things in the outside world. Yes, master. Seeing this, Su Yen replied in a respectful voice. In his heart, he exclaimed, master's state of mind is just extraordinary, playing the world? This is the mentality of a highborn. Footsteps stopped outside the courtyard door and a voice came from the rhythmic ringing of a bell. The heavenly mother is compassionate and universal, so would the good scholar like to do his part for the living? The sound is grand and condensed. Li Xian raised his eyebrows, the person who opened his mouth was not an ordinary person, could this be a first-class expert in the Jianghu? Sure enough, as Su Yen said, it was too weak. To him and Su Yen, the person who spoke was weak, but to ordinary people, they were powerful experts. Su Yen stared at the side and said, a Jianghu supreme expert? Why does the Heavenly Mother sect in Yunshan County have such a Jianghu expert? Could this be the Heavenly Mother sect's lair? Li Xian was surprised, he thought that the person who opened his mouth to speak was a first-class expert of the Jianghu, but it turned out to be a supreme expert? The force value of the Qi Jianghu was a little too low. This is a Jianghu top master? So weak. Li Xian said with a speechless face. Master, they are only mundane martial arts, their strength is limited. The supreme masters are practicing internal energy. From the sound of his opening his mouth to speak, it is inspired by internal energy. Su Yan explained. Inner strength? Li Xian was a bit curious. What's with this internal energy? Why is it so weak? It is a kind of burst out of the power, the power is not strong, roughly equivalent to, the beginning of the bone refining stage? The early stage of iron bone? Su Yen said with some uncertainty. 42 Episodes You guys are so unprofessional. The weak force value of Qi was beyond imagination, and Li Xian felt that with his strength, he would be an absolute godlike existence in Qi. You can completely ignore the Qi court. Let's go and see what tricks these people are playing. Li Xian toyed with the Jade Rui, and with a leisurely pace, he arrived at the courtyard door and opened it outside the yard. A line of dozens of people, each wearing coarse linen clothes, face all solemn color, the head of a person, is a linen-clothed old man, but also just opened the voice of the Jianghu top masters. The good Samaritan is courteous. The hemp-clothed old man clasped his hands in front of his chest and bowed low. Gentlemen this? Li Xian twirled the jade ruins in his hand and feigned confusion on his face. Good scholar, the heavenly mother is merciful and relieves the living, I see that the good scholar is handsome and his family has a lot of money, are you willing to donate money to relieve the living? The Heavenly Mother is merciful and will bless the Good Samaritan with peace and joy. The corner of Li Xian's mouth twitched as he looked at the hemp-clothed old man in silence for a moment and said, There is nothing wrong at all with you guys coming to ask for money under the banner of relieving the living. 
but can acting be serious? Saying this, he raised his hand and pointed to the hand of the old man in hemp clothes, saying, Look at you, dressed in shabby clothes, coming to ask me for money with the appearance of walking for the sake of the living and relieving the suffering. But the big gold ring on your finger. Can you take it off? It's good to hide it. The hemp clothed old man looked stupefied, glancing down at his hand, his thumb and index finger, both wearing a jade encrusted gold ring. Li Xian's gaze lifted to the middle aged man beside the hemp clothed old man inside, and then there's you, wearing a valuable trigger finger, wearing rough linen clothes on the outside and a brocade lining on the inside. And you guys are so unprofessional. Su Yan was behind him, watching his master comment on the situation. And, what the master said, there's nothing wrong with it at all. These heavenly mother cult guys, they act a little bit real too. Moreover, the man wearing the trigger finger looked somewhat familiar. It was only after a long time that he was surprised and said, You are the magistrate of Yunshan? The magistrate of Yunshan, ah, is a member of the Heavenly Mother sect? The congregation of the Heavenly Mother was silent, in deep thought, in the past to find those big rich people, are numb to give money ah, and did not feel that there is something wrong with them. Why is it different today? Your Excellency has a good eye. The hemp-clothed old man's eyes revealed a brilliant light, since this was already the case, he could only open the door and use his strength. It's not that I have a good eye, it's that you guys really suck. Li Xian sighed, and with a hand, he put it on the pockmarked old man's shoulder and said, Just the way you guys are, no wonder the revolts keep failing all the time. The hemp clothed old man's heart was horrified at the moment. Masters! The best of the best of the best! Cold sweat broke out on his forehead. I am the Heavenly Mother Sex Hemp Clothed Protector, I wonder which one of the Jianghu you are. The hemp clothed old man stiffened, his internal energy stored and ready to be released, and asked in a deep voice. The magistrate and the others were in awe at the moment. Su Yan's master was actually a supreme expert? A supreme expert at such an age is truly rare. Secretly, he made a wink, then suddenly struck out. They, instead of attacking Li Xian, attacked Su Yan, and as long as they captured Su Ju and his foolish son, their purpose was achieved. Looking at the incoming Heavenly Mother sect congregation, Su Yan frowned slightly, lifting his hand, his qi and blood stirred, and slightly pressed downward, a powerful qi and blood astral energy, instantly suppressing it. So, the magistrate and others, only feel a mountain descending like, poof, all lying on the ground, cannot get up. Out of your depth. Su Yan snorted coldly. He stayed his hand and didn't kill the man outright. All that remains to be seen is the master's decision. The old man in hemp clothes, etc., had been terrified. What kind of master is this? Say what you have to say, we mean no harm. The hemp clothed old man said with a cold sweat on his face. The magistrate at this moment, but shouted, A Yunshan magistrate, killing me is equal to plotting rebellion, you have to think twice. Hmm. Su Yan's eyes glared, his qi and blood pressure intensified violently, and the magistrate only felt as if he was about to be crushed into a meat cake, terrified. Dizzy saying, stop, stop, Mr. Su your parents, are now in danger, only the sect can save them, you kill me, you have to consider the consequences ah. What did you say? Su Yan's angry face emerged, his qi and blood stirred, and his powerful aura frightened the old man in hemp clothes and the other heavenly mother sex faces pale. I mean it, but it has nothing to do with my religion. The magistrate was scared out of his wits. Say, what's going on? Su Yan was furious, if you dare to deceive me, I'll crush you and feed you to the dogs. He's only been away from home for a short time. How can his parents be in danger? Our sect has received intelligence that the East River County Governor is preparing to go after the Sioux family, plagiarizing the family and imprisoning them, no falsehoods at all. The magistrate didn't dare to hide it and spoke in a panic. Ha! You're looking for death? East River County Governor, even if you give him ten guts, he wouldn't dare to lay a hand on my Sioux family. Su Yan let out a cold laugh, my maternal grandfather was the minister of the Ministry of Administration of the current dynasty, where did he, the East River County Guard, get the guts? Li Shen, who was on the side, was surprised. Silly disciple's background, it really wasn't simple. His father is the richest man in Dongha County, and his grandfather is the minister of the Ministry of Justice, so with this background, not to mention in Dongha County, in the capital of Qi, he can also run amok. Of course the East River Sheriff wouldn't dare, but this is what the bigwigs in the capital mean. The magistrate was afraid of being slapped to death by Su Yen in a fit of rage. Busily, he said, it is rumored that in the battle for the crown prince, the grand prince has already gained the upper hand, and Squire Gui is a supporter of the third prince, so... The battle for the crown prince, ah, one side wins, the losing side, will there be a good end? So it seemed that the Su family's situation was truly dangerous. The battle for the crown prince? Su Yan stared. He naturally didn't know about these things, his entire mind was on searching for hidden masters, and after worshipping Li Xian as his master, he was even more fully devoted to martial arts cultivation. He didn't even bother to find out what was going on at home. Not to mention, the battle for the crown prince far away in the capital. Su Yan's brow furrowed as his mighty pressure retracted, and the magistrate let out a sigh of relief. Continued. East River General House withdraws from the marriage, is because of perceived, the third prince's lineage fell into the wind, the crown prince's dispute to come out the result, which withdraws from the marriage to get out of the way. Su Yan was stunned that there was such a hidden agenda behind the general's retreat? 
The magistrate carefully climbed up and said, the East River Sheriff is almost ready to make a move, nowadays, those who have a backer in East River County all know that the Sioux family is going to be almost finished. They're all staring at the Sioux family's business, wanting to tear off a piece of meat. Su Yin was furious when he heard this and scolded, the emperor has no eyes, my grandfather supports his third son, it is to give him face, outrageous, my family do business is easy? Whoever dares to copy my house, I'll kill him. The magistrate was overjoyed at his words and said, Mr. Su, it's really great that you have this realization, join our heavenly mother sect and we'll rebel together. You get out. Su Yan slapped the magistrate away. Li Xin sighed in his heart, this dynasty's battle for the crown prince is really a huge gain and a huge risk. If you win, you're a credit from the dragon. If you lose, the heaviest penalty is a full house. More serious, execute all nine clans. The crisis of the Su family suddenly came, but the value of force in Qi is so low, with Su Yan's strength, this is not even a crisis, even if a thousand armies kill, but also can be idle. Episode 43 Crisis in the Su Family Apprentice, as a matter of urgency, you should make a trip home and deal with this matter. Li Xian opened his mouth and reminded. Yeah, I need to hurry home. Su Yan came back to his senses and immediately said, Master, disciple will go home to deal with this matter, and will return to serve the left and right after this matter has been dealt with. Go on. Li Xian nodded. Then they. Su Yan looked towards the hemp-clothed old man and the county magistrate, his face sinking as he said. Pay no attention. Li Xian shook his head. Yes, Master. After Su Yen bowed and saluted, his body moved and disappeared into the darkness of the night in a flash. He didn't ride a horse to catch up, but directly executed the light-hung body technique, with his strength today, his speed was much faster than a horse. In a hurry to rush back home, it was natural to directly execute the light-hung body technique. The hemp-clothed old man and the others had been terrified, why was Su Ju and his foolish son so powerful? Could it be that we have really found a hidden master? In this world, is there really such a powerful and incomparable person in martial arts as the legend in the book? Who the hell is the one with the bad brain? For a moment, the crowd of Heavenly Mother sect experts were skeptical. As soon as Su Yen left, Li Xian instantly smiled and pulled the hemp old man and said, Don't all just stand there, come in and chat. No, senior we still have important things to do, we have to go and relieve the suffering people, yes, go and relieve the suffering people. The hemp old man was in a cold sweat. The young man in front of him, looking young, was most likely an old monster. Since Su Yen, this foolish boy, was incredibly powerful, with a strength that exceeded common sense, his master, too, could not be viewed with common sense. Is it really relief for the suffering people? Li Xian grinned. Yes, yes, we have relief for the people. The hemp-clothed old man trembled as he said. The magistrate rose from the ground, scowling and moving backward to escape. That Yunshan magistrate, come here for a moment. Li Xian waved the jade ruin in his hand and called out. Elder, whatever you command, I will definitely do it. The magistrate of Yunshan nodded and fawned. Don't panic, I'll come in and talk, what with all this heavenly mother religion? Between Li Xian's qi and blood surging, an invisible pressure enveloped every single person. Yes, yes. The crowd of the Heavenly Mother sect, who dared to disobey, entered the courtyard with fawning smiles on their faces. As soon as he entered the courtyard, in the hemp-clothed old man's mind, there was a sudden flash of light, and he directly plopped down on his knees. Seniors divine might is invincible, like the greatness of the heavens, there are no two tallest men in the world, I, the Heavenly Mother sect, would like to worship Senior as the Heavenly Duke's great sage from this day forward. Great sage of the heavenly duke, whose divine might is invincible and unrivaled in the world, Ma Yi pays his respects to the great sage of the heavenly duke. The hemp-clothed old man caught out right away with a solemn expression, just like a devout believer. Yunshan magistrate and others saw, busy plopping down on their knees, look solemn, like a devout believer, head knocked up, that is not at all stingy strength. Thump 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 thump. Greetings to the great sage of heaven. The divine might of the great sage of heavenly duke is invincible and unrivaled in the world. Li Xian. What a strange bunch of people this heavenly mother sect is. What's that? A male and a female, right? We'll have to change our name to Tian Kung Hui in the future. Two ways, either get up and have a nice conversation and chat, or, die. Li Xian said in an indifferent tone. The kowtowing stopped, and the hemp-clothed old man and the others wiped a handful of blood seeping from their foreheads and stood up silently. It's a choice to chat, or a choice to die, and they still know what to choose. Li Xian took a seat on the chair, allowing the hemp-clothed old man and the others. To introduce the Heavenly Mother sect, the Imperial Court and the rivers and lakes, and so on, so as to further understand this world. East River County, Sioux Family At this moment, the Sioux Family was brightly lit, and the guards were on alert as they held their weapons and inspected the Sioux Family residence. On each of the houses sat a man, alert to his surroundings. And in the inner courtyard, Dark Master Chen and Pavilion Master Wang were sitting in the gazebo with their weapons in hand. In addition to these two, there were three others, all on guard in the inner courtyard. Five of the top experts in the jungle. Husband, the evil people of the Heavenly Mother sect, why are they targeting my Sioux family? What did the officials say? Mrs. Sue said with a worried look on her face. 
Su Chuan aside and said, the heavenly mother sect came to our door, wanting most of my Su family's wealth, saying that it was relief for the suffering people, but in reality, it was forcing us to join the heavenly mother sect. This is a rebellious cult, once you get involved, it's like a rebellion, and you can imagine what will happen to you. Lady Su frowned and said, this I naturally know, but the heavenly mother sect is in rebellion in the county, why don't the officials make arrests? Jiang Pingshan, the great general of East River, even sat back and did nothing? Because it's not time to strike. Su Juanha paced the hall, his brows furrowed and his mind heavy. Husband, do we have to wait for the Heavenly Mother cult to break into my Su family before we take action? Do you want to sit back and watch my Su family be destroyed by a renegade cult? Isn't the East River County Commissioner afraid of being questioned? Mrs. Su looked puzzled. They're waiting for a message. As things stood, Su Juanha felt it was time to tell Madam. That nest of bandits suddenly disappeared without a trace, the goods were successfully delivered to the capital. I thought I had survived a disaster, but I never thought that it would usher in an even greater disaster, this disaster is difficult to survive. Mrs. Su was stunned, what robbery? Su Juanha exhaled a breath and said, the battle for the crown prince. When Mrs. Su heard this, her face instantly turned white, and she said in a trembling voice, husband, what you mean is that my father, he. Lord father-in-law's mentor is Pavilion Master Chen, and Pavilion Master Chen supports the third prince, and Lord father-in-law has long been regarded as, being the third prince's beloved, belonging to the third prince's faction. Ever since last year, when the third prince was providing disaster relief in the land of the three counties and lost the precious jade that was offered to the emperor, he has been at a disadvantage in the battle for the crown prince, and now the dust is about to settle. Su Juan Ha sighed. If it is an unusual treasure jade is just, with the third prince of the disaster relief work, will not be punished. However, that precious jade, called the Evergreen Longevity Stone, is rare in the world. Carrying it on your body has the miraculous effect of dispelling diseases and prolonging life. Such a treasure lost, there are rumors that the third prince do not want the emperor to prolong life, so intentionally lost the treasure. Regardless of the truth or falsehood of the treasure jade, this matter, the third prince has been disliked by the emperor of Qi, the competition for the crown prince has been out of the game. The faction of the third prince would naturally be liquidated. Mrs. Su's face turned white as she said in a trembling voice, could it be that there is no room for redemption? What about defecting to the grand prince? Su Juanha let out a bitter smile, father-in-law is a student of pavilion master Chen, a person in the heart of the third prince, there is no chance. Holding his wife's hand, silent for a moment. Su Juanha said, my Su family is sitting on such a huge wealth, naturally became the beginning of the liquidation, the time is also destiny, I Su Juanha with the body of a humble body, to the present day, it is not in vain this life. With a helpless sigh, he said, it's just that Yenner, alas. Mrs. Su leaned against him and said with red eyes, Yenner is not at home, it is also considered a fortunate thing, I hope that he can escape this calamity, this child, is just a little too stupid, believe in those things of words and seek what high people. As long as we find Yenner before the officials do, we can keep him safe, I have made arrangements. Su Juan had gently wrapped his arm around his wife and said. Apothecary Pan walked in and said, Master, it's all ready, once we find the young master, we'll immediately escort him to the kingdom of Wu. Su Juan had nodded and said, there are some industries in Wu that can ensure Yenner's wealth and prosperity, Pan Lao, you take care of some more. Ugh. Apothecary Pan sighed and said, I'll look after him, and after this, he shouldn't be stupid anymore. Episode 44. I'll see who dares to raid my house. Su Juanha did not say, heart is a sigh of relief, after this disaster, if his stupid son, lucky to escape, hiding to the Wu, I am afraid that more full of thought to seek the hidden masters. The only way to get revenge is to find a hidden master and learn the legendary powerful martial arts. He knew his son, too well. Elder Pan, you should leave tonight, Dart Leader Chan and the others, when faced with the Heavenly Mother cult, may perhaps try their best, but when it comes to the government, they won't go down the same path as the Su family. Su Juanha mused. Got it. Apothecary Pan nodded and turned to leave. Husband, the heavenly mother sex people, they will come tonight? Mrs. Su asked after a moment of silence. Probably. Su Juan Ha nodded. He gazed out the window. His heart a little heavy. Outside the Su family mansion, in a restaurant separated by a street, there were a dozen people sitting, all dressed in rough linen clothes, the leader of one person, holding a goosefeather fan in his hand, standing in front of the window, looking out at the Su residence. Sergeant Ko, don't you want to make a move? A burly man spoke in a deep voice. Don't worry, this night the Sioux family is going to perish, the East River County Guard thinks that, by laying a net, he can plunge the Sioux family while eliminating us, it's really a joke. Ko has long been deployed, once he makes his move, it's time for East River County to change, and taking control of East River County will begin tonight. Ko Ruwaji had a winning look on his face. The Emperor of Qi is dim-witted, and the Court of Qi is full of corpses and incompetent people, I, the Heavenly Mother sect, adhering to the will of the heavens, will start from this Dongha County, and let the old man of the Emperor of Qi see where the real great talents of the country's governance are. Ko Ruwaji's gaze was bitter and his tone was filled with anger towards Emperor Qi and the Qi court. The burly man nodded frequently, expressed indignation, Ko military division in the past years into the first class martial arts, literary elegance and intellect is unrivaled in the world, surprisingly, three times in the imperial examinations, all failed to list, the court of Qi, when really mediocrity, have eyes without pearls. 
The rest of the people also nodded their heads, co-military counselor is a wise counselor of the heavenly mother sect, talented and wise, but he has even failed the list three times, the Qi emperor is dim, and the court is full of people who have eyes but no pearls. So it is good, since Ko Junshir joined the heavenly mother sect, step by step, and now we are just one step away from seizing Donghe County and raising the flag to rebel. I, The heavenly mother sect, with the advice of Sergeant Ko, will certainly succeed in this rebellion. Ta da da da. The silent streets resounded with the sound of horses' hooves, and a series of footsteps, from far and near, surrounded the Su family mansion. Coming. Ko Ruaji's complexion perked up, see what happens, follow the original plan and rob the people on the way to escort Mr. and Mrs. Su Juanha to the prison. As long as Su Juanha joins the sect, Qi and Wu will have the sect's business, and it's not a dream to be rich as a nation. But Su Juanha will agree? The burly man wondered. Will do. Ko Ruaji's wisecracking scowl, he's not thinking of himself, he'll be thinking of his stupid son, too. The front door of Su's house was smashed open. The Su family was in chaos when the East River County Guards led the officials and soldiers to barge in. Chen Dart leader, Wang Pavilion master, and the others, were all stunned. Not the Heavenly Mother sex cultists, but the officials and soldiers? In an instant, their expressions changed as they silently retreated to the side, fleeing as soon as the situation was not right. Su Juanha has colluded with the Heavenly Mother sect, a heinous crime, pass on the order of this government to raid the Su family and arrest Mr. and Mrs. Su Juanha. The East River County Guard's gaze was bitterly cold, looking toward the crowd of guards and experts such as Chin Dart Head, and said in a deep voice, those who have nothing to do with this, hand over their weapons, and after searching their bodies to find out their identities, they can leave on their own. The crowd of guards, one after another, lowered their weapons. The same was true for Dart Leader Chen and the others. This is the official government, not the cultists of the Heavenly Mother sect, and the strike is like a rebellion, which is a great crime of decapitation of the whole family. Su Juanha assisted Mrs. Su to walk out. Calmly looking at the East River County Sheriff, a short while ago, he was still talking about wine, but at this moment, he was merciless. This is the cruelty of the battle for the Crown Prince. Colluding with the Heavenly Mother cult? Why is that so? Su Juanha looked at the county governor and sighed. Colluding with the Heavenly Mother sect is a heinous crime, and this is to drive the Su family, as well as his father-in-law's family, to extinction. The East River County Guards looked indifferent and said indifferently, this government is responsible for investigating and raiding the Su family, and the matter of colluding with the Heavenly Mother sect will naturally be judged by the Ministry of Justice when it arrives. Su Juanha was silent. I am afraid that the reason for not convicting him of colluding with the Heavenly Mother cult is to make him think carefully about whether or not he is really colluding with the Heavenly Mother cult, and once he does, there will be no room for maneuver. It's a great crime to have your whole family killed. If convicted on any other charge, perhaps it would have been exile, not decapitation. All of this, is not he a merchant can sway, the only thing is the capital in the middle of the father-in-law, whether or not it can make this matter have room for maneuver. Take it away. With a wave of the Dongha County Guard's hand, two officials and soldiers, holding shackles, came forward, ready to see Su Juanha and his wife, and a crowd of officials and soldiers swarmed out, ready to raid the Su family. The richest man in Dongha County, who is sitting on a huge property, who is not jealous. Now that this behemoth is going to fall, there are bound to be countless hungry wolves swarming up to eat it up. Suddenly, a furious roar rang out like thunder. I'll see who dares to raid my house. Mrs. Sue's face changed drastically as she exclaimed, Yenner. She blanched instantly. Why was she back at this hour? Right at this moment, two crimson dragons, wrapped in terrifying blazing power, swooped down from midair, like the might of heaven and earth, sweeping across the officials and soldiers swarming up, ready to raid the Sioux family. In an instant, all the officers and soldiers flew out backwards and fell to the ground, unable to get up for a long time. And the officials and soldiers who were holding the shackles and preparing to apprehend Mr. and Mrs. Sujuana were coiled and wrapped up by a huge dragon, which exploded in midair, blazing like a terrifying flame. The two officers and soldiers turned into charred, blackened body parts that fell on the heads of a group of officers and soldiers. A teenage man, surrounded by blazing astral energy, descended from the sky with divine might and landed in front of Mr. and Mrs. Sujuana. The East River County Magistrate was already trembling, his eyes showing shock. The officers and soldiers all fell to the ground, trembling in fear. The Sioux family's group of guards, with their mouths open and eyes wide, looked at the teenager who had fallen from the sky, and the entire group was dumbfounded. Bodyguard Chen continuously gulped, beads of sweat continuously falling from his forehead, his eyes dead wide, his mind blank. Su Yen? Su Juan has stupid son? How is this possible? No one was more shocked than Su Juanha and his wife, seeing Su Yen descending from the sky, especially those two terrifying dragons, sweeping across a group of officials and soldiers, was already inhuman. His own son, who had been searching for hidden masters, wanted to cultivate the powerful and incomparable martial arts of the words and legends. Now, is it possible that you've actually accomplished something in your training? Su Yen is now furious, just now he stayed his hand, otherwise those officers and soldiers, has long been killed by a blow. The body piece is flying. This is the Su family, the mother is in front, dirtying the Su family and scaring the mother would not be good, so he showed mercy. Only the two officials and soldiers holding shackles were wrapped up in midair by his dragon descending palm power and killed with a blast, the fiery chi and blood directly scorched the corpses into charcoal in general. Episode 45
I, the Heavenly Mother Church, would like to worship Mr. Sue as the great sage of Heavenly Duke. Dog officer, how dare you come to raid my house, are you tired of living? Su Yen was furious at the moment, glaring at the East River County Guard, a crimson dragon, coiled around him, a powerful pressure that pressured the East River County Guard to sit on his butt. It's easy for my father to work hard and make some money in business. Just because the Emperor's old man's two sons are vying for the throne, he's going to implicate my Su family? It's too deceitful. My Su Yan's grandfather, who looks up to his third son, is the Emperor's old man's blessing. The moment Su Yan's words came out, Su Juanha and his wife's faces changed drastically. That's a treacherous thing to say. It'll be a full house. Ko Ruwaji, who was ambushed outside the Su family mansion, was overjoyed at the news, and then looking at Su Yan's majestic appearance, a bold idea surfaced in his heart. As for the East River County governor, with a shocked face, he raised his hand and pointed at Su Yan, you, you're treasonous, you're tantamount to plotting a rebellion, what crime should you be guilty of? Go! Capture the treacherous Su family father and son, who intend to plot against the government, this is a great opportunity to build a career, quickly go! The East River Sheriff roared. Although Su Yan had displayed a strong power like God's might, however, under the heavy reward. There were always people who did not understand the situation and thought that they could take credit for it. Everyone together, he's only one man, don't be afraid. The leader of the officials held his weapon and roared out. To pacify the rebellion and capture the leader of the rebellion is a great achievement, glory and wealth, high rank and salary is right in front of us. The East River County Guard looked toward Chin Dart Head and the others not far away and spoke, anyone who participates in capturing rebellious and evil thieves, this official will report it to the court for a commendation, and with a high rank and a good salary just around the corner, all of you should seize the opportunity. Those guys, they are all supreme masters. Bodyguard Chen and the others looked at each other, somewhat moved but hesitant. Archers. Outside the Su family residence, rows of officials and soldiers, bending their bows and arrows, their cold arrows, pointed at Su Yan's three people. Mrs. Su's face turned white as she said in a trembling voice, Yenner, run away, don't mind me and your father. Mother, don't worry, I will get justice for my family today. Su Yan's eyes were chillingly cold as he angrily said, my father has worked hard to do some business and keep his peace, and because of the emperor's old man's broken family business, he has to be implicated, outrageous. He was furious at this point. If my father hadn't made money from his business, where would I have gotten the money to spend? Without the family fortune my father has accumulated, where would I have gotten the gift of worship? How can I cultivate the supreme martial Tao without the right of worship? To dare to raid my house and seize my parents, this is breaking my martial arts path, bullying people too much. The more Su Yen thought about it, the angrier he became. Facing the cold arrows, hundreds of officials and soldiers. As well as first-rate experts and supreme experts, he did not have any fear, and all of these people were nothing more than dirt and dogs in his eyes. A single strike of the dragonfall palm could blast away all of them. Humph, a frog in the bottom of a well, how can you know the vastness of the heavens and the earth, today I, Su Yen, will let you and the others know what is the way of the martial arts. Su Yen said with a cold snort. Eunuch Su speaks well, the old Qi emperor is dim-witted and has no eyes, so we should revolt against him. Suddenly, an excited roar came. Thirteen figures leapt up, swept over the heads of a group of officials and soldiers, and appeared in the middle of the field. The first person, holding a goose feather fan, had an agitated look on his face. The remaining twelve people, holding weapons, looked cold. The Heavenly Mother cult? Su Yen frowned. For the Heavenly Mother sect, he didn't have any major animosity, as long as it didn't touch his Su family's interests, he didn't bother. He was able to come back in time, but he still learned the news from the mouth of the magistrate of Yunshan County, a member of the Heavenly Mother cult. The East River County Guard said in a cold voice, Su Juanha and his father and son, colluding with the Heavenly Mother sect, the evidence is overwhelming, their crime should be executed. Give it to me, shoot to kill. The East River Sheriff said with a wave of his hand. Ko Ruwaji shook his feather fan and laughed softly, Dog officer, guess how many of the official soldiers are my Heavenly Mother followers? The East River Prefect's expression changed. Then he laughed coldly and said, Do you think that this house is not prepared? These officials and soldiers, they are not the East River County Guards, but have been deployed from the general's residence. Release the arrows, shoot to kill. The god said with a cold wave of his hand. Boom boom. The arrows instantly exploded like rain, but at the same time, in one of the directions, there was not a single arrow, and the officers and soldiers there, reversing their direction, fired at the officers and soldiers who had released the arrows. There was a succession of miserable screams. The East River County Guard's expression changed greatly, the Heavenly Mother sect had penetrated so deeply? Ko Ruwaji and the other Heavenly Mother sect powerhouses, their bodies exploded back, avoiding the location covered by the arrow rain, but right at that moment, two crimson dragons roared up. All the arrows had stopped in midair ten feet away from Su Yen. Oomph. Su Yen snorted coldly, and with a tremor of the dragonfall palm power, the arrows were reduced to smithereens. Palm push, a dragon palm force whistled out, all the officers and soldiers, were swept by a crimson dragon, have spit out blood and fell to the ground, could not get up for a long time. At this moment, Su Yan's gaze was stern as he looked at the East River County Governor. Rebellion? What is the old man Shi Huang, I, Su Yen, today, will rebel against him and what can I do? 
The East River County Guard's face was pale and his lips trembled, but he said sternly, Junior Su Yen, although I don't know where you learned an incomparably powerful skill, but do you think that the strength of one person can fight against a thousand armies? My Chi Divine Mighty Army is not something you alone can defend against? You will die, your Su family, and Squire Gua, will all die. At this time, Ko Ruaji jumped out. Don't panic, I, the Heavenly Mother sect, support Mr. Su, the old man Emperor Chi, who has no eyes, doesn't recognize talent, and is dim-witted, should be pulled off that throne. Ko Ruaji was excited, thrilled, and had even more anger in his eyes. I Ko Ruaji. When the martial arts into the first class, literary talent and wisdom plan unparalleled, but three times the imperial examinations failed, this dim emperor old man, mediocre and incompetent full of ministers, enjoying the glory and wealth, simply the heavens have no eyes. Su Juanhai gazed strangely at the indignant Ko Ruaji, who turned out to be a failed scholar, and this was the reason he was so intent on rebelling? Now that the heavens have opened their eyes and the godlike Duke Su has appeared, this is heaven trying to kill Chi. The more Ko Ruaji spoke, the more excited he became, and with a plop, he knelt down on the ground, looking agitated and fervent as he said, Eunuch Su, the entire congregation of my heavenly mother sect would like to worship you as the heavenly duke's great sage from this day forward. The heavenly duke, the great sage, is invincible in his divine might, and will surely be able to pull the dim-witted old man, Emperor Chi, down from that position. Those twelve heavenly mother sect experts, as soon as they saw that our sect's wise counselor, Ko Arm's master, had knelt down, they instantly mortared their weapons on the ground, knelt down on one knee, and saluted, the twelve Jedi of the heavenly mother sect, pay homage to the heavenly duke's great sage. In his heart, he sighed, it's still military counselor Ko who understands the big picture. My heavenly mother sect, if we have such a divine mighty and invincible heavenly duke great sage sitting in our midst, how can our great cause not be accomplished? Su Yen looked at the excited, frenzied Ko Ruaji and was dumbfounded, what the hell? The great sage of heaven? Even if I want to rebel, what's it got to do with you? What heavenly duke and great sage? Wait a minute, you're the heavenly mother sect, right? Can't it be that you're going to change your name to the heavenly duke sect? Su Yen opened his mouth with a confused expression. Episode 46 This man is evil. You can't keep him. Ko Ruaji stood up, nodding his head with a fawning smile, and said, My heavenly mother sect's contemporary heavenly mother, at the age of 28, is a gorgeous woman who is unrivaled in the world, and is exactly a match made in heaven with Mr. Su. Duke Su is the great sage of the heavenly duke, the husband of the most holy heavenly mother, and the heavenly mother cult is naturally Duke Su's as well, it makes no difference. Su Yen sniffed with a look of surprise, there's still a heavenly mother in the heavenly mother sect? Is she pretty? Ko Ruwaji was overjoyed at the sight of it, secretly saying, Su Yen's divine might is invincible and his appearance is outstanding, the heavenly mother should be pleased as well, and with the beauty of the heavenly mother, how could Su Yen not be moved? Yes, the contemporary heavenly mother is two eight years old, gorgeous, and as beautiful as a heavenly fairy, Mr. Su, as long as you become a great saint of the heavenly duke, you will be able to marry the heavenly mother. Not that I'm boasting, but I, Ko Ruwaji, have traveled all over Qi and Wu, and I have never seen anyone as beautiful as heavenly mother. Ko Ruwaji was too busy to speak. Constantly praising the contemporary heavenly mother's beauty, which was second to none in the world, she wanted to use her beauty to tempt Su Yen to join the heavenly mother sect. Is there really such a beautiful woman? Su Yen instantly became interested. There is absolutely no intention of deceiving Mr. Su, the beauty of Heavenly Mother is beyond description, there are thousands of men in the world, and I see that only Mr. Su can be worthy of it. Are not Heavenly Father and Heavenly Mother a perfect match? Elder Su, join our sect and become our sect's Heavenly Duke Great Sage, and together we'll rebel and bring down Old Emperor Chi. Ko Ruwaji, seeing that a great thing could be accomplished, kept compelling. Is there such a beauty in the world? Su Yen was curious about the Heavenly Mother sect's contemporary Heavenly Mother. It's not right. His heart was steeply alert, this person keeps describing the beauty of Heavenly Mother to me, he must be trying to confuse me with her beauty, once I join the Heavenly Mother sect and become a Heavenly Duke Great Sage, I will be addicted to the beauty of the contemporary Heavenly Mother. Wouldn't this be a waste of martial arts cultivation? Is it not a case of having fun day and night, not caring about martial arts and indulging in beauty? Over time, overindulgence, drying up of the chi and blood, withering of the face, wasting of the body, and the path of martial arts is cut off. If that Heavenly Mother has some method of extracting yang and replenishing yin, wouldn't my powerful chi and blood fulfill her? The more Su Yen brainstormed and thought deeply, the more austere his heart became. Images of his own dark eyes, sunken cheeks, withered form, depleted chi and blood, and shaking were already floating in his mind. At the thought of this, Su Yen sucked in a breath of cold air, his gaze toward Ko Ruoji changed, his heart creeped out, this person is so insidious and malicious, wanting to mess with my heart of martial arts, I can't keep him. Immediately, he glared angrily and coldly said, you insidious and vicious person, trying to mess up my heart of martial arts, don't you know that I, Su Yen, won't be touched by female color? I can't let you stay today. Raising his hand violently, the dragon subduing palm power emerged, and a crimson dragon was about to blast out. Poof. Hold on, hold on, Mr. Su hold on. Ko Ruwaji had been observing Su Yan's demeanor, and when he saw that something was wrong, he panicked and plopped down on his knees. Su Gonzi's will is as firm as a rock, not moved by female color. Ko Ma worships, the only person in the world who can be a great saint for the heavenly duke of our religion is Su Gongzi. 
Just now, Mr. Ko mentioned the beauty of the Heavenly Mother only to catch a glimpse of Mr. Su's rock-solid will, his transcendent state of mind that isn't confused by beauty, and in no way messed with Mr. Su's martial heart. Ko can swear to God. Ko Ruaji busily raised his hand and swore. Su Yan's expression eased slightly as he withdrew his palm. Ko Ruaji had a cold sweat on his face and was secretly shocked in his heart, at the age of blood and vigor, he is not touched by Heavenly Mother's overwhelming beauty, which teenager can do that? It's hard to believe that Su Yan, he's not good with women, but has a dragon in Yan? At the thought of this possibility, Ko Ruwaji's thoughts flickered and his eyes rolled with another idea. In fact, there's no shortage of beautiful men in my Heavenly Mother's congregation, whether they're showy or handsome all kinds of temperaments are available, so Mr. Su can pick and choose as much as he wants as long as he joins my religion and becomes a Heavenly Duke Great Sage. Su Yan was ultimately young and focused on martial arts, and for a moment, he didn't understand the meaning of Ko Ruwaji's words. Puzzled, beautiful men? Take your pick? Yes, yes, the beautiful men in the religion, Mr. Su can choose as much as he likes. Ko Ruwaji wiped a cold sweat and stood up with a fawning smile and said. Su Yen blinked and was about to ask himself what he was doing picking out a beautiful man? Behind her, Mrs. Su instantly became anxious and said in a trembling voice, Yen Er, don't scare my mother, you have a dragon in Yang? Su Yen heard, suddenly dawned, immediately furious, you really sinister and malicious, the beauty plan did not work, but even intended to destroy my reputation, chaotic my state of mind, shaking my heart of the martial arts. To stay you shall not. Poof. Ko Ruwaji died, instantly falling to his knees again. Hold on, hold on, Mr. Su hold on, misunderstanding ah, I don't mean that. Ko Ruwaji felt the terrifying pressure contained in Su Yan's palm, his face was in a cold sweat, his face turned white, his thoughts turned sharply, and he busied himself by saying, Ko's intention is to let Mr. Su pick out a beautiful man and give him to the old man of the Qi Emperor, ah. Uh. Right. Send it to Emperor Qi's old man, rumor has it that the dim-witted Emperor Qi has a preference for men, so we will send him beautiful men to make his harem unstable, so that he won't have the heart to deal with the dynasty and mess up his own affairs. At that time, under the banner of the Qi Emperor's lawlessness, the rebellion of Yin and Yang, and the scourge of the program, we will surely be able to win the hearts of the people and capture Jinan in one fell swoop, capturing the comatose Qi Emperor alive. With a cold sweat on his face, Ko Ruwaji could only put a shit on Emperor Qi's head. The twelve supreme masters of the Heavenly Mother sect looked at the sect's wise counselor, Ko Junshur, and couldn't help but admire them. Worthy of being a wise man of the church ah, to detect words and colors, the ability to improvise, really no one can match, but where any one of them, I'm afraid that has long been a tragic death on the spot. Ko Ruwaji was a bit broken inside at the moment, what's wrong with this Su Yen? He doesn't like women? He doesn't like men either? Why does he think that I'm messing with his heart of martial arts? I'm innocent, did he misunderstand my words? Su Yen stared at Ko Ruwaji, coldly said, I Su Yen to build a rebellion or not, and you have nothing to do with the Heavenly Mother sect, not to mention the use of such underhanded tactics, what is the old man of the Qi Emperor, I directly go to the capital, pick his head, but also but easily. Yes, yes. Ko Ruwaji stood up with a cold sweat on his face. So close pick up a life. His gaze turned to Su Juanha and he smiled sarcastically, Elder Su, how about we have a chat? Su Juanha glanced aside at the pale-faced, angry eyed Donghai County Magistrate and said indifferently, Ko Ruwaji, if you want to talk, take out the qualifications to talk. Understood, Ko will come up with the qualifications to talk. Ko Ruwaji exhaled. Shaking a feather fan in his hand, he wiped a cold sweat from his forehead and looked at the Heavenly Mother sex experts, saying, do it. Yes, Sergeant Ko. A man took out a whistle, put it in his mouth and blew it, one short and one long whistle, three times in succession. Soon after the whistles were sounded, whistles were sounded one after another in the city of Donghai County. Father, should we kill him? Su Yan looked at the East River Sheriff and asked. How to deal with the East River County Guard and the others, whether to kill them all, or what, he decided to let his own father take the idea. Su Juanha pondered for a moment and said, there's no rush to make a move, let's wait for news from the Heavenly Mother sect. After saying that, he exhaled a breath and looked at his own son with a gaze full of excitement. I thought that my son was not in his right mind and believed in the legend of the talking book. Unexpectedly, it had actually cultivated a terrifying strength. The crimson dragon, like a divine might, was no longer humanly possible. Episode 47 I, the Su family, have the final say in Donghai County. The crisis of the Su family, because of Su Yan's strong appearance and display of inhuman strength, caused Su Juanha to consider some follow-up matters. Collaborate with the Heavenly Mother cult and rebel together? Su Juanha ruled out the idea, it was impossible for the Heavenly Mother Sex Rebellion to succeed, the time, place. And people didn't account for any of it. There's no need for my son to go out on a limb for someone else. Heavenly Mother Church is not worthy. And, a more crucial reason, Su Juanha knew his son. Su Yan was obsessed with the martial arts and the legends of the talking books, and now that he had actually accomplished something in his cultivation, he was bound to devote more of his mind to martial arts cultivation. After the rebellion, the impact is very large, there will be a lot of chores, need to Su Yen to deal with, so the delay in his martial arts training, which is not Su Yen want to live in the day. Su Juanha naturally didn't want, his son, to be entangled in chores. Therefore, the matter triggered by the dispute over the crown prince, whose source was in the capital city of Jinan, required Su Yen to go on a journey to settle it once and for all. Steeply, a long whistle came out, 
The sound coming from the direction of the East River Sheriff's office. The East River Sheriff violently looked back, his face changed and changed, the East River Sheriff's residence had fallen? Koruwashi revealed a smile and arched his hand toward Sujuanha, the East River County Government Office is now under the control of my Heavenly Mother sect, and from today onwards, I, Koruwashi, am the East River County Governor. The East River County Governor's face changed drastically at this moment, looking at Koruwaji with horror, saying in a shocked voice, you have even infiltrated the government offices? Koruwaji shook his feather fan and gave a cold laugh, you mediocre people, only the Chi Emperor, that dim old man, will reuse them, Ko is just a slight tactic. Looking down at the East River County Guard, he continued, you want to catch a turtle in a jar, don't you realize that we are also waiting for this opportunity? At this moment, dense footsteps came from the street, a large group of officials and soldiers surrounded. The leader was actually the East River County Lieutenant. My lord, the rebels have been taken down. The sheriff's lieutenant came to Ko Ruwaje and saluted. Reaching back, an attendant, holding a set of official clothes came over. That's the East River Sheriff's official uniform. Ko Ruwaje put the official clothes on his body, and touched a thin mask and put it on his face, in this instant, Ko Ruwaje appearance and the East River County Governor has 89% similarity. Take all of these Heavenly Mother cult traitors who are posing as officials and soldiers and escort them to the prison to await their punishment. Ko Ruwaje opened his mouth and ordered. The voice was comparable to that of the East River Sheriff. Poof. The East River Magistrate fell to the ground in horror, looked at Koruwaji in shock, and lost his voice, you want to impersonate this official? No. Koruwaji grinned. The men brought by the county lieutenant had already disarmed and tied up all the officers and soldiers who had fallen to the ground wounded and were being escorted away. Give our Sheriff Lord, a change of clothes and a new face. Koruwaji commanded. One of the Heavenly Mother sex experts stepped out and directly stripped off the Donghai County Guard's official clothes, changed him into a new outfit, and put a mask on his face. At this moment, the East River County Sheriff had transformed into the likeness of one of the Heavenly Mother sex experts. How is it, Mr. Su? Koruwaji had a slightly smug look on his face. Good tactics. Su Juanha let out a sigh of admiration. Elder Su, what do you think of this cooperation? Koruwaji opened his mouth with a smile. The matter of cooperation will be discussed when you are able to completely control East River County. Su Juanha said blandly. Then, Mr. Su, you wait. Ko Ruwaji stepped outside. The walking posture was surprisingly similar to that of the East River Sheriff. Apparently it has long been secretly imitating the East River Sheriff for a long time. The Heavenly Mother sect has even infiltrated the county government, Ko Ruwaji, this person, his methods are really not simple. Take them all away and don't disturb Elder Su. Ko Ruwaji said with a wave of his hand. The East River County Governor was being held hostage by a Heavenly Mother sect expert, his face was pale, but he let out a cold smile and said, the Heavenly Mother sect won't be able to become a climate, Su Juanha, you have to be careful. Don't bother the sheriff. Su Juanha arched his hand and calmly said. The wounded officers and soldiers were all escorted away, and the blood on the ground was cleaned up. By now, it was light. Father, should we rebel? Su Yen opened his mouth and asked. He was extremely unhappy with Emperor Qi's old man. Your grandfather's family, all of whom are in the capital, if they rebel, what should they do? If you kill the emperor of Qi, can you still bring people back to life? Su Juanha looked at his son and calmly said. So I'm making a trip to the capital now? Su Yan thought about it for a moment and thought it made sense. If the news of the rebellion reached the capital, his own grandfather's family would certainly be killed. It's a long way to go, and I'm afraid I won't be able to make it to the rescue in time. Husband, what now? Mrs. Su had a worried look on her face. Yenner, tell father honestly, how strong are you? If the Divine Might Army were to move out, would you be able to withstand it? Su Juanha asked in a deep voice. One must know the strength of one's son in order to make an accurate judgment as to what to do next. When Su Yen heard this, he patted his chest and said, even if an army of 100,000 kills me, I'll be able to come and go as I please. And one person will have little problem pushing across the army. Really? Su Juanha said in shock. Of course. Su Yen raised his head and said proudly, Father, although I've just started in martial arts, my strength is so strong that it can no longer be measured by mundane power. So be it. Su Juanha was pleased in his heart. One's own foolish son, perhaps foolishness had its blessings, but he had actually cultivated such a powerful martial art when he really did. Pacing back and forth for a few steps, Su Juanha said, although Koruwaji has control of the county government offices, how can it be so easy to take down Dongha County? The East River Sheriff is but a victim, and she wants to eliminate the Heavenly Mother sect from the East River County. The action against my Su family is nothing but a decoy, and an action used by the Grand Prince's faction to establish merit and consolidate the Grand Prince's position. Su Juanha was able to marry the daughter of the former East River County Governor and the current Minister of the Ministry of Justice as his wife with a humble body, and was sitting on a huge fortune, so he was not an idle person. At the moment he analyzed the situation and what would happen next. Unsurprisingly, East River Great General House, Zhang Pingshan should make his move. Ko Ruaji and the others, like turtles in a jar, the real storm, is coming. 
Su Chuan has said with a grave expression, Yenner, you routed Jiang Pingshan's army and revealed your godlike strength, in addition, after you routed Jiang Pingshan's army, you must not allow Ko Ruaji and the other heavenly mother cultists to take advantage of the situation. Jiang Pingshan cannot die. After a pause, Su Juan has said, I, the Su family, have the final say in Dongha County, and after this battle, the Qi Emperor in the capital should know what to do. Yenner you will go to the capital then and help your grandpa deter the royal family and the ministers. Su Yen nodded and said, Father, I know what to do. Then he looked up and asked, Father, do you want to be emperor? Su Juanha was stunned, shook his head and laughed, My father is a merchant, he is satisfied sitting in Dongha County, what kind of emperor is it, it's too tiring. His son had practiced the immensely powerful martial arts, transcending the mundane, and his vision, Su Juanha, should be pulled up a little higher, what was so good about being a mundane emperor? Su Juanha's face smiled brightly, who does not want to become, in the legend of the book, the person who is a god of martial arts? Episode 48 It's all just dirt in my eyes. The sky was slightly white, the sunrise had not yet risen, and in the city of Dongha County, the dignitaries, as well as the well-informed forces, were all waiting for the news from the government office. And the common people, the vendors, have already begun to prepare for a new day's livelihood. And just at that moment, the sound of bustling footsteps spread through the streets and alleys. The court has ordered that the Heavenly Mother sex evil disciples be apprehended, all people, etc., are forbidden to go out behind closed doors, and those who go out without authorization will be punished as Heavenly Mother sex rebels. Dongha County was in a state of panic, the people all closed and locked their doors, listened to the footsteps outside, and watched through the window cracks as a group of soldiers walked by with weapons in their hands, all of them were terrified. The world is going to be in chaos again? Heavy footsteps, resounding in the streets, and soldiers clad in armor and holding weapons had surrounded the county residents. The battle has also been fought, and inside the government office Koruaji and the twelve Jedi and the county lieutenant. Looking at the army outside the government office, their faces were heavy. Military Master Ko, it seems that Zhang Pingshan had an early ambush to wipe us out. The magistrate had a heavy look on his face. There's a traitor in the sect, news has leaked out, look guys, that's the divine mighty army. Ko Ruaji's expression, however, did not see any panic, and the goosefeather fan in his hand pointed to the ground. On the county street, a row of people wearing heavy armor, with long swords at their waists, spears in their hands, and riding armored warhorses, were rumbling, and the resisting heavily mother cult congregation was like papier-mâché in front of this large army. Even though there were a dozen first-rate experts, joining hands to charge, they were eventually picked off under the spears. This is Chi's prestigious Divine Mighty Army. The county lieutenant sucked in a breath of cold air and said horrifiedly, to have deployed the Divine Mighty Army to Dongha County, does this mean that the court of Chi has long known of our sex schemes? This time, it's just the beginning of the liquidation of the Su family by taking advantage of the fall of the battle for the crown prince to lure us here. Ko Ruwaji sneered and said, the dim-witted Emperor Chi's old man still has that one or two somewhat capable people under him, but to want to encircle us is delusional. Let's go, next, it's time to see the Su family's response. Ko Ruwaji turned to leave, followed by the rest of the group. Divine Mighty Army, let's see if Su Yin is better, or if the Divine Mighty Army is stronger. Ko Ruwaji muttered on his lips and led a group of people, drilling into a tunnel and leaving from the government office. And at this moment, the battle at the government office was nearing its end, with the Heavenly Mother cult congregation routed. Inside the Su family mansion, Apothecary Pan returned with a dozen people. The young master has actually practiced a supreme divine power, it's unbelievable, my Su family is safe. Apothecary Pan marveled. Elder Pan, after Su Yen leaves, the safety of the Su clan will depend on you. Su Juanha exhaled a breath and said. Chen Dart had another guards, all of whom he dismissed. These dozen or so experts that Pan Yakushi brought with him are his heart and soul that he has cultivated subconsciously, and it is not too much to call them dead soldiers. It's always been one of his hidden backstops. Originally, it was to protect Su Yen to escape from Qi, but now that it couldn't be used anymore, naturally, he could only stay to protect him and his wife's safety. Don't worry, master. Apothecary Pan nodded. Rumble. The ground shook as it came from the street, where a line of cavalrymen, armed with spears and long swords at their hips, were charging in. At the same time, a voice came. Su Juanha, don't put up any unnecessary resistance, just tie your hands and maybe you can save your life. Zhang Pingshan's voice. Outside the Su family's main gate, Su Juanha and his group walked out. God's mighty army. Apothecary Pan said in a deep voice. Su Juanha took a deep breath and looked at Su Yen, Yenner, are you sure? If you're not sure, then flee, there's no need to fight to the death. Su Yan's eyes flashed with brilliance, revealing a look of excitement and a high level of battle intent, having never had an opponent since practicing martial arts. And never a sound shot. Now there's a chance to soundly strike out. Qi's divine mighty army, which is renowned for its prowess, will meet the elite army of the secular dynasty today. Father, don't worry, these are just dirt in my eyes. Saying that, his body moved and rose up in the air, just like a falling leaf, lightly floating forward with the wind. The old man's family affairs. But implicating the innocent, my Su family to do some business is easy? How dare you want to raid my home, deduct my Su family treason charges, today I Su Yen, will be taught, this what God's mighty army, have a few points of combat power. The voice was voluminous, like thunder, and resounded through the streets. 
Where the Sioux family residence is located is the core of the county city, people who live here, either rich or noble. At this moment, on one of the attics, the windows were open a crack, watching where the Sioux clan was and looking at the divine mighty army on the street. Su Yan's words came and countless people were shocked in their hearts. Su Juanhao was wise for a lifetime, but he gave birth to a foolish son, now he won't be able to live. It's said that Su Yan's brain isn't working well, but now it seems that not only is his brain not working well, he simply doesn't know how to die. Those who were secretly observing this scene sighed. Unbridled. Su Yan is a great rebel, he should be executed. A roar came from behind the army. Strike. With a command, a rumbling sound rang out and the ground shook. The Divine Might Army's spears were straight, their armor flashing with a cold light, like a horrifying torrent, coming straight towards the Su family mansion, directly killing Su Yen. Good timing. Su Yen roared, his chi and blood bulging, a crimson dragon, coiled around him, his palms pushed out, and two giant dragons blasted out. In the attic, paying attention to the people on the street, shocked at the moment. Only to see that on Su Yen's body, there was a crimson dragon coiled around him, followed by two identical dragons blasting out from his palms, directly blasting towards the killing Divine Might Army. Looking at it from high above, one could see two giant dragons, wrapped in terrifying momentum, blasting towards the divine might army that was killing like a torrent. Boom! The power of the dragonfall palm is amazing, the giant dragon swept across, all of a sudden, people tumbled over, the soldiers on the horse, have planted on the ground. Su Yen did not retreat but advanced, his body charging forward, both palms waving, one after another dragonfall palm power blasted out, but saw the street, the crimson dragon tumbling and pouncing, the charge of the divine mighty army, instantly lifted off. Boom! The stores lining the streets were smashed and broken by the flying horses. One after another of the divine mighty army and armor, without the slightest resistance, were thrown up and smashed onto the stores. This, this. It can't be. It must be an illusion. Su Ju and his foolish son, could it be that he really sought out a high-ranking person and learned a supreme divine skill? Aren't all talk book legends, fake? Everyone who witnessed this scene was shocked in their hearts. It's hard to believe this scene is real. How terrifying was the might of that crimson dragon, which was already inhumanly powerful. Su Yen, alone, blasted away the charge of the Divine Might Army. Powerful and incomparable, the elite of Qi's elite, the Divine Might Army, which can be called the Jingwa's army, is actually just like a paper mache? Su Juanha family's stupid son, obsessed with finding hidden masters, has long been no secret, reduced to a laughing stock in Donghe County, and privately do not know how many times to gloat. Mocking Su Ju and his stupid son, his brain is not good, even believe in the matter of talking book legend. Results. A bad brain, surprisingly, is itself? Boom. A store was smashed open, and the sound of terrified screams came from inside, Su Yan's dragon subduing palm power was withdrawn, and he looked at the streets full of wreckage, and the soldiers of the Divine Mighty Army lying on the ground. Su Yan coldly said, Jiang Pingshan. Your Divine Might Army can't be utilized inside the city, and you're not convinced even after losing, so go outside the city, I'll accompany you to the end. Episode 49 The dragon surrendered, one man sweeps away the troops. Su Yan looked at the destroyed stores and was a bit distressed, there were quite a few of his Su family's stores in here. Impulsive ah! I shouldn't have done it in the city, there are so many stores in my house, smashing one of them is not a small loss. Hurting innocent people would be even worse. Master said that martial arts is not killing, and since I have the ability to control it, I shouldn't create unnecessary casualties. The more Su Yen thought about it, the more he felt that he had been impulsive just now, and that he should have gone straight to fight outside the city. As for capturing Jiang Pingshan, Su Yen didn't have that in mind, he had come to show his strength and give the old Qi Emperor a little shock. One man crushed the Divine Might Army, which he regarded as the army of the country, was a big enough shock, wasn't it? he will make you regret it and be too high to climb. Nowadays, it seems that his own daughter, really, is going to be high on the list. However, Jiang Pingshan did not believe that Su Yen alone could defeat the Divine Might Army. On the streets of the city, the Divine Mighty Army couldn't exert itself, but outside the city, it was a different story. That's the Divine Mighty Army, the real battlefield. This time, in order to completely overthrow the Heavenly Mother sect, and incidentally build up prestige for the Grand Prince, Emperor Qi had deployed 10,000 Divine Mighty Armies for him to sit in command. 10,000 Divine Mighty Armies, can't they be defeated by just one person, a body of flesh and blood? Retreat and gather outside the city. Zhang Pingshan calmed his fluttering heart and gave the order. The Divine Might Army began to retreat, and even though they were facing Su Yen, an opponent of inhuman strength, the soldiers of the Divine Might Army still did not have the slightest intention of retreating. As the Divine Mighty Army withdrew from the county, the people who were grounded at home also came out of their homes, relaying the news to each other, with shocked looks on their faces. The stupid son of the richest family wants to challenge the Divine Mighty Army all by himself? What was even more shocking was the fact that within the county city, there were dignitaries that really found it hard to believe that Su Ju and his son had cultivated such a powerful and unparalleled strength. Where did he find the hidden master? Quick, to the walls. Go, go quickly, this battle will decide the sky of Dongha County, and even Qi. Numerous bigwigs of the county, escorted by the guards and household guards, flocked up to the city walls. Go, to the walls. Su Ju and Ha also spoke in a deep voice. Master and madam please. 
a guardsman came by leading a carriage. Su Jiwenha held his wife's hand and entered the carriage, with the guards escorting around the carriage as they marched towards the city gates. Counselor Su, is your son sure? A voice came, and Su Jiwenha from raised his head to look through the car window, Koruaji, and a group of experts from the Heavenly Mother sect had followed. Heading to the city walls to watch the battle. Yenner doesn't fight unsure battles. Su Jiwenha calmly said. Ko naturally believes in the divine might of the Heavenly Duke Great Sage. Ko Ruaji smiled and laughed. Elder Su, look at this matter of cooperation. Ko Ruaji's face was filled with anticipation. We'll talk after the war. Su Juanha returned perfunctorily. A group of people quickly rushed to the top of the city wall. Outside the city, the divine mighty army had been fully armed, with soldiers clad in heavy armor, holding spears and hanging long swords from their waists, and even the horses they sat down on were clad in armor. This is the divine mighty army, such a powerful divine mighty army, can't it be defeated by one person? Many of the bigwigs on the city walls, as well as the people pouring up, were all shocked by the might of the divine mighty army. It's worthy of being Qi Jingwu's army. Husband, will Yenner be all right? Mrs. Su looked at the outside of the city, the mighty divine mighty army, and couldn't help but worry. Since Yenner dares to fight, he is bound to be certain, so don't worry, ma'am. Su Juanha was also nervous in his heart, but his demeanor pretended to be calm as he comforted. Apothecary Pan and a host of other Su family guards surrounded Su Juanha and his wife, guarding against any possible attacks. Ko Ruwaji and the others, on the other hand, were further out in a circle, alerting the surroundings to guard against anyone attacking Mr. and Mrs. Su Juanha. At this time, Ko Ruwaji actually hoped that someone would come to attack Mr. and Mrs. Su Juanha, so that they, the Heavenly Mother sect, would have the chance to come to their rescue. Let Su Yen owe a favor. As for the Heavenly Mother sect directing itself, Ko Ruwaji and the others didn't have the guts to do so, and once they were exposed, they would have to endure Su Yan's thunderous fire. The Celestial Mother Church can't afford it. The bigwigs in the county town were silently watching Su Juanha, waiting for the outcome of the great battle, and once Su Yan won, they were going to go and pull some strings with Su Juanha. Su Yan's expression was agitated, his battle intent in his eyes was high, looking at the divine mighty army that surrounded him, his qi and blood stirred, and there was a hidden sound of waves rushing through his body. A body of qi and blood was running, and the dragon subduing palm was ready to be launched. Since the introduction to martial arts, it was finally possible to strike out soundly. Although these soldiers are wearing heavy armor, they can't withstand my palm power, so I'm going to tighten up a little bit so I don't kill them all. I'm not a butcher. Moreover, I feel that this is an opportunity to hone my chances of improving my qi and blood control and enhancing my dragonfall palm to follow my heart. With this thought in his heart, Su Yan's eyes glared as he said, Come on, and let's show you what a true martial arts powerhouse is. The voice was like thunder, reverberating across the battlefield and into the ears of the crowd watching the battle outside the city. Strike! Zhang Pingshan rode on his horse, took a deep breath, and pointed his lance at the ground. Boom! The Divine Might army struck, spears raised, warhorses galloping, like a torrent, from all directions, rushing towards Su Yen. The spears flashed with a cold light under the sunlight, side by side, charging at Su Yen without any dead angle. With this charge, unless Su Yen rose up in the air and flew over the head of the army, he would have to resist the army's charge. How can one person resist such a terrifying charge? It is not a body of flesh and blood that can block it. Hiss! The stupid son of the richest family, his brain is really bad. How can he resist this? He's dead. The people eating on the city wall, watching this scene, couldn't help but marvel at the fact that the stupid son of the richest family's brain was really bad. The great men of the county had such an idea. Su Yen was very powerful, possessing inhuman strength, but he had to be in the encirclement, fighting against the divine mighty army, unable to avoid it, unable to hide from it, and how could one man's strength withstand the onslaught of the army? I'm sure it's not a good idea to have a bad brain. Good timing. Su Yen roared as he pushed with both palms, and two crimson dragons roared out. Immediately afterward, between Su Yan's palms flipping, he saw one crimson dragon after another, continuously blasting out, and in an instant, he only saw that the giant dragons were circling, impacting out in all directions. While Su Yan took one step forward, between the dragonfall palm power gulping and spitting, the crimson dragon, or swooping, or sweeping, coiling, and charging straight. Palm after palm, the dragonfall palm power became more and more pure in its execution. Between the palm power gulping, it was rigid and fierce, receiving and sending freely, and between the strength and weakness, it transformed as it pleased. In Su Yan's mind, the Dragonfall Palm's catchphrase emerged, the dragon has divine powers to change due to the situation, so that's how it is, I've comprehended it more deeply. In this moment, the Dragonfall Palm had entered the stage of mini-completion, and the dragon-shaped palm force that was slapped out had a vaguely living flavor. Boom! An even thicker dragon, roared out, centered on Su Yan and coiled around the entire battlefield, its tail resembling a long whip, sweeping across the battlefield. The onlookers on the city walls were stunned at the moment. Only to see Su Yan slapping out a giant dragon, the charging divine might army. Even with people and horses, were all swept to the ground, and the torrential army was collapsing. Row after row in all directions either fell or were thrown away. One man swept away 10,000 troops. At this moment, the people in the county had only one thought in their minds. The person with the bad brain is, surprisingly, myself. Episode 50
East River County is abuzz. The battlefield outside the city. Su Yan's chi and blood bulged, the dragonfall palm was performed more and more at will, and the control of the strength of the palm power became more and more refined. After the dragon-shaped palm blast, the giant dragon's attack, too, appeared to be more flexible. Between the fierce and unrivaled power, there was also a hint of soft characteristics. After this battle, Su Yan's heart had gained more clarity about the dragonfall palm. He had a feeling that it wouldn't be long before he was able to once again take the dragonfall palm and comprehend it to a new level. Boom! The crimson dragon swept in all directions, and Su Yan advanced step by step. Boom boom! With the last row of divine might army soldiers, blown away, Su Yan had already arrived in front of Jiang Pingshan. The astral aura surrounded his body, and a crimson dragon, coiled around him, like a godly man who was imperializing dragons. Jiang Pingshan's body was trembling, and the warhorse under his crotch was backing up and trembling, ready to slump to the ground at any moment. Looking at the teenager in front of him, he couldn't help but get lost in thought. How could there really exist in the world, such as the powerful martial arts and the legend of the talking book? Thinking back to one of his daughter's reasons for withdrawing from the marriage, Su Yan's brain wasn't quite working. At the moment, it was like a slap in the face. The one with the bad brain is, surprisingly, himself. Such a godly and majestic young man. Who should have been his son-in-law, has now become an object of high esteem. Bitterness of heart. God's mighty army, but that's it, I haven't even exerted myself yet. Su Yan said in a flat tone. Jiang Pingshan looked at the soldiers who had fallen to the ground, except for those soldiers who had charged at the front who were more seriously injured or somewhat dead, the soldiers at the back, their injuries were not serious. It's just a temporary loss of combat power. Su Yan stayed his hand. Facing a siege of 10,000 troops, he was still able to retain his remaining strength and show mercy, his strength, how powerful should he be to be able to achieve this? You won, the Su family won. Jiang Pingshan exhaled a breath and said with a complicated expression. My father said for you to meet him. Su Yan opened his mouth. Jiang Pingshan was stunned and seemed to understand something as he nodded and said, after I've dealt with the battlefield, I'll pay a visit to the Su Mansion. Just then, a large group of people poured out of the county town. With weapons in hand and excited eyes, they roared furiously, captured Jiang Pingshan, captured the Divine Mighty Army, blessed by Heavenly Mother, blessed by Heavenly Mother. Seeing the congregation of the Heavenly Mother sect swarming around, Jiang Pingshan's face couldn't help but change. These Heavenly Mother sect, surprisingly, hid so deeply and retained so much power after the siege of the army. Ko Ruaji. Jiang Pingshan looked aghast, this scholar who had fallen off the list had extraordinary means. Get out! Su Yan roared, his chi and blood stirring as two crimson dragons swept out, sweeping a group of Heavenly Mother religious away. The Divine Might Army that I, Su Yan, crushed, will not allow them to take advantage of the danger? If you dare to come forward again, don't blame me for being merciless with my hot hands. He had remembered what his father had explained, and he couldn't let the Heavenly Mother sect take advantage of the situation. The Heavenly Mother religionists were instantly stunned, not daring to rush forward for a moment. Jiang Pingshan breathed a sigh of relief and raised his lance in his hand as a group of soldiers rushed out of the county town, these were soldiers from the East River Great General's office. Outside the county town, smoke and dust rolled in as another large army arrived. The army of Dongha County, the army under the control of Jiang Pingshan. The Divine Mighty Army was only temporarily lent to his command. Seeing that the matter had come to an end, Su Yan's body was extremely fast, yet silent, disappearing into the battlefield in the blink of an eye, arriving in front of Mr. and Mrs. Su Juanha in no time at all. Yenner, you're not hurt, are you? Mrs. Su panicked and took his hand, looking it up and down. Mother, I'm fine, it's just dirt and dogs, they can't hurt me. Su Yen patted his chest. Go, go back. Seeing that the dust had settled, Su Juanha exhaled a breath and opened his mouth. Those dignified figures of Dongha County came close, wanting to climb the relationship. Even the many people, full of excitement, flocked up, wanting to witness, up close, the demeanor of the divine and invincible foolish son of the richest family. Get out of the way. Su Yen let out a loud roar as his chi and blood pressure shook out. Instantly, no one dared to approach. However, there were voices coming from far away. Mr. Su, where did you seek out a high-ranking person? Mr. Su, where is the higher power? It's a well-known fact that the son of the richest man's family goes around looking for a higher power. Now all the strength, like a god, must be looking for a high person. Where is the mysterious man in high places? Are you still accepting disciples? Those bigwigs in the East River County City had their eyes lit up with excitement. Yeah. High man, go seek the high man. Instead of climbing up the Su family's relationship, it would be more direct to worship a higher power. Ko Ruwaji and the other Heavenly Mother sect experts were also excited, and they mobilized their followers to seek out where the master was. The stupid son of the richest family is able to worship a teacher and learn powerful martial arts? My son is shrewd and capable, surely he can also worship a teacher, and after learning martial arts, his strength will definitely be more powerful than Su Yen. My daughter is smart and clever, with excellent posture and skillful hands, how can she not succeed in worshipping her teacher? Seek out a master, must seek out a master. 
Many of the big shots in the county city felt that if the stupid son of Suju and his family could learn a powerful martial art from a teacher, their own sons and daughters, who were even smarter and more intelligent, would surely be able to learn from a teacher as well. The martial arts strength would definitely be more powerful than Su Yen. This day, the whole county is boiling, the East River County chaos, the Heavenly Mother Church rebellion, no one cares about, full of how to go to seek a high master to worship. Yunshan County, the old man in hemp clothes and the magistrate, came out of the courtyard, finally breathing a sigh of relief. All night long, the talk was dry. Good thing that little life was saved. After getting out of the yard, he hoofed it back to the county courthouse to discuss what to do next on the run. It's horrible. And in the courtyard, Li Xian was sitting on a chair, leisurely, listening to the hemp-clothed old man and the others, who had been introduced to things about the Heavenly Mother sect, the Qi Kingdom, and the Wu Kingdom all night long. For the outside world. There is finally a clearer perception. What surprised him was that the Heavenly Mother sect actually had a Heavenly Mother. The current Heavenly Mother is a young girl, 16 or 17 years old. The masters of the Heavenly Mother sect have blown her up to be the most beautiful woman in the world, and so compassionate that she cannot see anyone suffer. It is said that Heavenly Mother always stops evil doers from doing evil, and that all evil doers who have been counseled by Heavenly Mother have not done any more evil. It is truly magical. Moreover, although Heavenly Mother was young, she had extraordinary medical skills and had saved countless people. Li Xian was interested in this little girl even as he listened. I don't know, fit to be an apprentice? It is a skill that can persuade those who do evil to never do evil again. And that's no small feat. From the mouth of the hemp-clothed old man, it could be learned that the contemporary Heavenly Mother was an extremely gifted young girl with a good heart and excellent medical skills. Young, highly skilled in medicine, and not bad at martial arts. That's genius. It's a pity that the little girl isn't in Qi, but has gone to Wu. Li Xian shook his head, in the future, when he had the chance, he would go and see if this little girl was suitable to be an apprentice. With regards to the Heavenly Mother sect, Li Xian was looking at it with a very normal mind. It's already light. I wonder what's going on at the apprentice's house, now. Li Xian pondered whether he should make a trip to the county seat. With Qi's force value, Su Yen is strong enough to set things right, so there shouldn't be much of a problem. Suddenly, the golden light surfaced in his mind. Episode 51 Mysterious Breath, Bald Boy Meng Chung A gold finger surfacing means something's up. Fittingly, your disciple swept away 10,000 troops by himself. The dragon subduing palm was honed and improved, and you gained experience in a hundred battles. Experience in a hundred battles. In Li Xian's mind, images of the hundreds of battles he had fought emerged all of a sudden, directly instilling them in him, directly elevating him from a budding newcomer who had never fought before and was empty of strength, to a strong man who had fought in hundreds of battles. From now on, I'm no longer a munchkin who hasn't fought. Li Xian clenched his hands into fists, a moment ago, he was still a, a white boy who hadn't experienced a battle, now he had turned into a battle-hardened martial artist. Silly apprentice brother can do it, one person swept away 10,000 troops, and the dragonfall palm has been honed and improved, which shows that he is at ease in a great battle and uses it to hone himself. Since Su Yen had the presence of mind to hone his dragonfall palm in battle, it meant that the situation was under his control. Your disciple has shaken the county with his strong martial arts, and has become famous, and as a master, you are full of mystery, and you acquire a mysterious aura. Goldfinger emerged again. An arcane and mysterious aura emerged. It made Li Xian's entire person appear more and more mysterious, and a mysterious and mysterious aura enveloped him, causing people to look at him and suddenly feel mysterious and unfathomable. Li Xian got excited, with the mysterious aura on his body, no one who saw it would doubt if he was a hidden master. Silly apprentice is really powerful. Although this mysterious aura, it did not seem to have the effect of enhancing strength. But it's possible to make yourself mysterious. Sometimes mystery, too, is a sign of strength. Li Xian's mind moved and the mysterious aura disappeared as he changed back to his ordinary and unusual appearance. With a thought, a mysterious aura emerged. And he became mysterious all of a sudden. Take a disciple, you must take a disciple. Li Xian was a bit unable to sit still. Su Yan's one disciple had brought him such a great harvest, would not the harvest be even richer with one more disciple? That contemporary Heavenly Mother of the Heavenly Mother sect can be a candidate, so have the Heavenly Mother sex experts notify her to hurry up and make a trip to Yunshan County. Li Xian stood up and walked outside. I don't know if there's a suitable person in Yunshan County, let's hope we can find one. His requirements for a disciple were very high, the brain had to be flexible and the perception had to be high, so that he could cultivate the gong methods he had made up successfully. Su Yan is an example. Brainstorming ability is superb, and enlightenment is excellent, or else he wouldn't have succeeded in his cultivation. A disciple is in the essence not in the number, the more demonic the disciple, the more feedback he gets and the easier it is to cultivate the successfully compiled technique. Li Xian had a general standard for accepting disciples. Getting out of the yard, he took a leisurely pace and strolled up and down the Yunshan County. Yunshan County had long been under the control of the Heavenly Mother cult, and the people here were either Heavenly Mother cultists or devout believers, with offerings to Heavenly Mother in every household. Suddenly, the sound of a fight came. Neng Chong, don't run, and obediently bind your hands. The voice was loud and it sounded familiar. 
It was one of the Heavenly Mother sex experts last night, named Sherair. What are you grabbing me for? A young voice rang out. For the bounty, of course. The sounds of a fight came from an alleyway, one man fleeing, the other in pursuit. Two figures fought their way out of the alley, the one who escaped was a muscular teenager. Lanky and wielding a thick-backed machete. Li Xian looked at the teenager and froze for a moment, what was with that big shiny bald head? Look at the age is not big, 16 or 17 years old appearance, how to shave the head it, and naked, but also the dam will reflect the light. It's as if he was born bald without hair. Neither Qi nor Wu had a Buddhist presence or some sect that required shaved heads. It's not like he was born bald, is it? Li Xian muttered. With a thought, a mysterious aura emerged, and all of a sudden he became mysterious and unpredictable. The bald teenager and Shirayer, one chasing the other, quickly ran over. Elder, Elder. Shirayer's face turned white and he stopped in a panic, bowing his head and respectfully saluting. The heart was shaken. Elder is too mysterious and unfathomable. Mengchon came to a violent stop and stared at Li Xian with wide eyes, unable to move his gaze for a long time. Tall man. A supreme master. There was only one thought in his head. This is a mysterious and unpredictable recluse. What's going on? Why are you fighting in the street? Li Xian asked in a deep voice. Elder, I'm arresting Meng Chong, the fugitive for whom the Wu Kingdom has placed a bounty. Shurji whispered. You will still catch fugitives for the Wu court? Li Xian couldn't help but be stunned. The Heavenly Mother cult is filled with thoughts of rebellion, how could they help the Wu court catch fugitives? The main, the main thing is that the bounty is too much. Sure Air had a sardonic look on his face. How much bounty? Li Xian raised an eyebrow, revealing a curious expression. 100, 100,000 tails of gold. Sure Air's eyes were wild. 100,000 tails of gold, once these bounties are obtained, the money needed for the rebellion, increases again. Surprised, Li Xian looked at the bald teenager Meng Chong and said in astonishment, young man. What have you done to harm the heavens and the earth that you've been offered a reward of 100,000 tails of gold? Meng Chong only felt that the person in front of him, mysterious and unpredictable, was a supreme master, and his expression became constrained as he respectfully said, Senior, I, I only took revenge, in fact, Emperor Wu was still the benefactor who helped me take revenge. Li Xian was a bit confused by what he heard, since it was revenge and Emperor Wu was the benefactor who helped him avenge his death, why would he be rewarded with a high amount of money? What's going on? Curious, he asked. Meng Chong touched his bald head, a little embarrassed, his face coy, looking like a simple and naive teenager. Actually, it's like this. I, Meng Chong, am the first son of the Meng family of Tianping in the kingdom of Wu. According to Meng Chang's words, he belonged to the type of natural godly strength because he was born bald and strong, and his strength was much greater than the average person. At the age of five, he was sent by his parents to learn martial arts from a kung fu sect so that he could enter the imperial court and become a military official in the future. As a result, Meng Chong returns from his martial arts studies to find that both his parents are dead. Since the date of his return, the entire Meng family, from the 80-old man down to the five-year-old child, surprisingly targeted him at every turn, labeling him as the god of plague, saying that he was born bald, which was supposed to be an ominous sign. The one destined to corrupt the Meng family is a plague, and he must be expelled from the Meng family in order to preserve the Meng family legacy and prosperity. Under the impetus of those uncles, even the youngest children in the family felt that he was a plague, and were extremely disliking him, spitting on him when they saw him. The family even stole the family property left behind by his parents. And instead of giving him a single penny, they had to expel him from the Meng family. Meng Chong secretly investigated and found that his parents suspected of being killed, so he wanted to ask for a statement, the result is that the elders of the Meng family, led a group of guards to beat out. Meng Chong, who was badly injured, threatened to take revenge. However, those uncles of his, all do not care, wildly said he had the guts to come, next time dare to come back, directly killed and buried. According to the normal logic of revenge, it must be to practice martial arts, join the big forces, or even go up the mountain as a bandit, or even enter the court, and wait until there is enough power, and then look for the Meng family to take revenge. However, Meng Chang's way of taking revenge was unprecedented, creating a new initiative for revenge, and hearing that, Li Xian was dumbfounded and his eyes changed as he looked at him. Episode 52 The whole of Wu has been brought to its knees. Everyone in the kingdom of Wu knows that the current emperor of Wu, prefers to go on tour. Ten years after ascending to the throne, in addition to the first two years to consolidate the dynasty and consolidate the imperial power, thereafter eight years, every year will go on a tour. Of course, every time he returned from a tour, there was always one more consort in the palace. On that cruise three months ago, there was an accident. Meng Chang's way of revenge, creating a new initiative, he did not go to fight to practice martial arts, not to mention the mountain as a bandit, gathering people from the rivers and lakes to take revenge, but also did not take the road to the court as an official. After all, the Tianping Meng family was a large clan, and there was no shortage of officials in the Wu court who had connections with the Meng family. Meng Chong thought of an even more desperate way to take revenge. He's gone to assassinate Emperor Wu while he's on tour. At that time, Emperor Wu was in the car chauffeur, with the newly chosen beauty, about to engage in some love-filled activity, when he heard a loud roar coming from him. Tianping Meng Chong, come to kill the profligate, mediocre and brutal dog emperor. The sudden roar scared Emperor Wu so much that he went soft on the spot ah. 
The whole thing is pissed off. Mengchong was also ferocious, a machete charging across the room, breaking through layer after layer of guards, and in the end, he even managed to escape. Emperor Wu was furious, and upon investigation, the person who assassinated the driver was a direct descendant of the Meng family in Tianping. Beheading. The whole family will be decapitated. Nine clans to be executed. The whole family must be put to death. Emperor Wu gave the order on the spot, the army started, directly killed the Meng family, the whole family was captured and imprisoned. The entire Meng family was dumbfounded. Don't even know what's going on, and you're guilty of plotting and committing treason. When you know the truth, you'll cry out wildly that you've been wronged. God's great injustice. This end just expelled Meng Chong from the Meng family, and as a result, he turned around and went to assassinate the emperor? This is Meng Chang's way of taking revenge? Meng family up and down like a thunderbolt, what the hell ah, who the hell this revenge ah? Are you not normal? It's a big crime to kill nine families. The entire court of Wu, because of this assassination and the wind, the ministers trembling, all those who are associated with the Meng family, have been sent to prison. It's a big crime to kill nine families. The implication is getting wider and wider, and if the nine clans are to be executed, it seems that even the clans are hitched a little bit. It was finally set to be a full court press. As a result, the investigation revealed that the assassination seemed to have been carried out by Meng Chong in retaliation against the Meng family. Nonetheless, Emperor Wu would not forgive the Meng family for this. Once this precedent is set, in the future, if someone else has other intentions, if they want to conspire against their superiors and expel people from their families, will they not be implicated in the event of failure? Where is the majesty of imperial power? Where is the dignity of his Emperor Wu? The whole family will be decapitated. The whole family must be decapitated. This example must not be opened. And so it was that the entire Meng family was copied and decapitated. On the day of the execution, he cried out for injustice and scolded Meng Chong for not being a human being. What the hell? How can you take revenge like this? This matter spread all over Wu. Everyone was dumbfounded. There is such a revenge? What kind of brain is that to come up with such a brilliant way to get revenge? What's even more outrageous is that Meng Chong, the culprit of the assassination of Emperor Wu, he even escaped. Emperor Wu ordered a bounty for the most wanted. What about 10,000 tails of gold? After hearing the cause, Li Xian's eyes looked at Meng Chong all wrong. What a different brainwave this bald teenager has. Didn't you say that the reward was 10,000 tails of gold? Why did you just say that Wu offered a reward of 100,000 tails? Li Xian suddenly realized something was wrong. Meng Chong said that he was therefore wanted for a reward of 10,000 tails, and that he fled all the way to Qi to take refuge. Just now, Sher Er said the reward was 100,000 tails. Sher Er's face twitched, and he couldn't help but admire Meng Chang's eyes as he looked at him, this naturally bald teenager had created, in a way that no one had ever done before, a way to take revenge. Senior, it's actually like this. Because Meng Chang's way of taking revenge has caused some people to follow suit. Sher Er looks at Meng Chang with strange eyes and recounts what happened after Meng Chang assassinated Emperor Wu. Meng Chang's unprecedented way of taking revenge spread throughout the Wu Kingdom and naturally became a hotly debated event. Unexpectedly, it has brought the entire Wu kingdom to a crooked end. A servant of the former minister of the Ministry of Mandarins of the Kingdom of Wu had a crush on a woman, who was then taken by the son of the minister of Mandarins and forcibly possessed. The servant tried to seek justice, but what he got was his parents murdered and he was beaten up and tortured every day. The son of the minister of the Ministry of Justice, more or less perverted in his heart, put every other day, the servant beat up, and in front of him, repeatedly forcibly take possession of the woman he likes. Just don't kill him. It's just torturing him. When the matter of Meng Chong came out, it reached the ears of the servants. His mind was blown, and it was instantly clear how to get his revenge. He took advantage of the situation and escaped, hiding to craft a bow and steal a sword. After the Meng Chong assassination incident subsided, Emperor Wu once again toured, completing the tour that he did not finish last time. Results Assassinated again The servant of the minister's residence has run out to assassinate the driver. The dim-witted king takes his life. A loud roar exploded with anger at Emperor Wu. The servant is dead. It was found out that it was a servant of the Minister of Justice's residence. Copycat. It must be a full house. The Minister of the Ministry of Justice is full of people shouting injustice ah. But imperial authority cannot be provoked, so what if it's a servant's revenge? It's better to kill the wrong person than to let them go. This example must not be opened. The family of the Minister of Justice was copied and beheaded. When word of this spread, Wu's morale began to go ask you. Emperor Wu went on another tour, trying to complete the last two unfinished tours, only to be assassinated again. The man who assassinated him was the nephew of the Minister of War. Because the Minister of War bullied his mother and forced her to commit suicide. So, he learns from Meng Chong and wants to take revenge. Emperor Wu's mind is broken. Copycat. The whole family will be decapitated. The family of the squire of the Ministry of War has been copied and beheaded again. The court is full of civil and military officials, and their minds have collapsed. What the fuck is going on here? It's all Meng Chang's fault. They have advised Emperor Wu not to go on a tour and to stay well in the palace. 
Go on another tour, maybe next time, and do not know which ministers were killed by the whole family. Emperor Wu was forced to go on a tour. I thought the matter had come to an end, but as a result, there was another assassination of a minister of the court. A servant of some great merchant's house was bullied and in a fit of rage, went to assassinate the minister of the court. The family of the great merchant was imprisoned and copied. If the emperor can't be assassinated, then let's assassinate the ministers. The entire atmosphere of Wu has been led astray. The eyes of the master looking at the servants are full of vigilance, be nice to the servants, won't the majesty of his own great lord become a display? How can you be in the company of inferior people? If you speak ill of the servant, you are afraid that he will go out of his way to play the assassin. Ministers, but also hard in the heart, traveling afraid of assassination, in the house and afraid of which servant cannot think. Get up the courage to engage in assassination that set. Lower your stance and get along better with the servants, then I, the great lord, will not be doing this for nothing? Where's my majesty? The servants of those rich and noble families in Wu are also not well off, fearing that they will be suspected by their masters to be resentful and directly dragged out and killed to avoid them to play assassination. The entire atmosphere of Wu was thus brought astray. The source of all this was because of Meng Chong. It is a popular saying in all of Wu, if you want to take revenge, learn from Meng Chong. It's a sin. Emperor Wu increases the reward and vows to capture Meng Chong and lynch him. The court, full of civil and military ministers, were so agreeable that they were willing to shell out money to increase the reward amount. Straight away, the reward was raised to a staggering 100,000 tails of gold. Episode 53 Taking on a new apprentice Li Xian was stunned in his heart, Meng Chong, this kid, one person has brought about a distorted atmosphere in the entire Wu kingdom. Moreover, this is a really tawdry way for him to take revenge. The brain circuits are so amazing that the average person wouldn't even think of it. With a reward of 100,000 tails of gold, it is no wonder that your heir and the other heavenly mother cultists were moved, this is a walking vault. Anyone who sees it is impressed. Meng Chong was also a bit dumbfounded and surprised, surprisingly, so many things have happened? And, I'm actually worth 100,000 tails of gold? He was all heartbroken and hated to sell himself. Yes, 100,000 tails of gold. Sherer nodded his head and looked at Meng Chong as if he was looking at a small gold mountain. Gulp. Meng Chong swallowed a mouthful of saliva, wiped a bead of sweat from his forehead, and said, let's cooperate. What? Shurji was confused for a moment, cooperation? You escort me to one of Wu's county offices, collect a portion of the bounty, and then halfway through the process, you rob me away, send me to another county office again, continue to collect the bounty, and continue to rob me away, and so on. Meng Chang's eyes were shining brightly as he continued, don't escort me to the capital city, it's too dangerous and not easy to rob people, just send me to the county office, the county magistrate will give a portion of the bounty in order to get credit for the promotion, even if it's out of his own pocket. Emperor Wu is going to lynch me, the county office will never kill me, I feel safe in this move. How about splitting the bounty 46, 4 for me and 6 for you? Both sure were numb, looking at Meng Chang's eyes with a shocked look, not bad for someone who came up with the idea of assassinating Emperor Wu and implicating the Meng family to be copied and chopped off, a way of taking revenge that no normal person would think of. Li Shen looked at Meng Chong, with a big bald head and a lanky, muscular mangy man, whose brain circuit was so different. Staring at Wu's county office to pull wool over our eyes, right? The average person can't think of such a thing. Suddenly. Li Xian's mind flashed, his eyes changed as he looked at Meng Chong, isn't someone with such an amazing brain circuit suitable to be his disciple? This apprentice is right in front of us. Thinking so, the sense of mystery on the body, became more and more mysterious, the image of the absolute high man, in an instant became more and more tall. A probing hand grabbed and squeezed Meng Chang's arm. While pressing and pinching on Meng Chang's hands, shoulders, etc., he spoke, Not bad, not bad, young man, I see that you have exquisite bones and are a martial arts genius, would you like to worship me as a teacher? Sure was stunned, Senior actually wanted to take Meng Chong as his disciple? When he thought of himself, he was still thinking of capturing Meng Chong to exchange for the bounty. Poof! Meng Chong directly knelt down and respectfully kowtowed, Disciple Meng Chong, greetings to Master. Yes, yes, yes. Li Xian was overjoyed and filled with joy. Meng Chong was resourceful enough and had an unusual brain circuit, so he would definitely be able to successfully cultivate the gongfu he had made up. Looking at the gnarled muscles and bald head of Meng Chong, Li Xian already had an idea of what kind of gongfu to compile and teach him to cultivate. Having collected an apprentice, Li Xian didn't have the heart to continue shopping. Taking Meng Chong with him, he was about to return to his residence when he suddenly thought of something and looked at your heir, your heavenly mother sect, do you have any of these precious medicines such as the Nine Leaf UNG and the Thousand Year Mountain Ginseng? It suddenly occurred to him that Su Yan's ability to sense qi and blood, and his speed of skin and bone refining had increased greatly, and he was afraid that it was related to eating the Nine Leaf UNG and the Thousand Year Mountain Ginseng. Since he had taken in a disciple and was just starting out, with a precious medicine like the Nine Leaf UNG, it should be easier to cultivate and get started. Although the Gong methods were different, the first realm, too, was the qi and blood realm. It's also about quenching the qi and blood. Meng Chang's physique was undoubtedly stronger than Su Yan's at first, and his qi and blood were even more vigorous. If there were precious medicines to aid in cultivation, one would definitely be able to cultivate faster to the gate. 
He didn't have any precious pills on hand, but the heavenly mother sect had quite a few top experts in the Jianghu, and the congregation was spread over a wide area, so they should have these precious pills. Yes, yes, elder. Sure Air was delighted at his words. This was a chance to make friends with this hidden master. The district is just a precious medicine, and it's not like it can make them a high achiever. Bring some over here. Li Xian was not polite at all. Yes, yes, elder. Sure Air was busy nodding his head. Li Xian had a satisfied look on his face, he wasn't afraid that Sure Air and the others would run away, where could they run to? That little girl from your heavenly mother cult, tell her to come over sometime. Li Xian then commanded. Yes, yes. Sure Air was stunned and busily agreed. As for Heavenly Mother coming or not, this is not something he should worry about, what the seniors commanded, all agreed to be right. Li Xian nodded his head in satisfaction and returned to his residence with his newly accepted disciple, Meng Chong. In Yunshan County, Li Xian had just taken in a new disciple. In the county town, Su Yan was once again on a roll. Ko Ruaji and a host of other Heavenly Mother sect experts, beating them one by one, beating them until they can't use 30% of their strength in martial arts within half a month. Ko Ruaji's entire body collapsed. What kind of person is this? We all kneeled down and submitted, and we were all beaten half to death. The reason Su Yen gave was also too rough. Your strength is a bit high, I'm afraid that my father can't suppress it, so I'll beat you half to death to weaken your strength. I don't kill you because I think you're still useful and it's a shame to kill you. It's called, waste utilization. Su Yen said in a serious manner. Ko Ruaji and the other heavenly mother sect experts were crumbling inside, just because of this reason, they were beaten to death Ah, What do you mean the strength is a little high? It's too much for us. What? You're not convinced? Su Yan raised his eyebrows and glared at Ko Ruaji, I see it in your eyes. You seem to be very unconvinced? Ko Ruaji's face turned white as he spoke in a panic, convince. I'm convinced. I'm convinced from the bottom of my bones. He was a bit afraid of Su Yan, this kid's brain, don't even know what's going on, why does he always like to misunderstand people? Is that a defiant look in my eyes? Damn, it's a painful eyelid twitch. Just serve. Su Yan nodded his head in satisfaction and was about to turn around and leave, when he suddenly stopped in his tracks again, turned around, glared at Ko Ruaji, and said angrily, your bones are serving you, is it in your heart that you're not? He had some brainstorming, Ko Ruaji is sinister and cunning, convinced on the surface, but only said that the bones are convinced, did not say that the heart is convinced. He must have had something else in mind. Ko Ruaji looked a bit devastated and cursed in his heart, what's wrong with this kid, why is he always staring at me? Convince me. I am convinced. In my heart, in my head, in my whole body. Ko Ruwaji swore in a panic. The rest of the Heavenly Mother sex experts were all curled up on the ground, not daring to tremble even though they were in severe pain, for fear of causing Su Yen to misunderstand. Just serve. Su Yen turned around and left. Donghe County City is still in the boiling, set off the fever of searching for high people, no one office in the government office, Zhang Pingshan stayed in the Su family, in fact, belongs to be controlled in the Su family. Su Yen will be inside and outside the county, all the forces that may pose a threat in Jianghu masters, all to clean up once, beat obediently, half a month cannot move the kind of martial arts. The only ones who maintained their full strength were the Su family guards. Before leaving for the capital, to avoid unforeseen circumstances, he deliberately urged his parents that if the situation changed, they could go to Yunshan County to hide. Episode 54 His Majesty is mad, isn't he? Jinan, the capital of Qi. The battle for the crown prince is about to be settled, and Pavilion Master Chen, who supports the third prince, has already written a letter of resignation to the Emperor of Qi to obtain his permission. Chen Gulao's salutation, is about to leave the capital, in the fierce battle for the crown prince, can salutation and retired, has not been easy, and Chen Gulao's two dynasties of the revered position is inseparable from the relationship, and is regarded as one of the third prince's beloved minister Guo Rongshan, how the final fate, has not yet been determined, fortunate is nothing more than dismissal and removal from office. In more serious cases, exile, and in more serious cases, beheading of the whole family. The dynasty has been known, the great prince lineage, is the East River County to start action, the final result, is to Guo Rongshan's son-in-law collusion with the Heavenly Mother Church charge of imprisonment, or another charge, determines how Guo Rongshan's downfall. Imperial Palace, Imperial Study Room. Emperor Qi's hands were trembling and his lips were shivering as he looked at the Donghe County's Flying Eagle Secret Order. As the 9 to 5, the high and mighty emperor, he felt the emotion of fear for the first time. One man swept away 10,000 troops. Is this something a flesh and blood person could do? But, the secret order of the Flying Eagle will not be false. Su Yen, the grandson of Guo Rongshan, the minister of the Ministry of the Civil Service, swept through 10,000 divine mighty army troops by the strength of one man, not only without a scratch, but also with ease. And during the battle, there was still room to stay in the fight, not slaughtering all the soldiers of the divine might army. Isn't Guo Rongshan's grandson, a bad brain? It's been rumored all over the court that this is what you call a bad brain? Emperor Qi was trembling all over, his face turning blue with anger. A person with a bad brain has cultivated an immensely powerful martial art? Who's the one who's not thinking straight? The word book legend, surprisingly, is true. 
There really were godlike hidden masters in the world, and there really were powerful and incomparable martial arts. Guarongshan must die. Behead him, behead his entire family. Drag Guarongshan's entire family to be buried with my Qi. A vicious color flashed in Emperor Qi's eyes. Since Qi is going to die, before the other side kills the capital, behead Guarongshan's family and die together for the funeral of Qi. No. He was about to decree that Guo Rongshan's family beheaded when Emperor Qi was abruptly startled. Once again, he picked up the secret order and looked at it carefully. Su Juanha didn't rebel, he only routed the Divine Might Army, and he didn't kill Jiang Pingshan, much less let the Heavenly Mother sect occupy the government offices. In this instant, Emperor Qi understood. Whether or not the Su family rebels depends on his attitude and how he treats Guo Rongshan's family. If Guo Rongshan dies, the Qi royal family will be annihilated. But if Guo Rongshan is still a minister of Qi, Qi is still Qi. The Emperor of Qi took a few deep breaths, his expression was incredibly grave, this was a decision that concerned the survival of Qi, he did not dare to be the slightest bit careless. Have Sanner enter the palace, summon the minister of the Ministry of Revenue, Guo Rongshan, to the palace, and send orders to the clan temple to prepare for Sanner's worship ceremony. Emperor Qi ordered with a majestic expression. Everything must be taken care of before the news from Dongha County reaches the capital. The chief eunuch bowed and left. Personally supervising. The third prince received the decree and hurriedly entered the palace, while Guo Rongshan received the decree and was a bit surprised, what is the purpose of the Qi Emperor's urgent call? Could it be that this time the battle for the crown prince, his Guo family could land safely? Rushed to the palace. As a result, once he arrived at the palace, the Emperor of Qi was not summoned in the imperial study, but in, in the clan temple. Guo Rongshan heart a little confused, the clan temple that is a place where I am a subject to go? Led by the eunuch to the clan temple. Once he arrived at the clan temple, he saw the third prince, and there was something wrong with the layout of the clan temple. Your Majesty. Guo Rongshan was about to pay homage, but the result was that the Emperor of Qi, with a smile on his face, personally assisted him and said, There is no need to be courteous, Guo Aiching, come, sit down. Your Majesty, this. Guo Rongshan's heart was pounding as the Qi Emperor actually pulled him and made him sit on the main seat of the clan temple. Guo Aiching is the world without two of the great talent, my three children, can get Guo Aiching favor, really three lifetimes of good fortune, today we'll let the three children, formally worship Guo Aiching as a teacher. Emperor Qi said with a solemn expression. Your Majesty, make it impossible. Guo Rongshan was shocked, that is the Prince Ah, which is soul worship. Emperor Qi couldn't help but press his shoulders and sit on the seat, glaring back at the third prince, angrily reprimanding, what are you standing around for, why don't you bow three times and kowtow to your benefactor? Father. The third prince was dumbfounded, what was going on? Seeing Emperor Qi's stern gaze, he trembled in fear and panicked, plopping down, kneeling three times and offering tea, disciple pays his respects to his benefactor. Guo Rongshan was confused throughout. The brain was dizzy, a mush, and the whole thing was stupid. What is Emperor Qi trying to do? Ai Qingwa, have some tea. Emperor Qi urged. Guo Rongshan took the tea and took a sip, always in a state of confusion throughout. Third son, you must remember that once a teacher always a father, from now on, when you see Guo Aiching, you must respect him as if you were your father. Every day, you must go and pay your respects to Guo Aiching, but if there is any disrespect, you will be severely punished. Emperor Qi's tone was extremely harsh when he spoke at the end. The third prince's body trembled and his face turned white as he said in a panic, yes, yes, father. His mind was a muddle, thinking that his father might have gone mad, otherwise how could he have done such a thing? Get out of here! Emperor Qi glared, and the third prince flustered and retreated. Guo Aiching Ah, come come come, the important affairs of the court, or to trouble Guo Aiching Ah, there is Guo Aiching this kind of capable minister in, I heart comfort Ah. Emperor Qi took Guo Rongshan's hand and wandered around the palace gardens. As if they had been friends for many years, chatting about family matters, mentioning his grandson Su Yen from time to time, and praising him Guo Rongshan from time to time, for the sake of the imperial court, he had spared no effort. Full of civil and military, the only one who is truly loyal to the emperor and love the country is Guai Aiching Ah. Guai Rongshan was full of mush, and even doubted that he was not dreaming. After strolling around the royal garden, Emperor Qi pulled Guo Rongshan back to the clan temple, then Emperor Qi pulled Guo Rongshan and worshipped heaven and earth in front of the clan temple, to be married as brothers with different surnames. Guo Rongshan's face turned white, his body trembled, and he nearly fainted. In the back of his mind. There was only one thought, his majesty is crazy, isn't he? Knock knock. Kowtow, take the blood oath, and become brothers. A set of processes down, Guo Rongshan whole person is weak, from the physical to the spiritual kind. As for Emperor Qi, he was slightly relieved in his heart. His idea is very simple, I and your grandfather is a brother of different surnames ah, how to say is also half of your Suyan elders it, the hand should also be a little lighter right? After he finished his worship, he pulled Guo Rongshan to send him away from the palace, and then halfway there, he encountered one of the Emperor of Qi's favorite concubines, coming in style. Guo Rongshan's brain was dizzy at this time, the whole person was in a state of bewilderment, and subconsciously looked up, and looked a few more times. This would have been a great sin of disrespect, but his mind was so mushy at the moment that he didn't even realize it. When Emperor Qi saw this, he asked with great joy, Brother Guo, what do you think of concubine Yun? Consort Yun is beautiful and virtuous, naturally. 
Guo Rongshan was stunned, his heart was shocked, how do I review his majesty's favorite concubine? Cold sweat broke out on his forehead. As a result, the Qi Emperor's surprised voice came from his ears and said, since brother Guo likes it, someone come, send consort Yun to Aichingwu's residence. What? Guo Rongshan was shocked and busied himself, no, no, your majesty. Anxious to the brain to turn sharply, busy and said, I wife pugnacious, I fear ah. In that case, forget it. Emperor Qi had a look of regret on his face. Isn't Guo Rongshan's wife, Su Yan's grandmother? Wouldn't you be in trouble if you annoyed her? On the other hand, concubine Yun had fainted in fear. Guo Rongshan returned home in a muddle, his mind a muddle, the trip to the palace, as if it was an absurd dream. Father, what has his majesty summoned? Guo Yunkai's face revealed a look of anxiety and worry, and after following his father into the study, he couldn't wait to open his mouth and ask. Father came back from the palace. The whole thing is out of place. Guo Rongshan raised his head and held out a sentence for a long time, his majesty is afraid of having a brain disease, and his mind is slightly out of whack. Guo Yunkai? Episode 55 Mr. Chi, I'm Su Yen. Guo Yunkai was dumbfounded, scared and panicked, looked around, and opened the windows of the study to check, to make sure that there was no one outside eavesdropping, and only then did he breathe a sigh of relief. Dad, how did you? His own father, is not because of the defeat of the crown prince competition, the whole family is going to suffer, hit too much, so the sanity of the problem ah. Guo Rongshan took a deep breath, and it was only at this point that he calmed down a little. But still unbelievable. The third prince bowed three times and kowtowed, worshipping himself as a teacher, and the Qi Emperor bluntly said that one day is a teacher for life, which prince worships his teacher like this. What's even more outrageous is that he's also tied the knot with Emperor Qi. What was even more shocking was that Emperor Qi even wanted to give concubine Yun to him, how could any emperor give a concubine to a minister? Emperor Qi doesn't have a penchant for putting green on his head. Listening to his own father, Hui Yunkai's entire body was confused, looking at his father with skepticism. It may not be Emperor Qi who is crazy, but my father. Hui Yunkai thought sadly in his heart. The third prince returned to the royal residence full of dizziness, and his heartfelt staff came forward. Your Highness, what is the purpose of His Majesty's urgent summons? The third prince looked around, took a deep breath, and whispered into his staffer's ear, I suspect father has a brain disease. Staffer? The third prince doesn't seem right. Emperor Qi returned to the imperial study and proceeded to order, pass on the decree that Guo Rongshan be crown king of Qi, grand pavilion master of the cabinet, and the crown prince's superior teacher. The crown prince was no longer enough to deserve Guo Rongshan, and the Qi emperor directly set up a crown prince superior. The word on signifies an honorable position. Passing down the decree, appointing Guo Yunkai as the Duke of Divine Might, in command of the Divine Might Army. Make King Ming the crown prince. King Ming, that's the third prince. The Emperor of Qi issued a series of decrees, and at the same time had it widely publicized how the Emperor of Qi had been so courteous as to allow King Ming to worship Guo Rongshan as his teacher, and how he had condescended to lower himself to the level of a nobleman to befriend Guo Rongshan. Spread the word widely about Guo Rongshan and the entire Guo family's loyalty and dedication to the country and the king. Guo Rongshan is portrayed as a person who is loyal to the king and loves the country, with high moral character and great virtue. The capital exploded. The entire court was shocked and their jaws dropped. His majesty is crazy, isn't he? Especially the grand prince and the ministers who supported him, it was as if they had fallen from the clouds to the ground, and the ground was a cesspool, the pain could not be described in words. The third prince has been made crown prince. Guo Rongshan was crown king. The cabinet's grand pavilion chief, the crown prince's superior. His son, Guo Yunkai, was named Duke of Xinwei, and commanded the Xinwei army, the army of the Qi state. There is also in the folklore, Guo Rongshan has become a sage in great virtue, the image of greatness. The parties involved, Guo Rongshan's father and son, were also dumbfounded, with only one thought in their minds. His majesty has lost his sanity. Countless ministers wrote letters, and even dead advice, above the courtroom, chaos into a pot of porridge. Those who died admonishing were all made whole. There was only one thought in the minds of the entire court, his majesty has gone mad. Until this day, two crimson dragons blasted through the gates of the capital. A figure, coiled around a crimson dragon, swept towards the palace. A voice like explosive thunder rang out, Old Man Emperor Chi, I, Su Yen, am here. Su Yen? The ministers of the entire court were stunned, wasn't this Guo Rongshan's grandson? Rumor has it that his grandson is not good in the head and believes in the things of the talking book legend, and is seeking a high person to cultivate the real martial arts. The ministers looked up as the giant dragon came across the sky, its mighty pressure shaking the four directions. He was filled with horror. In the world, there really was such a powerful martial art? The one with the bad brain, surprisingly, is myself? In that instant, the ministers all understood why the Emperor of Qi had done a series of absurd things, and why he was so pleasing to Guo Rongshan. Only because, Guo Rongshan's grandson Su Yen. Emperor Qi's face turned green as he looked at the huge dragon that came across the sky, 20 to 30 feet long. Flying Eagle Secret Order although mentioned Su Yen double palm shot red dragon, powerful, the description of the text is one thing, see with your own eyes, personally feel is another thing. He nearly pissed himself. 
Holding Wei Rongshan's hand beside him, his voice couldn't help trembling, Guo oh, brother ah, you have to persuade your grandson ah, I'm this old bones, can't help tossing ah. Guo oh, Rongshan looked at Su Yan who swept in midair, his entire body was also confused, my grandson is so powerful? In this instant, he suddenly realized that it wasn't that Emperor Qi had lost his sanity. But that it was because of Su Yan's power that he had made this series of, seemingly absurd, decisions. Su Yan is now raging to kill the palace, must be the lineage of the Grand Prince, and the East River County is ready to liquidate him Guo Rongshan, angered his own grandson, and thus will kill to the capital. Don't worry, your majesty, my grandson, Su Yan, is a simple, kind and good boy who won't do anything excessive. Guo Rongshan understand the reason, the backbone is also straightened, the bottom line is also enough. The corner of Qi Huan's mouth twitched, simple and kind good boy? Only you, Guo Rongshan, can say that. Yenner, what's all the fanfare for? It wouldn't be good to disturb his majesty. Guo Rongshan beckoned to Su Yen. H.M. Su Yen glanced at the Qi Emperor beside his grandfather and gave a cold snort as he pressed his palm downwards, and the two giant dragons merged into one, transforming into an even more gigantic dragon. With a loud bang, it smashed into the square outside the palace hall. There was a rumble of smoke and dust. A huge dragon smashed out a gully, almost bisecting the square. The ministers trembled in shock, the palace guards trembled, and the great inner experts all had cold sweat on their faces. Grandpa! Su Yen came in front of Guo Rongshan. Ha, Yenner you've come at the right time, let me introduce you, this is his majesty of the present day, your grandfather's sworn brother. Wei Rongshan was overjoyed as he pulled Su Yan's hand and said. Worshipful brothers? Su Yan looked at Emperor Qi with a confused expression. When did one's maternal grandfather pay homage to Emperor Qi's old man? If they are sworn brothers, then why would any dog official dare to raid his own house? Emperor Qi squeezed out a kind smile. A bit of the emperor's majesty was nowhere to be seen. It was a day when the worldview collapsed for the Qi group of ministers. The legendary martial arts god of the word had actually appeared. Moreover, it was Gui Rongshan's grandson who had been ridiculed as a guy with a bad brain. As it turned out, the fool turned out to be myself. On this day, the people of the capital city were greatly shocked when a divine being rose up with a dragon and rushed into the palace. The emperor of Qi is dim-witted, the godman has descended to destroy the Qi kingdom, the Qi kingdom has run out of gas, the heavenly mother's light shines on the living beings, saving all the people from fire and water, and it's the right time to support the world's society. Suddenly, some hidden heavenly mother followers, excitedly jumped out and rushed toward the palace, ready to take advantage of the opportunity to rebel. Hundreds of people are looking dumbfounded, how come there are still evil disciples of the heavenly mother sect in the capital, as soon as they see an opportunity, they are really daring to rebel ah. For Emperor Qi, if he was afraid of Su Yen, would he be afraid of the heavenly mother sect's evil disciples? The heart is holding its breath, it is just right to catch this group of evil people out of anger, so the forbidden army surged out to capture, search and arrest the evil people of the heavenly mother cult. The capital city of Qi, and even the entire country of Qi, was destined to be unsettled because of Su Yan's arrival. Immediately afterward, the matter of Su Yan's one man sweep of the 10,000 man divine might army in Donghai County had also finally reached the ears of the ministers, and it was only at this moment that they realized just what the Qi Emperor's absurd move was due to. Episode 56 The Saying of the Endless Great Mountains. The capital was abuzz, the ministers were shocked, and Emperor Qi was in the palace. Hiding in a secret room, gnashing his teeth and cursing. The Chi Wang Mansion, on the other hand, was in an atmosphere of jubilation and joy. It was only yesterday that he moved into the Chi Wang Mansion, and today Su Yen came, and Guo Rongshan's heart, which had been hanging in the air, was finally put down. The whole thing is relaxing. It wasn't that Emperor Qi had lost his sanity, it was that his grandson was too strong. Su Yen felt at this time that the Emperor of Qi, or can be, with his grandfather to worship, sealed Qi King, the Grand Pavilion, the Crown Prince's upper division, the entire Qi, Qi Emperor is only the first person in name. His grandfather, was the real first. The more Gui Rongshan looked at his grandson, the more he rejoiced that he had not loved him in vain. Ever since the scene of Su Yan's hand holding a giant dragon, sweeping through the air, his palm blasting a dragon-shaped gully in the palace square, the worldview of the courtiers had collapsed to the point where they couldn't recover. The entire worldview of the people of the Qi capital had similarly collapsed. On this day, all those books on words, legends and the like in the bookshops of the capital had been sold out, and the prices were skyrocketing. A down-and-out scholar, seeing the business opportunity, sold his own collection of books describing the two or three affairs of men and women of gods and men at a high price of a thousand tales. It's a one-day fortune. On this day, the playboys do not stroll the hook, not bully men and women, all urged by the family, to go to visit the high man. The great prince, who had been hurt the most in this incident, was even more ready to personally seek out a master to worship him. In the capital of Qi, a frenzy of searching for a high-ranking person was set off. The third prince arrived at the Qi king's mansion with heavy gifts and paid his respects to his master Guo Rongshan. Many ministers. Almost stepping over the Qi king's threshold. In the end, Guo Rongshan blocked the visiting group of ministers only on the grounds that they were having a family banquet, entertaining their grandchildren, and not seeing any foreign guests. Qi Wang Fu, in the study. Father, isn't his majesty afraid that my Guo family will rebel? Guo Yunkai asked the doubt in his heart. And also the worship of the king of Qi, and is the grand pavilion, the head of the group of ministers, and is the crown prince's teacher. 
Is the Emperor of Qi, is not afraid of his Gua family revolts? The Xingua's army, the Divine Mighty Army, was now even more under his command. With the Gua family's strength today, it's easy to rebel. Su Yan alone was enough. Guo Rongshan looked calm and said, It is precisely because of the fear of our rebellion that we are given supreme status. Why? Gui Yunkai didn't understand. Guo Rongshan exhaled a breath and said, What is my father's reputation outside? It is rumored outside that His Majesty is courteous and condescends to be a brother to me. It's even more important to let the third prince worship his teacher, once a teacher always a father. It is rumored in the outside world that I, Guo Rongshan, am loyal to the king and the country, dedicated to the people, of high moral character, and a man of great virtue and saintliness. What do you think, if my father were to rebel, how would the people view it? What will happen to my father's reputation? Guo Rongshan laughed softly and said, If I rebel, I will definitely fall into the infamy of being ungrateful, hypocritical and insidious, a great traitor and a great evil, and so on. Oh our majesty, it is with this reputation of purity that binds my Guo family. If you don't rebel, you will be immortalized and become a sage and a great virtue, but if you rebel, your reputation will be stigmatized. Your majesty is resolute. In the matter of Yenner, before the news had even gotten out, it had already been deployed. It's not simple for a hallowed emperor to be able to make it this far, to have such a decisive heart. Only then did it dawn on Guiyun Kai that this series of commendations, the rumors from the outside, were all the handiwork of Emperor Qi, forcing the Guo family to choose between two options. Either you rebel and get the world of Qi, but your reputation stinks. Either he will be a supreme power official, but the kingdom of Qi can be preserved, while Guo Rongshan's name will go down in history as a sage and a great virtuoso. Now that the rumors have reached the public, it's too late to reverse them. So, Dad, what do you think? Gui Yunkai's breathing was a few points rougher. Guo Rongshan smiled faintly and said, Sage and great virtue, also good. Your Majesty, is looking for a high-ranking person, once found, if he can suppress Yenner, he will certainly strike with thunder. If there is not much difference in strength, then an equilibrium is maintained. His Majesty is also telling me that if the royal family finds a high-ranking person, they will also not kill me because of my clear reputation of saintly virtue, and will not defile themselves with the face of the royal family. Guo Yunkai's heart was clear, and he worried, in case His Majesty has really found a high-ranking person. Guo Rongshan laughed, how can it be so easy? If our Yenner is one step ahead, then he is one step ahead, is it easy to press one head? Yunkai ah, don't be too shallow in your vision, secular dynasties, they don't count for much. Go ask Yenner what he needs for his cultivation and use the power of our Qi Wangfu to find it for him. Yes, father, I understand. Guo Yunkai's eyes lit up in surprise. Yunshan County. Li Xian brought Meng Chong back to his residence and let him pick a guest room to stay in. You'll familiarize yourself with your surroundings first. Can you cook? Can you make chicken soup? Yes, that's fine, go cook. The first thing Meng Chong had to do after worshipping his master was to cook. Elder, I've brought the stuff. Sure Air came respectfully. Put it down. Li Xian nodded. Sure Air placed five boxes on the table, Li Xian's hand did not move, and between the surges of qi and blood, all five boxes opened. Seeing this scene, Sher Air's heart was horrified and his waist bent even lower. Two nine-leafed Yuanji, three thousand-year-old mountain ginsengs. Li Xian was quite surprised, this heavenly mother sect was quite rich. The nine-leaf Yuanji and the thousand-year mountain ginseng are both rare items, and for you, the heavenly mother sect, to have this collection is rare. When Su Yan first worshipped his master, it was because the nine-leaf Yuanji and the thousand-year mountain ginseng had deeply impressed him. Senior, although the nine-leaf Yuanji and the thousand-year mountain ginseng are rare, some can still be found in the endless mountains, and my heavenly mother sect has hidden into the endless mountains several times because of the siege, and only then did I pick these treasures. Sure Air said respectfully. Endless mountains? Li Xian's heart fluttered. Elder, the endless great mountain is that 200 miles from here is the border of the endless great mountain, the reason why it's called the endless great mountain is because no one can traverse this area of mountains, no one can go to the end. Sure Air raised his hand and pointed towards the outside of Yunshan County. Li Xian was alarmed in his heart, the small village I traveled to is adjacent to the endless mountains, the evil fiend forest seems to spread to the endless mountains, did the fire main wolves come from the endless mountains? He had some guesses in mind. Whether or not this is the case is, of course, uncertain. Go on. Li Xian picked up a nine-leaf UNG to signal sure air to continue. Elder, the endless mountain, named for its endlessness, rumor has it that the deepest exploration was done by a few Jianghu supreme masters, who went a thousand miles deep into the endless mountain, and there is still no end to it. Continued exploration had to be stopped because of the powerful poisonous miasma. Those who entered the endless mountains, and those who returned, did not penetrate more than a thousand miles, and as for those who did not return, they were never heard of again, and should have died in the mountains. Sherer said respectfully, wondering in his heart, this high person, is he not from the endless mountain? After hearing this, Li Xian's speculation about the endless great mountain grew stronger. The fire main wolf was clearly not an ordinary beast, and by this projection, the force value of this world should not be so low. The truth may lie on the other side of an endless mountain? Of course, all of this is just speculation, and it's still unknown whether or not this is the case. Episode 57 Compiling a Second Apprentice's Cultivation Technique 
After listening to Sher'er's explanation, Li Xian shook his head with a look of disbelief and lightly laughed, a mere thousand miles or a few thousand miles, and it's also called Endless Mountain? It's just a matter of mundane vision. Put yourself out there as a high person. Sher'er's body shook as he heard this, and his breathing became a few points rougher. Indeed, he is a supreme master, we are but mere mortals in his eyes, the endless mountains in our eyes are not worth mentioning in the eyes of a master. His heart was a little hot, if he could get some guidance from someone high up, maybe he could transcend the mundane as well? Elder is right, but it's only because ordinary people like us are weak and can't get over it that it's called the endless mountain. Shurji said in shame. Li Xian was noncommittal. Suddenly, golden light surfaced. Your disciple shook the capital of Qi and collapsed the worldview of the group of ministers, and your mysterious aura was enhanced. The mysterious aura instantly more than doubled. In this instant, Sher'er's expression shook, his waist bent even lower, and his expression became more and more respectful and fervent. Tall man. In this instant, the person in the chair gave him a feeling of mystery, greatness, and depth, as if he was a hidden master who did not exist between heaven and earth. Li Xian was pleasantly surprised, the mysterious aura could even be enhanced? At this moment, he could feel that he had become even more mysterious and unpredictable after utilizing his mysterious aura, and he had even more of an overwhelming superior aura. It was a great mood. Su Yan, this disciple, has already gone to the Qi capital to pretend to be Ah. Waving his hand for Sher Air to leave. The little one excuses himself. Sher Air bowed and stepped back. Mang Chong. Li Xian opened his mouth and called out. Master, what's the order? Meng Chong, the bald teenager, hurried over. Li Xian picked up a nine-leaf UNG and said, cut off a little bit and go stew chicken soup. It's been a long time since I've had chicken soup made with nine-leaf UNG, so I'm craving it. Yes, master. Meng Chong received the nine-leaf UNG and continued cooking. It's just relaxing to have an apprentice serving you. Li Xian reclined in his chair, squinted his eyes, and began to ponder, what technique should he pass on to Meng Chong? Skin refining, bone refining, organ refining, qi and blood realm, this set of cultivation methods was compiled for Su Yan to cultivate out of, passing it on to Meng Chong obviously won't work, the only way to gain big gains is to have new gong methods. The foundation of martial arts, refining the skin, bones, and organs is inevitable, but the method of cultivation can be different. When Su Yan was practicing, he only knew some crude Jiang Hu martial arts, third rate level? Meng Chong has a strong physique and is born with strength that is different from normal people, so although he is only a first rate Jiang Hu expert, he can fight against the top Jiang Hu experts. Since Meng Chang's talent lies in the physical body and flesh, let's start with that. Li Xian decided to start with Meng Chang's talent and make up a new set of gongfu to try and see if Meng Chong could cultivate successfully. If he could cultivate successfully, he would have a direction to take disciples in the future. There is also a clear direction on how to program new feats. Master, it's time to eat. Munchkin made dinner. Yes. Li Xian nodded. Meng Chang's handiwork was surprisingly good, perhaps it was because he had left home to learn martial arts as a child and had also cooked and served people. However, it was still a bit worse than Su Yen. Apprentice Ah, the cooking skills need to be strengthened by one or two, when your eldest senior brother returns, you can learn from your senior brother. Li Xian opened his mouth. Yes, master. Meng Chong touched his bald head and looked somewhat ashamed. Tomorrow, my master will pass on your method of martial arts, and today you will rest and settle down. After the meal, Li Xian left a message and went back to his room to compile his gongfu. Meng Chong was filled with anticipation, what martial arts method was the high master going to pass on to him? In the room, Li Xian took a pen and wrote the draft of the gong method on a piece of paper. Now to make a distinction, Su Yen cultivates the pure martial arts path, while Meng Chong cultivates the martial arts path that focuses on the physical body, focusing on cultivating the physical body. Then, it can also be called the flesh body martial way. But the physical body martial arts is not discarded the core of the martial arts, but only focuses on the cultivation of the physical body, a body of strength, are embodied in a strong physical body. So, what I'm going to teach Meng Chong is to try and open up a new school amongst martial arts, the flesh body martial arts. Meng Chong was born bald and had a gnarled, muscular body. His talent is clearly reflected in his physique. Thus, with a flash of light in his mind, Li Xian decided to try his hand at opening up a new school to come in the martial arts. A school of martial arts that focuses on the cultivation of the physical body. If it was successful, then there would be a direction to refer to when accepting disciples in the future. The foundation of martial arts lies in refining the skin, bones, and organs, the orthodox martial arts begins with refining the skin, while the physical body martial arts is a combination of all three at the same time. The orthodox martial way can condense jade bones, while the flesh body martial way condenses adamant and glazed bones that are not inferior to jade bones, yet different. And the starting cultivation method of the flesh body martial Tao begins with the golden bell? Li Xian fell into deep thought, now that he was a qi and blood consummate martial artist. He had already mastered the martial arts methods of the qi and blood realm, so if he wanted to make up the martial arts fundamentals and the qi and blood realm cultivation methods, he would have a reference, which was much better than when he didn't know anything and made it up completely blindly. It was just that the starting cultivation of the fleshly body course, what to choose, was a key. Or iron cloth shirt? Or the golden bell shield, where the qi and blood are like a bell, and there is no leakage around the body. 
Let's name it Great Sun Golden Bell Shield. This is the cultivation that corresponds to the Qi and Blood Realm. I made up the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield, there is no such thing as a covered door, if you want to break the defense, the only way to break the Golden Bell defense is to be super strong, don't think about finding any covered door. This is the Leakless Golden Bell. Li Xian thought about the cultivation method of the starting realm. The Great Day of the Golden Bell. Next, it's time to compile the cultivation method of the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield, it's a bit of a brain scratcher, refining the skin, bones, and organs in one cultivation is difficult. This is not an orthodox martial art in the first place, focusing on special talents, it is normal for it to be more difficult, and for those who have this talent, it will not be more difficult. Well, that's how it works, first sensing the qi and blood which is constant, followed by the qi and blood returning between the organs, flowing through the bones, and returning to the dermatome, forming a cycle. Stimulating the internal organs, energizing the qi and blood, shaking the bones, and impacting the dermal membrane, from the inside to the outside, or from the outside to the inside, the triad of cultivation, and condensing the fleshly body's golden bells. The fleshly body golden bell of the basic realm is successfully cultivated, followed by the golden bell roaring and the qi and blood transforming into a leakless golden bell that covers the surrounding body, this is stepping into the qi and blood realm of the fleshly body martial Dao. Li Xian had the reference method of the qi and blood realm, it was much smoother to make it up, and he slowly made up the cultivation method of the great sun golden bell shield. Of course, this gongfu was actually a bit crude and not detailed, even if there was a qi blood realm gongfu reference, it was impossible to compile it in detail. In the end, it was still necessary to rely on Meng Chong, from this gongfu, to realize the specific gongfu that could actually be cultivated. Therefore, when passing the gongfu to Meng Chong, Li Xian would still instruct him to emphasize comprehension and meaning, rather than flowing over the surface of the gongfu. Form is not important, enlightenment and meaning, are the key. With Meng Chang's brain circuits, his enlightenment is definitely not bad, so he should be able to realize it and be able to cultivate it successfully, right? Li Xian still had confidence in Meng Chong. In Meng Chang's eyes, he was a supreme master, and he was bound to be convinced of the gong methods he passed on, and would definitely rack his brain to realize them. Episode 58 Flesh Body Martial Arts, Golden Bell Shield of the Great Sun Li Xian took the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield technique, wrote it down on a draft, carefully checked it over, determined that the theory of the technique was feasible, and memorized the technique silently in his mind. Qi and blood surged in his hands, and the draft instantly turned into ashes. The gongfu passed on to Meng Chong had already been compiled, and the next step was to pass it on to Meng Chong, his disciple, and wait for him to realize it from it. The next day. At the crack of dawn, the sounds of martial arts practice came from the courtyard clearing. Meng Chong was holding a machete, waving it with a tiger's vigor, his shiny head, refracting the light. Li Xian nodded his head silently, his second disciple was as hardworking and diligent as Su Yen, with such a disciple, why would he worry about not being powerful? Apprentice, come here. Li Xian sat down on the chair. Master. Meng Chong collected his energy and stuck his sword on the ground, excitedly walking over and respectfully saluting. Today, my master will pass on the laws of martial arts to you. Li Shen looked solemn and said word for word. The martial arts that master passed on to you is not the Jianghu martial arts that you have learned, that is nothing more than mundane punching and kicking. In my master's martial arts, moving mountains and punching through the void are all idle matters. There is no end to the martial arts path, but the cultivation of the martial arts path also starts from the foundation, and the first realm of the martial arts path is the Qi and Blood realm. As Li Xian said the latter, his palm lifted up, and in an instant, a rushing sky rose up, stirring up into the mid-air. Even though he had restrained his breath pressure, Meng Chong was still able to feel the terrifying power contained in this stream of qi and blood at such a close distance. His eyes were wide open and he looked excited, a frenzied look in his eyes. Budo. That's martial arts. Just the first realm, the qi and blood realm was so terrifying. Li Xian withdrew his qi and blood and continued, martial cultivation begins with refining the skin, bones, and organs, which is the root and foundation. The only way to go far on the path of martial arts is to build a firm foundation, knowing that a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Li Xian raised his hand again, his qi and blood condensing into a palm that cupped Meng Chang's shoulder, squeezing his arm, his thigh. Apprentice, your talent lies in the physical body, your roots and bones are exquisite, just suitable for the physical body, thus the teacher today passes on to you the basic technique of the physical body martial arts, the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield. Meng Chang excitedly touched his bare head and said, it's all up to master's arrangement. Flesh Body Martial Arts is a martial arts that focuses on physical body cultivation, with unparalleled defense and extraordinary pugnacity, which is a perfect match for you. Li Xian stood up and circled around Meng Chong. In his heart. He also had to sigh, this second disciple, born with a tough look, gnarled muscles, and was born with a bald head. The features were decent, but the lanky, brawny body, bare head, and burly muscles had covered down his decent features. Can't see the handsomeness, just the pugnacity. Anyone who saw it couldn't help but praise it, what a majestic young man. A martial artist who cultivates the Tao of flesh body, with a great physical body, is comparable to a divine weapon. Of course, this is still too far away for you. As long as you cultivate into the golden bell shield of the great sun, and you stand still, even if there are a thousand armies, you won't be able to break through your defenses. Li Xian continued to blow the might of the great sun golden bell shield, inspiring Meng Chang's fighting spirit and fervor. 
Sure enough, the more Meng Chong listened, the more excited he became, his muscles were shaking, and his bare head, all seemed a little shinier. You and listen well, master this will pass on your great son Golden Bell Shield cultivation method. Li Xian sat back in his chair and spoke with a solemn expression. Yes, master. Meng Chong directly knelt down and listened respectfully. The cultivation of the flesh body Dao is different from the orthodox martial arts cultivation, where the orthodox cultivation is refining the skin, bones, and organs, while the flesh body Dao is the cultivation of all three in one, at the same time. Li Xin dictated the already codified gong method, word by word, first sensing the qi and blood, then the qi and blood from the inside to the outside, or from the outside to the inside as well, forming a cycle of refining the skin, bones, and organs at the same time. Apprentice, do you remember? Li Xian asked after explaining the gong method, word for word. Master, disciple remembers. Meng Chong nodded. The gongfu was memorized. But he was a bit confused about how to cultivate it. Li Xian spoke at the right time, master's martial arts path lies in enlightenment and intention, not in the form of the gongfu, disciple you need to be enlightened, to realize the true meaning of it. Martial cultivation is about talent, as I observe your method of revenge, it is quite marvelously enlightened, your talent should not be bad. You take good care of the gongfu, master believes that you will be able to understand it. Giving Meng Chong a bit of encouragement, after a moment's pause, Li Xian added, the techniques are all there, whether or not they can be cultivated to begin with lies in the individual's enlightenment. The master leads the door to the practice depends on the individual. You have to calm your mind, without arrogance or impatience, to realize the meaning in the gongfu. Meng Chong seemed to understand, but felt that it was worthy of being a powerful martial arts technique, it was really profound and subtle, and it was not easy to get started. Master, I will definitely comprehend it. Meng Chong firmly said. Very well, don't let master down. Li Xian nodded. Standing up, he took a horse stance and said, take a horse stance and feel carefully, first sense the qi and blood. Yes, master. Meng Chong nodded. In the open space of the yard, zigzagged. Cultivation should be a combination of work and rest, when the time comes, cook, clean the courtyard, scrub the table, relax yourself, relax your mind, don't be tense all the time, there are times when the more obsessive you are, the less you can reap the rewards. Li Xian Dun Dun taught. It was during such a cultivation process that Su Yen had realized his blindly made up gong fu and successfully stepped into the door of the martial way. Master, disciple understands. Meng Chong nodded. Also, when stewing the chicken, remember to put in the nine-leaf yuan or the thousand-year mountain ginseng. Li Xian ordered again. Yes, master. Li Xian carried his hands behind his back and prepared to go out for a stroll when he suddenly thought of something and added, if you lack anything, you can go find your heir. Yes, master. Meng Chong nodded. Shirer was still very capable of doing his job, Li Xian temporarily treated him as an errand boy, depending on whether he knew how to behave or not. Yunshan County Office. The magistrate sat down with the old man in sackcloth, Shirer, and the others once again. Su Yen, showing off his power in the county town, sweeping away the divine might army all by himself. The magistrate said with a shocked look on his face. Nowadays, the dignitaries of the county are all searching for a high-ranking person, wanting to learn from a high-ranking person and cultivate the powerful and incomparable martial arts. In his eyes, he showed some fervor. Originally, they were ready to run away, after all, Li Xian was too terrifying and was able to slap them to death with the flip of his hand. After the news of the county came in, Su Yen showed off his power, simply like a godly man, ridiculously strong. Li Xian, on the other hand, was Su Yan's master. Isn't it just the mysterious Highlander? Higher people are around, ah, at this time, we're still think of running away ah. Instead, he was thinking about how to kiss ass and how to curry favor with a high-ranking person who could get a few pointers. Since their worldview had been refreshed, their obsession with rebellion was now somewhat faded, and becoming a true martial artist and practicing a powerful than martial way was already the first desire in their minds. Senior has accepted Meng Chong as his disciple, I have sent a portion of our sex treasured nine-leafed UNG and thousand-year mountain ginseng to Senior and I feel that I should continue to take more of the precious medicines and give them to Senior. Sure Air took the opportunity to speak. These precious medicines were certainly precious, however, they could not make them become martial arts powerhouses like Su Yen, and it was more valuable to give them to a higher power and receive a reward. Episode 59 Su Yen who went to the palace to sharpen his mind. The Yunshan magistrate nodded his head at his words, yes, I'll mobilize the congregation and go find the precious medicine, but we also need to hide a little bit of it, this precious medicine might, perhaps, be useful for cultivating martial arts. The hemp-clothed old man also nodded his head frequently in recognition. Sherer then added, in addition, the high one wants to meet the heavenly mother. Then pass the message on to the heavenly mother and let her make her own decision. The old man in hemp clothes clapped his hands. In addition, the news that the Highlander is in Yunshan County must not be leaked out, or else people from the county, or even the capital, will come running to disturb the Highlander. The magistrate of Yunshan said in a deep voice. The heavenly mother sex group of experts nodded their heads. The opportunity is there, it's up to whoever can take it. They don't even tell people like Ko Ruaji in the county. Yunshan County was not big, Li Xian strolled around for half an hour before returning to his residence. Outside the courtyard door, a figure bowed, holding a box in his hand. The magistrate of Yunshan? Li Xian was surprised. 
These guys, see him like a mouse to see a cat, avoided, how this moment, take the initiative to come to the door. Don't dare, don't dare. Senior can just call me Xiao Shan. The magistrate of Yunshan nodded his head and said with a lowered posture. I heard that Senior has taken on a disciple, so I've come to congratulate Senior. A small token of appreciation, I hope Senior won't mind. The magistrate of Yunshan raised the box in his hand and said. Have a heart, have a heart. Li Xian took the box and said. I'll take the gift, if there's nothing else. Farewell, latecomer. The magistrate of Yunshan bowed and stepped back. Li Xian nodded, a sensible fellow. Entering the yard, he opened the box and saw that it was a mountain ginseng. This is not an ordinary thousand-year-old mountain ginseng, this heavenly mother sect has quite a lot of precious medicines, the precious medicines needed for the disciples' cultivation will not be lacking now. Li Xian was very satisfied with this. I just put down the mountain ginseng, and someone else is coming. Li Xian sat motionless in his chair and asked Meng Chong to open the door. The visitor was the old man in hemp clothes, who had likewise come to deliver the precious medicine. Li Xian wasn't polite and accepted it directly. In the endless mountain, there are so many precious treasure medicines, it should be a bit uncomplicated. Li Xian was thoughtful. The suspicion in his mind was further confirmed. Of course, it's hard to say exactly how. The Heavenly Mother Sex group of experts, one after another, went up to the door with gifts, and Li Xian was the one who came. The gift could be received, but if the Heavenly Mother sect dared to make things happen under his banner, then don't blame him for not being polite. These precious medicines, consider them as the money to buy the lives of the Heavenly Mother sex group of experts. Meng Chong was in the courtyard comprehending the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield technique, and there was no progress for the time being, so Li Xian wasn't in a hurry. In the evening, Shurji came to the door carrying a chicken. However, he had the good sense not to look for Li Xian, but instead handed the chicken to Meng Chong and said with a smile. Master Meng, here's the chicken you asked for. Aha! Meng Chong took the chicken and turned around to go kill the chicken and stew chicken soup. Shirer bowed to Li Xian, who was sitting on a chair, and left. Interesting, but a resourceful man. Li Xian looked at Shirer, who was careful and brought the courtyard door with him, and nodded silently. It's nice to have an errand boy. And observe and observe again. If they are resourceful enough to do the job, they can be taken as servants. It can't be that everything, let the disciple do, after all, the disciple is mainly cultivation awe. If an apprentice doesn't practice diligently, how will he improve his strength? Qi capital. The shock brought about by Su Yen still hadn't subsided. But the second generation of many dignitaries, leading their guards and servants, went out from the capital and traveled to various great mountains, seeking to visit the masters. The royal family had even used all their intelligence power, all their hidden scouts, just to find the Highlander. The Grand Prince was ready to move personally to seek out the higher power. He was the most damaged in this fiasco. Seeing that the Crown Prince position that was in his hands is gone. The ministers who had originally supported him stayed away from him as if they were avoiding the plague. If one were to say who was the most stifled in the capital, of course it would be Emperor Qi without a doubt. He was suffocating, he was the king of a country, but as a result, he didn't dare to show any face to a courtier. What's even more outrageous is that Su Yan's little child is bullying people too much. Running into the palace day after day, especially going around the harem. In the place of the harem, other than him, the emperor of Qi, and the underage imperial son, what man could enter? As a result, Su Yan he went in during the day and also at night. If Su Yen was going to sleep with concubines and princesses, Emperor Qi would still feel better in his heart, at least there was a way to draw Su Yen in, sending concubines and princesses was a trivial matter. Su Yen went to the harem with the beautiful name of honing his mind. According to his words, at his age, it is the stage when he is most moved by women, if he is able to be under the beauty, but his heart is not rippled, not messing up his mind, the heart of the martial arts way, it will certainly be more solid. He would not be disturbed by external objects and would be able to better perceive the gongfu. The only thing that has the most beauty in the world is the harem. There are all kinds of poses, that's why he's headed for the harem. It would be fine if it was just that, but Su Yan didn't hide his entry into the harem from anyone ah. What do outsiders think? To the outside world, Su Yan was in the palace to hone his mind, not sleeping with his consort, not sleeping with the princess, who the hell believes it? The group of ministers were looking at him in the wrong way. It was as if he was wearing a green hat instead of a crown on his head. If you really wear a cuckold is just, but he did not wear ah, the feeling of being misunderstood, wronged, really fucking difficult. Emperor Qi was holding his tongue in his heart. Su Yan, however, felt that the Qi Emperor was quite a good person, he went into the harem to sharpen his mind, and instead of being angry, the Qi Emperor even let his concubines dance to help him sharpen his mind. Qi Huang's old man, quite a good man, why would he think of copying my house? Could it be that the county guards down there are just fooling around? Su Yan came out of the harem with a calm state of mind. And he felt that his state of mind of no woman in his heart had been greatly improved. The heart of martial arts is strong and will not be disturbed by external things. Master said, there is no woman in the heart, cultivation is like a god, as a metaphor for a state of mind, it's really too subtle. At my age, it is the time when it is easiest for women to move their hearts, if I can do it, I will not be confused by women, and my heart will be clear, and I will naturally not be disturbed by external things when I perceive the gong method. 
It's more able to devote oneself fully to the sense of gongfu. The more Su Yin thought, the more he felt that the master said no woman in the heart, cultivation is God, this kind of state of mind, really is the most subtle. Moreover, he was at the age when he was most susceptible to women, and women were the greatest external disturbance to him, if he could overcome it, no external object could disturb his mind. Su Yen felt that he had done it. He was unmoved by the beauty of the Queen of Qi's palace. The techniques of the innate realm, vaguely, I have already gained some clarity. Su Yen was happy in his heart and came out of the harem, walking in the palace, just as the court was dismissed and the ministers were heading out. When they saw Su Yen, each of their faces looked strange. From the harem again? The courtiers stole glances at Guarongshan, wondering in their hearts whether the Grand Pavilion Master had also entered the harem. It's exciting just to think about it. When will he have the chance to enter the harem and see the girls? Su Yen nodded to the Emperor of Qi as a greeting, and in his heart, he was pondering over the innate realm technique, and he didn't notice the strange looks of the group of ministers, and directly left the palace. Emperor Qi sent him off with a smile on his face, and when Su Yen had left, Emperor Qi took a deep breath and his face became serious as he beckoned Gui Yunkai to come over. The decree, Guo Ai Ching'a, all the ministers under the court without manners, there is a loss of court etiquette, all to me to hit twenty boards, as a warning to others. Guo Yunkai was stunned and nodded his head silently, Minister, obey the decree. Nephew, don't go to the harem so openly. His majesty still wants a face. This thing of beating the boards of group ministers is something that only he can do. On this day, the group of ministers collectively outside the palace to be boarded, one face black as black, the heart broken cursing the dog emperor. Episode 60 Meng Chong realizes the great day golden bell shield. The emperor of Qi, who had returned to the imperial study, fell into a deep thought, from when did he, the king of Qi, the supreme emperor, fall to this? It is the battle for the crown prince, the third son lost the treasure jade and lost in the battle for the crown prince, the eldest son won the battle for the crown prince, and launched an operation in Dongha County, and the liquidation of Gui Rongshan began. It was the preparation of the ministers who supported the eldest son, in order to eliminate the heavenly mother sect in Dongha County, and to build up the momentum for the eldest son's success and ascension to the throne of the crown prince. The root of it all started with the copying of Su Yan's home. As soon as I think of this, the emperor of Qi will be very angry, but also feel aggrieved, this has not yet copied the family, and I am the emperor, ah, you a merchant, how will I care? I didn't even know about this. As a result, the pot of plagiarism is on his back. Pass on the decree, the eldest prince has misbehaved, heavily beating thirty big boards, give me a hard beating. Emperor Qi gritted his teeth as he delivered the decree. He couldn't take it out on Su Yan. So he could only take it out on his own son. The big prince people are stupid, what did not do ah, receive thirty big board, the sky is wrong ah. In his heart, he cursed his own father, old thing, when you're angry with an outsider, you only take it out on your own son. In the Qi Wang mansion. Su Yen sat cross-legged on the bed, his mind clear, entering into a state of materialistic forgetfulness, devoting his entire being to comprehending the gong method. After his state of mind had greatly improved, he could almost follow his heart and enter this state of forgetting things and being single-mindedly sensing the gongfu. A hint of clarity surfaced in his heart, and Su Yen felt that he was no longer too far away from comprehending and understanding the innate realm technique. Three days passed. Meng Chong hadn't yet realized the gongfu and was still in the middle of figuring out the gongfu, Li Xian sat in his chair and watched the scene, and couldn't help but begin to think about how he should instruct his disciple. The cultivation method of the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield was compiled in as much detail as possible, so that Meng Chong would be able to perceive it more easily. Could it be that this second disciple of mine, is not very enlightened? Li Xian was also in deep thought. From the looks of it, Meng Chong was a reckless man. But, his brain circuits were different from normal people, thinking what normal people couldn't think, so his enlightenment shouldn't be low. Suddenly, golden light surfaced. Your disciple frequently enters the Empress Qi's palace to hone his mind, and the subtle state of mind that is free of women in his heart is elevated, and you gain clarity of mind. Li Xian was stunned, a foolish disciple entering Empress Qi's palace to sharpen his mind? Just honing the mind? Alas, this disciple. Li Xian sighed, Su Yan this disciple, enlightenment is really peculiar. The ability to superb brain supplementation, his own original sentence no woman in the heart, cultivation is God, hard to be his brain into a metaphor for the cultivation of the state of mind. Good thing too, at least he's not really, no woman in his heart anymore, just using this as a metaphor for a state of mind. Li Xian's heart was clear at the moment, undisturbed by external objects, and he could devote himself to a certain state. This is the clarity of mind? Not disturbed by external objects, seeing through illusions, and having a firm mind. Li Xian found that clarifying the mind allowed one to think more exclusively, think more quickly, and be able to do so, without changing color. Now I'm in a state of mind that's more like the higher power. Li Xian narrowed his eyes slightly, preparing to ponder over how to take the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield technique, refine it a bit more, and pass it on to Meng Chong, instructing him on how to perceive the technique. Soon he got into the swing of things and found a way to refine it. Is this the benefit of a clarified mind? Suddenly, he looked up at Meng Chong. Only Meng Chong looked up at the sun in the sky and muttered something. Big sun? The golden bell of the great day? From the inside out, or from the outside in? I get it. In a flash, Meng Chong seemed to realize something. 
Only to see his excitement, he took off the clothes on his body, and was bare-chested, revealing his magnificent muscles. Walked out into the sun, took a horse stance, took a deep breath, and then entered a state of cultivation. Li Xian? Regardless of whether or not Meng Chong was thinking the wrong way, as long as he had some clarity and thoughts, this was a good thing. Li Xian decided to observe silently and not interfere with Meng Chang's cultivation. Not afraid of disciples think crookedly, the most afraid of disciples do not have ideas, when Su Yen. Also all kinds of thinking crookedly, all kinds of self-brainstorming, before cultivation success. So it's not scary to think the wrong way. The scary thing is that there are no ideas. Li Xian secretly looked forward to getting up whether Meng Chong could successfully cultivate the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield. I looked up at the sun, it was winter now, it was chilly, and even though there was sun, it wasn't hot enough to get sunstroke. I just don't know what Meng Chong, this disciple, has realized. Li Xian had no thoughts of intervening, since his disciple had some enlightenment, it would be good to observe silently, with his current qi and blood realm consummation, his keen perception as a martial artist. If Meng Chang's cultivation had improved, he would have been able to detect the change. Meng Chong stood under the sun, and the sunlight shone on his body with a hint of warmth. First is to sense qi and blood, how to sense qi and blood. Great sun golden bell shield, should be under the great sun, sense the burning heat, so from the outside to the inside, so that the qi and blood penetrate into the bones, into the internal organs. Since it is impossible to sense the qi and blood from the inside and quench it from the inside out, then with the help of the blazing heat of the great sun, it will stimulate the qi and blood, and then quench it from the outside to the inside. Meng Chang's detailed realization, sunbathing for a long time, gradually he sensed, the warmth on his skin, between breaths, there is a faint warmth of the air surfaced. I sense qi and blood. At this moment, Meng Chong was pleasantly surprised in his heart. The qi and blood slowly converged on the peripheral dermal membrane between the slightest of surges, yet surprisingly, it formed a marvelous echo with the sunlight that was basking on the skin. From the outside to the inside, seeping into the bones and then flowing into the internal organs. This is the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield basic quenching method, cultivating a fleshly golden bell, and then bursting into qi and blood, transforming into a qi and blood golden bell, that is stepping into the qi and blood realm. Meng Chong understood the cultivation process of the Gongfu. The qi and blood were quenched in the skin membrane, yet flowed inward and dispersed in the bones around the body. In this instant, he only felt as if his bones were crawling with ants, and the feeling of soreness and pain, instantly surged. The muscles around his body, couldn't help but shake a few times. But he held back and didn't make a sound, only his breathing was slightly ragged. Is this bone refining? It's a bit hard to bear, but I feel that there seems to be some changes. Meng Chong was pleasantly surprised in his heart. The qi and blood were quenched on the bones for a week, slowly dispersing, and the silk gushed into the internal organs, quenching the fragile internal organs. The first time you refine your organs, you need to control your qi and blood, you can't rush it, you need to refine it slowly and finely. Therefore, Meng Chang's entire body and mind was on running his qi and blood, a thread of qi and blood that flowed between his internal organs. The process of quenching the internal organs was relatively slow, taking a little more time than refining the skin and bones combined, waiting until the first time the internal organs were quenched, the qi and blood turned back into the bones, then turned back to the skin membrane, after forming a cycle. Meng Chong surprised to find that his own body, as if there is a layer of indefinable, indefinable sense of roundness, as if inside and outside of the one, no leakage around the body, as if a big bell cover the body, but also as if the self into a big leakage-free bell. Episode 61 You have to sunbathe to practice the Great Day Golden Bell? Li Xian had been paying attention to Meng Chong, and at this moment, his expression moved as he realized that Meng Chang's physique appeared enhanced, and qi and blood appeared in his body. This is the success of sensing the gong method and starting to cultivate? Li Xian was pleasantly surprised. He silently paid attention, sensing Meng Chang's changes with the acuity of a qi and blood realm perfection martial artist. Is this the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield, the prototype of a fleshly body like a great bell? Meng Chang's physical body had become stronger, and it was overall stronger, and there was a sense of unity between the inside and outside of his body, like a great bell enveloping him. Looking up at the sun, Li Xian fell into deep thought. Could it be that the Great Sun's Golden Bell Shield needed to use the sunlight on the body in order to sense the qi and blood more effectively, in order to cultivate it? If it's a hot summer day, won't you get a heat stroke? How exactly did Meng Chong comprehend this? Why, when he would run under the sun to cultivate, did he succeed in cultivating it? Li Xian had some doubts in his heart. He adhered to the principle that he would only pass on his gongfu and not interfere with his disciple's comprehension, so even if his disciple engaged in the strangest behavior, he decided not to interfere. But Meng Chang's successful cultivation of the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield was actually cultivated under the sun, what if there was no sun, it would be impossible to cultivate? How on earth did he sense it? Li Shen decided to wait for Meng Chong to finish his cultivation and explore how exactly he had come to realize the technique, if there was no sun to shine on him. After all, Meng Chong had practiced martial arts since he was a child and had a strong physique. And his talent might really focus on the physical body. After comprehending the technique of the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield, he had been practicing, and he was not tired from his horse stance, and he had missed the time to cook. However, Li Shen did not disturb his disciples' cultivation. At this time, Sher Air came carrying a chicken. It was already his task to deliver a chicken every day as usual and he was happy to do so. 
only, when he saw Meng Chong in cultivation, he couldn't help but see envy flashing in his eyes. Su Yen, the disciple of a tall man, swept through the divine mighty army all by himself, what a terrifying strength that was. Meng Chong was afraid that he was about to become this kind of, incomparably powerful martial arts powerhouse. Li Xian waved him over. Shi trotted over respectfully, Senior. Can you cook? Li Xian asked blandly. Will, will. Shi was overjoyed in his heart. These days, he had seriously learned how to cook, especially chicken soup. Senpai seems to have a penchant for chicken soup. Go cook, and remember to put nine leaf yuanji or mountain ginseng in the chicken soup stew. Li Xian waved his hand. Yes, elder. Shi was overjoyed, the chance to perform had come. Carried the chicken to butcher and cook it. Three quenching cycles was already the limit. After all, the first time he practiced, being able to quench the cycle three times was enough to show that Meng Chong was gifted in the physical body path. Sure enough. After three quenching cycles, Meng Chong felt an unsustainable situation. At this moment, he opened his eyes, and in an instant, he felt the sensation of hunger. Oops. Forgot to cook. Meng Chong looked at the time and was taken aback. Feeling the hunger in his belly, he looked up at his master and said with some shame, Master, I'll go cook right now. No need, your cultivation initiation, your qi and blood are constantly quenching and consuming, and you're already hungry, it's time to replenish your consumption. Li Xian stood up and took a leisurely pace. Let's eat. Yes, master. Meng Chong breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. Following his master into the dining room, Shi Er had already served the meal. A large pot of chicken soup, fragrant, Meng Chong smelled the flavor, and a feeling of longing was born in his heart. Eat. Li Xian said as he sat down. Yes, master. Meng Chon was so excited that he feasted on it. After a bowl of chicken soup, the qi and blood became full and the hunger was subsiding. Shi Er respectfully retreated to the side and waited for Li Xian's master and disciple to finish their meal. After cleaning up the dishes, Shi Er bowed and said, If senior does not have any orders, I will retire. Li Xian nodded. Shi Er respectfully retired and left. When the master and disciple were left, Li Xian spoke up, Disciple, tell us how it feels to cultivate the great sun golden bell shield. Yes, master. Meng Chong was instantly energized. My disciple suddenly realized that the great sun golden bell shield, to cultivate should be under the great sun, to feel the scorching heat of the great sun, in order to better sense the qi and blood. In order to quench it from the outside to the inside. Meng Chong spoke in detail about the process of his enlightenment and how he had cultivated. Li Xian's face was calm, but in his heart, he was a little confused, this great sun golden bell shield, does it really need to be under the sun to make it easier to cultivate successfully? Or rather, this is just Meng Chang's own epiphany, he only utilized the sun's scorching heat to warm one's body, thus using it to sense the qi and blood, before he cultivated to get started. Li Xian's mind clarified and his thoughts came alive. Meng Chong's sense of cultivation method is correct, as long as the sense of qi and blood do not need to be in the sun can also be cultivated, but Meng Chong is with the help of the sun, feel the warmth of the intention, and thus a flash of light, sense of qi and blood. No. Does the scorching heat of the sun also help to cultivate the great sun golden bell shield? Is it more effective to cultivate than when not in the sun? Li Xian wasn't sure if that was the case. The only way to know if this was the case was to wait until Meng Chang's martial Dao was initiated and he stepped into the Qi and Blood Realm, and after he received feedback, he would be able to obtain the complete Great Sun Golden Bell Shield technique. Waiting for Meng Chong to finish speaking, Li Xian calmly spoke, Disciple, it's a relief for the master that you can have this realization, only, the master and ask you a question. Master, say it. Meng Chong was stunned and said respectfully. If there's no more sun, like on a rainy day, like on a cloudy day, how are you supposed to practice? Since we have to cultivate under the sun, if there is no sun in the weather, can't we cultivate? Not practicing? If it's a cool place, up to three or four months long, with very little sunlight, how can one cultivate? Meng Chong froze. He had just successfully cultivated and realized the method of the great sun golden bell shield, and he was just getting excited. Never thought about it. It's... Meng Chong was confused, and for a moment, he didn't know how to answer. Li Xian then added, there is no sun at night, does that mean you can't cultivate, disciple, you still need to go deeper into your senses? After saying that, he left leisurely with his hands behind his back. Leaving the apprentice alone in a daze. Just give the problem to the disciple and let him realize it. Li Xian believed that Meng Chong would be able to realize it, and when he broke through the barrier, he might be able to realize the true great sun golden bell shield. How do you practice when there's no sun? Not practicing at night? Not practicing on a rainy day? Where is such a gong method, my senses are too shallow. Meng Chong looked up and looked outside, it was already evening, with only the remnants of the setting sun left. 62 Episodes The heart is like a great sun, and its will is clear to all. A gong method that requires sunlight in order to cultivate is not a good gong method, and the disciple must not be allowed to narrow the path, it must be corrected. Leaving the issue of the gong method to his disciple to perceive, Li Xian only needed to silently pay attention. Meng Chong fell into deep thought as he decided to try his hand at night cultivation. In the courtyard, after taking a horse stance, Meng Chong began his cultivation. How come the qi and blood can't be sensed? 
Without the warmth of the sun on his body, Meng Chong was surprisingly unable to sense qi and blood at first when he practiced. Sure enough, it's my comprehension of the gongfu that's wrong. Meng Chong took a deep breath as he sank his heart and sensed himself in detail. At a certain moment, he finally sensed qi and blood. Only that the qi and blood senses were weak, and the quenching speed was too slow, too slow. Why is it that if you're out in the sun, you cultivate faster? Meng Chong fell into deep thought. Li Xian's expression moved slightly, he was also in deep thought, the Meng Chong who practiced at night was clearly much weaker. Something's not right, could it be that the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield really needs to be in the sun to cultivate more efficiently? Li Xian was all a bit confused. He carefully recalled the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield technique that he had made up, and no matter how he looked at it, there was no statement related to practicing under the sun. Could it be, out of the name of the feet? Li Xian couldn't help but fall into deep thought. Let's see how Meng Chong, how to solve this problem. Li Xian decided not to care. Anyway, when he teaches his disciples, he takes the made-up feats and lets the disciples go to their own realization on this theory. How to cultivate successfully is up to the disciple to realize. Meng Chong mobilized his qi and blood to quench himself while carefully comprehending the changes in himself, and with his weak qi and blood, the quenching speed was extremely slow. What exactly is wrong? It can't be that I need to cultivate under the sun in order to do so, it must be that I'm not enlightened enough. Meng Chong carefully sensed the changes in his qi and blood while pushing through the gong method word by word. The Great Sun Golden Bell Shield must be related to the Great Sun, since it is not a must to cultivate under the Great Sun, then. No, the Great Day never disappears. The rain was covered by clouds, and at night it fell temporarily. So the Great Day has always existed. Meng Chang's mind flashed, and vaguely he came to a realization. Master said that it's in the realization, in the intention, I didn't comprehend the intention in the gongfu. That's where I'm lacking. What is the meaning of the golden bell of the great sun? Meng Chong fell into deep thought. At this time, the qi and blood flowed from the bones and the internal organs, the heart was beating, the qi and blood quenched the heart, there was a feeling of warmth and heat, the qi and blood flowed out from the heart, surprisingly, it became thicker and purer. In an instant, Meng Chong felt that he had realized the meaning of the great sun golden bell shield. The meaning of the great sun golden bell shield is naturally the meaning of the great sun, although the great sun in the sky is gone, the great sun of my heart is unchanged. In this instant, Meng Chong only felt as if he had pushed open a window and saw a great sun across the sky. My heart is like a great sun, scorching itself, and its will is clear, sympathetic with the great sun in the sky. Meng Chong entered a state of subtle cultivation. The heart began to beat rhythmically, and a channel of qi and blood, as if bursting out, flowed between the drums, and then between the rest of the internal organs. It was as if he saw that what was beating within his body was not a heart, but a great sun. At a certain moment, in his mind, the image of the great sun in the sky overcoming the sky appeared when he was practicing at noon. The heart and the great sun seemed to be intertwined. Thump thump thump. The heart was beating, and with each beat, it seemed to burst out a mass of qi and blood that flowed between the internal organs, and then to the bones and dermis, and from the dermis to the bones and heart. A complete cycle emerges. As he sympathized with the image of the great sun, his breathing unconsciously became regular, and his heart beat more and more forcefully, and his qi and blood became more and more fiery and intense. At a certain moment, he only felt that his body was hot and dry, his qi and blood spread all over his body. And the sensation of his bones being sore and numb became more and more intense. Moreover, he felt that his own self was as if it was a big bell, and his blood, flesh, skin, bones, and internal organs had all formed a state of roundness. The Great Day of the Golden Bell I finally realized the Kung Fu. Meng Chong was pleasantly surprised in his heart, and he only felt at the moment that his physical body and physique were in the midst of constant enhancement. Round as a big bell. I already feel that there is a sense of a golden bell of flesh. Meng Chong was so excited that at this moment, he had long forgotten about time and kept cultivating. Li Xian had been paying attention to Meng Chong, and the keen senses of a martial artist allowed him to clearly detect the changes in Meng Chang's body. Breathing has become regular, qi and blood are strengthening, qi and blood are round and spread all over the body, inside and outside are united, the flesh is golden bell. In this instant, Li Xian was pleasantly surprised. Meng Chong had comprehended the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield cultivation method. At the moment, he was in the middle of his cultivation. This fleshly body physique, it's actually enhanced with the naked eye, this disciple of mine, is really suitable for practicing the fleshly body path. Meng Chang's physique was in the process of becoming stronger. To take on a disciple, one must have a focus, and it is easier to comprehend the feats within the disciple's talent. Li Xian felt that he had found the criteria for accepting disciples. A new apprentice is a new set of feats. There was no way he could make up dozens or hundreds of new feats and systems. Therefore, the requirement for an apprentice is destined to be an extraordinary talent that can be suitable for codifying new feats. Within a month, will Meng Chong be able to cultivate his way to the door? Li Xian revealed a look of anticipation. Su Yan's talent was undoubtedly demonic, or else he wouldn't have succeeded in cultivating a merit law that he had made up completely blindly. The Gong Fu that Meng Chong cultivated was also made up, but at least it had a reference, and Li Xian was already a martial artist. Furthermore, Meng Chang's talent was truly in the flesh body physique together. 
It's also time to tell Meng Chong about the division of bone refining. The bone refining of the physical body course, comparable to the jade bone, is the Vudra glazed bone. I hope that he can quench this blindly made up Vudra glazed bone of mine. Su Yan was able to temper the jade bone. There's no way Meng Chong can't temper the Vudra glazed bone, right? It still needs some assistance to work. Su Yan also relied on fighting and killing the fire main wolf to break through the jade bone in the first place. Li Xian began to plan Meng Chang's next cultivation. If Meng Chong cultivated the Vajra glazed bone, once he was initiated into martial arts, he would also receive feedback, so what would happen to his jade bone plus Vajra glazed bone? Must be stronger. It's exciting to think about. It's only a matter of time before Meng Chong is introduced to martial arts, next, I should prepare him for martial arts techniques and such. Su Yen is a palm, so Meng Chong will be a fist. As for the stance, the old rule is to draw a Bagua diagram and explain it to him so that he can realize it himself. In addition, I also need to perfect the subsequent system of fleshly body martial arts. Li Xian's mind clarified and he entered into thought, beginning to think about what Meng Chong should cultivate after he had been initiated into the martial Dao. Flesh body martial arts is a system in the martial arts, mainly focusing on the physical body, but not only physical body brute strength of the mangaka, Li Xian needs to perfect it. Making the flesh body martial arts just as powerful and incomparable. Episode 63 Pack it all up for me. In Yunshan County, Meng Chong devoted himself to cultivation, while Shi Er seized the opportunity to come to the door every day to cook, mop the floor, clean the house, and do what a servant should do. Li Xian also put his mind into the great cause of martial arts. Preparing martial arts techniques and feats for Meng Chong, figuring out how to perfect the physical body martial arts system. And the East River County set off the craze of searching for a high person, a group after a group of usually bully men and women, or mixed eating and waiting for death of the playboy, leading the guards, servants, full of big mountain drilling, just to look for a high person, to worship the teacher to learn the real martial arts. Su Yan's strength made them envious. Prior to this, they had no shortage of backstabbing Su Yan, this guy with a not so good brain, but in the end, the real fool is actually myself? Unacceptable. I also want to become a martial arts powerhouse. As a result, the East River County swept up the craze of searching for high profile people, and the figure of searching for high profile people could often be seen in the deserted mountains where there were usually few people. Young Wang, what a coincidence, have you found a high ranking person? What about you, Tian Shao? No, I've been over a few big mountains, and I've even encountered big bugs, and I haven't found any tall people. Me too. Alas, where did you say that guy Su Yen, where did he find a high ranking person? Is it not in the mountains, is it in the city? How can it be in the city, high people are bound to live in seclusion in the mountains, if it were in the city, wouldn't everyone know about it? No more chit chat, I have to check out that big mountain up ahead, what, you've already been there? In the wilderness? There are teams of seekers of the high and mighty who meet and share their insights with each other. At the same time, they express their envy and jealousy towards Su Yen to each other. And Su Yen, who was the one who had collapsed the worldview of the people of Dongha County, as well as collapsing the worldview of Qi's group of ministers, was in the treasury of the imperial palace. Good stuff. Worthy of a royal treasure trove. Su Yen couldn't help but sigh as he looked at the contents of the treasure trove. Things of gold and silver no longer make it into the treasury. What rare jades, night pearls, nine leaf UNG, thousand year mountain ginseng and so on are all of great value, and the stash is amazing. Mr. Su, which treasures do you need? Give an order and the old slave will have someone load them up for you. The chief eunuch said with a fawning smile. Su Yen turned around in the treasure trove and suddenly realized that in the treasure trove, there was actually a sword and a knife placed. Weapons that could be collected into the royal treasury were naturally not bad, Su Yen came to be interested and walked forward to pick up the sword on the shelf. The chief eunuch bowed and accompanied the entire time, his face smiling fawningly. In his eyes, he was a bit puzzled. When was this knife and sword in the collection? Su Yen drew his sword and unsheathed it, and all of a sudden, he only felt a stern intent emerge, and the sword's light was cold and chilly, reflecting on his face with an overpowering chill. The chief eunuch couldn't help but take two steps back. A face of astonishment, when did the treasure trove have such a sword? This sword, at a glance, is not a mundane item. Su Yen looked at the sword in his hand, but he was pleasantly surprised, this sword was not ordinary. It didn't seem to be a pure sword of steel, the chi and blood surged in his palm, and he actually had a feeling that it was, well, infused into the sword. Moreover, with a buzzing sound, the sword light was unexpectedly a few points more severe under the impetus of chi and blood. Treasure sword. With the sword sword in its sheath, Su Yen did not put it back, but hung it on his waist. This sword, he'll take it. The eyes went to the knife. Reaching for it, he was stunned. What a heavy knife. Even if one was a top expert in the Jianghu, I am afraid that he would not be able to execute this sword, unless he was a person whose natural strength was different from the norm. Sheathe your sword. This blade, like the sword, is not a bad-looking one. The blade was thick and heavy, with a blood-red line in the middle of the blade, and the blade was like cold ice, giving it a sense of sharpness when looking at it. Good knife. Su Yen marveled in his heart. Although he didn't like the heavy knife, but since it was a precious knife, there was no reason not to take it with him. So take the knife in your hand. Mr. Su, what else do you see? I'll have someone load it up and send it to the mansion. The chief eunuch was busy fawning his face forward and said. I'll look again. 
Su Yen continued to wander around the treasure trove. The royal treasury, with its vast collection of jade, sculptures, paintings and calligraphy, etc., are all masterpieces, or masterpieces that have been passed down through several dynasties. Characters and paintings and stuff, they're not useful to me and I don't like them, so I don't want them. Su Yen looked at the collections in the calligraphy and painting section, shook his head, and prepared to leave. Wait, I don't read it, but master might like it. Su Yen suddenly thought of it, his own master is a worldly master, reading calligraphy and painting to cultivate the sentiment is the standard of a worldly master, right? Maybe master likes it? There are also these jade carvings. Night jewels, precious medicines are naturally required. Took another look around the treasure trove and weeded out some of the things that really weren't of much use and could only be used as decoration with little value. Something I picked out. Su Yen looked at the chief eunuch and said. Mr. Su Yusei, I will immediately call someone to install it. The chief eunuch breathed a sigh of relief and said with a fawning smile. This one, this one, these stones, empty of shape and of little use, none of them. Su Yen pointed to the stones that had empty shapes but no practical use to exclude them. Everything else, pack it up for me. Okay, Su, huh? The chief eunuch's face froze with a smile. Pack it all up and take it with you? Isn't that part of the selection? Those stones, they were the former emperor's favorite things, so they were thrown into the treasury. It's the only thing in the whole treasure trove that has little value. Other than that, you're packing it all up? The chief eunuch was a bit dumbfounded, and carefully said, Prince Su, in this treasury, there are a lot of things, accumulated by the royal family over the years, which are packed away. Su Yen gave a strange look at the chief eunuch and said, didn't Emperor Qi say that he could take whatever he wanted? I've got my eye on all of them, can't I take them? No, it's... The chief eunuch was in a cold sweat, where is this? I told you to take whatever you like, but I didn't tell you to empty it. Su Yen looked at his hesitant demeanor and frowned, saying, what, is the old Qi emperor playing tricks on me? What about the promise that a gentleman has no jokes, that he can take whatever he sees, but when I see it, he won't let me take it? What do you take me, Su Yen, for? I thought that old Emperor Qi was quite nice, to dare to go back on his word in front of me, Su Yen? Su Yen spoke angrily at the end of his words. Going to go and settle the score with Emperor Qi. Scared, the chief eunuch almost pissed himself, busily saying, Sir Su, Sir Su, you've misunderstood, what I mean is that there's a lot of stuff here and it takes time to pack it up, so I'm afraid of delaying Sir Su's precious time. Panicking and changing his words, this if he really went to Qi Huang and beat him up, he wouldn't want this little life. And, it will die a horrible death. It's just a treasure. I'm sure his majesty will allow it if he knows about it. That's okay, have someone pack it up, I can afford to wait this long. Su Yan's face slowed down as he said. Yes, yes, I'll have someone come and pack it. The chief eunuch ordered people to load up all the things in the treasury while having people report to Emperor Qi. Episode 64 Emptying the Royal Treasure Trove Emperor Qi was taking a rare moment to relax himself and was lounging at a certain noble consort's place. A eunuch came in a hurry. What is it? Emperor Qi asked majestically. Ever since Su Yan's strong arrival in the capital, his towering imperial majesty had been greatly impacted. Even the people felt that he, the emperor of Qi, was nothing more than that, and their fear of him was much less than before. The group of ministers is even more so. Only in front of this group of eunuchs was he, Emperor Qi, able to show his imperial majesty. Your majesty, eunuch Su, he. The eunuch's eyes were averted and hesitant. What happened to Xu Yan? Speak. Emperor Qi's face changed slightly. Eunuch Su, he, he took the royal treasury and emptied it. The eunuch bowed his head and said. Emptied, emptied. Qi Huang's brain buzzed, and one hand covered his chest as the muscles in his face twitched. I, though, say, take whatever you see. What the fuck, you didn't empty it out, did you? Su Yan's little child is really not polite at all. Taking a few deep breaths, Qi Huang calmed his agitated heart, and his face regained its calm demeanor. Su Yan likes it ah, if you like it, just like it, despite moving away, you go tell Su Yan, if you lack anything, you can go to the treasury to take a look, if there is something you like, also despite taking it. Emperor Qi waved his hand in a rather bold manner. Yes, your majesty. After the eunuch left. Emperor Qi took a deep breath and ordered, Go, tell the imperial catering room to stew nine leaf yuanji for me to replenish my body. I have to replenish my body to be able to do it, just now I almost smoked over, or my body is too weak ah. For the sake of Qi's kingdom, come to the harem a little less in the future, you can't shortchange your body. Emperor Qi gritted his teeth and made a ruthless decision. It wasn't long before a eunuch trotted over. Your majesty, the nine leaf yuanji is gone. Emperor Qi was instantly furious. What, you lackeys, how dare you deceive me? Could it be that you think that I don't know that there are still a few plants stored in the treasury? Su Yan has a powerful martial arts path in his body, he can leave me out of it, how dare these lackeys? Want to revolt? Emperor Qi was furious. Men, drag him down and behead him. The eunuch fell to his knees with a plop, your majesty, spare your life, the nine leaf UNG has already been emptied by Mr. Su. Emperor Qi. After waving his hand feebly and letting the eunuch go down, Emperor Qi looked up at the sky, could it be me, too much harsh taxation? 
Too much killing? That's why I have this retribution? How come those real tyrants in history didn't have this retribution? God is unfair. Su Yen naturally does not know that the Emperor of Qi is at this moment in the palace to feel sorry for himself, after he emptied the treasury of treasures that looked good. The Emperor of Qi also let people send word that if it is not enough can go to the treasury to take a look. The old man Emperor Qi is quite generous. Favorability towards Emperor Qi has increased. Su Yen pulled two large carts of treasures back from the palace, Huo Rongshan's mouth twitched, this grandson of his, is really not polite at all. Since we have moved back, there is naturally no reason to return it. Grandpa, I'm going back to East River County. Su Yen is ready to go back. The matter of Dongha County, just leave it to your father to deal with, it can't be messed up, and this Qi country can't be messed up either. Guo Rongshan thought for a moment and said, those people from the Heavenly Mother sect, as long as they don't rebel, if they can be used, if they do rebel, they should be killed, it's not a good thing if Qi is in chaos. He has a reputation among the people, but he is a great virtue and sage, how to do something to maintain the image. The Heavenly Mother sect is not all crazy, and its followers are spread all over Qi, Wu, and even northern barbarians, they are well informed and can be utilized on, these your father has a number in mind, so you don't have to care much. Guo Rongshan thought for a moment, that son-in-law of his is a capable person, how to utilize the spread of news of the Heavenly Mother sect, with the intelligence gathering ability, he has a number in mind. Don't worry grandpa, I know. Su Yan nodded. Yenner, you this martial arts method, can ordinary people cultivate it? Guo Rongshan asked with some color of expectation. I don't know, I'd have to ask master. Su Yan scratched his head. Okay, you ask. I know. Su Yan nodded. Of the treasures that had come to be moved from the Qi Emperor's treasury, Su Yan was going to take a portion of them back to Donghai County to give to his master. Nine leaf UNG and other precious medicines, naturally, were to be taken away. As well as some precious calligraphy and paintings, and precious jades. That night, Su Yan cultivated in his small courtyard. Between the drumming of Qi and blood, it was in the midst of constant enhancement, and the law of the innate realm, Su Yan felt that it was just one opportunity away from being enlightened. As he cultivated, Su Yan felt that he wasn't far away from the great achievement of the Qi and blood realm. The breakthrough is just two or three days away. Su Yan had left the capital, and Emperor Qi in the palace breathed a sigh of relief. The group of ministers also breathed a sigh of relief. Su Yan's presence was as if a huge mountain was pressing down on top of their heads, ready to crumble down and smash them into mincemeat. Now that Su Yan had left, it was as if a huge mountain above his head had disappeared. Qi Wangfu was still high and mighty, Guo Rongshan, the king with a different surname, the Grand Pavilion Master in the Crown Prince's upper division, is still in a high position of power, and the ministers do not dare to have any objections even if they are unconvinced. The royal treasury was emptied by Su Yen, the Emperor of Qi directly showed his cards, let the ministers send some treasures to the palace, who dared not to send, directly removed from office, serious plagiarism. Anyway, nowadays, the court, because of Su Yen, is not what it used to be. Guo Rongshan didn't say a word, his grandson had emptied Emperor Qi's treasure trove, how could he ask Emperor Qi to replenish it back? The fastest and most direct way to add to the list is naturally from the group of ministers. The group of ministers cursed in their hearts, but they were forced to dig out. After all, searching for a high-ranking person still requires power, without the identity of the court official, how to recruit guards, how to go searching for a high-ranking person. East River County Su Family Su Juanho was entertaining Jiang Pingshan and Ko Ruoji, and smiled as he opened his mouth, Yenner will be coming back soon, and with the vacancy of the county governor of Donghai County, do you two have a candidate to put forward? Jiang Pingshan glanced at Ko Ruoji and said, Donghai County is ultimately a county of Qi, and Elder Su still needs to be more cautious in hiring people. Ko Ruoji raised his eyebrows and sneered, Donghai County is the Su family's Donghai County, what business is it of the Qi kingdom? What business is it of Emperor Qi's old man? Master Su's decisions are none of Emperor Qi's business. Jiang Pingshan's face darkened. He was silent, Ko Ruoji was clearly ready to defect to the Su family, having already made his attitude clear, and I'm afraid there wasn't any doubt that Donghai County belonged to the Su family. Su Juan has still smiled, his demeanor unchanged, and continued, the law and order of Donghai County still requires Brother Jiang to take more care of it, and the Donghai General's Mansion, is still the General's Mansion. Understood, if Master Su has anything to do, just command. Jiang Pingshan clasped his fists. There was some bloom in his heart, originally this was in-laws and Su Yan was his son-in-law. As a result, one wrong step, the situation has been a world of difference. There is another candidate for the East River Sheriff, Koruwaji you'll be a staffer's, Su Fu's staffer, you're a celestial mother called wise man, you should understand my intentions. Su Juan has smiled and said. Understood. Koruwaji has some regrets. However, he also knew that the Heavenly Mother sect was ultimately just a sect and could hardly rise to great heights. Today's Qi is not a time of disaster or war, and the people are stable, so there is no opportunity for rebellion. In the East River County, everyone is looking for a high-ranking person, Ko Ruoji, you have to keep an eye on it. Do you understand? After letting Jiang Pingshan leave, Su Juan has solemnly said to Ko Ruoji. I understand. Ko Ruoji nodded. Higher man, in Yunshan County yet, but no one dares to bother. Episode 65 Su Yen is back. Su Yen is back. Carrying a large package back. 
Master, I'm back. Su Yan put down the package and saluted respectfully. Well, well, it's good to be back. Li Xian nodded. Come, this is your senior brother Meng Chong, and this is your senior brother Su Yan. Li Xian called Meng Chong to him. Meng Chong pays his respects to senior brother. Meng Chong respectfully saluted. You're welcome, senior brother. Su Yan returned the salute, and in his heart, he was a little surprised that Master had taken on an apprentice. Senior brother, this is senior brother's meeting gift. Since there was a senior brother, he, who was the eldest senior brother, should also show something. Su Yan was in his parcel, pulling out the large knife. This, thank you senior brother. Meng Chong touched his bare head and naively took the big sword. The entry was a heavy one, and he was pleasantly surprised when he slightly unsheathed his sword. This knife, it seems extraordinary. Li Xian's expression moved slightly, that blade did not look like an unusual steel sharp edge. Apprentice, where did you get this knife? Master, I got these from the palace treasury, I took these from the palace treasury. Su Yan smiled excitedly and opened the package, treasured medicines, paintings and calligraphy, precious jades and other rare treasures. Master, this is the gift my apprentice brought you. Have a heart. Li Xian's heart was pleased that his disciple was so filial. None of these things, however, were much on his radar anymore. After all, after becoming a martial artist, one's mindset and vision were different. Meng Chong looked envious, and muttered in his heart, elder brother from the palace. To the master to find gifts, I worship until now, have not given gifts to the master. When I've achieved success in my martial arts, I'll make a trip back to the kingdom of Wu, look for the emperor of Wu to get the 100,000 tails of gold, and by the way, go to his treasure trove to see if there are any treasures. Li Xian sat down on a chair and asked about what happened to Su Yan, and Su Yan, one by one, told the whole thing in detail. I didn't think that the old man, Emperor Qi, was quite nice. At the end of his words, Su Yan hemmed and hawed. Li Xian sighed in his heart, Emperor Qi was a resolute fellow, using his reputation to trap Guo Rongshan, for the sake of the reputation of the great virtue sage, Guo Rongshan would definitely not rebel until he had no choice. Apprentice, you must remember that your strength is already above the imperial power and above the Qi kingdom, there's no need to be fearful when dealing with it. Yes, master. Su Yan nodded his head as he spoke of the Heavenly Mother sect again, that what's his name, Koruaji, even wanted to worship me as the Heavenly Duke Great Sage and tie me to the Heavenly Mother sect, how delusional. Li Xian froze, Heavenly Duke Great Sage? So coincidentally, that night the old man in hemp clothes and the magistrate of Yunshan County, they wanted to worship him as the Great Sage of Heaven. And that Koruaji from the county was even going to worship Su Yan as the Heavenly Duke Great Sage, so one could only say that the guys from the Heavenly Mother sect, I'm afraid, had been looking for a suitable person to be some kind of Heavenly Duke Great Sage. That's why it's such a coincidence. Su Yan returned, both disciples were present, Li Xian put more thoughts on the great cause of martial arts, especially Meng Chong flesh body together, how to subsequently cultivate in perfect. Master. There seems to be something different about the gong method that senior brother cultivates. Meng Chong was diligent in his cultivation, and more than half of his time, day in and day out, was spent on cultivation. Su Yan looked at it for a while, revealing a puzzled expression. Meng Chang's natural talent is in his physical body and physique, and what my master has passed on to him is the physical body martial Dao, which focuses on the cultivation of the physical body. Li Xian called Meng Chong over. It was time to explain to the disciples the issue of the martial arts system, and in the future, any new disciples would probably start a branch of martial arts. Su Yan, you cultivate the orthodox martial Dao, the jade bones are flawless, the martial Dao is pure, you've already done it, the cultivation of the orthodox martial Dao, for the teacher doesn't need to say much, you should also understand. Li Xian's mysterious aura enveloped his surroundings, and under the state of clarified mind, he appeared even more inscrutable at this moment. Su Yan and Meng Chong, both of them were shocked in their hearts, Master was truly mysterious. Meng Chong cultivates the way of the flesh martial arts, focusing on physical cultivation, a strong strength, embodied in the flesh, but not brute force reckless. Great Sun Golden Bell Shield, is the foundation realm of the physical body martial Dao, where the qi and blood are like golden bells, condensed in one's own body, and the defense is unparalleled. Li Xian briefly explained the flesh body martial Dao. The ultimate level of the foundation of the orthodox martial way is to temper the jade bones, the jade bones are flawless, the martial way is pure, this is the supreme foundation of the martial way. And the extreme level of the foundation of the physical body martial Dao is the Vudra glazed bone. The only way to quench the Vudra glazed bone is to make it the supreme foundation of the physical body martial Dao. Meng Chong do you understand? Li Shen looked at Meng Chong and asked seriously when he reached the end of his sentence. Meng Chang's heart fluttered as he respectfully said, I understand, and I will certainly not let master down, I will definitely quench the Vudra glazed bone. It is comforting to the master that you have this firm conviction. Li Xian nodded. Master, which is stronger, the orthodox martial Dao or the physical body martial Dao? Su Yan couldn't help but ask. Flesh body martial arts sounds uncomplicated ah, cultivation success great sun golden bell, body like a golden bell, defense is unparalleled, difficult to break the defense. And the strength of the physical body, too, was extremely powerful. Li Xian said with a bland smile, whether it's the orthodox martial Dao or the flesh body martial Dao, there's no distinction between strength and weakness, strength and weakness is only divided into people. 
Orthodox martial arts practitioners, who enter with golden bones, and physical martial arts practitioners, who enter with bronze bones, which is stronger or weaker. Even though both of them started with the golden bone, who is stronger and who is weaker? Who can sense deeper, who has more experience in dealing with the enemy, naturally who is stronger? Su Yen nodded silently, his face showing excitement as he looked at Meng Chong and said, Senior brother, when you're initiated, let's spar, the outside world's Jiang Hu masters, they're all too weak, it's not interesting at all. Good. Senior brother wait for me to get started. Meng Chong also had an excited look on his face. Master, can ordinary people cultivate martial arts? I want to pass on martial arts to my family so they can try it. Su Yen lowered his head and peeked at Li Xian and said, Whether or not the Kung Fu can be spread out. This is only possible with the permission of the master. If you want to pass it on, pass it on, but whether or not you can cultivate and get started, and how long it will take, that's unknown, everyone's martial talent, is different, and even those who don't have a martial talent, I'm afraid that in their entire life, they won't be able to get started. Li Xian nodded his head after a moment's contemplation and allowed Su Yen to outsource his techniques. The Kung Fu that had been perfected and passed on to others received very low feedback, but what if there were many people practicing it? A little goes a long way, maybe it will make a difference? Since Su Yen wanted to pass it on, it was just the right time to try. The feedback of the golden finger, the biggest gain, undoubtedly, is the prodisciple, cultivating the success of the gong method that he made up, and it is a non-repeating gong method, if the gong method is perfected out, and then passed on to other disciples, the feedback is not high. Yet it doesn't mean there is no feedback, just very low feedback. What if the kung fu was widely disseminated? With more people practicing, under the accumulation of small amounts, there might be unexpected gains. Li Xian so think, from Su Yan outgoing gong fu try, after all, how many people can cultivate the success of the law, is still an unknown quantity. Martial arts, after all, picks talent. Thank you, master. Su Yan was excited. Cultivate well, strengthening yourself is fundamental, there is no end to the martial arts path. Li Xian encouraged. Episode 66 Su Yan's qi and blood have come to fruition, and he realizes the techniques of the innate realm. After Su Yan got the master's permission, he once again made a trip home to pass on his parents' method of martial arts cultivation, and the foundation of martial arts cultivation naturally started from sensing the qi and blood. And then refining the skin. For this reason, he deliberately brought back a nine-leaf UNG for his parents to use to aid in their cultivation and sense their qi and blood. The current core guards of the Su family were apothecary pan with a dozen or so guards that could be called dead soldiers, all of which had been secretly trained by Su Juanha. Apothecary pan possessed the strength of a Jiang Hu top expert, and the remaining dozen or so guards were all first-rate experts. And pan pharmacist is also able to brew tonic medicine. Since they were core members of the Su family, Su Yan also passed on the martial arts method to them, as to whether they could cultivate successfully and whether they were gifted or not, it was up to their own destiny. Of course, Su Yan had only passed on the skin refining, bone refining, and organ refining methods, and the qi and blood realm techniques had not been passed on. The qi blood realm was too far away from them. Su Yan, who had just returned to Donghe County, once again set out for the capital to pass on the gongfu to his uncle, cousin, and the others. In Yunshan County, Li Xian leisurely sat on a chair. Meng Chong was diligently cultivating as always, and as he did, the fleshly golden bell grew stronger and stronger, and his bones had been tempered to the stage of iron bones. Shirer also came to the door every day, cooking, cleaning and other dry chores, and was hardworking, a good errand boy, Li Xian decided to pass on his method of martial arts refining skin. Shirer himself was a Jiang Hu supreme expert, if he had a talent for martial arts, sensing qi and blood, after refining the skin, his strength would increase considerably, and the speed of completing the refining of the skin would not be too slow. Shirer, come here. Li Xian beckoned. Elder, what are your orders? Shirer trotted over and bowed to ask. You are a resourceful and hardworking person, so be it. I'm traveling in the world and I'm short of an errand boy to do odd jobs, are you willing? Li Xian asked with a calm and unperturbed expression. Willingly, willingly, this is my little one's supreme chance. Shirer was so excited that he fell to his knees with a plop. Shirer, greetings to the Lord. Knock, knock. Well, get up. Li Xian nodded and said, then I will pass on the method of martial arts initiation to you, whether or not you can get started depends on your own talent and chance. Yes, thank you Lord. A heart thumped violently in Shirji. Finally, he himself had a chance, to become a martial arts powerhouse. The first thing in martial arts cultivation is to sense the qi and blood, and then refining the skin, today we'll pass you the method of refining the skin, whether or not you can start, and look at your own talent creation. Li Xian passed on the martial dao skin refining method to Shirer. As for the subsequent bone refining and organ refining, he would teach them after he was able to sense qi and blood, and after the skin refining was completed. Thank you, Lord. Sure Air was thrilled. Go and sense on your own and find yourself a room to stay in. Li Xian waved his hand. Since Sure Air had become a servant, he naturally had to stay in the courtyard and take care of all the miscellaneous work. Yes. Sure Air respectfully retreated. Qi capital, because of Su Yan's arrival again, the Qi emperor and the group of ministers, once again became cautious, as if a big mountain was hanging over their heads, this suffocating feeling, the Qi emperor and the group of ministers became more and more determined to look for martial arts masters. The only way to move the mountain hanging over your head is to find a martial arts expert. 
After Su Yan had imparted his martial arts techniques, he didn't return to Donghe County right away, but instead stayed at the Qi Wangfu for a while. It's about to break through the Qi and blood great achievement. Su Yan, who was in the middle of his cultivation, was invigorated, and he was only a foot away from the Qi and blood realm's great accomplishment. I'm almost done comprehending the techniques of the innate realm, I've got some eyebrows, and it won't be long before I'll be able to comprehend them after I reach the grand completion of the Qi and blood realm. After the great completion of the Qi and blood realm, it was one step closer to the second realm of the martial Tao, the innate realm. After the Qi and blood have become great, strive for Qi and blood perfection within a month. Su Yan set a goal for himself. Boom! The Qi and blood stirred and became more and more massive, the jade bones seemed to glow, the Qi and blood continued to purify as well as grow, and it was close to the realm of the great accomplishment of a hundred feet of Qi and blood. At a certain moment, as if the Qi and blood had crossed a chasm, it surged, and the purity of the Qi and blood was three times better, and a Qi and blood rushed up to a hundred feet away. Boom! Immediately afterward, the hundred feet of Qi and blood that rushed up into the sky transformed into a crimson dragon, as if it had risen up to the sky. The commotion of Su Yan's breakthrough was not small, Guo Rongshan and the others were all startled, and they were shocked to see a hundred foot dragon, rising from Su Yan's courtyard. Yenner's strength, it's increased again? Yes, yes. Wei Rongshan's father and son were overjoyed. Qi Wangfu was not far from the palace, at this moment, Qi Emperor looked at the direction of Qi Wangfu, his whole body was not good, was Su Yan's little child showing off his force? Is this an increase in strength? At this moment, Emperor Qi felt a sense of urgency, he had to find a martial arts expert as soon as possible. In the crown prince's east palace, the third prince excitedly commanded, quickly, prepare a gift, I'm going to pay my respects to my benefactor. The ministers were shocked, the home dude, after a whipping, all driven out to search for the high man. The grand prince was completely unable to sit still, and led his guards to leave the capital that day, and personally went to search for a high-ranking person. On this day, the capital city of Qi was again destined to be unsettled, and another fervor to find a high-ranking person was set off. The originator Su Yen, on the other hand, was immersed in the breakthrough wonderful, feeling his own strength enhancement, only after the breakthrough, he was more shocked to realize the power of the master. When master first showed me the image of the great completion of Qi and blood, that majestic aura, that vastness of infinite Qi and blood, it was so much stronger than what I have now. Su Yen felt some shame in his heart, I'm still too weak, even if I cultivate the jade bone, I'm still far from it. Master's realm is unfathomable, but the image of the great completion of the Qi and blood realm that he showed me should be what master was like when he was at the great completion of the Qi and blood realm, so it seems that I am too far behind. No wonder master has been telling me to abstain from arrogance, I'm not strong enough yet. The deeper I thought the more I felt the power of the master. Although not as powerful as master, it is by no means weaker than the ancient celestial pride, or even stronger, so I don't have to be presumptuous. Su Yan gave himself encouragement in his heart. Master was too strong, an insurmountable mountain, but as long as he had this belief, he would certainly be able to keep getting closer to master's height, and perhaps one day, he would be able to reach a height that was alongside master. Qi and blood collected. Su Yan exhaled. The qi and blood have come to fruition, and the techniques of the innate realm are becoming clearer and clearer to me. Su Yan entered the room, sat cross-legged on the bed, exhaled a breath, and his mind gradually clarified, entering the state of forgetting things. The only thing that could be found was a metaphysical realization that gradually surfaced in the mind. The method of cultivation of the innate realm was becoming clearer and clearer, slowly as if it was a thread that would slowly be strung together. How to open the bridge between heaven and earth, how to condense qi and blood into innate true qi, how to gulp down heaven and earth's aura and open up the sea of qi and dantian. The gong method was becoming clearer and clearer, and it was as if the scene of, when he broke through the innate realm, how he gulped in the spiritual qi of heaven and earth, was floating in his mind. Opening the bridge between heaven and earth, sensing the aura of heaven and earth, channeling the aura into the two bridges of heaven and earth, and opening up the sea of qi in the dantian. Su Yan's face revealed a look of excitement. The more he sensed, the more the law of the innate realm became more and more perfect, the order of the breakthroughs, the process of cultivation, one by one, they all surfaced in his mind. I finally have understood the innate realm technique, only waiting for the qi and blood realm to be perfected, then I can proceed to break through the innate realm. Su Yan opened his eyes, his expression agitated. Episode 67 We've broken through the innate realm. Cloudy Hill County Li Shen looked at Meng Chang who was practicing diligently, and every day, he could sense that Meng Chang's physical body was getting stronger, and was satisfied in his heart. Meng Chang's physique is getting stronger and stronger, and it won't be too far away from quenching out the bronze bone. And quenching out the gold bone shouldn't be any problem for him. Vajra glazed bone, that's a bit difficult. When Su Yin cultivated, the gongfu he passed on was after all blindly made up, without the slightest tangible gongfu for reference, relying solely on Su Yan's own brainstorming to perfect it. The difficulty of cultivation was naturally higher than Meng Chong. As for Su Yan, he had quenched the jade bone by fighting and killing the fire main wolf, thereby breaking the shackles and quenching the jade bone. If Meng Chong wanted to temper the Vajra glazed bone, I'm afraid that he would also need to oppress himself and break his shackles in order to temper it. Where do you find fire main wolves? The endless mountains? Li Xian fell into deep thought, it may not be necessary for a fire main wolf while, what's needed for a breakthrough is to break the shackles, so. He came up with an idea. Perhaps it could help Meng Chong break the shackles and temper the Vajra glazed bone. 
Will Meng Chong be able to quench his golden bones in a month? I'm afraid it won't be too far off. Li Xian estimated Meng Chang's cultivation progress. Once Meng Chang's martial Dao is initiated, I'll be able to obtain the Vidra Glazed Bone, Jade Bone Vidra Glazed Bone, how powerful would that be? When he thought of the harvest that the Golden Finger had fed back after Meng Chong had entered the gate, Li Xian was filled with anticipation. Sure Air was cultivating diligently in his spare time, and now that he had sensed qi and blood, he was preparing to refine his skin. Indeed, martial arts also require talent, Sure Air's talent, compared to Meng Chong and Su Yan, is much worse. Li Shen looked at Sure Air's cultivation speed and couldn't help but sigh. Even if the martial arts spread out, I am afraid that those who can successfully cultivate the initiation will not be too many, but with more people practicing, the base is large. And the number of people who can successfully cultivate the initiation will not be too small in fact. Suddenly, golden light surfaced. Your disciple, Su Yan, has reached the grand completion of the Qi and Blood realm, doubling your Qi and Blood. Boom! The Qi and Blood in his body surged and doubled in an instant. Li Xian was pleasantly surprised, Su Yan had already attained Qi and Blood completion, and was not far from Qi and Blood perfection. Then, the next step was to break through the innate realm. He compiled the second realm of the martial arts all innate realm, a realm that is truly detached from the mundane, can royal Qi to take off into the air, instantaneous breath a hundred miles. This was truly having the demeanor of a martial arts powerhouse. Although the Qi and Blood realm could also fly and sweep, it was not airborne flight after all, the two were completely different. After accepting a new disciple, the gold finger feeds back the harvest and has prompted for the disciple's name. Li Xian noticed the change in the information fed back by the golden finger. Within a month, Su Yan will almost have his Qi and Blood perfected, right? Li Xian fell into deep thought. With Su Yan's cultivation speed, within a month, he should, almost, be able to complete his Qi and Blood. It was just that he didn't know if he would be able to comprehend the techniques of the innate realm. Let's hope it can work, my disciple don't let my master down. Li Xian had high hopes for Su Yan. Your disciple, Su Yan, has successfully comprehended the innate realm technique you compiled, and you've broken through the innate realm. Suddenly, golden light surfaced. In this instant, Li Xian only felt that the qi and blood around his body was condensing into an a true qi. Boom boom boom. It was as if the sound of thunder resounded within his body, and a mysterious feeling surfaced in his heart. As if he could connect to heaven and earth, sensing the presence of heaven and earth's aura. The heaven and earth bridge is through. Boom. Guiding the spiritual qi of heaven and earth into the body, the body was like a storm had been set off, and the Dantian qi sea opened up. At this moment, Li Xian was completely immersed in the mysteries of the breakthrough. The technique of the innate realm surfaced in the mind, how subtle it was. As the spiritual qi of heaven and earth entered the body, the huge qi and blood around the body, condensed into innate true qi, the physical body was in metamorphosis, as if it was detached from the mundane world, and the dust and dirt around the body was removed. The jade bones blossomed with gorgeous light, and his body was pure and without leakage, not tainted with a trace of the turbid air of mortal dust. As Li Xian was breaking through the innate realm, a mysterious metamorphosis occurred around his body, the aura of heaven and earth surged into his body, and innate true qi continued to emerge. The moment the bridge between heaven and earth was connected, it was as if it connected heaven and earth and the underworld, sensing the presence of heaven and earth's aura and guiding it into the body. Open the Qihai Dantian and condense the innate true qi. The physical body metamorphosed, the jade bones were born with splendor, and the innate was without leakage. The turbid qi of mortal dust, at this moment, seemed to be washed clean and returned to the state of the innate. Li Xian was still sitting on the chair, as if it was the same as always, without any abnormalities, without the slightest movement of a breakthrough. Only Li Xian himself knew that at this moment, he had already crossed a heavenly barrier and stepped into the innate realm. This is innate. Li Xian's heart was thrilled as he sensed his own state. Good apprentice. Surprisingly, he had comprehended the innate realm Gongfu in advance, and the golden finger had directly fed back his innate realm strength. Therefore, even if Su Yan didn't break through the innate realm, as long as he came to his realization ahead of time, the golden finger would still feed back the harvest. Su Yan had comprehended the Gongfu, which meant that his breakthrough into the innate was on the cards. Li Xian guided the heaven and earth aura into his body, feeling the storm-like power that came through the heaven and earth bridge, his heart was excited and at the same time had some doubts. Why did it feel like, the aura of heaven and earth was somewhat not mild enough? If it wasn't for the heaven and earth bridge connecting heaven and earth, I'm afraid that it wouldn't even be able to contain the aura into the body. The aura of heaven and earth can cause one's strength to skyrocket, it is a powerful energy, and it is normal that it is not gentle. Li Xian felt that the aura of heaven and earth, not being gentle enough didn't seem to be an uncommon thing? Didn't go any deeper on the subject. As long as there was an aura present, as long as one could continue to cultivate on and could keep getting stronger. Mild or not, it doesn't matter, it's not like it's going to cause any harm. The innate has transcended the mundane, and I can now say that I am not of the mortal world. Pure and flawless, untainted by the air of mortal dust, as long as there is the aura of heaven and earth, you can eat or drink nothing. Li Xian's heart was invigorated, this was only the second realm of the martial Tao that he had compiled, and it was already so strong. The innate ones, who gulped in the spiritual qi of heaven and earth, could already abstain from eating. How long can you live in the innate realm and how much is your lifespan? Li Xian suddenly fell into deep thought, with martial arts cultivation. 
life expectancy naturally far exceeded that of ordinary people. With just the qi and blood realm, the lifespan was already extraordinary. There's no set number for just how long you'll live, though. The lifespan of the qi and blood realm, it won't be short, especially after quit. Li Xian slightly closed his eyes, his mind clarified, silently projecting the changes in the qi and blood realm, as well as the changes after breaking through the innate realm, as a way to project the limit of his lifespan. After completing the refining of the organs, the internal organs are strengthened and energized, and the lifespan is much longer than an ordinary person. So, in general, in the qi and blood realm, one lives for two or three hundred years. Hardening out the golden bone, the lifespan is longer, at least three hundred or more, jade bone, five hundred years? Li Xian was suddenly a bit shocked, had he made a mistake in his projections, if that was the case, just being an initiator of the martial arts, one would have such a long lifespan to live? I'm projecting based on the changes in the body in the time of qi and blood exhaustion after the introduction of martial arts, roughly it won't be much worse, so innate realm life expectancy, more than a thousand years? I'm a bit of a cow with this martial arts coding, the second martial arts realm, I'll be able to live for more than a thousand years. Li Xian's heart was invigorated, at this moment he had an intuition that the division of longevity in the martial arts path had already been finalized. He projected correctly. Perhaps this intuition is feedback from Goldfinger? The Episode 68 Meng Chang's golden bell shield is too powerful. The ascended realm had already detached itself from the mundane, and in the eyes of ordinary people. There wasn't much difference between it and the gods. A lifespan of a thousand years is actually within reason. Gulping down the aura of heaven and earth, the innate true qi is unceasing, and the longevity of his life is naturally extraordinary. And if it was a jade bone rooted innate, the lifespan would naturally be longer. Li Xian was excited, what was the purpose of practicing martial arts? The fundamental reason, it's to be powerful, to live forever, ah. That's what the ultimate in martial arts is all about. I am now at the innate realm initiation, my innate true qi seems to be endless, and I already have the techniques for the innate realm, so it's time to compile the techniques above the innate realm next. The realm should be identified and articulated with the innate realm, so that it can become a system. Li Xian's entire body was in a state of exuberance. The apprentice is so powerful. Su Yen hasn't broken through the innate realm yet, he doesn't know the subtleties of the innate realm, even if he compiled a technique above the innate realm for him now, he wouldn't be able to comprehend it. It should be impossible to try to comprehend feats across realms. Li Xian fell into deep thought. Therefore, the techniques above the innate realm could only be comprehended after Su Yen broke through the innate realm. Not having broken through the innate realm yet, even though one had comprehended the techniques of the innate realm, without having personally realized the changes of the innate realm, one could not use it as a basis to comprehend the techniques above the innate realm. However, now it is time to get down to business and prepare to catalog the next realm. With Su Yan's cultivation speed, a month will almost be enough for qi and blood to be perfected, breaking through to the innate realm will take a little while, within two months, Su Yan should be able to break through to the innate realm. Just thinking about this filled Li Xian with anticipation. Once Su Yan broke through the innate realm, he would be able to obtain golden finger feedback again. Direct innate realm great accomplishment. Time to make up the next realm, make up the feats. Li Xian was invigorated. Meng Chong had quenched to the bronze bone stage, he felt how powerful he was, his flesh was like a golden bell covering his body, he squeezed his fist, he felt like he could easily kill a Jianghu Jiejie expert with one punch. If he had this strength in the first place, he wouldn't have to risk assassinating Emperor Wu and borrowing his hand to take revenge. Sure air, come here. Meng Chong opened his mouth and called out. Young Meng, what are your orders? Sure air asked with a smile on his face. He had finally touched the threshold of skin refining after these days of bitter cultivation, and his heart was invigorated. Come on, punch me. Meng Chong patted his chest and said. Ha! Huh? Sure Air was a bit dumbfounded. What are you gawking at, come on, punch me. Meng Chong urged. It's not good, is it? Sure Ji said with difficulty. What if I hurt someone? You think you can hurt me? Cut the crap and hurry. Meng Chong despised him and said. That's good. Sure Air took a deep breath and surged forward, slamming his fist onto Meng Chang's chest. At this moment, Sher Air only felt as if he had smashed into a large mountain, his fist hurt a little, and there was also some recoil that shook his arm. That's it? You use your full strength. Meng Chom only felt that this punch on his body was not even a tickle. Okay, I'll do it again. Sher Air's eyes glazed over and he roared, slamming his fist hard onto Meng Chang's chest. With this punch, he had used all his strength. He's a top expert in the Jianghu and has practiced his strength. A punch at full strength is enough to open a monument and crack a stone. However, Smashing on Meng Chang's chest was still like smashing on a huge mountain, causing him to have the illusion of a mole cricket hitting a mountain. The force of the recoil caused him to take two steps back, and his entire arm was sore and numb. Gulp! Meng Chang is already this strong? How long has it been, already being able to completely ignore the attacks of the Jiang Hu's top experts? You really used your full strength? Meng Chang looked at Shi Er suspiciously. He all collected himself and didn't dare to burst out with the power of his physical body's recoil for fear of hurting Shi Er. As it turns out, just this? The top masters of the jungle are already so weak? 
Sherer was speechless as he said, this punch is already the strongest punch of my life. Meng Chong was excited, the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield was really powerful. He pulled out the knife he had stuck in the ground, the one he had used, and threw it to Sher Air, come on, cut me. Ha! Huh? Sher Air was dumbfounded, and his hands were at a loss. With a knife? Meng Chang's brain is broken from practicing, isn't it? It's a sword. How can a body of flesh and blood be strong enough to withstand it? Besides, Meng Chong hasn't even started martial arts yet, right? Still at the basic realm polishing stage, you want to fight against steel swords with your flesh? I'm not afraid, what are you afraid of, come on. Meng Chong urged. Sherer is speechless, you iron bean is not afraid, but I am afraid, if I hurt you, what the hell do I do? Really cut? Sure air remained hesitant. Come on. Meng Chong patted his chest. Okay then. Sure air held the steel blade in his hand and stepped forward to slash at Meng Chong. Sharp steel knife that didn't cut in. Use some force. Meng Chong was disgruntled. Another slash, still no defense broken, Meng Chang's body, not a single mark. With all your might. Meng Chong took a deep breath and his flesh was like a golden bell, with no leakage around his body, and his muscles all seemed to be glowing with a faint Dao gold light. Yes. Sherer gritted his teeth and slashed at Meng Chang's chest. The steel blade snapped in two, and Sherer staggered backwards, his hands trembling with a shocked expression. On Meng Chang's chest, there wasn't a single mark. He was a top expert in the Jianghu Lake, and he couldn't hurt Meng Chang's flesh and blood with his best slash? It's horrible. Meng Chong patted his chest, his heart was in the right place, with his current physical defense he could completely ignore Jianghu's top experts. Unusual steel blades could not hurt him. However, if it's that precious knife, it's not so easy to say. Continue to cultivate, and strive to temper the adamant and glazed bones and get started early. Meng Chong was in high spirits as he continued to devote himself to his bitter cultivation. Sher Air was also stimulated and buried his head in hard training as well. Li Xian strolled around Yunshan County, when suddenly a voice, attracted his attention. Young man, this seat observes that your roots and bones are still good, meeting is destiny, here is a secret book of martial arts, this seat will sell it to you cheaply. That sounds somewhat familiar. Li Xian followed the sound and saw a man with a sticky white beard and wearing a white robe with big sleeves, holding a yellowed pamphlet in his hand as he was addressing a wealthy gentleman. Senior, I want to worship you as my teacher. Your qualification is only fair, but it is not yet in the eyes of this seat, meeting each other is fate, this seat sees that your heart for martial arts is earnest, and that's why it sells you a secret book of martial arts. The white-bearded man with the appearance of a tall man's tone, then added, the law is not lightly transmitted, the secret books of the martial arts have their own value. This seat is not to ask for your money, and this is the rules of the martial arts world, the secret books of the martial arts shall not be given away for nothing. The rich family was a bit lost and regretful, but then they were cheered up, even though they didn't succeed in worshipping the master, but obtaining a secret book of martial arts was not a wasted trip. Many thanks senior, senior will buy the secret book. Well, it's fate to meet, a hundred tales. Seniors give. The rich boy offered his silver and took the secret book. Enlighten yourself and cultivate. The white-bearded man encouraged, turned around and left, then caught up with the other rich boy, young man, the seat observes that your roots and bones are still good, here is a method of martial arts. Li Xian. Where did this come from as a liar, and it's amazing that anyone actually believes it. When really it's outrageous. The. Episode 69. Blood Without Heart, The Change of the Endless Mountain. Li Xian strolled around the city and realized that Yunshan County had come with a lot of rich kids, all of whom were temporarily resting in the county in order to go to the great mountains to search for a high person. And it's amazing that there's more than one crook like the white-bearded man. What's even more outrageous is that there are douchebags who fall for it. A guy from the Heavenly Mother cult, and a part-time scammer? Li Xian was a little powerless to spit out the fact that the white-bearded man or the other crooks were all actually experts from the Heavenly Mother sect pretending to be them. Brother Sure, you're going back? Yes, Brother Tam, farewell on that account. Brother Sure, is it true that you've obtained the secret books of martial arts? How do you know? I've also acquired a secret martial arts book, it just looks a little bit less reliable. A group of rich kids, a little confused. Martial arts secret books into the street goods? Fake it. Taking it out and comparing it, I realized that damn, it's not even as good as the secret martial arts books in the jungle. A group of people noisily went to the county office, wanting the magistrate of Yunshan to arrest the crooks. Li Xian didn't need to go and look to know that these rich kids, after going to the county office, were going to be slaughtered by the Yunshan magistrate again. After Su Yan's great display of power, she set off a frenzy of searching for martial arts masters, not only the sons and daughters of dignitaries, but also the masters of the Jianghu. Expect to get the odd one out. Li Xian thought about the endless mountains, perhaps after going over the endless mountains, he would be able to know the true nature of this world? Of course, these are just guesses, and it's still unknown if this is the case. Wait a little longer, Su Yan entered the innate, Meng Chang's martial Dao was initiated, then the method of martial Dao can be properly spread a little. Li Xian had an idea in his heart. Before spreading the method of martial arts cultivation, one needs to grasp the scale, with all situations under control and absolutely no risk of losing control. 
Su Yen had already passed on martial arts to those close to him, and he believed that in a few months, he would be able to know if there were people, who were unable to cultivate the initiation, who did not possess the qualifications for martial arts. In the endless mountains, a team of hundreds of people were traveling through the dense forest and continued to explore forward. If there is any place in the world where a high person might exist, it must be the endless great mountain. The Duke of the Ministry of War said wisely. That's right. The Duke of the Ministry of Rights. Nodded his head in recognition. The group of top dudes in the capital who were traveling together expressed their approval. The endless mountain was endless, no one knew what was at the end of the endless mountain, and no one could go over the endless mountain. If there is a high person in the world, he is bound to be in the middle of an endless mountain. East River County was the closest to the endless mountains, and Su Yen might be the one to seek out a high ranking person in the endless mountains. The group was fully armed, with leather armor, strong crossbows, insect repellents, and antidotes, and the guards in the group were all first class experts or above. There was no shortage of supreme masters among them. Even though the Endless Mountain was dangerous and infested with fierce beasts, with their strength, they were strong enough to hunt down any fierce beasts. There are insect repellent and snake repellent medicines in, enough to take the guarantee will not be injured by poisonous snakes, in case of being bitten by poisonous snakes, there are also antidote medicines, these antidotes, are famous antidotes in the rivers and lakes, against the poisonous insects, poisonous snakes have a miraculous effect. Not to mention that wearing leather armor makes you less likely to get bitten. A group of dudes were protected in the center, with guards in front of them to open the way, their bodies coated with pungent insect and snake repellent drugs, and their long clubs swept across the thorns and weeds to repel snakes and insects. A portion of the men were on alert with their strong crossbows, attacking with them as soon as danger arose. Night. The group found a place to spend the night. On the following day, the journey continued, heading specifically for the high mountains and dense forests, in their opinion, most of the tallest people lived in seclusion. In these places. Deep within the endless mountains. A mournful hiss came from the depths, and then there was no movement. A huge fire-maned wolf, collapsed on the ground, and a gray-clothed figure, was lying on the neck of the fire-maned wolf, devouring the blood of the fire-maned wolf. If Su Yen were here, he would definitely be surprised to find that this fire-maned wolf was more than twice as big as the evil fiend forests. And such a powerful fire-maned wolf had perished at this point. Ahem. The gray-clothed man let out a series of coughing sounds and raised his head, his mouth was bright red blood, as he coughed, drop after drop of blood, dripped from the corners of his mouth. The beast's blood is refuted, so it can only temporarily suppress the injury. The grey-robed man's miserable white face, a little bit of blood color surfaced at this moment, only to have the blood color disappear again in a whirlwind and become miserable white again. A pair of eyes glowed with a sinister light, looking back sinisterly in the direction from which they had come. If you didn't kill me blood heartless this time, just wait for me, when I return to the inner region, it will be your nightmare. Bloodless heart said, looking up to the front. Across the iron barrier mountain is the borderland, you wouldn't think that I would flee to the borderland, would you? The border wilderness land, where the spiritual opportunities of heaven and earth are extinguished, where it is impossible to sense the refining of chi and refine the aura, and where the aura is so wild that it cannot be incorporated into the body and cultivation is impossible, is, for you, a barren land. Once you are injured and come to the border wasteland, instead of being able to recuperate from your injuries, your injuries will continue to worsen and you will eventually fall. But I, a blood heartless, only need to devour essence blood to recover from my injuries and to strengthen myself. Bloodless heart's eyes revealed a sinister, excited and bloodthirsty color. Martial artists don't exist in the borderlands, they can't cultivate martial arts, and their strength won't be more than the seventh grade, although their essence blood is a bit worse, but there's a lot of it. Devouring 10,000 people, 100,000 people, 1 million people, even if it's just ordinary people, not only will I be able to regain my strength, I'll also be able to make a breakthrough. A look of exhilaration appeared on Bloodless Heart's face. When he came to the borderlands, he was an invincible existence, like a god to the people of the borderlands. Killing keeps on killing, and who can stop him? Kill as many as come, blood sacrifices to devour and strengthen themselves. In the inner domain, he couldn't do so, and once he went on a killing spree, he would easily be targeted and then hunted down. This time, he had only killed a few dozen martial artists before he was surrounded and nearly perished. The border wilderness, the place where I, bloodless heart, will rise. Bloodless heart's eyes were wild, how many people were there in the borderlands? Hundreds of millions of people should always be there, right? He only needed a blood sacrifice to devour a tenth of it, and he would be able to break through to the Grand Master Realm. Once he broke through the Grand Master Realm, he could kill his way back to the inner domain and take revenge. In the borderland, although the spiritual energy of heaven and earth is extinguished, if one relies on devouring essence blood, one may not be unable to strengthen oneself, although the drawbacks are great, but what does it matter? Bloodless Heart had a plan in mind. Cultivating a group of people to kill and blood sacrifice for him, and then when these people were strong, he would devour this group of people, and in this way, he would be able to obtain higher quality essence blood. And, it doesn't have to be done personally by yourself. There's no one who doesn't want to be strong in themselves. In the borderlands, I am a god, and they will all become my faithful followers and follow me back to the inner domain to kill. The more bloodless heart thought about it, the more excited he became. It was as if he had seen him killing his way back to the inner domain, leading a group of believers and killing the four directions. Ahem. Emotionally, he suddenly coughed, and his face looked even paler. 
No way. Beast blood is too ineffective, human blood must be devoured. Bloodless Heart raised his head to look ahead, a blood-red color in his eyes. With a movement of his body, the entire person rose up in the air and flew towards the outside of the Iron Barrier Mountain. The team that was searching for the higher power had advanced 500 miles and still hadn't found the higher power. During this time a tiger was encountered and was shot by the crowd and feasted on. Quickly look, that high mountain in front of us, the peaks are strange and dangerous, there might be a high-ranking person living in seclusion, our next destination is that high mountain. The Duke of the Ministry of War pointed to a mountain in front of him. The mountains are visible but not close. It took a day and a night to get through the dense forests and cross the mountain streams, and finally arrived at the bottom of the mountain. How do I get up there? The peaks are treacherous and it's not easy to get up there. A few masters with outstanding light skills volunteered to go up, and it took them a long time to come down, and there were no reclusive masters up there. The group couldn't help but be disappointed. But immediately afterward, it picks itself up and moves on. Take a break. That bastard Su Yen, where on earth did he meet a high-ranking person? Hateful guy. The group sat down on an open hillside. Elder above, please accept my senior's obeisance. Suddenly someone excitedly plopped down on his knees and called out in a loud voice. The rest of them followed the sound and saw a figure flying in mid-air in the distance. The figure flew seemingly shakily, but in mid-air, it had an indescribable spontaneity. Tall people. Finally, I've met someone high up. The group was excited and thrilled. What's a man flying in mid-air if not a tall man? Greetings to the former senior. Senior, I am the son of the Minister of War of Chi, I implore you to accept me as your disciple. The group chanted with excitement and fervor. Bloodless Heart's injuries flared up and he flew in mid-air, staggering, about to find a place to recover, when he suddenly heard a loud call from the front, and suddenly his spirit was revitalized. There are people in the wild mountains of Iron Barrier Mountain? Moreover, it's still a group of people. His eyes showed an excited and bloodthirsty glow. A large group of people were seen kneeling on the hillside ahead. Hundreds of them. Most of them are more or less the same, with ninth grade martial artist strength, a small portion of them have 8th grade martial artist strength, and the strongest ones, nearly 7th grade martial artist strength. This is the top powerhouse of the borderlands? Those young little guys, they look ordinary, but young, the taste of blood, should be good. With a single glance, Bloodless Heart saw through a group of people's strength. The son of the Minister of War? Unusual status, no wonder there are so many strong borderlanders protecting him, these borderlanders, not knowing the existence of martial artists, really worship me when they see me and regard me as a god. A smile appeared on Bloodless' face. There was no need to find a place to rest, after devouring the blood of these people. The injuries could be recovered somewhat. He laughed, in a good mood, and flew directly toward the hillside. The crowd on the hillside, listening to the laughter, was invigorated, the senior sounded happy ah, worship is expected? Greetings to the higher power. The crowd of dudes on the hillside, including the guards, all excitedly and respectfully cowed out and bowed profusely. Good, very good, just in time. Bloodless heart said in a good mood. The crowd on the hillside, heard the words of great joy, the high people have said, came at the right time, which means that the chance is stable. He himself finally had a chance to become a martial arts powerhouse as well. A sudden cloud of cold aura instantly covered the crowd, and everyone couldn't help but shiver and look up, instantly revealing a look of horror. On the tall man's body, a thin, shadowy thread of coldness permeated, like a spider's silk, and flew over in a flash. He only felt a pain in his heart, and when he looked down, a spider-like silk thread, drilled into his heart, as if he saw blood, transmitted through the thread to the tall man. The body was weakening, the eyes were blackening, as if he felt the blood drain away. Ah! Help! Elders spare your life! Demons, demons! Several overwhelming experts screamed out, but they were powerless to resist, watching their blood, constantly being sucked away, their hearts constantly in severe pain, constantly drying up. The entire body was drying up and the consciousness was gradually dissipating. The Episode 70 Dried Up Corpses Burp A sound was emitted from within the bloodless heart, as if it had burped as if it was full. The color of blood rose to the surface of his ghastly white face. Spider-like threads of blood, retracted from a corpse within his body, a Inchi filled his body, and his face, which had originally surfaced with blood color, once again became pale and colorless. People of the borderlands, their essence blood is too heterogeneous and needs to be refined and purified a bit, but after sucking in the essence blood of so many people, the injuries will be able to recover a 50 to 60 percent. Bloodless muttered a word. Raising his head to look beyond the endless mountain, his eyes revealed a look of excitement. The borderlands shall be the place of one's rise. Find a place, refine the essence blood to recover from your injuries, the only way to perform the great blood sacrifice and purify the essence blood to use for cultivation is to recover your strength. Ha, I'll wait for my bloodless heart's revenge. Bloodless heart was in a good mood as he rose up into the air and disappeared into the sky in the blink of an eye. The only thing left behind was the hillside, where more than a hundred shriveled corpses were left behind, and on their shriveled faces, the color of horror was vaguely visible. The craze of searching for the high and mighty swept through Chi, and those who came to the endless great mountain to search for the high and mighty were certainly not the only ones in the line of the Duke of the Ministry of Military Affairs. 
The Endless Mountain was full of dangers, and the seekers were all in groups, leading guards or recruiting experts to enter the Endless Mountain together. On this day, a team of people looking for a higher power came to the bottom of the hill. Go up and rest a bit, this high man doesn't even know where he's secluded. This brat Su Yen, why is he so lucky? It's possible to find a high-ranking person. Don't be discouraged. Is a high-ranking person easy to find? Su Yen has also been searching for years and has even been cheated. A group of dudes began to ascend the hill under the protection of their guards. Ah! Suddenly, a shriek came. What are you doing, scaring my lord? What happened? You're a first-class expert in the jungle, and you're so timid? Ah! Shrieks rang out one after another. Everyone looked at the scene on the hillside and felt chills all over their bodies, their scalps tingling. There were over a hundred corpses lying upside down on the hillside, permeated with a faintly eerie aura, and each of them was dried up as if their blood had been sucked out of them. The look of fear before death still lingered on the dried up face. It's, it's. Someone recognized the body. The eldest son of the Minister of War. The second son of the Minister of Rights. And. Fear welled up in the hearts of the people, and they subconsciously looked around, as if there were evil spirits ready to choose people to devour. How did it die? Some bold masters went up to look over the bodies, and the more they looked, the more frightened they became. The body dried up and turned directly into a dry corpse. It's so weird. How long has it been since the Minister of War's son and the others entered the Endless Mountain? Even if they die, they don't turn into dry bodies. Moreover, every one of them looked extremely fearful in death, as if they had seen something fearful before they died. This is the one Blade King, the capital's renowned supreme expert, and he's dead too. Some people recognized the corpses one after another, and there was no lack of well-known supreme experts. More than a hundred people, many experts, strong crossbows and other equipment, yet surprisingly all died on the hillside. There were no signs of a struggle at the scene. It was as if everyone died at the same time. The body turned straight into a dry corpse. Such a bizarre scene, shocked everyone, no longer have the heart to continue to seek the high man down. Go on, get back. The endless mountain is too dangerous. A group of people didn't dare to linger and went down the mountain. Take the body of the Minister of War's son with you, and take a few of their bodies with you and bring them back to the capital. Yes, bring their bodies back to the capital, they died too strangely, they must be investigated, isn't Su Yen a martial artist, maybe he can tell the difference. Someone spoke up and suggested. The rest of them felt justified in bringing the body back and getting a reward for it. As for whether or not it would be thought, that they had poisoned them, it was simply impossible, the bodies died in a bizarre manner, and besides, with their strength, they would not be able to kill the army minister's son's team. In the capital, Su Yen was in a great mood as he broke through the Qi and Blood Realm's great achievement and realized the innate realm's techniques. Emperor Qi sent people to congratulate him and to organize a banquet to congratulate him on his great advancement in martial arts, but Su Yen refused. After spending a few days in the capital, Su Yen moved to return to Donghe County. Not long after Su Yen left the capital, the matter of the Minister of War's son and others, all of whom died strangely in the Endless Mountains, spread among the ministers. The body was brought back. Emperor Qi even came to see for himself. The shriveled body, the look of fear lingering on its face, it was all very eerie. Lord Gua, quickly let your grandson come back and take a look. Yes, Lord Gua, this is too weird. The ministers all panicked. My own sons, they're all out looking for the high and mighty. And, most of them went to the endless mountains. The minister of war and the minister of rights were disheveled and devastated. Guo Rongshan also realized that the matter was too bizarre, did some monster exist in the endless mountain? He immediately sent a message to Su Yen. Directly moved the recently established Flying Eagle transmission. This was after he had been honored as the King of Qi, the Grand Pavilion Master, and the Crown Prince's Upper Master. He had deployed a few trained flying eagles from the Feiying Eagle Division of Qi to be used exclusively for the transmission of messages between Donghe County and the capital. Ensure smooth and swift communication between Donghe County and Qi Wangfu. Su Yen rushed back to Donghe County in a dusty manner, and had just arrived home to accompany his parents for dinner and give them some instructions on cultivation when he received a Flying Eagle transmission from Grandpa. Dried up corpses? A grotesque death? It was a curious moment. I once read a legend in an ancient storybook that there is a monster called the corpse fawn that likes to devour human blood, could it be that what they encountered was the corpse fawn? Su Yen came to be interested when he thought so. Rumor has it that corpse fangs are berserk, like to eat human blood, and have infinite strength. I am now at the Qi and Blood Realm's grand completion, and my strength has long been different, so I was looking for someone to practice on. If it's really a corpse fawn, it's something to try. Su Yen revealed a look of excitement and immediately rushed to the capital. He had only seen the account of the corpse fangs in an ancient book, and none of the folklore had been circulated, and he was afraid that there were not even a few people who knew about this legendary monster. Kapotol. Su Yen, who had been away for a short while, was back. Where's the body? Where is it? He came to the place of the mortuary at the first opportunity. Saw the desiccated bodies. Emperor Qi and the other ministers all came. Su Yen looked at the body and frowned, from the body, it seemed to have been drained of blood and died. And it had turned into a dry corpse. 
there was still a faint aura of Ian lingering in the body. However, unlike the account recounted in the talking book, the description of being killed by a corpse fong, no bite wounds were seen. The wound was in the neck position, according to the talking book account. Moreover, the person injured by the corpse fangs would not directly turn into a dried up corpse, but would turn greenish black and contain necrotic poison instead. The corpses, however, were not greenish black in color, nor did they contain necrotic poison. Completely turned into a dry body. It was like being exposed to the sun and dried up as a human being, and not rotting after all this time had passed. Well, see the problem? Emperor Qi opened his mouth and asked. Su Yen continued to examine the corpse and shook his head, I had thought that it was killed by the legendary corpse fangs, but just by looking at the corpse, it doesn't look like the corpse fangs did it. What is a corpse fang? Emperor Qi and his ministers looked at each other in dismay, having never heard of such a monster as the corpse fang ah. A monster that delights in human blood and is unusually brutal. Su Yan explained briefly. The emperor of Qi and his ministers were numb as they listened, there was even this kind of horrible monster in this world? Mr. Su, how did you know about the corpse fangs? A minister couldn't help but ask curiously. He relied on his profound knowledge, reading books, astronomy, geography, history and artifacts, no one knows nothing, but has not heard of the corpse fangs of this monster. One couldn't help but wonder a little if Su Yan had made it up. I read it in a talking book, very old talking book, I heard it's still an orphan. Su Yan returned. In a playbook? The minister froze, and subconsciously said, the matter of the word book. Wouldn't. The latter word suddenly stuck in his throat. It suddenly occurred to him that rumor had it that Su Yan had believed in the matter of the talking book legend and had gone around searching for a high-ranking person in order to cultivate the true martial arts, and had been ridiculed for having a bad brain behind his back. As a result, he had really succeeded in cultivating the incomparably powerful martial arts ah. In that case, the legend of the words, is not unbelievable. With that thought, he couldn't speak the words that followed. Su Yan continued to examine the body, stripping it of all its clothes and turning it over and over. The secretary of the Ministry of War looked at him with tears streaming down his face, shivering his lips, ready to open his mouth, when the Qi Emperor glared over with a cold, stern look, and in the end, the secretary of the Ministry of War could only shut up. Leave it to Su Yan to be flipping the corpse. Strange, since it wasn't done by the corpse fangs, what was it done by? Su Yan was puzzled in his heart, recalling the words he had read, there was no account about anything similar ah. Suddenly. His eyes glazed over and he saw a small hole in the dried up body, where the heart had been. As if something, stabbed into the heart. It's. Su Yan stared, his hand caressing the wound, which was very, very small, as if it had been pierced by a small cone. Mosquitoes? The blood was drained and turned into a dry body, while a small wound appeared where the heart was. Unable to help himself, Su Yan's mind conjured up the image of a giant mosquito, pouncing on the son of the minister of war, stabbing his heart with its mouthpiece, and sucking the blood dry. Could it be some kind of blood-sucking demonic creature like a mosquito? Su Yan couldn't help but think of the fire main wolf, which no longer belonged to the category of wild beasts. How could an ordinary beast have this kind of powerful strength? And the murderer who killed the minister of war and the others, could it be that it was also something like the fire main wolf, an existence that had already transcended the realm of wild beasts? After pondering for a moment, he spoke, I don't know what the murderer is, maybe some kind of demonic creature? I'll go back and ask master, maybe master knows. Master is a reclusive master, he should know what kind of demonic creature this is. The endless mountain, it actually hides this kind of demonic creature? Su Yan suddenly came to be interested in the endless mountain, and also in these unknown demonic creatures, he decided to go back and ask his master if he could go to the endless mountain to hunt the demonic creatures with his current strength. I'll go back and ask master. Su Yan left in a flurry of excitement, ready to rush back to East River County to ask his master what kind of monster it was that sucked people dry, how strong it was, and whether he could deal with it on his own. Episode 71 Budo vs. The capital city to Dongha County is a long way, and there is a deserted section of the official highway that is tens of miles long and unpopulated, in the middle of which Chi has set up a post station. The post station was adjacent to the Endless Mountain, more than a hundred miles away from Yunshan County, and because Chi had set off a fervor to search for a high-ranking person, quite a few dignitaries from the capital would enter the Endless Mountain from here. Thus, they chose to stay at the post for a short time, and because of this, the post increased its manpower in order to serve these dignitaries. And on this day, a figure flew out from the Endless Mountain. Landed directly in the middle of the stagecoach. Are you? A petty official at the post station, seeing the blood heartless that fell from the sky, was shocked, followed by ecstasy. Here comes my chance? Poof. Immediately, he fell to his knees and cowed out. Higher power is above, my Shao Air pays homage to the higher power, I implore the higher power to accept me as a disciple. Domain.sika.a. Bloodless heart froze, are all the people of the borderlands so direct? As soon as you see yourself, you kneel down and kowtow to pay your respects? Jie Jie. With a sinister laugh, he said, blood eater, not worthy of being this seat's disciple. The junior official froze, blood food? Suddenly there was a pain in his heart, and when he looked down, a thin wire was lodged in his heart, and the blood seemed to be sucked out of it. Save. Horrified, he was just about to call for help when he collapsed to the ground and turned into a shriveled corpse. 
Bloodless heart frowned, the essence blood is too poor, the borderland, the spirit energy of heaven and earth is extinguished, even the people here, their essence blood has become refuted. From within his body, a silk thread spread out, instantly stabbing into the hearts of the other petty officials in the stagecoach. Poof. The dried up body fell to the ground. None of the stagecoaches are alive. Essence blood is impure, every time it has to be purified before it can be used, in this way, the blood needed is a huge amount, the blood sacrifice devours dozens and millions of people, I'm afraid that they won't be able to break through a small realm. Bloodless frowned slightly. Nowadays, I can only endure, one million is not enough, then ten million. There is no shortage of people in the borderlands, even if all of them are blood sacrificed, what can be done? A bloodthirsty light glowed in bloodless heart's eyes. It was just that it would take quite a bit of time to blood sacrifice so many people and to purify them a bit. First, I'll slaughter a city to recover from my injuries. Then I'll find a few suitable seedlings and train them to become blood disciples to blood sacrifice and purify my essence blood for me. Ten years. Within ten years, I must break through to the great master realm. Bloodless heart turned back to look in the direction of the endless mountain, a sinister look in his eyes. Within ten years, I will return to the inner domain. Walking out from the post, he was about to head to a nearby city, where he made a blood sacrifice of purified essence blood to recover from his injuries. Su Yen came out of the capital with a belly full of questions and couldn't wait to go to his master to obtain answers. He directly exerted his body technique and headed straight from the capital to Dongha County. With his current strength, even a thousand mile colt would be far less swift than him, so Su Yen did not choose to ride a horse, and between his chi and blood running, his body was like the wind as he headed straight for Yunshan County. If it's not a corpse fawn, what kind of demonic creature is responsible? Su Yen was still puzzling over what had been done to suck the corpse dry. Almost to Yunshan County. Ahead was a stagecoach station, and a hundred miles away was Yunshan County. Take a break and calm down. Su Yen slowed down his pace, preparing to go to the post station to rest for a while, and in the meantime, he asked the Mandarin officials if they had ever heard of, the demonic creature that sucked people's blood. The post station was adjacent to the Endless Mountain, and as a post station official, he must be well informed, and knew more than outsiders about some of the legends in the Endless Mountain. From the capital all the way non-stop rush, chi and blood have been consumed, cannot go to see the master in this state, in case the master feels that he is fussy, it will not good. You can't be impatient when things go wrong. Su Yen thought so in his heart. As he stopped to perform the stance, the consumed chi and blood, was recovering rapidly, the jade bones around his body seemed to glow, and at this moment, it reflected, the power of the jade bone root. By the time Su Yen stepped into the stage, his chi and blood had almost recovered to its peak. It's not right. Suddenly, Su Yen's face froze slightly. The sharp senses of a martial artist caused him to notice the abnormality at the first moment, and his chi and blood instantly revolved, poised and ready to go into a state of alert. He sensed a danger lurking nearby. After practicing martial arts and becoming a martial artist, this feeling appeared for the first time. Su Yen realized at the first moment that there was danger in the stagecoach. And it was amazing that this danger could threaten him. What exactly? Su Yen only felt that his chi and blood were boiling, and an impassioned battle spirit surfaced in his heart, and he actually had the anticipation of having a great battle with an unknown danger. Step by step into the stagecoach. Suddenly, his pupils shrank as he saw a dry body. The body of the stagecoach clerk. The dried up corpses were exactly the same as several of the sons of the minister of war. Is that the monster? Su Yan's heart tightened as his keen senses alerted his surroundings, and he gradually caught the bearing of the danger, in one of the rooms of the stagecoach station, the other party standing behind the door of the room. It's not a monster, it seems to be a human being. In that instant, Su Yan's heart skipped a beat, could it be a martial artist like himself? The martial arts world? From where? Why did you kill the stagehand? And, drain the blood of the petty officials? What kind of martial artist is this? Suddenly, a cold, almost transparent silk thread came through the door and shot directly at his heart. The attack was swift and incomparable, and the power of this strike was extremely strong. In the post room, Bloodless Heart was shocked. How can there be martial artists in a borderland? Moreover, there seemed to be something wrong with this young martial artist. He was about to leave the post and head to a nearby city to kill blood sacrifices and recover from his injuries. Suddenly, sensing the official road, there was a powerful aura running towards him, the exuberance of that blood aura made him feel alarmed. A martial artist chased from the inner domain? No. No, why is there such terrifying chi in blood? Bloodless heart was shocked, and with a single movement of his body, he ducked back into the stagecoach. That powerful aura was too spirited, too raging, and the strength of the chi in blood was simply appalling. How in the world could there be someone with such horrible chi in blood? If I could devour his chi and blood, wouldn't I be able to instantly recover from my injuries and even further my strength? The more he thought about it, the more excited Blood Heartless became. In the borderlands, where the spiritual energy of heaven and earth is extinguished, it's impossible for martial artists to appear, but the inner domain doesn't exist either, and a martial artist with such terrifying chi and blood wouldn't possess such exuberant chi and blood even if they were a grand master. The more Bloodless Heart thought about it, the more puzzled he became. Could it be that the borderlands can cultivate martial arts? No, never. 
As Su Yen entered the post, even if Su Yen stopped performing his stance and collected his qi and blood, with bloodless hearts keen senses for blood qi, he was still able to sense the enormous amount of qi and blood within Su Yen's body. The more he sensed, the more alarmed he became. Is this qi and blood? Why does it feel different, and why does it have a feeling of blazing like fire? It's as if it's vast and endless, this isn't qi blood, is it? Bloodless heart was full of questions. Kill him, I can feel that if I can devour his qi and blood, not only will I be able to recover from my injuries, but my foundation will also be more solid, and I might even make a breakthrough. A bloodthirsty light appeared in Bloodless Heart's eyes. With a flick of his finger, the vampire devouring silk suddenly shot out, striking directly at Su Yan's heart. The moment he struck out, he saw the teenager slap out his palm, and with a rumbling sound, a crimson dragon, wrapped in a terrifying might, rushed to kill. What kind of kung fu was this? Bloodless Heart was horrified. Boom! As the room collapsed in debris flew, Su Yen raised his hand and launched another palm, a crimson dragon that swept down across the sky. The blazing and domineering dragonfall palm force directly vaporized the blood devouring ghost silk, but Su Yen's face was gloomy, and in his eyes, he also carried some doubts. Looking towards Blood Heartless, who had risen up in the air and avoided the attack, he was shocked in his heart. A martial artist of the innate realm? That's true chi? That one eerie filament seemed to be condensed from true chi. No. Something's not right, the true chi isn't this weak. The innate realm isn't this weak, what's wrong with him? Su Yen was full of doubts. Bloodless heart stared at Su Yen, and the more he looked, the more shocked he became. Martial artist. It's really a martial artist. Chased from the inner regions? Nope. No, if it was an inner domain martial artist, they would have already known it was me. Bloodless heart denied that this was the idea of an inner domain martial artist. Obviously, this teenager was a martial artist from the borderland. This is a third grade martial artist? No, it's stronger than a third grade martial artist, second grade? Also no, second grade isn't this strong. First grade martial artist? Such a young first grade martial artist? Something's not right, what kind of martial artist is this? A first grade martial artist shouldn't be this strong. Bloodless Heart was shocked and puzzled at the same time. Chi and blood are like astral deities? What kind of martial artist is this, what kind of martial way, what kind of gong method? A first grade martial artist refines astral energy, but it's not this vast and overbearing, not this powerful awe. Why is there a feeling of a chi refining master? However, this isn't a patriarch's internal chi from him either, it seems to be just chi and blood? Why is chi and blood so strong? Bloodless felt like his mind was a little messed up. What the fuck is going on here? Su Yen was also dumbfounded, a cold aura on Blood Wishing's body, that powerful force, it seemed to be true chi, yet it was weaker than true chi, and did not have the same kind of power as innate true chi. It was just that the other party was actually traveling in the air, which was clearly something that could only be done by the innate realm. If it's the innate realm, why is it so weak? Could it be, is it because the technique I cultivate is too strong? Su Yen fell into deep thought. It's not right, why do I feel that his physical body isn't strong? It seems like the foundation of martial arts is not firmly established, and it also seems like he has not cultivated qi and blood? Weird, is he an innate realm martial artist or not? Look at him, he doesn't look like a good guy, be careful. The qi and blood stirred as a giant dragon coiled around his body, a giant dragon hovered above his head, and to the left and right there was even a giant dragon with its head raised, ready to strike at any time. Facing a strong enemy, Su Yen didn't dare to be the slightest bit careless. Bloodless heart's pupils shrank, that terrifying qi and blood, blazing like fire. Gave him a strong threat and a color of longing. His intuition told him that as long as he devoured the other party's qi and blood, he would not only recover from his injuries, but also make a breakthrough in strength. Bloodlust flashed in his eyes. His already pale face became whiter and whiter, and a chilling aura permeated his surroundings. A long, narrow, grimly glowing knife was drawn from under his robes. Su Yan's gaze stared as he sensed a threat from the other party's blade. It's a treasure knife. That blade, which had similarities to the one he had obtained from the Imperial Treasury of Qi, a sword, was likewise not a sharp blade of steel. I don't have a sword on me. Su Yan's heart stared slightly. When I get back, I'm going to learn swordsmanship. In his heart, he made up his mind that when he went back, he would look for his master and learn a sword technique. The long knife in Bloodless Heart's hand blossomed a gloomy buzzing sound, the light of the knife blossomed, and the cold knife chi filled the air, while around the long knife, there was a thin thread floating, as if it was a long, thin needle. Make the first move. As soon as Su Yen saw this, he immediately pushed his hand, and with a rumbling sound, the dragon subduing palm force roared out. Bloodless Heart's eyes were grim as he slashed down. The cold blade chi, wrapped in a thin silk thread, was so powerful that it actually chopped the dragonfall palm power directly apart with a single slash. Blade chi was spreading, and a gloomy and cold aura filled the surroundings, the temperature all lowered at this moment. Su Yan waved his hands, the dragonfall palm was executed, and in an instant, nine long dragons streaked across the room, bombarding blood heartless from all directions. The terrifying chi and blood around his body was like a blazing flame. The gloomy aura was directly vaporized under his blazing chi and blood. This sun cannot be kept. 
Bloodless heart had killing intent in his heart, the other party's blazing chi and blood, to his internal chi, surprisingly, had a restraining effect, causing his strength, to drop by more than 20%. If not for the fact that his realm was higher than the other parties, he would have definitely been crushed at the same realm. In this instant, the blade light swept, and thin threads, like spider silk, coiled continuously, as if they were condensing into a giant web. Boom! Nine gigantic dragons were spreading across, bombarding blood whooshing from all directions, the domineering and unparalleled palm force, one layer after another, as if endless, however, blood whooshing's blade light was even more sinister and harsh. Slash after slash, the giant dragon was chopped and crumbled, and between his body movements, he kept advancing. The stagecoach had been in the middle of a great battle and was in ruins. So strong. Su Yan's heart condensed, the other party's blade was vicious, and the blade chi was so long that it actually chopped away his dragonfall palm power, but he did not retreat, instead, he was invigorated. Finally, we've met an opponent. You can let go and fight to your heart's content. He still couldn't have all the fun against the battle godwit army. Nowadays, it's possible. To be a martial artist is to fight. Chi and blood surged, the dragonfall palm power grew stronger and stronger, and with a rumbling sound, the tenth giant dragon slapped out, the ten giant dragons coiled horizontally and horizontally, and their might was further enhanced. Why do I feel that he isn't too strong? Innate realm martial artists aren't this weak. Although the other party had the upper hand for the time being, Su Yen was not at all flustered and was puzzled in his heart. The opponent was too weak, completely lacking the strength that the innate realm should have. If he had perfected his chi and blood, he would definitely be able to defeat his opponent. The more bloodless heart fought, the more alarmed he became, he certainly had the upper hand, yet it was incomparably difficult to defeat his opponent. That dragon-shaped palm force was overbearing and incandescent. Moreover, the dragon-shaped palm power would even change its attack, clearly the dragon's head blasted and came, but as a result, a coil in midair turned into a tail whip. What kind of palm can do that? Something's not right, what kind of technique is he cultivating? According to judgment, he seems to be a first-grade martial artist? But, how can a first-grade martial artist have this kind of strength, nor does he possess such a powerful might? Bloodless Heart took a deep breath, it had to be done quickly. With a slash, countless blood-devouring ghost silk, constantly wrapped around the giant dragon, hindering the dragon's change in flexibility, and hindering the speed of the dragon's attacks. Between his body movement, he suddenly seized the moment Su Yan's dragonfall palm slapped out and a break appeared above him, rose up in the air, and stabbed down with a knife in mid-air. 4,000 large sets. Update, try to stabilize two a day, please. Episode 72. Fierce Fighting, Dragon Palm Breakthrough. Su Yen was certainly not weak, and his Dragonfall Palm technique was fierce and unrivaled, yet in terms of combat experience, he was naturally far inferior to Bloodless Heart. The moment he slapped out his Dragonfall Palm and a break suddenly appeared in the air above his head, Su Yen's heart snapped and he realized what the problem was. However, this fleeting opportunity was enough to determine life and death and victory for Bloodless Heart who was experienced in fighting and had experienced life and death battles. His figure was in the air, and his long sword was glowing with a cold, chilling light as he chopped down from mid-air. In an instant, Su Yen only felt his scalp tingling, his hair standing on end, an intense crisis suddenly descended, and in this instant, it was already too late for him to return his palm for protection. The mind cannot help but emerge a gossip pattern, the moment of crisis, like a flash of light, his feet is staggered, between the shape of a shake, disappeared in place. The next moment, it had already appeared about ten feet away. A gully appeared on the ground, and Bloodless Heart Slash viciously cut into the ground. His heart sank. At such a moment of crisis, the other party had dodged, and what kind of stance was that? Su Yan's heart was palpitating at the moment, a heart beating violently, his chi and blood boiling, a giant dragon coiled around him, its might growing stronger. In that moment just now, he nearly died. If it wasn't for the moment of crisis when the Bagua pattern appeared in his mind and he suddenly had an epiphany, epiphany a new stance to come, that strike would certainly not have been able to be dodged. At the moment, he was shocked and furious. Between the movement of his body, he disappeared in place, as if moving, and in an instant, he arrived at the side of Bloodless Heart, and his dragonfall palm blasted out. Shift. Boom. Bloodless Heart's gaze was bitterly cold, his long sword was displayed, his blade technique unfolded, and the cold blade chi, crisscrossing across the board, kept advancing, and with his powerful strength, he kept chopping off one dragonfall palm force after another. Forcing Su Yen to constantly use the method of shifting shapes and changing positions, dodging and changing directions. A threat of vampire devouring silk, along with the blood heartless attack while spreading out continuously from his body, covered the surroundings, as if forming a giant net. Su Yan's gaze was grave as his opponent's strength was slightly superior to his. Especially the vicious blade technique, the cold and eerie aura, it was all very bizarre. If it wasn't for the fact that his chi and blood were huge and blazing like a flame, and he could ignore the invasion of the gloomy and cold aura, otherwise this moment, I'm afraid that his limbs would have already stiffened, and his fighting strength would have dropped drastically. Su Yan stared, the more intense the battle became, the clearer his mind became, no more distractions, and he fully devoted himself to the battle. In his mind, the eight trigrams pattern emerged, and between his staggered steps, he changed his orientation. The method of shifting and changing positions became more and more skillful as the battle went on. Boom! The overbearing dragonfall palm force was unexpectedly disintegrated by another slash from the other party. 
The sword light came blazingly, and Su Yan once again shifted and dodged away. At this moment, the dragon subduing palm's mantra surfaced in his mind. His chi and blood boiled more and more, as if his entire body was in a state of exuberance, and violently, he roared, his palms launched out interactively, and a huge dragon descending palm force blasted out, violently separating halfway, transforming into eighteen gigantic dragons, which instantly shrouded towards the bloodless heart. The dragon bending palm is a great success. The more bloodless heart fought, the more alarmed he became, the other party's realm should not be as good as his, and his strength should not be as good as his. However, the overbearing and unrivaled palm force was incredibly powerful, and even if he wanted to cut down the palm force, he felt a bit overwhelmed. Moreover, between the changes in the dragon palm power, it formed a combined attack on him every time. This kid is a bit tricky, he's actually not afraid of my blood devil chi in the slightest, and can even restrain it. That blazing fire like chi and blood continuously evaporated his gloomy aura. The more he did so, the stronger the longing in his heart became, as long as he devoured the other party, he would be able to further his strength. Never before had I seen a martial artist with such powerful chi and blood. That body of essence blood was pure beyond measure and contained a huge spiritual charm. Among the inner domain martial artists, no one could have this pure essence blood. Not even the patriarchs. Eighteen giant dragons came together in a combined attack, and the light of bloodless heart's blade skyrocketed, sweeping like a gale in an instant, blasting away the dragon fall palm force, his speed increasing to the extreme as he fiercely killed Su Yen. Slash after slash, as he attacked fiercely, Su Yen once again fell into a disadvantage. Moreover, shifting shape was performed more and more frequently, constantly dodging, but he was not panicked in the slightest, his gaze was firm, and he was staring at blood heartless with a deadpan. The jade bones glistened, and the chi and blood seemed endless. Its behavior is mighty in the world, and its anger frightens the heavens and the earth. Suddenly, the dragon subduing palms mnemonic surfaced in his mind, and in the midst of the battle, there was a sudden realization. My dragon subduing palm power, although amazingly powerful and seemingly domineering, however, lacks true might and cannot astonish the world. Its behavior is mighty in the world, its anger frightens the world, how can it frighten the world without anger? My dragon subduing palm power, lacks might, lacks anger, how can anger startle the world? Su Yan's mind clarified, and enlightenment surfaced in his mind, and in an instant. It was as if he had gained a deeper level of understanding of the dragonfall palm, as if he had broken through a bottleneck. With a sudden lurch, his figure lurched, and he launched a palm out with a loud bang. This palm was much different than even before. The moment the palm force was spat out, it was as if a whistling sound rang out, and an awe-inspiring might stirred out. This dragon-shaped palm force was more solid and more divine. The speed also skyrocketed in a flash. The giant dragon opened its mouth, as if making a hissing sound, and violently blasted at Bloodless Heart. Chop! Bloodless Heart was a heartbeat away, a knife chopped out, however, this knife, did not chop down the palm power, however, there was a wave of vast power, like a giant mountain crashing into the general, the might did not decrease, the dragon's tail swept violently across. No good! Bloodless Heart's face changed slightly, and his body leapt up to avoid the strike. Another huge dragon blasted over. Immediately afterward, one giant dragon after another, kept whistling, each of them emanating an awe-inspiring might, and Bloodless Heart's heart tightened as he looked horrifiedly at Su Yen. Did he break through? What kind of demon is this? Su Yen exhaled the evil air in his chest, his eyes revealing a biting light as he came to his realization. The dragon subduing palm broke through the bottleneck and stepped into a new level. Its anger shocks the world, I can't, nowadays, make the dragon-shaped palm power, truly angry, truly have the aura of anger, but I can, in another way, make this anger show itself. Su Yan looked towards Blood Heartless who was in the middle of the Dragonfall Palm Power combination, having been suppressed all this time, it was now his turn. Let this martial artist from nowhere, a suspected innate realm fellow, see the power of the Dragonfall Palm. My current Dragonfall Palm should be at the second level. Right? I've broken through the Dragonfall Palm realm and stepped into the second level of the Dragonfall Palm. Unfortunately, I'm only at the Qi and Blood realm, so I'm completely unable to exert the power that the second level should have. But against this guy, it's enough. Su Yan's mind realized that he had taken the Dragonfall Palm and cultivated it to the second level. Boom! Eighteen giant dragons, combining to attack Bloodless Heart, just as Bloodless Heart erupted his biting blade awnings, wanting to cut down the palm power to kill, he suddenly had a jump in his heart. Danger! A strong crisis surfaced in an instant. The combat experience honed in the life and death crisis, this moment caused him to decisively imperialize his chi to take off into the air, his blade light sweeping upwards, wanting to kill from the combined attack. But it's already too late. There was a loud pop. The eighteen dragonfall palm powers, the moment they came together, violently all erupted, the giant dragons exploded, and the violent power instantly blasted towards Bloodless Heart. Bloodless Heart's face changed, and he lightly shouted, Ying Chi rolling around his body, and his long sword rolling up layers of blade astral, resisting the fierce and furious might. How he had not expected that the eighteen giant dragons, could still instantly explode and coalesce into a wild and unrivaled force to come. It's not right. This is not a normal martial artist at all, where is this kind of technique? In the inner domain, even if one was a patriarch, it would be impossible for a blasted palm to suddenly explode at the necessary moment. How can you control your palm once it is out? Not at all. Something is not right with this borderline teenager. What the hell is this technique? 
Boom! The blade's astral deities crumbled, and the overbearing and unparalleled power of the dragonfall palm force, as well as the blazing aura attached to it, seemed to be evaporating the gloomy and cold aura of his body. It made it difficult for Bloodless Heart to be abnormal. This seat, I will definitely destroy you. And could only present the power of wrath in this way. The results are extremely good. I was right about my epiphany. Su Yen was excited in his heart. It was a fierce battle that was very rewarding. Shift, he realized it. After the great completion of the Dragonfall Palm, he made another breakthrough and realized the second level of the Dragonfall Palm. Boom! Su Yan's chi and blood seemed endless as he blasted out palm after palm, continuously bombarding Blood Heartless. At the moment, Bloodless Heart was in a passive phase, and several times when he tried to break out, he was blasted back by the 18 giant dragons. What alarmed him even more was that the other party's palm power was getting stronger and stronger. Even from the power of the palm, he felt a kind of anger. Ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. However, such a ridiculous scene was truly in front of him. Ahem. Suddenly. Bloodless Heart felt a sense of emptiness. There's been a bit of a recurrence of the injury. It's too consuming. Damn it, won't he consume it? Blood Heartless was shocked and furious. He himself, a Grandmaster Martial Artist, was unable to help a teenager in a borderland, and was instead beaten to a pulp. In the inner domain, he, Bloodless Heart, was also a renowned Devil Da Master Ah. If word gets out, who would dare believe it? We can't keep fighting like this. Bloodless Heart knew that if he continued to be so passive, he would end up being consumed alive. It's even possible to be killed by the other side. He was able to sense that the other party's palm force was becoming more and more fierce and domineering, and his might was becoming more and more powerful. This dragon-shaped palm force became more and more solid, and between the explosions, the violent power vaguely carried a hint of a sense of anger. Bind. Bloodless Heart's long sword rolled up the blade astral, and the gloomy aura on his body suddenly thickened. Covering the battlefield around, densely packed, like a spider's web of vampire-devouring silk, this instant, violently contracted, bound toward Su Yen. What kind of tactic is this? Su Yen was startled, the densely packed threads carried a gloomy aura, although they continued to melt under his blazing chi and blood, yet there were too many of them. At this moment, he realized that he was actually within the silk net laid out by the other party. Careless. Inexperienced. Su Yen sighed in his heart. However, he didn't panic. These threads looked sinister, and although they were powerful, they shouldn't be able to resist his powerful chi and blood. Boom. A hundred feet of chi and blood swept out, a giant dragon coiled around, wrapped in terrifying might, sweeping towards the huge net that enveloped it. One thread was crumbling and disappearing. In the end, the entire giant net was dissolved by chi and blood. Bloodless took the opportunity to get out of the way. He didn't expect the vampire devouring silk, either, to threaten Su Yen, but it was just a way to distract Su Yen's power and take the opportunity to get out. At this moment, he was a hundred feet above the sky with his royal chi. Looking down at Su Yen, the blade light swept down. Su Yen leapt up and blasted out with a palm. However, he was in the chi and blood realm, and was unable to use his chi to take off into the air, even though it was not much of a problem to leap a hundred feet, however, Bloodless Heart could pull away at any time while he was unable to continue to get closer. With one bounce, he was already at a disadvantage. The attack distance of the Dragonfall Palm was only a hundred feet. Blood Heartless was a hundred feet away, launching an attack on him, a bitter blade chi that kept pouring down. Su Yen could only passively defend, slapping out a Dragonfall Palm power to ward off the attacks. Occasionally, he pranced up and tried to attack Blood Heartless in close quarters, however, the experienced Blood Heartless would not let his advantage disappear and immediately pranced away. In this way, Su Yen was in a passive state. In midair, a blade light poured down, cold and horrifying, cutting a gully in the ground. And on the ground, a crimson dragon rose up in the air and blasted at the blade light, the attacks clashed with each other in midair, and the sound of roaring resounded. The fight goes on. The stagecoach had long since been completely destroyed, not a trace of it surviving. This official road also collapsed during the Great Battle and is no longer pedestrianizable. The ground was furrowed with huge craters one after the other. The mountains next to it have also been destroyed. I, Bloodless Heart, am a Zhongshu realm martial artist, so I don't believe I can't wear you out. A sinister look appeared in Bloodless Heart's eyes. At all costs, this person must be exterminated. Devouring its essence blood would be worth all the cost to himself. Boom. Oomph, let's see what you can do to me. Su Yen held his head high as he looked at Blood Heartless in midair. The battle spirit in his eyes was still high, if he could take to the air with his own chi, he would definitely slap the other party to death. At this moment, the Jade Bone Realm's Martial Dao Foundation displayed its power. The chi and blood surged and stirred continuously, and even though it was such an intense battle, Su Yen still had no loss of chi or blood, and he didn't feel the slightest bit of overconsumption. Ahem. Bloodless coughed. The feeling of emptiness in the body grew stronger and stronger, and the state of the injury was vaguely about to recur. It's too consuming. Looking at the bottom, still with a high will to fight, slapping out palm after palm, full of energy, not the slightest hint of consumption and weakness of Su Yen, Bloodless Heart had a helpless look on his face. 
The one who couldn't afford to consume it was surprisingly him, a patriarchal powerhouse, ah. Even though he's injured, he's still a patriarch. Why would such a demon exist in this side of the wilderness? The 73 Episodes Successive Harvests, Bloodless Heart Shock Bloodless Heart was indignant, unwilling, and suffocating, but he knew that he couldn't continue fighting, or else the one who would end up being consumed would definitely be himself. Recover from your injuries and come back for his little life after regaining your full strength. Bloodless Heart glared sinisterly at Su Yen below. The consumption is too great, go to the nearby city of blood sacrifice and recover. Bloodless thought so. After slashing down, he flew directly away from the battlefield. Don't go away. Go on. Su Yen panicked and went after him on the ground, he hadn't gotten over the fight yet. The more he fought, the more he felt, he suddenly realized that martial artists must fight. A martial artist who can't fight has no future. That's Yunshan County, what's he doing in Yunshan County? Master is in Yunshan County. Su Yen watched as the blood heartless figure disappeared at the end of his line of sight, his heart somewhat puzzled. The direction the other party went was none other than Yunshan County. Li Xian watched Meng Chang's strength, getting stronger day by day, and was satisfied in his heart, looking forward to the rewards that would come from his second disciple's initiation. It had to be said that Meng Chang's talent was indeed strong, especially in the physical body martial Dao, and in such a short period of time, he had already been tempered to the bronze bone, and was almost as far from the golden bone. However, there was a bottleneck at the bronze bone to gold bone stage that needed to be broken through a bit. Li Xian believed that the golden bone bottleneck was nothing to Meng Chong, and the only thing that was difficult, I'm afraid, was the Vudra glazed bone. I'm in the innate realm now, and my second disciple, who was initiated, is only in the Qi and blood realm, so can it be useful in improving my strength? Li Xian pondered. The Vudra glazed bone is definitely useful, and the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield should also be able to further enhance my fleshly body. Combining the Orthodox Martial Dao and the physical body Martial Dao in one, how strong should one be? Li Xian was filled with anticipation. Shirea recently cultivation has a small progress, even began to refine the skin, and he was originally a Jianghu top expert, the process of refining the skin, is not difficult, just the speed of cultivation, then Su Yen and Meng Chong, will be much slower. Sure, Er isn't that old, in his thirties, I guess. And for him to become a top expert in the Jianghu at this age shows that he still has some talent. Li Xian was quite satisfied with this servant. He was a quick worker and a good cook, even if he could have abstained from food and not eaten, but he still had a mouthful for delicious food. Sure, Er went out to buy chickens. Meng Chong was in the midst of diligent cultivation, while Li Xian sat in his chair, leisurely. Suddenly, your disciple Su Yen had an epiphany of the art of shifting in the midst of a fierce battle, and your art of shifting has come to fruition. Golden light surfaced. In an instant, the Bagua pattern appeared in Li Xian's mind, and the art of shifting shapes and changing positions had been mastered in practice to a great extent. Li Xian, however, stood up violently. What's going on? Su Yen had an epiphany of the art of shifting in the midst of a fierce battle? Where is the battle raging? With Su Yen's strength, he should be unrivaled in Qi, even if there were thousands of troops, it wouldn't be enough to put Su Yen in the middle of a fierce battle. This showed that Su Yen had met a strong enemy. Is it a martial artist from this world, or a ferocious beast like the fire main wolf? Li Xian stared in thought. Su Yen won't be in danger, right? The epiphany of the art of shifting was obviously an epiphany at the moment of crisis after having fallen into a fierce battle and having encountered danger. This shifting shape, very subtle, was based on the eight trigrams and instantly shifted its orientation to avoid attacks and attack enemies. In combat, it was superior to the Light Hong stance. This was simply combat stance, even beyond the realm of stance. As one's cultivation increased and one's realm became higher and higher, shifting would become powerful with it. Your disciple Su Yen, in the heat of battle, raised the Dragonfall Palm to a great accomplishment. And your Dragonfall Palm is complete. Goldfinger has once again fed back the harvest. The Dragon Bucking Palm is complete. Li Xian was somewhat unable to sit still, Su Yen had encountered some strong enemy, having an epiphany of shifting shapes, followed by the Dragonfall Palm also improving in the heat of battle. No, I've got to go check it out. He was a little worried about Su Yen's safety, and at the same time, he marveled at Su Yen's talent, that he had made breakthroughs one after another in the midst of a fierce battle. Sure enough, martial artists just need to fight. A martial artist who can't fight, then he's not a pure martial artist. Your disciple has been fighting strong enemies and his battle experience has been increasing, and your battle experience has increased dramatically. Goldfinger continues to come back with feedback. The battle consciousness in his mind awakened in general, and in an instant, his battle experience improved tremendously. To East River County. Without hesitation, Li Xian's figure rose into the air and instantly disappeared into the sky. Meng Chong, who was in the middle of his cultivation, was suddenly shocked as his master flew away in the air. In the blink of an eye, it was gone. That's too fast. The Ascendant Realm can use Qi to take off into the air and travel a hundred miles in an instant, master is an Ascendant Realm powerhouse? No, it's not. Master's realm must be far more than just the innate realm. Senior brother once said that master is a hidden master, and I'm afraid that the realm is so high that it has already transcended all the martial realms, and is close to the existence of the Tao. Meng Chong instantly had a sense of, well, chicken blood excitement. 
I'm going to try to get started early. Cultivating, more and more diligently, the great sun's intention emerged, the whole person seemed to be in the quenching of the great sun. The copper bones even gradually tended to be perfected. Li Xian rode in the air, this was the first time he had flown in the air after breaking through the innate realm. A strong martial artist, when it's really great, two worlds, first time flying. Li Xian thought with a sigh in his heart. With his current strength, he quickly arrived over the East River County under full flight. No battle movement was sensed. With a sweep of his eyes, within the Su family mansion, Su Yan's parents were both in cultivation, and the guards at home, partly on duty and partly in cultivation, were safe and sound. Su Yan is in the capital? Li Xian frowned. The capital was too far away from Donghe County, and even if he hurried with all his might, by the time he reached the capital, the battle would have ended and the victory would have been decided. Want to go to the capital? Li Xian hesitated. Su Yan was his precious disciple, and with his current strength, the strong enemies Su Yan fought against could be destroyed with a wave of his hand. It was just that the capital was far away, and if Su Yan was undefeated, it would be too late for him to rescue him even if he wanted to. Your disciple Su Yan, in the midst of the fierce battle, the Dragonfall Palm broke through to the second level, and the second level of your Dragonfall Palm came to fruition. Goldfinger feedback is back. Li Xian froze, the second level of the Dragonfall Palm? He was overjoyed, this disciple can, he can even harden the level of the Dragonfall Palm, since there is a second level, is there a third level, a fourth level, a fifth level? The second level of the Dragonfalling Palm had already possessed some of the meaning of Dragon's Might, and stimulating the anger meaning in the Palm Power made the power of the Dragonfalling Palm increase greatly. And the dragon-shaped palm power of the dragonfall palm became more solid and had a dragon phase. Su Yan can have an epiphany in the midst of a fierce battle, which means that he is not incapable of taking on the enemy, and now that he has had an epiphany of the second level of the dragon subduing palm, he shouldn't be able to lose, right? Li Xian mused. Is Su Yan actually in the capital, or has he gone somewhere else? The one who fought against him, was it a martial artist of this world, or a ferocious beast like the fire main wolf? Li Xian favored the former. Emperor Qi has found a martial artist? Or maybe Su Yan interfered with the mundane, so someone from the martial arts world came to target Su Yan? Li Xian stared and pondered. With my current strength, what level of martial artist do I belong to in the martial Dao realm? What is the martial arts of this world like? Li Xian looked down at the Su family mansion below and silently waited up. Until now, the Su family residence, there was no movement. It means that there are no critical messages coming from the capital. Go back and ask Sher'er to utilize the intelligence of the Heavenly Mother sect to probe the movements in the capital. Li Xian had a plan in mind. So he turned around and returned to Cloud Hill County. Bloodless Heart flew all the way towards Yunshan County, a hundred miles down the road, he felt even more empty within himself, and was even slightly out of breath. But he didn't dare stop. Su Yan was chasing after him, once he came down from midair and slowed down, it would be dangerous to be caught up. The injury is in the process of recurring. Hateful. I've come to the border wilderness and I'm still in such a sorry state. No, it's even more of a mess than it was in the inner sphere. Bloodless Heart was indignant and stifled in his heart, and a bloodthirsty light flashed in his eyes. After I make a blood sacrifice to the city, devour the essence blood and recover my strength, I will take your little life. Bloodless Heart thought viciously in his heart. A small city appeared inside ahead. The city isn't big, it's only about tens of thousands of people, and the blood sacrifice will restore it to strength. The bloodthirsty light in Bloodless Heart's eyes flourished. In such a small city, there shouldn't be any strong people. He also had some doubts in his heart, on his way to escape from the inner domain, he met that team in the mountains, one of them was some kind of cheese military minister's son. For his status, there must be strong people to protect him. Why wasn't there even a single martial artist on that team? And was it a coincidence that he had just come out of the mountains and met an incredibly powerful guy? The borderlands don't actually have martial artists, that one is just special? Bloodless Heart had some doubts in his heart. Right now was not the time to explore, recovering from injuries and regaining strength was fundamental. He flew directly over Yunshan County. A keen sense of the moment revealed that there were a number of bloodthirsty people in the county, not to be outdone by those who had devoured them in the mountains. There? Suddenly, Bloodless Heart sensed an exuberant chi in blood. In the middle of this county, this chi and blood, which was more exuberant than the entire county, gave him a strong desire. Martial Artist. He was appalled. It was surprising that martial artists existed in the small county. In a borderland, where the spiritual energy of heaven and earth was extinguished, there shouldn't be any martial artists appearing. He gazed and sensed, trying to swallow the aura of heaven and earth, yet he could sense nothing. The spiritual energy of heaven and earth has not been restored and remains in a state of extinction. Why are there martial artists? Bloodless Heart thought of it. The teenager he had fought with had cultivated an extremely special technique that was different from the inner domain. Whatever, after devouring this one martial artist's chi and blood, I'll be able to recover. When I regain my sect master strength, I don't believe that in this side of the barren land, there are still strong people who are comparable to sect masters. A Zongshu realm martial artist was also a top-notch powerhouse in the inner domain. In a borderland, it is absolutely impossible for a Zongshu powerhouse to appear. 
This one martial artist, who is much too weak, is not difficult to deal with. Bloodless Heart was excited. With a single movement of his body, he arrived over the small courtyard and saw Meng Chong. Looking at the bare and reflective head of the burly, muscular Meng Chong, a look of greedy surprise appeared in Bloodless Heart's eyes. Such exuberant chi and blood, although it's not as good as that brat's, but after devouring his essence blood, I'm bound to recover from my injuries and my strength will return to its peak. Go kill that kid again and devour his essence blood, and I won't be too far away from breaking through to Grandmaster. The more Bloodless Heart thought about it, the more excited he became. Once he broke through to Grandmaster, he wouldn't be afraid of anyone, not to mention the Borderlands, even in the Inner Domain. A Grandmaster was already the pinnacle of martial arts in the Inner Domain. Devour his essence blood. Not wanting to avoid a long night's sleep, Bloodless Heart struck out immediately. He hadn't forgotten that Su Yen was chasing in his direction, and he had to devour the brat in front of him before the other party came after him. As long as he refines his essence blood and recovers from his injuries, let that kid, see what the power of a patriarch is. With a flick of his finger. A strand of vampire devouring silk flew out and shot straight to his heart. Meng Chong was in the middle of his cultivation, and he had already perfected his bronze bone. The fleshly golden bell is getting stronger and stronger, and it is only one step away from the golden bone. A step away. However, at this step, Meng Chong felt a bottleneck, and for a moment, was unable to break through the golden bone. Suddenly, his heart skipped a beat. Dangerous feeling. Where's the danger? Before Meng Chong realized where the danger was coming from, suddenly, his heart was stabbed by something, and an extremely cold aura drilled into his heart. As this chilly breath drilled in, the heartbeat violently intensified, qi and blood suddenly gushed out, as if a qi and bloodstorm had appeared in the body. It was as if a drop of water had dripped into a frying pan. As the storm of qi and blood swept through, the copper bones, which had originally stagnated and could not continue to be tempered, unexpectedly loosened up at this moment under the violent qi and blood onslaught. What is it? Meng Chong was shocked, this one cold silk thread, what exactly is it? Looking along the silk threads, he saw blood heartless standing in the air. In that instant, Meng Chang's scalp went numb and his heart tightened. An innate realm martial artist? Where did an innate realm martial artist come from, doesn't she have no martial artists? Elder brother alone has swept through the divine might army, trampling the Qi royal family to the ground. This mysterious martial artist clearly carried malice. This silk thread in his heart was a fatal attack, and it was only because he cultivated the great sun golden bell shield and his defense was incredibly powerful that it didn't pierce into his heart. Just a little puncher? Meng Chong blasted out with a punch, blowing the silk thread right off. Where did master go? Meng Chong was sweating in a hurry. He hadn't even been initiated yet, how could he be a match for that guy in midair? Where's master? Master left a while ago and hasn't come back yet. The other party came to kill him while master was away? Could it be, it's an assassin hired by Emperor Wu? In this instant, Meng Chong thought of Emperor Wu. He's on Wu's most wanted list, with a reward of 100,000 tails of gold. The blood heartless in Madare was shocked at the moment. That vampire devouring silk just now, although it wasn't at its full strength, yet even if it was a stone, it could still pierce through. As a result, the vampire eating silk, failed to pierce into the heart of the bald teenager below. Or even, just a little puncture in the skin? He felt that this side of the deserted land, was very odd, and even a little scary up. Any random person you meet is weirdly powerful. This one, the strength of his physical body physique was truly unbelievable. Quickly. Bloodless Heart flicked his fingers in succession, and two vampire devouring silks shot out explosively. Episode 74. Inside and on the Borderlands, Bones and Ash. The two vampire eater filaments, with their speed and power, were far stronger than the previous vampire eater filament, and could easily penetrate even a piece of steel plate. At this moment, Meng Chong only felt an intense crisis surfacing in his heart. With a low roar, his muscles bulged with a thud, and his flesh was like a golden bell, even glowing with a faint golden light. Both fists were blocked in front of his chest, protecting his vitals. The vampire devouring silk instantly lodged itself into his fist, and the gloomy aura, from fist to arm, drilled into his body. Boom! The chi and blood in his body, instantly went berserk, sweeping around his body, the bottleneck broke, he broke through the limit of the bronze bone. The danger, however, was not gone. Even if he immediately becomes a golden bone great success, he is not an opponent. On his fist, there was a stinging pain and an eerie aura that seemed to freeze his fist. Domain.sica.a Letting out a low roar once again, the storm of qi and blood in his body surged into his fists under his operation. Both fists blasted out, breaking the blood-devouring ghost silk that was rooted into his fists. Bloodless Heart's heart was shocked, what kind of flesh was this? Surprisingly, it blocked his blood-devouring ghost silk? I don't believe it, you can block this strike. Bloodless squared up. He himself was a Zongshir powerhouse, and although he hadn't even exerted much force, the two attacks just now, if they were in the inner domain, would have easily penetrated a third-grade martial artist. Even a patriarchal powerhouse wouldn't be able to block it with just his physical body. As for this bald teenager, his strength was certainly not as good as a third grade or above martial artist, but the sturdiness of this flesh body was ridiculously strong. 
Bloodless Heart flicked his finger, and a blood-devouring ghost silk that was a little thicker shot out, aiming straight for Meng Chang's heart. With this strike, he had truly utilized the strength that belonged to what a Zongshir martial artist should have. Can't stop it. Meng Chang's heart was horrified, this strike, no matter what, he wouldn't be able to block it. Martial Dao hadn't even been initiated yet, and no matter how strong the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield was, it couldn't possibly block the attack of a suspected innate realm martial artist. Even if he had cultivated the Golden Bone, or even the Vajra Glazed Bone, he wouldn't be able to block it. The difference in realms is too great. The crisis of death descended, but Meng Chong was powerless to do anything about it, he was too weak in the face of blood heartless. Just in the nick of time. A golden dragon suddenly descended from the sky, the vampire devouring silk instantly collapsed, while the golden dragon coiled up, directly coiling and controlling the blood heartless in midair, pulling it down from midair. Meng Chong was overjoyed, and had a feeling of having survived a robbery. Master. Li Xian had returned from Donghe County and was preparing to have sure air, using the intelligence of the Heavenly Mother sect, probe the movements in the capital yet. As a result, just after returning to Yunshan County, he sensed a gloomy aura. Martial artist. And, right in his yard. Immediately, he was taken aback, where did the martial artist come from? Immediately, with a shift, he arrived over the small courtyard. Just in time to see Meng Chong fall into a crisis, he immediately stepped in to save Meng Chong, and in the process, found the blood heartless, in midair. Luckily I was quick, or this second disciple of mine would have been nothing. Li Xian's heart let out a sigh of relief. Looking at his second disciple, who was about to be initiated into the martial arts, if he was killed, he would have a huge loss. Where to find a second disciple suitable for practicing the Great Sun Golden Bell? Thinking so, his heart raged. Suddenly, he looked at Blood Heartless, who was bound by the power of the Dragonfall Palm, and his gaze became gloomy. It was a martial artist, and not a weak one at that. Seems to be, in a wounded state. Moreover, what the other party was cultivating was not chi and blood, but an eerie aura, and had a bloody undertone, clearly not a good person. True chi? Li Xian stared slightly. No, it's somewhat like true chi, but the quality is worse than true chi. The true chi in the other party's body was far less pure than his innate true chi, and its power and quality were much worse. Master, what kind of person is he? He wants to kill the disciple as soon as he comes. Did Emperor Wu send him? Meng Chong, having survived the robbery, looked at Blood Heartless and instantly revealed a look of anger. Li Xian sat down on the chair, his mysterious aura emerging, making him look more and more mysterious. How are the injuries? Li Xian glanced at the wound on Meng Chang's fist, and there was an eerie aura lingering around it. But it's not a big problem, it's a minor injury. With Meng Chang's current physical body's recovery power, he had completely recovered in two or three days. Moreover, stimulated by this cold and shadowy qi, Meng Chang's qi and blood went berserk, surprisingly breaking through the bottleneck, breaking through the copper bone limit, and entering the stage of quenching the golden bones. A blessing in disguise? Bloodless heart fell to the ground, his heart horrified. A golden dragon, coiled around him with a terrifying pressure, suppressed into death, making him unable to move. The internal qi was even more suppressed, as if it would collapse at any moment. Grand Master? How could there be a great master powerhouse in the borderlands? No. No, this terrifying might may not be possessed by even a great master. What kind of man is this? He looks inscrutable. Bloodless Heart's heart sank downward. Because of the border wilderness land, the spiritual energy of heaven and earth is extinguished, the spiritual energy of heaven and earth is fierce, and because the spiritual energy of heaven and earth does not exist, it is not possible to guide the spiritual energy into the body. The human body is also unable to refine and withstand the violent aura. Therefore, there can be no martial artists. Because of this, he had fled to the borderlands after being hunted down in the inner domain with no way to escape. However, it had never occurred to him that such a strong person existed in the borderlands. This is their master? The mysterious strong man's strike was a golden dragon, unstoppable, the same source as that kid's palm technique, this person must be that kid's master without a doubt. Borderlands, what's going on? Bloodless heart was suffocating, and at the moment, he had the feeling that he had traveled a long way to come to the borderlands to die. Li Xian gazed at the blood heartless on the ground, his brows furrowed slightly, where did this martial artist come from? Why did he strike at Meng Chong, could it really be that Emperor Wu had sent him as Meng Chong had said? If it was a martial artist sent by the Emperor of Wu, Qi, whose strength was not the least bit weaker than Wu's, should have existed martial artists as well, otherwise it would have been annexed by Wu long ago. However, Su Yen had tossed around Qi for so long without seeing any martial artists appear. Incorrect. Su Yen was in a fierce battle with someone, could it be that Emperor Qi slowed down a breath and went to invite martial artists out? All alone, Qi's force value has been very low. From all indications, there is no martial artist, otherwise Su Yen believed in the words of the legend, everywhere looking for high people, want to cultivate the real martial arts, will not be ridiculed as the brain is not very good. Li Xian was about to ask Meng Chong to interrogate him about where Blood Heartless came from and what level of strength he was at in the martial arts world when he saw Su Yen flying in. He raised an eyebrow, and instantly realized somewhat that the martial artist who had been in a fierce battle with Su Yen couldn't be the one at the moment, could it? 
Su Yan followed the direction in which Blood Heartless had fled, and chased after him all the way, and outside of Yunshan County, he saw a golden dragon flashing away, and he was startled, this was master striking? Hurriedly rushing over, he saw that Bloodless Heart had collapsed on the ground. A golden dragon coiling around him, binding him to death. Master! Su Yan respectfully saluted. Then he saw the injury on Meng Chang's hand and was surprised, saying, Senior brother, could it be that he injured you? Yes elder brother, if master hadn't rushed back, I would have died. Meng Chong said with palpitations. This guy, he might have been sent by Emperor Wu to kill me. Meng Chong said angrily through clenched teeth. I guess not. Su Yan was stunned that Meng Chong was mistaken. You fought him, tell me about it. Li Xian looked at Su Yan and opened his mouth to ask. Yes, master. Su Yan nodded his head, so he told the whole story. From going to the capital, to explore the original cause of the dry corpse, I thought it was the legendary corpse fangs, but found that it was not, so I was ready to come back to ask the master, what kind of demonic creature to harm people. As a result, at the post station a hundred miles away, it was found that all the post station officials were killed, and the deaths all looked like they had been drained of their blood, and they encountered the bloodless heart attack, so after a big battle, the bloodless heart couldn't afford to run away. Li Xian was surprised to hear that this was a demonic cultivator. Devouring other people's blood, what is it if it's not a demonic cultivator? Where did the devil cultivator come from? He finally understood why the other party attacked Meng Chong, it must be because he saw that Meng Chang's qi and blood were vigorous and his essence blood was thick, containing a huge amount of essence blood power. It could help him recover from his injuries and improve his strength. He had only misjudged the strength of Meng Chang's physical body, and had been careless with his first and second strikes. It was also thanks to carelessness, otherwise by the time he returned, Meng Chong would already be dead. Tell me. Where did you come from and what do you intend to do? Li Xian slightly loosened the golden dragon that bound Blood Heartless, allowing him to speak. It was just the right time to use this person to learn about the martial arts world of this world. What is the value of force in the martial arts world, and what level of strength are you at today? Come on. Meng Chong clenched his fists and blared at Bloodless Heart angrily. Be honest or I'll kill you. Almost killed, Meng Chong was furious at the moment. Bloodless Heart's heart sank downwards as he looked at Li Xian, only to feel mysterious and unfathomable, his strength profound and unfathomable, definitely not something that could be compared to that of a Grand Master Realm powerhouse. There was no escape, only a way to save his little life. Elder forgive me, Senior Blood Heartless, from the inner domain, was pursued by an enemy and thus fled to the side of the barren land. Bloodless Heart spoke with deliberation. Inner domain. Borderland. Li Xian had already realized in his heart that where Qi and Wu were located, they belonged to the border wasteland, while through the endless mountains, they were the inner region. Martial artists exist in the inner domain. Blood Heartless should be a devil Dao martial artist from the inner domain who was surrounded and injured, thus escaping to the borderlands. What is the opponent's strength in the inner domain? What about the martial arts of the inner domain? The quality of Bloodless Heart's true chi is a bit poor, is it because of the cultivation technique, or is it caused by the difference in martial arts systems? These doubts, Li Xian, as a recluse, naturally wouldn't open his mouth to ask about them. He is a high man, and he must know this world like the back of his hand. If he opened his mouth and asked like this, wouldn't it appear that he, a high-ranking person, knew nothing about the martial arts world? And, there was no need for him to ask. Su Yan had inquired excitedly. Where is the inner domain? Is that where the martial arts world is? Master had been smiling mysteriously, not talking about the martial arts world, only saying that when his strength arrived, he would naturally know. Right now is the opportunity to learn about the martial arts world. Where is the inner domain? Is it the martial Dao realm? Why are we, here, called the borderland? Su Yan asked with wild eyes. Bloodless Heart was stunned, looking at Su Yan in astonishment, he didn't know about the inner domain? Don't know the borderlands? Looking at Li Xian again, that mysterious powerhouse, sitting on a chair, leisurely, seemed to be unconcerned. This is a high man. A high-ranking person who came from the inner domain? Living in seclusion in a borderland. Is it to hide from his enemies, or is it for some reason? He took two disciples here but never mentioned anything about the inner domain, so... Bloodless Heart had a bold guess. The inner region is after going over the great mountains, it is called the border wasteland because the spiritual energy of heaven and earth is extinguished and the aura is violent, so it is impossible to sense the spiritual energy, gulp the aura, and give birth to a martial artist. Su Yan and Meng Chong stared at their brows as they listened. A borderland, where the spirit of heaven and earth dies out, unable to give birth to a martial artist? How is this possible? Li Xian was also surprised in his heart, I am able to gulp heaven and earth aura, I can cultivate a, it should be because of the martial arts path that I have codified, no wonder I feel that this aura, how is it not gentle enough? He finally understood why the aura was not gentle, it turned out to be because, the spiritual energy of the heaven and earth was dying out. It's because of the heaven and earth bridge. Which serves as a bridge to communicate with heaven and earth, so even without heaven and earth's spiritual energy, one can still cultivate. Li Xian realized in his heart. Go on, explain everything you know, what is the strength of the inner domain martial Dao realm? Are you in the innate realm? At what level? Su Yan continued to ask. 
Innate realm? Bloodless Heart was a bit confused, what realm was the innate realm? This kid, he's in the innate realm? Martial Dao is divided into nine grades, and when you break through one grade, you're a Chi Refining Grandmaster, Chi Refining Grandmaster. I'm a Grandmaster Realm Martial Artist. I'm an internal Chi. I'm sensing the spiritual chances of the heavens and the earth, and channeling the spiritual Chi into my body, transforming it into the internal Chi of the Martial Dao. Su Yen and Meng Chong were dumbfounded as they listened, what ninth grade and first grade, what Chi Refining Grandmaster and Chi Refining Grandmaster. The opponent was actually a Grandmaster Realm Martial Artist, and a Grandmaster was already the topmost powerhouse in the inner region. Li Xian silently listened, according to what Bloodless Heart had said, in terms of realms, the innate realm compared to the sect master realm, only the inner domain sect master strength was quite a bit worse than the innate realm. And his own current strength was comparable to that of a grand master. Even a little stronger. Thinking like this, his heart was relieved, with his own strength today, he is also the topmost existence in the inner domain, it won't take long for Su Yen to break through the innate realm. One's own strength definitely surpassed that of a great master. I've said all I know. Bloodless Heart finished all that he knew, then pleaded, I am only being chased and panicked, I do not have the intention to kill, I still hope that senior. It's time to beg for mercy. However, with a slight movement of Li Xian's hand, the golden dragon violently erupted with a terrifying pressure. Blood Heartless immediately shattered into dozens of pieces, followed by the golden dragon crushed, burst out of the blazing gas, dozens of body pieces, crushed into flying ash, rolled up a wind to blow, Asher floating away. Not a trace left. The only thing left was a bag, with a knife on the floor. With a roll of the golden dragon, the sword and the bag, both fell into Li Xian's hands. Su Yen and Meng Chong were stunned, this killed the man? Master, this is. Su Yen spoke doubtfully. Li Xian stood up with a serious look on his face, it was time to teach his disciple. Apprentice son, you should remember that for this kind of person of unknown origin and with malicious and hostile intent, do not be merciful, thwart his bones, raise his ashes, and extinguish his soul, so that there will be no trace of him and no trace of him, and he will be untraceable. Many unnecessary troubles can be avoided, such as killing the little one, coming to the old one, destroying one person, the clan behind the door and so on and so forth. Directly thwart their bones and destroy their souls, leaving no trace. As long as no one knows who killed them, it's none of your business. Su Yen and Meng Chong listened attentively, this was a master, imparting experience in the martial arts world. Thwarting the bones and destroying the soul? As long as no one knows I did it, it's none of my business. Su Yen muttered as he felt enlightened. Episode 75 True Budo vs. False Budo? Master, I get it. Su Yen had a look of realization on his face as he said, as long as it is an enemy, thwarting their bones and destroying their souls, one must never be merciful. If the other party has a background and a strong backer behind him, then after destroying him, erase the traces and clear the connection with yourself. As long as no one knows about it, it's none of your business. That's the experience of breaking into the martial arts world. Although the master is unfathomable, but it is obviously impossible, everywhere to shelter their own, the real strong, is to rely on their own strength, to solve all the enemies in trouble. Li Xin nodded his head silently, it was very good that his eldest disciple could always understand the deeper meaning of his words. Master, I get it too. Da. Meng Chong also had a dazed look on his face. He also felt that he had some clarity on how to deal with these enemies when he encountered them, combining his experience in the jungle. If you can't cope on your own, find a backstabber. Just be able to thwart the enemy and exterminate their souls. Like when he took revenge, he was looking for Wu Wang, clean, all chopped up. Li Xian was relieved, and the second disciple was enlightened. Two disciples, both of them are gifted. Master is very pleased. Master, the inner domain martial Dao that Bloodless Heart spoke of is divided into nine great realms, above the first grade is the Qi Refining Patriarch, who cultivates the internal Qi of the martial Dao, and above the Patriarch there is the Grand Patriarch, why is it different? Su Yan asked the doubts in his heart. The martial arts Dao transmitted by the Master was refining the skin, bones, and organs, which belonged to the basic realm of martial arts and could not even be considered as an introduction, while the introduction to martial arts was the Qi and Blood realm. Above the Qi and Blood realm was the innate realm. The inner domain Martial Dao's patriarchal realm was rather similar to the innate realm, where one could similarly use their Qi to take off into the air, only that they were not cultivating innate true Qi, but rather Martial Dao internal Qi. Master. What about the fact that we are here in a borderland, where the spiritual energy of heaven and earth is extinguished and we cannot cultivate martial artists? According to Bloodless Heart's words, in the border wasteland, the spiritual energy of the heaven and earth was extinguished, and the aura was violent, and the border wasteland beings were unable to perceive the existence of the aura because they were in the middle of a heaven and earth that was devoid of spiritual energy. Even more so, he could not rely on aura to cultivate martial arts. The aura of heaven and earth, which had become violent because it had lost its spirituality, could not be channeled into the body. This was all quite different from the martial arts that had been handed down by the master. Meng Chong nodded his head at the side, also filled with curiosity. Li Xian sat on a chair with a deep gaze and did not answer directly, but asked, Apprentice, you fought with blood heartless, what do you think of his strength? Kind of impressive, I was narrowly no match for him, due to my inexperience of course, but he was hurt too. 
Su Yin thought for a moment, assessing Bloodless Heart's strength, and added, if I were to complete the Qi and Blood Realm, and Bloodless Heart was uninjured and at his peak, I'm confident that I wouldn't lose to him, or even beat him. Li Xian smiled, you're just an introduction to martial arts, the Qi and Blood Realm, but he's a grandmaster. Su Yen was stunned, yes, Blood Wuxin was a sect master realm martial artist now, and was in the ranks of the strongest in the inner domain, whereas he himself was only just at the entry level of martial arts, the Qi and Blood Realm. One self, a martial artist who was an initiator of martial arts, could actually take on him, a Zongshir, and it was self-evident who was the real martial arts. In this instant, Su Yen realized. What with the ninth, eighth, fifth, third, and first grades? It doesn't sound esoteric enough. On the other hand, what one cultivates is refining the skin, bones, and organs, with the tendons and bones thundering, and the qi and blood like the astral, which sounds more powerful than those of the first and third grades. Master, I get it, they cultivate a pseudo-martial way. Su Yen said with a sudden realization. So it is. Meng Chong also understood, and said with a dazed expression, so it's a pseudo-martial path, in that case, the so-called sovereign masters are actually pseudo-advanced masters, with a strength much worse than that of the true advanced realm, so it's no wonder that he wasn't able to kill me with a single blow. It's all figured out now. Bloodless Heart did not cultivate a true martial way and his strength was too poor, which was why he had not been able to kill him with a single strike. Li Xian smiled without saying anything, this was all the disciple's own realization, he did not say that it was a pseudo-martial way. Surely there must be more than fake and false martial arts that one makes up, and whoever is strong is the true martial arts. So far, it's better to make up your own martial arts path. As for the future, whether or not it would lead to a battle between the true and false martial Dao, this was not something that Li Xian cared about. The Qi and Blood Realm, in fact, should correspond to the first, second, and third grades, except that the Qi and Blood Realm is stronger in terms of strength than the upper three grades of martial artists in the inner domain. Su Yen is, after all, a Jade Bone Root Foundation, and his strength is far beyond that of an ordinary Qi and Blood Realm, so he can cross the border to fight against the Inner Domain's Patriarchal Realm, and if he were a Gold Bone Root Foundation, he would be able to fight against the Inner Domain's Patriarchs as well. And if it's a Qi and Blood Realm with Copper and Iron Bone Roots, it won't be able to take on a Zongshir, but it's still stronger than the upper three ranks of the Inner Domain. Li Xian assessed it in his heart and roughly arrived at the difference in strength between the two. In the inner domain, the strength of a qi refining grandmaster martial artist was certainly also far beyond that of a first grade martial artist. Qi refining masters cultivate martial internal qi, it's just called by a different name, it can also be called true qi, only the martial cultivation is different, the true qi they cultivate is inferior to the innate realm in terms of power, purity, and quality. And although I'm only an innate realm initiator, in terms of strength, I don't lose to the great masters of the inner domain. Li Xian mentally made a comparison and assessment of the two martial arts systems. The Qi and Blood Realm, corresponded to the upper third grade of the inner domain, and a Qi and Blood Realm martial artist was, in terms of strength, stronger than an upper third grade martial artist of the inner domain. The innate realm, in fact, corresponds to the inner domain Qi refining master, both cultivate true Qi, only the innate realm's innate true Qi is stronger than the inner domain master's internal Qi, naturally the innate realm is stronger in terms of strength. With the iron bone root, into the innate realm of the martial artist, the strength, and the inner domain master, the gap will be a little smaller, roughly stronger than the inner domain master between 30 to 50%. And if it's a bronze bone, a golden bone, a jade bone, it's much stronger. Of course, inner domain patriarchs were also divided into strong and weak. However, overall, it was still the martial artists of the innate realm that were stronger. The stronger the root of the innate realm, the greater the difference in strength between the two. A grandmaster in the inner domain is already the pinnacle, after grandmaster. Is there anything stronger? Bloodless Heart was a sect master realm martial artist, and of a powerful inner domain demon sect, he should know a lot about the inner domain martial Dao. Regardless of whether there are any stronger martial artists above the Grand Masters, for the time being, there is no threat to me anymore, Su Yen is not far away from Qi and blood consummation. Once Su Yen breaks through the innate realm, I'll be even stronger. The realm after the innate realm should almost be made up, the realm is set for now, and when Su Yen breaks through the innate, he will be passed on the techniques above the innate realm. Li Xian pondered in his heart that the inner domain martial Dao realm was not a big threat to him. After Meng Chang's martial arts initiation, the feedback from his golden finger could also bring him to a higher level of strength. Master, the spiritual energy of heaven and earth is extinguished in the border wilderness land, so it's impossible to cultivate martial artists, what can we do? Since the difference between martial arts paths has been answered. The problem of the borderlands, where it was impossible to cultivate martial artists, was right in front of us. Could it be that you have to go to the inner domain to cultivate? Although he wanted to go to the inner domain to make a breakthrough, yet it was not yet time, his parents and family were too weak to suppress the border wilderness yet. You're already a martial artist. Li Xian smiled a little and said. Su Yen was stunned and tapped his head, saying, Right, I'm already a martial artist, but why did Bloodless Heart say that the border wilderness land, where the spiritual energy of heaven and earth is extinguished, is unable to produce martial artists? He had already entered the martial arts, belonging to the Qi and Blood Realm, and the cultivation after that would involve heaven and earth auras, which needed to be swallowed in order to break through the innate realm. Master, according to Bloodless Heart's words, the spiritual energy of heaven and earth is extinguished, so it's impossible to gulp spiritual Qi into the body, so wouldn't I be unable to break through to break through the innate realm in the border wilderness? Su Yan looked a little sad. 
That's what Blood Heartless said, that's the martial way they cultivate, it's not like you cultivate the inner domain martial way. Li Shen couldn't help but laugh as he looked at the somewhat worried Su Yen. So what if there is no heaven and earth spiritual energy? You use yourself as a bridge to communicate with heaven and earth, so why do you need the assistance of heaven and earth's spiritual energy? Su Yen was stunned at his words, and a flash of light appeared in his mind, his eyes lit up as he said, I see, so that's how it is. Heaven and earth bridge. Why break through the innate realm, the need to penetrate the heaven and earth bridge up, it is to use themselves as a bridge, communication between heaven and earth, gulping heaven and earth aura. That's the true way of martial arts. One does not need to rely on external spiritual opportunities of heaven and earth in order to cultivate. Therefore, what inner domain martial artists cultivated was definitely a pseudo-martial way. Good to know. Li Xian nodded. Looking up in the direction of the endless mountains, how exactly is the inner domain a side of the world? It should be easier to find a demonic disciple in the inner region, right? Li Xian thought so. Bloodless Heart fled to the borderlands to come here, so I think that it won't take long for the inner domain to discover Bloodless Heart's traces, and perhaps there will be people chasing after him to come to the borderlands. Although the border wasteland was special and Blood Heartless had only escaped here. He could rely on devouring essence blood to cultivate, other martial artists who came to the border wasteland, once they consumed too much, their recovery would be very slow. For other martial artists, they would not come after him hastily. However, Li Xian believed that someone would definitely come after him. So he spoke, if Blood Heartless came from the inner region, there will inevitably be other martial artists coming here as well. Su Yan and Meng Chong were stunned. I want to be initiated in martial arts within a month. Meng Chong clenched his fists and said firmly. The suffocation of almost being killed by Bloodless Heart was something he didn't want to experience again. Meng Chong went off to practice. He had already broken the bronze bone bottleneck and could temper the golden bone, and after the golden bone, there was still the budrug glazed bone. Su Yan looked at his master and said with a firm gaze, Master, disciple wants to learn swordsmanship. The dragon subduing palm was certainly powerful, yet he felt it was not enough. Bloodless Heart's blade technique was, in fact, very powerful, and posed quite a threat to him when they first engaged. If he knew swordsmanship, wouldn't he have fallen into a disadvantage? Li Xin was not surprised by this, from the first time he met Su Yen, he had seen his sword hanging from his waist. Even if he practiced martial arts and cultivated the dragon subduing palm, he still hung a sword at his waist from time to time. It means, he likes swords. And from the Qi Emperor's treasury, he found a precious sword, which he didn't bring with him until he was in a hurry to go to the capital this time. Li Xian had long been prepared. For the two disciples, how to cultivate and what martial arts techniques and feats to impart to them, Li Xian had already had a plan. Su Yen, cultivating palm and sword, palm and sword are incomparable. Meng Chong, on the other hand, was a sword and a fist, a fist and a sword. As for the other martial arts, techniques and such an addition, it would be up to the disciple to realize it in his own cultivation. He draws a frame for the apprentice and just puts everything in it. When the time comes, when the disciple has gone to the inner domain to make a break for it, he can draw on the essence of the martial arts of the inner domain and put it into this box, then it will be his own. Moreover, with the martial arts techniques of the inner domain, he also had a reference, and it would be relatively easier for him to compile the subsequent techniques, without having no direction at all. However, there was one thing that had to be taken seriously, and that was that the realm feats compiled down the line, no matter what, were stronger than the martial arts of the inner domain. Only then can you situate yourself in the fact that it is only true martial arts that you are passing on. If my martial arts spread, hiss. Li Xian was suddenly alarmed, if it were to spread, it would definitely eliminate the existing inner domain martial dao. -a. This will lead to a Taoist dispute. You can't rush it, you have to keep a steady hand, at least until the apprentice is strong. Li Xian felt the need to stabilize his hand. The storm was too big to carry with his current strength when he rashly triggered the battle of authenticity. Besides, his purpose was to compile merit laws and collect demonic disciples to make himself powerful and invincible. You can't get involved in strife and drag it down to get stronger. You can start in the borderlands. Li Xian had a plan in mind. Starting from the borderlands to promote their own martial arts, when the strength of the borderlands came up, the people of the borderlands went to the inner regions to venture out, and slowly their own martial arts spread out. Even if it triggers a dispute over authenticity, one can still hide behind the curtain and sit back and watch the storm. Naturally, there were martial artists from the borderlands who went to defend their own martial way. Of course, this is just a general idea, whether it is implemented, how it is implemented and whether it can be implemented are all unknown. What mattered right now was to be strong and make his disciple strong as soon as possible. The only way he would have a more lucrative harvest was if his disciple was strong enough to cultivate the made-up gongfu successfully. Glancing at Su Yan, whose face was filled with anticipation, Li Xian nodded, Yes, today, you sink your teeth into the rewards of the great battle with Blood Heartless, and come to find your master tomorrow. Yes, master. Su Yan nodded excitedly. Master, I'm going back to East River County. That sword is at home in East River County. I don't have it with me. Aha! Li Xian nodded. Su Yan left in a hurry. Glancing at Meng Chong, who was in the midst of his bitter cultivation, Li Xian said to Shi who had just returned and didn't know what had happened, just make Meng Chang's meal. Yes, Lord. 
Sure Air said respectfully. Li Xian got up from the chair, holding Bloodless Heart's long knife in one hand and carrying the bag left on Bloodless Heart's body in the other, and entered inside the room. This bag, he left it behind deliberately. Upon entering the room, he put aside the long sword, which was not an ordinary sharp weapon of steel, but a precious sword that could carry true qi. Opening the bag, inside was a pamphlet, glowing with the color of blood, and at a glance, it was clear that it was not a righteous thing. The technique that blood heartless cultivates. Li Xian's heart rejoiced, there was indeed something to be gained. Took the pamphlet out. In the bag, there were also two glistening white crystals. Li Xian took them out and sensed that the crystals contained aura. This should be the spirit stones, or spirit crystals of the inner domain. The inner domain's heaven and earth spiritual energy existed, and the aura was mild, so it was only natural that there existed jades that contained aura. The jade that contains aura is also known as spirit stone or spirit crystal. However, it was obvious that this was something very rare, and how Bloodless Heart was also a Zhongshu realm martial artist, it turned out that there were only two spirit crystals. He relied on essence blood to heal his wounds, not spirit crystals, and there was no question of depleting spirit crystals for the sake of healing. In the final analysis, it was still that spirit crystals were rare, and he, a patriarch, didn't have many. The Episode 76 The Master Only Preaches the Way, Not the Dharma Inside the bag was just a booklet with two spirit crystals and no other items. Li Xian had a disappointed look on his face. Bloodless is a poor man. The heart cannot help but curse, you a devil cultivator ah, killing and seizing treasures, is not very normal? You're going to escape to the border wilderness, and you're not going to scavenge some treasures to use in the border wilderness? What a fucking waste, it's not at all wrong to raise you ashes. Looking at the bag, it was a very ordinary bag, not a storage bag or anything like that. Casually tossed it aside. I don't know, if there are any storage bags or other treasures in the inner domain. In his heart, he sighed, should he find an apprentice with a talent for refining weapons, make up a set of methods for refining weapons and give it to him, so that he can go to the enlightenment and refine the storage bag or something like that ah? I don't know how to refine weapons either ah, it's a bit difficult to make up? Or do I need to go to the inner domain and look for the inner domain's weapon refining techniques and refer to them in order to make up the perfect one? It's only possible for the inner domain to have such a demonic weapon refiner, isn't it? Li Xian pondered in his heart. However, refining weapons is not powerful itself after all, there is no hurry for now, let's wait to see if we can find such a demon in the future. Put the spirit crystal away. Look to the blood red pamphlet. Flip it over and four words come to mind. Blood devil scripture. At first glance, it was a devilish technique. However, Li Xian didn't care, it wasn't like he was going to cultivate these techniques, but rather refer to them as a way to understand the inner domain martial Dao. This is actually a remnant book? Li Xian was surprised for a moment. The Blood Devil scripture was incomplete, part of it was lost, and it was just a remnant. Even though it was only a remnant, it had actually allowed Bloodless Heart to cultivate to the Grandmaster realm. So, a complete Blood Devil scripture is something that can be cultivated above a Grandmaster? Li Xian flipped through the Blood Devil scripture, it was truly a Devil's Way technique, which was based on devouring essence blood, refining it, and strengthening oneself. The purer and more exuberant the essence blood, the greater the enhancement gained. That was why, Bloodless Heart had set his sights on Meng Chong. It also contained a specialized secret technique of the Blood Devil scripture, the Vampire Devouring Silk, which was used to devour essence blood. That's some doorway. Li Xian watched in amazement as the Blood Devil scripture gave him some inspiration. For example, the feat of devouring essence blood, and the Vampire Devouring Silk. He naturally wouldn't make up a technique for devouring essence blood, but he could use it as a reference to make up some more subtle and tangible techniques. A new system of martial arts is almost in sight. After reading the Blood Devil scripture, Li Xian had some thoughts in his mind. Outside of the physical body martial arts, there was a new martial arts cultivation system, but it was imperfect for the time being, just an idea. And, also, you need to find the right person to come to clarity. The Blood Devil scripture belongs to a very strong Devil Dao technique in the inner domain, and Blood Heartless is no weakling amongst the sect masters. However, the Blood Devil scripture belongs to the Yin Evil category of techniques, and would be restrained by Qi and Blood. The Qi and Blood realm blazed like fire, which was just enough to restrain the Yin Evil Qi of the Blood Devil Meridian. If they were to fight against each other at the same realm, martial artists who cultivated the Blood Devil scripture would be restrained in every way. However, Qi and Blood are also extremely tempting to them. Why did Bloodless Heart desire Meng Chang's blood? Why did you desire Su Yan's essence blood, precisely because of this? Qi and Blood realm martial artists, their essence blood was more vigorous and pure than those in the inner domain, and it was a great treasure medicine for the devil cultivators of the Blood Devil scripture. After flipping through the Blood Devil scripture, Li Xian memorized all of its contents, word for word. Between thoughts, the Blood Devil Sutra turned into powder and disappeared. This Devil's Way technique, naturally cannot stay, in case one day careless, or forget, after leaving here, was found to pick up, will not be out of a Devil Cultivator? Although the Borderlands could not produce martial artists, if they devoured Essence Blood with the Blood Devil scripture, it was still. It is possible to raise the strength up. It is true that because of the extinction of the spiritual opportunities of heaven and earth. 
It is not possible to break through the upper limit in the border wilderness, but I am afraid that the strength can also be raised to that of a fifth or sixth grade martial artist in the inner domain. This is definitely not good for the borderlands. This kind of gongfu, which one had memorized, was of course only safe to destroy. Outside of Yunshan County, in the middle of a mountain forest. Li Xian had one hand behind his back as he looked into the distant sky. Su Yan stood behind him respectfully with his sword in hand. Apprentice, you must remember that master only passes on the Tao, not the Dharma, so what master passes on to you is the way of the sword, not the sword technique. Li Shen raised his hand and folded a branch in his hand as he said in a deep voice, as my master has repeatedly emphasized, cultivation lies in enlightenment, in sensing the true meaning thereof, and the same is true of the way of the sword, so watch this. Yes, master. Su Yan was excited inside. Li Shen pointed out the branch in his hand, and with a snort, an explosion of true chi shot out, directly at a large tree, shooting out a hole. Su Yan's eyes widened, his heart shocked, master this swordsmanship, no, it's the way of the sword, it's just powerful ah, holding a branch in his hand and casually pointing, it's all much more powerful than bloodless heart's blade chi. After Li Xin tried his hand, he began to swing the branch in his hand, his innate true chi was added to the branch, it looked powerful and extraordinary, but in reality, he was just blindly gesticulating. It was all thanks to an incomparably powerful innate true chi that he presented such a powerful and overpowering aura. Of course, it couldn't be said that it was completely blindly compared, and some of the sword moves such as chopping, stabbing, picking, crossing, and wiping were danced in a decent manner. After a burst of crackling and gesticulating, Li Xian put away the branch and asked in a deep voice, Apprentice, do you remember? Su Yan nodded excitedly and said, Master, I've memorized it all. You memorized it all? How does this work? Li Xian lifted the branch once again and said in a deep voice, Apprentice, take another look, remember, what my master has passed on is the way of the sword, not the sword technique, and you must realize its true meaning. Said the branch in his hand gestured, but this time the dance was slow, he this time gestured, is in accordance with the previous life of the Taiji sword model to gesture. The difference was that he was empowered with an A true chi. It appeared to be a slow dance, yet it was as if a sword chi had formed, encircling and spinning with him, and the sound was quite appalling. Su Yan stared deadpan, but was a bit puzzled as to why it was so slow. How can I attack the enemy if I'm so slow? Li Xian finished his gesticulation and asked once again, Apprentice, do you memorize it? Master, I remember it all. What about the front? Remember that too. This apprentice has such a good memory that he memorized it all in one sitting. Apprentice, look again. Li Xian swung the branch again. This time, the branch danced extremely fast, crackling with a swipe and then closing. Can you remember? Su Yan was a bit confused at the moment. How come the sword moves are different every time? Remember, remember. Su Yan nodded. What about the front? Remember, remember 90%. Su Yan suddenly froze. The slow sword strokes in front of him, he still remembered all of them. However, he only remembered 90% of the sword moves he had performed for the first time, and there were a few sword moves that he had actually forgotten. How could I have forgotten? Su Yan was chagrined in his heart. Li Xian, however, was overjoyed and said, Good, disciple, look again. Said another gesticulation. Su Yan was already confused in his heart, I forgot, didn't memorize it all, and master even said yes? Apprentice, do you remember? Li Xian asked as he put away the branch. I? I didn't remember everything. Su Yan had a look of shame on his face, he had just wandered off and failed to memorize the sword stance that his master had just performed. Good, good, disciple you are one step closer to sensing the sword Dao. Li Xian spoke with relief. Su Yan was confused, he had failed to memorize the sword moves, how could he instead be one step closer to sensing the way of the sword? Nope. I certainly didn't comprehend the deeper meaning of master's words. Su Yan fell into deep thought, his powerful brainstorming ability, being brought into play. Master repeatedly emphasized that he only passes on the Tao, not the Dharma, and that what he passed on to me was the way of the sword, not the sword. I am asked to realize the true meaning of it, the Tao of it, not the sword technique, so what I have to do is not to memorize the sword moves. Instead, forget the sword moves. Do not stick to the sword stance, do not stick to the situation, blend in and follow your heart. In this instant, Su Yan felt like he realized Master's deeper meaning. In his mind, he began to recall the sword moves that Master had just executed, fast, slow, swift, tricky. Gradually, the front and back sword strokes, overlapped in his mind, fused in his mind, slowly as if a new set of sword techniques, appeared in his mind. I'm going to learn to forget. Su Yan admonished himself in his heart. Master, I've already forgotten half of it. Su Yan opened his mouth. Yes, yes. Li Xian was overjoyed, this disciple had entered the state of enlightenment, a good thing. It meant that a solid step had been taken from him sensing the sword Dao. Su Yan really did have talent in the sword path, and it was of the demonic kind. Apprentice. Look again. Li Xian gesticulated again. It's all naturally different from the previous comparison. In fact, every time he gesticulated, he had molded over, the first time was a plausible swordsmanship and sword stance, and the second time was a taiji sword, slow but stepping on taiji. The third time was swift, the fourth time was tricky, and this fifth time is just totally messy. Fast, slow, swift and tricky without a set. 
The law is there, so naturally Su Yen has to realize it on his own. Master, I forgot half of it. Su Yen opened his mouth after reading it. Very well, look again. Li Xian continued to gesture. Next, he gestured several times in succession, and Su Yen watched, sometimes confused, sometimes contemplative, and sometimes in a daze. In his mind, all of the sword moves, he had rearranged them, overlapping and fusing them with each other, or reinterpolating them, over and over again. A set of sword techniques seemed to emerge in his mind. Li Xian stood on the side, watching his disciple in his senses. The time is almost right. The realm of the compiled sword path should also be told to the apprentice, so that the apprentice can better realize the sword path from it. If successful, this is another huge gain. Su Yan opened his eyes, and within his eyes, there was a slight look of confusion. He felt confused. A mess of sword strokes, waving in his mind, could not find his way at all. The sword technique that seemed to be a different one was never able to take shape. He thought he might have realized the wrong direction. The sword technique passed down by his master, at this moment, he had already forgotten it, and could not remember, at all, how it was actually performed in the first place. Master, I've forgotten everything. Li Xian said in relief, well forgotten, well forgotten, ah, disciple, you are not far from sensing the way of the sword. Give the apprentice a tube of chicken blood. Sure enough, when Su Yan heard this, his spirits immediately lifted and his eyes lit up. Apprentice, what my master has passed on to you is the way of the sword, there are thousands of martial artists in the world, but only a few of them can enter the way of the sword, and if you want to enter the way of the sword, you first need to get out of the realm of swordsmanship. Don't be imprisoned in your ego by swordsmanship or sword strokes. Li Xian turned sideways and looked up, his mysterious aura adding to his body, and suddenly the image of a tall man was infinitely elevated. Su Yan's body shook as he respectfully said, Please, master, instruct my disciple. The fact that you can forget the sword technique that master just performed and the sword move that master performed shows that you have qualifications in the way of the sword and won't be imprisoned in your ego by sword techniques and sword moves. But it's not nearly enough. If you want to realize the way of the sword, if you want to enter the way of the sword, only those with a clear heart of the sword can step into the way of the sword. Li Xian said in a deep voice. Sword heart? Su Yan's heart trembled as he respectfully asked, Master, what is sword heart understanding? Sword mind is the foundational realm of the sword Tao, and those who have a clear sword mind are not bound by sword techniques or sword strokes, and the heart of the sword Tao is crystal clear. The heart of the sword is the heart of the clear sword path, and the clearness is that any sword move or sword technique can be penetrated at a single glance, and one can see the breaks, good and bad points of the sword technique at a single glance. At a glance, it can be, from among the sword techniques and sword strokes, plucked from the hand and utilized freely, become its own sword stroke. Become its own sword technique. Li Xian explained the compiled foundation of cultivating the way of the sword, the sword mind to Su Yen. Su Yan's mind was shaken, sword heart Tongming is the clarity of the heart of the sword path, and Tongming is, at a glance, seeing the breaks, good and bad points of the sword technique, and using it as he pleases. In his mind, the scene of his master performing the sword technique surfaced. Gradually, it surfaced again, a set of swordsmanship that he himself had plucked from, overlapped, fused, and interspersed, and had yet to take shape. If one could overlap and merge them completely to form a set of sword techniques of one's own, one would be able to pick and choose sword moves to use as one wished. Is it, in fact, the heart of the sword? With some clarity, he opened his mouth and said, Master, sword mind, that is to say, even though I have no sword techniques or sword moves, other people's sword techniques are my sword techniques, and other people's sword moves are my sword moves. The enemy's swordsmanship, in my eyes, seems to be uncovered, as if it is transparent, I can easily see through his breaks, I can predict how his sword will come out. Li Xian was overjoyed in his heart, Su Yan was not far away from realizing the sword heart Tongming, and the realm of the sword Dao that he had made up was finally coming out. In layman's, simple terms it is so, to be able to achieve this step means that the sword heart is introductory. Li Xian nodded his head with a relieved tone. Master, I understand some of it, but not much. Su Yan fell into deep thought. Apprentice, the only way to understand the heart of the sword is to realize it yourself, and when you do, you will be initiated, and if you don't, then you won't be able to realize it. Li Xian said in a deep voice. He didn't even have a sword heart passage, he just made it up, how to get started, what are the methods? How does he know? It's all up to the disciple to go and realize it on his own with his demonic brainstorming ability, as well as his demonic enlightenment. Apprentice, first of all, the sword heart must be clear, only when the sword heart is clear, can it be clear, and the sword heart is clear is not imprisoned by the sword technique or sword stance to confine the self. You realize it well, master believes that you will be able to realize it. After Li Xian finished speaking, he left the mountain forest, leaving Su Yin alone, slowly comprehending here. The Episode 77 Su Yin realizes the way of the sword, and his sword heart is clear. In the mountain forest, only Su Yin was left alone. As he stood in the mountain forest, his eyes looked around, a sword mark streaked across the landscape, and one after another small hole was pierced through a large tree. The neatly severed trees fell to the ground and were sliced into a dozen more sections. Vaguely able to see the remnants of swordsmanship and sword strokes. The more he looked at Su Yen, the more he had some plausible clarity, and in his mind came, a mess of sword strokes, all of which had been performed by his master at one time or another. It's just that he gave it a miss. I can't say that I gave it to oblivion, but I forgot the order of the sword strokes, which sword, which time it was performed. 
The chaotic sword moves in his mind, and the traces around him, verified each other, and suddenly, a certain move overlapped with a sword mark on the ground. This sword mark, it was cast from this move. Su Yen muttered in his heart. The first and foremost thing is the clarity of the sword mind, not being confined to the self by sword strokes or sword techniques, and then the clarity. Su Yen felt that he had some epiphanies. However, it was still too far away from the sword mind. At this moment, it was as if he had returned to the small mountain village, when he had just begun to cultivate martial arts, and everything was not quite understood, yet there was some sense of realization. Forgetting sword strokes, forgetting sword techniques, and not being attached to the situation, the first thing to do is to have a clear sword mind, and for this first step, I should take the sword technique that my master danced and forget it completely. No. Forgetting is not really forgetting, but forgetting the form, but detaching from the framework of the sword. Then, the next thing I have to do is to rationalize the traces of the swordsmanship, reproducing them one by one, and then forgetting the framework, plucking sword moves and techniques at will, and ultimately forming a swordsmanship that belongs to me. This is the first step, after completing this step, I should not be far away from the sword mind. Su Yan only felt an aura of clarity, realizing how to perceive and step into the sword mind realm. He jumped onto a large tree and sat on a horizontal branch, looking at the sword marks below, silently and continuously overlapping and corroborating with the sword moves in his mind. This sword mark, covering the previous one, the previous one, is barely visible, how should I go about imprinting it? How am I stuck in the middle of swordplay sword moves again? That one sword mark, although it was covered, yet there was still a vein present, it should be this move. It wasn't until darkness fell that Su Yen returned to Yunshan County. But he was full of, all sword moves, all sword techniques. Seeing his disciple return, Li Shen secretly observed without saying anything, letting his disciple realize on his own. Saying too much can create a distraction instead. He thought of the scene of how Su Yen had cultivated in the small village back then, and now it was just, pretty much. Retracing the sensory process. Li Xian believed that Su Yen was able to sense it. He made up a sword path that was much better and more perfected than when he had made it up blindly, and he even personally made a move and gave Su Yen a sword stance to compare it to. Sword heart understanding is the foundation of cultivating the sword Dao, and this starting point of the sword Dao of mine has given a much higher requirement for talent. Once you step into the way of the sword, the power is naturally stronger as well. This is a box, in the future, any sword moves or sword techniques can be loaded into it, and when Su Yen goes to the inner domain, no matter what sword techniques he learns, once he loads them into this box, they'll be his own. And, the green is blue, forming new swordsmanship. Li Xian thought silently. Passing on Su Yan's sword Dao, while Meng Chong, a muscle-bound man, was not gifted in the sword Dao. Rather, it's on the knife path. It was time for him to make up his own correlation to the Dao of the blade, so that he could pass it on to Meng Chong when the time came. Su Yen memorized my sword technique after reading it once, showing that he has a superb memory, which is also the foundation of the sword mind, and with this foundation, it should be quite a bit easier for him to perceive it. Li Xian also sighed in his heart, Su Yan's memory was really good. Read it once and memorize it. He's not slow in his comparison. For the rest of the time, Su Yan spent every day comprehending the way of the sword, all for the sake of how to be sword-minded. Wake up early and go to the mountains to sense. Come back when it's dark. Meng Chong was stimulated by blood heartless and cultivated more and more diligently, and the progress of golden bone tempering was accelerating. Sherer has also refined the skin and is making okay progress. She still hasn't changed much. In the capital, Gui Rongshan. The king of Qi remains the first of the group of ministers. The third prince comes to the door every day to ask for peace. The grand prince has already gone out to seek out the higher power. The rest of the group's sons and daughters were no less eager to seek out the high and mighty. Although the son of the minister of war and other people turned into a dry corpse and do not know the cause, Su Yen did not give the answer, and no one dared to pursue the question. All of them are speculating that they might have met an unknown demon and that's why they died. And when they entered the endless mountain to explore, they were all careful and didn't dare to go too deep. There were countless peaks in the endless great mountain, and it was unknown how long it would take to search past peak after peak, as a team traveled through the mountains. But mostly tacitly, they avoided the duke of the ministry of war and his party to explore the direction. It's too dangerous there. A month has passed. Meng Chang's golden bone was almost complete, and was about to encounter a golden bone bottleneck that would prevent him from continuing to temper it. Shirayer had finished refining the skin. With his strength as a Jiang Hu top expert, it took him such a long time to finish refining his skin, and his qualifications were ultimately a great deal worse than Su Yan and Meng Chong. Moreover, Li Xian discovered that after Shirayer finished refining his skin, the strength of his skin refining, as well as the strength of his qi and blood, were not as strong as the duo of Su Yan and Meng Chong. The same skin refining was completed, yet the strength of the skin film was not a small difference. Skin refining is also divided into grades, it's not the same for anyone who has completed it. This was brought about by the gap in martial arts qualifications. After completing the skin refining, Sure Air's strength had increased. Li Xian proceeded to pass on the method of bone refining to him. And according to what Su Yan had said, his father had already started refining his bones and his mother had just finished refining her skin, which also allowed him to see the disparity in martial arts qualifications and the gains from cultivation, which would have a discrepancy. Apothecary Pan also entered the bone refining stage. 
A small portion of the rest of the heart guards went into bone refining, and a portion finished refining their skins. This was still due to Apothecary Pan, who had boiled down nourishing medicines to aid in his cultivation. As for Guirongshan, due to his old age and decaying qi and blood, he missed the best stage of cultivation and relied on the accumulation of precious medicines to barely enter the refined skin. Gui Yunkai was a bit more talented, having already finished refining his skin and about to refine his bones. His two cousins, one finished refining the skin and the other started refining the bones. It's all still too far away from martial arts initiation, and in a short period of time, it's impossible to verify what feedback can be gained. Li Xian sighed in his heart. Of these people, there should be someone stuck at the martial arts initiation level. He noticed that Apothecary Pan boiled medicine to nourish qi and blood, and it was very effective in aiding cultivation. Isn't it time to get some potions out? How do you make up a potion? It's not like I know anything about it. Li Xian fell into deep thought. That little girl from the Heavenly Mother sect has excellent medical skills, perhaps we can start with her and try to see if we can sense anything? Li Xian remembered, again, the contemporary Heavenly Mother of the Heavenly Mother sect, that little girl. All the evil people she had advised, surprisingly, never did evil again, when it was really a good tactic. Last time. I asked Chirair to send a message for that little Tianmu girl to come here, but still in the Wu Kingdom, she has not yet come to the Wu Kingdom. There's no rush, Meng Chong hasn't even been initiated yet, a third disciple, and then examined. Li Xian put the matter down for the time being. Su Yan didn't come back at night after going out yesterday, he seemed to have gained something, he should be on the verge of realizing the sword heart Tong Ming. He was full of anticipation. Outside of Yunshan County, on a mountainside. Su Yan sat cross-legged, silently looking at the evening sun in the sky. He was no longer looking at those sword marks in the mountains and forests, instead he destroyed all of them, as much as he could. At this moment, he looked at the evening sun in the sky, his heart was clear, and the sword moves in his mind were all evolving at this moment. The swordsmanship handed down by his master, he had long forgotten all about it. Now, in his mind, a new sword technique was about to take shape. His mind became clearer and clearer, as if he had already understood all sword techniques, all sword moves. At a certain point, there seemed to be a flash of light in his mind. The evolved swordsmanship became. It was also at this moment that he entered a metaphysical state. A heart that is clear and lucid. The sword that lay across his knees actually trembled at this moment. It was as if it wanted to leave its sheath. The heart of the sword is clear. Su Yan realized that the sword heart was enlightened. The moment he realized that the sword heart was clear, the door to the sword Dao had opened. In his mind, there was already a sword technique with traces of the sword Dao. Already free from the shackles of swordsmanship. Even the Dragon Subduing Palm had gained a new sense of enlightenment as a result and had been upgraded. Dragon Subduing Palm's second heavy minor achievement. Su Yan opened his eyes, and with a little bit of his hand on the sword straddling his knee, the sword came out of its sheath with a clang. With his hand clenched, he raised his hand and chopped out with a sword. The sword light was like a long rainbow, slicing through midair and chopping a hundred feet away. The sword light landed without a sound. If you get closer, you will see the ground, a thin gap, spreading dozens of feet, I do not know how deep. Today, my Su Yan sword heart is clear, and I've finally made it to the sword Dao, so you'll be called the Tong Ming sword. Su Yan said as he stroked the sword with his index and middle fingers. Tong Ming sword. This was his first sword, and the sword that witnessed him, stepping into the door of the sword Dao. My sword heart is clear, I've stepped into the door of the sword Dao, and the next step is to complete my chi and blood and break through the innate realm. Su Yan had an uplifted look on his face. In the beginning, if he was already sword-minded and had stepped into the way of the sword, how could bloodless heart be his opponent? The inner sphere. Su Yan looked in the direction of the endless mountain. His heart surged, there were martial artists in the inner domain, and the inner domain martial arts world was something he had longed for. I've long wanted to break into the martial arts world. Wait a little longer, after the innate realm, go to the inner region. His parents' strength hadn't risen up yet, and he hadn't broken through the innate realm yet. Thus, one could only suppress the excitement in his heart. Small yard. As usual, Li Xian was sitting on a chair, but in his mind, he was combing through the martial Tao he had compiled. Especially the subsequent method of martial arts, how to go about codifying and perfecting it. The realm after the innate realm, he had already determined. The direction of cultivation, too, had been determined, but down the road, the martial realm, the direction of cultivation, also had to have an outline. My martial Tao, to begin with, is stronger than the martial Tao of this world, so the realm of martial Tao behind me is going to get stronger and stronger as well. Between realms and realms, it should be articulated, if there is a break, the theory is not articulated, it is definitely impossible to sense it. After these days of repeated thinking and pondering, Li Xian had basically straightened out, the subsequent direction of his martial cultivation. However, it still needs to be taken one step at a time. The only way to be sure that it was viable was to successfully cultivate it, so that one could continue to perfect the next realm. Meng Chong Golden Bone Perfection, stuck at Golden Bone Perfection, unable to quench the Vajra Glazed Bone, should also try and help his second disciple, successfully quench the Vajra Glazed Bone. Li Xin glanced at Meng Chong, who was still buried in bitter cultivation. Once the Vajra Glazed Bone was complete, he would be able to break through and step into the Qi Blood Realm. 
After all, his cultivation was the three-in-one refining of skin, bones, and organs together. Suddenly, golden light surfaced. Your disciple, Su Yan, has realized the Sword Heart Tongming and stepped into the gate of the Sword Dao. You have achieved great success in the Sword Heart Tongming and great success in the Sword Dao. In this instant, Li Xian only felt that his Sword Heart was clear, and he was able to understand all the swords, while the sense of the Dao of the Sword continued to surface. Sword Dao great success, but it could only be considered, Sword Dao Foundation great success. Li Xian was overjoyed. My disciple has the stature of a sword god, my master has not misjudged him. Su Yan is good. He has truly realized the Sword Heart Tongming and stepped into the door of the Sword Dao. Moving forward, it would be up to him to improve his sword Dao. However, Li Xian believed that when Su Yan went to the inner region, he would not worry about improving his sword Dao. And as his disciples' sword Dao improves, his sword Dao improves even more. It's time to pass on the sword Dao intent after the sword mind is enlightened to Su Yan, and strive to realize the sword intent as soon as possible. Li Xian thought prettily in his heart. Your disciple Su Yan, the second level of the Dragonfall Palm is at a minor completion, and the second level of your Dragonfall Palm is at a complete completion. It's paying off again. The second level of the Dragon Subduing Palm has been perfected. Su Yan's understanding of the Sword Heart Tongming and the Dragonfall Palm's sense of enlightenment also increased. It makes sense. This showed that Su Yan's talent and enlightenment had improved with the Sword Mind Enlightenment. Li Xian lifted his finger and a Sword Qi emerged. With a point of his finger, the Sword Qi flew up into the air, soundlessly, not even noticing the overpowering sharpness. In midair, a Sword Qi was in a crisscross. The Sword Path I made up is really powerful. Li Xian was excited in his heart. It should be much more powerful than the inner domain sword technique, right? The inner domain martial arts world, how strong the sword Dao was, was unknown for the time being. However, it could be roughly surmised that it was still at the stage of powerful sword techniques, and had not yet touched the level of the sword Dao, so naturally, it was no match for the sword Dao that he had made up. The sword technique of an inner domain martial artist, in the eyes of a sword-minded person, could see through the breakage and the reality with a single glance. And could pluck their sword moves at will for their own use. With my current strength, a grand master can also be cut down with a single sword. With a flick of Li Xian's finger, the sword Qi in midair disappeared. His strength had risen tremendously again, and an inner domain grandmaster wouldn't be his opponent anymore. Now that's totally solid. There was no need to worry about inner domain powerhouses that would pose a threat to them. Master, I'm back. Su Yan came back excitedly. Good. Good. Yes. Li Xian was pleased and said, My disciple has the stature of a sword god, he truly has not let his master down. Su Yan's spirit immediately lifted at his words, and his entire essence seemed to have metamorphosed. Master said I have the stature of a sword god. Patting his chest, he said, Master, disciple will definitely take your sword path and carry it forward, disciple will not let you down and will become a sword god. Good. My disciple has this ambition, and my master believes that you can do it. Li Xian heart rejoiced, disciple will become a sword god in the future, and his own well, the hat of the ancestor of the sword Dao, can be put on in advance. I'd like to do more but I can't really write oh, oh. Da. Episode 78. Su Yan's Breakthrough, Meng Chang's Introduction to Martial Arts. Li Xian stood up with a solemn expression and said, Apprentice, the sword heart is only the foundation of the way of the sword, you still have a long way to go, the way of the sword is long and endless, do not be arrogant. Su Yan's complexion straightened, took a deep breath, and respectfully said, Yes, Master, I will certainly calm my mind, be down to earth, and move forward firmly on the path of the sword path. Yes. Li Xian nodded his head with a look of relief, since you have already had a clear sword heart and stepped into the door of the sword path, my master will show you, today. The direction of the sword path. Su Yan listened attentively, his heart excited. After the sword heart, the second sword Dao realm is the heart sword realm. I have a sword in my heart, and all things in heaven and earth can be my sword. When I meet a mountain, the mountain is my sword, when I meet rivers and lakes, they are all my sword, every blade of grass and every tree is also my sword. Mountains have the sword power of mountains, water has the sword power of water. Everything in heaven and earth is the sword of my heart. The second sword Dao realm was the heart sword realm. Su Yan's heart surged as he listened to the words, everything in heaven and earth can be a sword? When I meet a mountain, the mountain is also my sword. The river is also my sword. When it was really too subtle, at this moment, he felt small. The heart sword realm. It's just too far away from myself. That's I, what kind of sword Dao intent? In his mind, he couldn't help but conjure up the powerful scene where he raised his hand and the great mountain transformed into a sword, blasting out and decimating his enemies. Apprentice, if you want to break through the heart sword realm, you first need to sense sword intent. Li Shen looked at Su Yan, whose face was flushed, whose blood was surging, and whose eyes were wild and yearning, and spoke with a slight smile. It sounds so mysterious, doesn't it? As expected, the more esoteric it was, the more motivated Su Yan was, and he never doubted that something so esoteric would be fake and could be done. He'll just hit the ground running and move toward that goal. When it's really a good disciple. Li Shen sighed that accepting Su Yan as a disciple in the first place was the best thing he had ever done in his two lives. Su Yan nodded respectfully. Sword intent. Sense of sword intent. 
All things in heaven and earth can sense sword intent, but you must remember. Intent perception, the most avoid obsession, obsession is too deep, but fell into a cage, and cannot sense the true intent. And one must not go blindly to the realization of sword intent and desert one's own cultivation. Your sword heart is clear, it's only a matter of time before you realize your sword intent, maybe one day when you're practicing the dragon subduing palm, you'll suddenly realize it? Sword intent is not something that can only be sensed when one cultivates the sword Tao. Li Xian Dun Dun taught. He couldn't let his disciple, for the sake of practicing the way of the sword, desert the practice of the dragonfall palm. Palming the sword without a double was Su Yan's proper path. If you have comprehended the dragonfall palm intent, you can also comprehend the sword intent by touching it. Similarly, if you have comprehended the sword intent, you should also be able to understand the dragonfall palm intent. How much you can comprehend is up to you, disciple. Li Xian pondered that the dragonfall palm should also allow Su Yan to feel the palm intent of it. If he really comprehended it, his strength was bound to soar greatly. Master, I understand. Su Yan said respectfully. Well, practice hard. Li Xian resumed his seat. The sword Dao realm after the heart sword realm, it wouldn't be too late to pass it on to Su Yan after he realized the heart sword realm. Otherwise, wouldn't it be a mistake to pass on too much at once and affect his senses? It's still a matter of keeping your feet on the ground and taking it one step at a time. Su Yan nodded his head. Li Xian glanced at Meng Chong and said, Your senior brother has encountered a bottleneck, so spar with him to stimulate his qi and blood, and help him break his bottleneck. Su Yan was stunned and glanced back at Meng Chong, instantly understanding. When he himself broke through the golden bone bottleneck and successfully tempered the jade bone, he relied on the fire main wolf. As for senior brother, he cultivated the physical body martial Dao and was stuck at golden bone completion, unable to further refine the Vudra glazed bone. External force was needed to hammer its flesh and stimulate its qi and blood to break this bottleneck. Su Yan nodded. Meng Chong cultivates the physical body martial arts, want to break through the shackles, the best way, naturally, is the external hammering, not only oppression of their own, and then stimulate the potential to break through the bottleneck. The method is actually quite simple. Of course, it also depends on the qualification, if the qualification is not good, and then how to hammer, how to press, will only hurt their own fundamentals, and will not break through the bottleneck. Meng Chang's fleshly body qualifications were obviously very high, and there would be no backlash against his own foundation. It would only be in the midst of hammering and pressing that the potential would be stimulated, the bottleneck would be broken open, and the adamant and glazed bones would be quenched. When Meng Chong opened the bronze bone bottleneck, it was because he was stimulated by the cold inner qi of the bloodless heart, which stimulated his potential, his qi and blood boiled, and he opened the bottleneck in one fell swoop. Senior brother, come on, let's go spar. Su Yan beckoned to Meng Chong. Yes. Meng Chong nodded. The duo directly left Yunshan County and went to cut outside the city. Nominally, it was a sparring match, but in fact, it was hammering Meng Chang's physical body, stimulating his potential and thus breaking through the bottleneck. Outside of Yunshan County, in the middle of a mountain forest, there was a rumbling sound. Su Yan's qi and blood stirred as he slapped out palm after palm, and his searing hot qi and blood continued to bombard Meng Chang's body. As for Meng Chong, he was running the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield, and his fleshly body was like a golden bell, emitting a humming sound under the qi and blood bombardment, and his muscles were trembling all around him. Not enough, a little stronger. Meng Chong said as he bulged his muscles. Yes. Su Yan raised an eyebrow, senior brother's fleshly body was really strong, worthy of following the path of fleshly martial arts. Boom. The qi and blood increased again, covering Meng Chong. After holding on for half a quarter of an hour, Meng Chong finally couldn't hold on any longer, huffing and puffing, his entire body's skin was red, his muscles were shaking, and his bones were making faint sounds. Hammering the flesh, pressing out the potential, and breaking through the bottleneck could not be done once or twice. Senior brother, that's it for today, we'll continue tomorrow. Su Yan closed his hand and said. Good, thank you senior brother. The two returned to the courtyard, and Li Xian glanced at them and nodded silently. Although Meng Chong hadn't yet broken through the bottleneck and entered the stage of quenching the Vudra glazed bone, he had already improved, and the bottleneck had loosened up ever so slightly. For the next few days, Meng Chong hammered his physical body under the bombardment of Su Yan's qi and blood, yet he was always just a little bit short of breaking through the bottleneck. Li Xian thought for a moment, if he continued hammering in this way, he would be able to break the bottleneck, but it would just take a longer time. So, Meng Chong came back from hammering his flesh again, the bottleneck had loosened up, yet it was still a little bit short of a complete breakthrough, and needed a little bit of stimulation to make it work. Li Xian touched out a spirit crystal, recalling the blood devil scripture, the method on how to suck in essence blood, and slightly adjusted it to use his true qi to suck in the spirit qi from the spirit crystal. This was not much of a difficulty for the current Li Xian. The strength is here to stay. A strand of aura was ingested from inside the spirit crystal, and Li Xian raised his hand to make a point, and the aura instantly disappeared into Meng Chang's body. In that instant, Meng Chang's qi and blood boiled, as if stimulated and replenished, and a roaring sound, resounded within his body. Meng Chang was instantly overjoyed. Panicking, he ran his qi and blood and began to cultivate the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield. It was as if a muffled sound appeared in his body, the bottleneck broke open, and his qi and blood were once again quenched on his bones. 
And at that moment, a faint glazed luster rose from the golden bones. Thank you, master. Meng Chong kowtowed excitedly. Cultivate well and get started soon. Li Xian nodded. Putting the spirit crystals away, these two spirit crystals were precious to him now. If Su Yan broke through the innate realm and encountered some bottlenecks, perhaps he would also need him to ingest the aura in the spirit crystal to help him break through faster. The faster his disciple improves his strength, the faster he can improve his strength. Meng Chong nodded excitedly. Senior brother, when you're initiated, we'll spar again. Su Yan said expectantly. Yes. Meng Chong nodded. Master, I need to go home. Su Yan thought about it for a moment, he should also strive for it and break through to Qi Blood Realm perfection in the next few days. It was also time to make a trip home and instruct the family in cultivation. Go on. Li Xian nodded. Su Yan wasn't far from Qi and Blood Realm perfection. That's within the last few days. However, breaking through the Qi and Blood Realm consummation didn't mean that. One could immediately break through the innate realm. It takes a while to settle down before you start to break through. And breakthroughs, too, take time. Meng Chong was quenching the Vajra glazed bone and was getting stronger every day, so I was afraid that it wouldn't take more than a month to complete the quenching of the Vajra glazed bone. Sure Air looked envious. He had also begun to refine his bones, and only after personally refining his bones did he realize how difficult it was to do so. At the time of the initial bone refining, the pain of 10,000 ants biting into the bones was really too unbearable, and those with poorer willpower would scream out in misery. Once the screams came out, the chi and blood were interrupted and the bone refining would stop. In that case, it would be too difficult, too difficult, to complete the bone refining. He, sure Air, was also strong-willed, and had nearly endured it several times. In the end, though, grit your teeth and get through the toughest part. At this moment, he felt the changes brought about by the bone refining now, and there was a big increase in his strength. I don't have the luxury of golden bones, aim for bronze bones. Ishiji set himself a goal. His own family knows his own business, golden bones goal is too big, he can't do it, doesn't have the qualification talent. There is still hope for bronze bone. Your disciple Su Yen, the Qi and Blood Realm is complete, and your true Qi has gained a boost. Su Yen had broken through the Qi and Blood Realm to perfection, and the feedback from the Golden Finger had also come. There's a difference of one realm, and the feedback is a bit less, but the true Qi has also improved by about double. Li Xian sighed. Although his true Qi had doubled, he was still at the entry stage of the innate realm, but his strength had further increased. I've achieved great success in my sword mind. And I've achieved great success in the foundation of the sword Dao, do you want to try and realize the sword intent? Li Xian couldn't help but ponder. For a long time, there was no clue to comprehending the sword intent, so he could only throw it away. Forget it, it's better to leave such hard work to an apprentice. Su Yan Qi and Blood Realm was complete, the innate was not far away, Li Xian was looking forward to Meng Chang's martial arts initiation, striving to be able to break through the Qi and Blood Realm before Su Yan broke through the innate realm. How much feedback would a second disciple, who practiced a newly coded technique to get started, receive? More importantly, it was the physical body martial Dao, and under the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield enchantment, one's defense would be boosted. Standing still, a sovereign martial artist of the inner domain can't even break through the defense? After Su Yen broke through to the Qi and Blood Realm's consummation, he returned to the small courtyard and began to precipitate his realm in preparation for breaking through to the innate realm. And from time to time, he also went to the outside of Yunshan County and sat on the mountain, trying to sense the sword intent, and also practiced the Dragonfall Palm, trying to comprehend the Dragonfall Palm intent. Only, for the time being, there are no major developments. Ten days had passed since Su Yen had broken through Qi and Blood perfection, and on this day, Meng Chong, who was in the middle of his cultivation, had a faint glazed golden light over his entire body. The breath is in the middle of a metamorphosis. Li Xian watched silently as his second disciple was about to be initiated into the martial arts. Shi Er watched from afar, his face full of envy, Meng Chong was about to be initiated into the martial arts. While he himself was still a long way from being initiated into the martial arts. No wonder the Lord accepted him as a disciple, it's really too strong of a talent, and I'm considered to have a great chance to be able to come into contact with the martial arts, cultivate them, and work for the Lord. Shi Er sighed in his heart. At this moment, Meng Chong was shrouded in glazed golden light, and gradually the glazed light, as if transformed into a golden bell, enveloped him. As time passed, Meng Chong seemed to have turned into a golden man, with a rigid and unrivaled aura that was in the midst of coalescing. Li Shen nodded his head as he watched, the second disciple of mine, he has the image of a Lohan Vajra, ah, passing on the great sun golden bell shield to him is really a perfect fit. Crockle. Suddenly, a sinewy sound rang out. The glazed light on Meng Chang's body grew stronger and stronger, his muscles were trembling, and a thunderous sound began to resonate within his body. The Qian blood transformed into glazed light and condensed into a golden bell, merging with his physical body. A fierce aura, like a storm, was being presented on Meng Chang's body. Boom! Thunder rumbled and golden bells emerged. As the golden bell emerged, it was as if the sound of the bell was ringing. The Qi and blood golden bell, glazed with golden light, enveloped Meng Chong, and the sound of thunder grew louder and louder. Someone in the neighboring house had already poked his head out to look at the sky, full of doubt, how could there be thunder on a sunny day? Could it be that the magistrate is out of line? 
So a bolt from the blue? Or, is there a major grievance in Cloudy Hill County? Li Xian frowned, and with a flip of his palm, his true chi surged out, covering the courtyard and obscuring the sound of Meng Chang's breakthrough. Meng Chang let out a roar, his tendons and bones thundered and exploded. His chi and blood condensed into a golden bell, his body glowed with a glazed golden light, his muscles became even stronger, and as his chi and blood ran, his entire body drew up a bit taller. The lanky, burly figure had become a little stouter. Nearly chipped the cowhide pants he was wearing. I, martial arts initiated, great sun golden bell shield, initiated. Meng Chong was excited. At this moment, he felt his own power. Even steel is not as strong as your own flesh. With a single thought, the golden bell enveloped in any attack, could be ignored. There were no breaks or weaknesses around his body, and there was no other way to hurt him other than violently breaking through his own defenses. He had a feeling that he was invincible in the same realm and swept away everything. Sure Air was shocked by Meng Chang's pugnacious aura, this was only a martial arts initiation ah, and it was so terrifying? He had a feeling that even if he was a great success in the Qi and blood realm, he was far from being a match for Meng Chong, who had just been initiated. The difference is too great. Come, cut me with the precious sword. Meng Chong excitedly beckoned to Sure Air. Directly let Sure Air use the precious sword Su Yen gave him. Yes. Sure Air didn't hesitate this time. Gripping his sword, he rushed up, and with all his strength, he slashed hard at Meng Chong. The second disciple had finally been initiated into the martial arts, Li Xian revealed a bright smile, not bothering with Meng Chong trying out his sword with his flesh, the long-awaited feedback from the golden finger, had finally come. Episode 79 The Bone of the Innate Spirit, Wind and Thunder Vidra Fist Meng Chong made a breakthrough and stepped through the gate of martial arts, and a familiar golden light emerged, brilliant and beautiful. Your disciple, Meng Chong, has succeeded in practicing the Gong Fu you made up and has stepped into the martial arts path, and you have achieved great success with the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield. With the feedback from the golden finger, Li Xian's mind surfaced, the complete technique of the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield, and his physical body became stronger at this moment. Although he was in the innate realm, yet the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield could still be used for him. Using his true chi to activate the Great Sun Golden Bell Shield, his defense was unparalleled and strong. The foundation of the flesh body martial Dao was already solid. The jade bone glowed with a glazed light, containing a sense of adamantin. This was the superimposed fusion of the Vajra glazed bone and the jade bone, which seemed to be undergoing some sort of metamorphosis. You, Jade Bone Vidra Glazed Bone, have gained the Innate Spirit Bone. Golden Light emerged, and Golden Fingers fed back. Innate Spirit Bone. In this instant, Li Xian only felt that his entire person had been sublimated, his flawless jade bones were glazed with a glazed luster, and they were lingering with a spiritual rhythm, as if he was born with a spiritual bone. And with the appearance of the Innate Spirit Bone, Li Xian's innate true chi was actually purified and became stronger. The heaven and earth auras that seemed violent due to the loss of the heaven and earth auras had all become warm and moist after entering the body. Jade Bone Vajra Glazed Bone, to obtain an innate spirit bone, this is unexpected. Li Xian was thrilled in his heart. He had been pondering whether the Jade Bone stacked with the Vajra Glazed Bone would have a metamorphosis and become stronger. Unexpectedly, he would get feedback and obtain an innate spirit bone, this level was instantly elevated ah. Regardless of whether it was a Jade Bone or a Vajra Glazed Bone, after all, they were all tempered after birth. And compared to innate spirit bones, they were ultimately quite a bit worse. Moreover, this innate spirit bone of his was superimposed with the characteristics of the jade bone and the vajra glazed bone. Take an apprentice, must take an apprentice, ah, uh, the jade bone is there, the adamantine glazed bone is there, next time, what bone to make up? Li Xian's eyes glowed as he once again moved to accept a new disciple. It took a long time for Li Xian to calm down his excitement. Taking on a new apprentice is not something you can just do, and it's only possible if you make up new feats and a new kind of bone. In the courtyard, Sher Air was wielding his sword, slashing at Meng Chong again and again, making thumping sounds, but unable to hurt Meng Chong in the slightest. Even though he was holding a treasured sword. He had been deeply shocked, with Meng Chang's current formidable strength, even if he stood in the midst of thousands of troops and was left to charge and kill, he would not be able to injure the slightest bit. Slashing his hands so hard that they went limp, Ishiji stopped. Too strong. A face full of envy. Meng Chong was thrilled at the moment, clenching his fists and feeling how powerful he was, and this was just the martial arts initiation. Senior brother, let's go, let's spar. Meng Chong couldn't wait to find Su Yen to spar with. Yes. Su Yen nodded his head. The two of them left the city directly and arrived in a mountain forest outside the county. Sure Air followed with gusto to watch the battle. Li Xian took a step out and also arrived over the mountain forest, watching the two disciples spar. Senior brother, you've just entered the martial arts, so I'll only use the strength of the entry realm to spar with you. Su Yen said, suppressing his own qi and blood. Only revealing the qi and blood realm of the martial Dao initiation. He also wanted to see just how strong the flesh body martial Dao was. And whether his own pure martial arts, in the same realm, could suppress him. What Meng Chong had quenched out was the Vudra glazed bone, while Su Yen was the jade bone, and theoretically the two had equal martial arts roots. The strength is up to the individual. 
Su Yan had practiced the way of the sword and cultivated the dragon subduing palm, while Meng Chong had yet to cultivate any martial arts techniques, but before he cultivated the great sun golden bell shield, he was the one who was comparable to the top experts in the Jianghu Lake. Not really a new tender, punching and kicking martial arts, which he also knows. Senior, come on. Meng Chang's body glowed with glazed golden light, and his entire body had grown around, his muscles bulging like a Vudra Lohan, his rigidity on display. Su Yan's complexion was grave, and between the surges of his qi and blood, blazing like fire, his qi and blood was extremely pure, unlike Meng Chang's, whose qi and blood was like a bell, transforming into a glazed golden light state. A palm slapped out and blasted directly onto Meng Chang's chest. A dull sound rang out, and Meng Chang's body shook a bit, but he was unharmed. Senior, again. Meng Chong, who looked like he had transformed into a glazed golden man, patted his chest and said. He cultivated the great sun golden bell shield, and in order to defeat him, one had to break through his defense and be able to injure him, or else they would not be able to defeat him. It's a must to beat him. No matter how flexible the enemy, how he attacked, how he delayed and consumed him, as long as he couldn't break his golden bell shield, he couldn't defeat him. In terms of a battle of attrition, would he, a martial artist of the flesh body Marshal Dao, be afraid of someone? This sparring session. Want to distinguish the winner from the loser, do not need to fight fiercely, in terms of martial arts techniques feats, in terms of speed, Meng Chong at this stage, are not as Su Yen. But if Su Yen could not break his defense, he could not defeat him. Even if they wanted to rely on consumption to drag Meng Chong down, they might not be able to do so, and the two of them actually had similar martial arts roots. Yes. Su Yan's blood surged and his entire body became excited. He's also a proud man. Naturally, he wouldn't rely on his own advantage to bully his senior brother. Therefore, suppressing his own realm, he only displayed the strength of an entry-level martial art, and he didn't use the Dragonfall Palm and Sword Dao. Pure Chakra Attack. Boom. Su Yin struck again, his qi and blood erupted, but this time, instead of bombarding Meng Chong with his qi and blood, his qi and blood gathered on his palm, and with a single movement of his body, he stepped forward and blasted Meng Chang's chest with a palm. Meng Chong directly staggered back, his body's glazed golden light flickering as if it would collapse at any moment. But it eventually stabilized. Su Yan raised an eyebrow, this didn't even break defense? This great sun golden bell shield was truly powerful. He was able to feel the strength of Meng Chang's physical body, that palm blast on his chest, if it were any other martial artist, I'm afraid that he would have been shocked by the force of the recoil, shocking his arms to the point of numbness. His jade bones were flawless. 